What's up, everybody? Jake, your resident content cowboy here. Yeehaw. This uh, video is going to be the North American qualifiers for the AOS Cup for Pokemon Unite. We go for a very long time. My stream like crashed twice while this was happening, so I'm kind of like piecing it together as best I can, but you pretty much get every single match that you are looking for. There are a couple you don't get at the end, and at the end of the video, I'll kind of give you an update as to what happened right there. Basically, this was going to go until like 10 30 11 o'clock at night or something like that and we'd already been streaming since 4 a.m uh my time doing eu if you want to see eu i also have that up on my channel but this is all of north america where you can see all your favorite teams lg ttv yt uh nemesis like gt there's so many good teams inside this video and you can see a ton of north america qualify for aos which is happening next week i hope you enjoy it also real quick if you're like a timestamp legend and you want to help me timestamp this i would appreciate it uh i'm trying to like fix the stuff that crashed with my stream i love you guys this is all right all right black uh leafy doing extremely well now i was talking to spruggles about this before he left forever uh but i do want to say everybody on the enemy team is it's all a different actual professor. There's Professor Elm, Professor Rowan, Professor Kukui, Professor Oak, which I thought was pretty cool. So shout out to that team for leaning into the Pokemon uh, naming culture, if they can. GT, though, obviously off to a pretty good start. 145 points to zero. Their lead looking exceptional. And they get the Reggie uh, Rock as well. Getting the defense buff as two members knocked around by OG. And that allows Stalking just to clean up with those snipe shots. And Black CH to jump in and get involved as well with that Solar Blade. Sorry, I'm just what? still working no, on some you're things. Good, you're good. Black doing uh, really, really solid this game. OG bringing out the Blastoise top path is a uh, is an interesting thing to see. I obviously would like to see a lot more Buzzwool or Leafeon coming out of them. However, uh, we don't know the bands in this specific game, so we definitely could have seen one of those two Pokemon bands. Certainly. Professor Oak has been on this Mimikyu. Shadow Sneak falls just a little bit shy, not able to capitalize and get some early damage onto OG, so instead they are just trying to play around the big bulk that is that Blastoise. Espo with some really good restoration on the rest of the team with that Moonlight, but Professor Oak doing a very solid job of avoiding that gravity from Clefable. 30 seconds left until the final stretch with Regieleki at about half HP. Both teams got to worry about this objective as it's going to start swinging towards one of their goal zones momentarily. OG starts taking over some space. Clefable in range. Regieleki brought low, but it's going to be that passive Alola Ninetales damage to secure it. Ignoob does lock Professor Oak in a mean look. However, nobody really around to do any extra damage. So Ignoob is just going to retreat back. And Well, now that they are running the Umbreon and Clefable, it certainly gives them a powerful front line, one that can easily restore their health. And they're GT actually electing to allow the Regieleki into the goal zone. With only two minutes left, they don't want to start this tournament off with a loss because of a rip situation. Oof. Gudra down first, but we do have Black caught by a slow beam. However, the Elefion Unite moves immediately shot towards the Alola Ninetales. Alola Ninetales bounces back, and so does the Mimikyu. Professor Oak starts throwing some hands, but it's Helion fires. OG knocks up multiple targets. The snipe shot goes just wide. Professor Willow with a very risky recall. Well in the open, but they do make it all the way back to base. Ray now being shown a little bit of attention, but it's going to be the slow rebuild or restructure for both these teams as they Come back from respawn. All right, here we go. Rayquaza, a minute left. Zoinks, big old snipe shot. GT in a commanding position right here. And this professor is going down. That professor is going down. A lot of professors going down right here as Oak <laughs> is in a really dangerous position, of course. Big old Blizzard Avalanches, but they're not able to pick up any KOs. Blastoise is down right here with very little time left. It looks like GT is going to be able to take this thing. Black coming on in there with the Leafeon trying to pick up some final KOs and clean this up. 45 seconds left, four members down of Professor Party, and that should be the game for them. Ooh. GT starting off extremely strong with only 30 seconds left in this match. I'm sure we all know how this one is going to end. We may as well hit that stop spectating button and uh, head on to the next one if, if you're with me. I don't know. <laughs> Is that too red zone of us? Should I not be? <laughs> no, I think that's fair. I got to say, uh, pretty great that the stream crashed in that moment. 
I mean, I can't imagine a better time for my stream to crash than when I'm yeah. talking about my computer needing more RAM. That was unbelievable. I can't believe that actually worked out that Isn't way. Isn't that wild? I, we, we've been it streaming. We've been going for seven plus hours. Uh, mm -hmm. And then they were like, yeah, crash what? right now. Got to crash. Why not? You're talking about what? <laughs> they immediately, immediately shut us down. What if Spragles did it on purpose just for the meme? Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. It'd be a horrible meme. Yeah. <laughs> I must say, not a fan. Not a fan of said meme. Well, I got. Okay. I mean, you know, we got to have everybody load back into the stream and say hi again. You know, we had a thousand people watching, and now you have less people watching. It's. I I would have to be crazy to make that decision. <laughs> yes. Agreed. Agreed. Okay, so uh, telling off some of those teams that we were talking about earlier on, uh, Anbu has moved on. Their team was a no-show, I think, so they DQ'd. So Anbu is now moving on to winners uh, round number two. GT obviously starting 1-0. and oh. Regicide, I believe, is a team I have heard of before. Um, they're doing okay. They are currently 1-0. and zero. Yeah, it's Beats by Byron's team. Let's take a look. E-Kittens DM me, please, are up 1-0. Oh yeah, uh, you don't have the bracket on the screen. I don't. I don't know if you wanted to go through it or not. Oh yeah, I guess I could bring it on the screen. Why not, huh? Yeah, I figure if we're if we're going through it, it'd be fun. Of course, of course, of course. Okay, it's just it's so big right now because of how big NA is, so it gets a little crazy. Um, but yeah, Viridian H, uh, they start their game one and O. Oh, so how are only friends doing? Okay, only friends, only friends, only friends, only friends, only friends. All right, I think they also Mew World Order. Great team. That's name. a great name. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> Holy, that's a good. Oh, name. they won game one. Okay, okay. All right. Well, that's what I'm seeing from chat. I haven't actually confirmed it, but I mean, it'd be fun if chat was lying. True. Only are they only trolls? No, they're only. <laughs> Is that friends. what they are? Okay. I don't see them on here then. Yeah, Stanley Fishy's team. The nice thing is now it's broken up between the NA and the EU, the YouTube videos. They're broken up on purpose, apparently. Oh, yeah. Hey, there you go. Clutched up. I like that. Eh. Oh, no. Strategy's just bugging out for me a little bit. Okay, there we go. We're back. So, so we're looking at this next game for GT, right? Yeah, I would figure so, unless you want to hot swap, but... No, that sounds good to me. Obviously, we've got some big ones we want to see today, but they're not playing yet, right? Right, so. exactly. Yeah. Unfortunately, we'll go for not this GT quite. game. I got to let me try to do a couple more things on the back end here. I'll be off mic for a minute if you want to entertain everyone. Sure. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, chat. This is a there's a few win rate refugees. Very funny. Uh, God Squad up one zero as well. I don't think that anyone's too surprised by that. Maybe a bit of a surprise that a pressers is down a uh, one. Also, I think it's quite funny that five guys, um, a notorious team name at EU, has been picked up by an NA squad. It's quite funny. Brave Birders for any big Brave Birders fans in Spraggles chat, they are up one zero against Biorhythm, uh, which is pretty sick. I think Biorhythm is like a a team I've recognize but looking at them now i i don't really see any members of that team that i did immediately jump to mind but okay colin tang and the brave birders moving on anybody else have any teams they, they want updates from from spraggles chat i can find them in the bracket uh if you would like so uh, let's just check make sure the gt game is not started it's not okay alter ego waiting their opponent against i'm gonna say an angel is probably how they want that pronounced or angle and there's the only friends team we found it. Yeah, they're up 1-0. Oh, against Smash Nets, Severius. But, of course, this is Psyche, Cookie Dough, Lurus Lay, Dankosaur. What the heck? This team is so fun. We have to cast this team if we get the chance. Mew World Order is your favorite team name just by names. Oh, it's very, very good. We do need to cast an Only Friends game. We need to. I gotta, I gotta add them. I'll I'll DM Cookie Dino and tell her to add me. <laughs> Said you are winning. Can't believe Cookie didn't follow up on having me join. Oh, isn't that a crime, healthy chatter? How could they do that? 
No title, simply OP. So this is a team, by the way, chat, that I've been quite excited about is Viridian. As Beast, Savior, Breezy, Barnwell, Brave Pie. Uh, they're a team, a roster that I am quite excited about. Another quick check. No. Oh, that's Barnwell. But that, that is the Viridian game. But no, not the, uh, not the GT game quite yet. Not the GT game quite yet. They might just be in draft at this moment in time. Which, unfortunately, we do not get to spectate. Homer. Hey, whatever. What's up? I'm not allowed to say the word that you are emoting in the chat right now. Uh, I will get sued by Spraggle, so I cannot afford that right now, but maybe later. This is another team that's pretty cool. Emerald Lotus. Emerald Lotus, obviously sponsored by Lotus 8 Esports. Um, pretty cool that they've been getting very, very involved in the competitive Pokemon Unite scene. We basically have two um, organizations in the North American region that are really trying to participate in a lot of NA Unite. Um, that will be Lotus 8 Esports and, of course, Luminosity Gaming. So excited to see them uh, picking up a team to support. So Burry Boomin, Milady Pink, B. 20, Sangas, and Rizia. Rizia? Rizia. I don't know. Who knows? What words are you saying? Team names, allegedly. I'm trying my best. Hmm. All right. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And Anbu is obviously a team that I am very pumped for. This is Big Uzi's new team, but Twisted, Karma, Big Uzi, Tama Tama, and Lunair. Like, that is a very good squad. Nice. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. Were they on Do your list? Have... Uh, no, but they were mm. 11th or 12th, you know? Hmm. <laughs> Questionable. Interesting. Questionable. Next game, though. Okay, Cookie Dough has agreed to let us spectate them, so let me just make sure I get my friend good. I mean, people need to see Only Friends at some point. Did you see the full roster? It looks so fun. No, I didn't see it. <laughs> Who's on Only Friends? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me pull it up. Um... Only friends, and I had just finally found them. It's too many cooks. Only friends is Psyche, Cookie Dough, Lurid, another Slay, and Dankosaurus. Oh, this is fun. And another Slay is Dilf Boobies, who is, you know. Great. <laughs> yeah. Great. Great. You want to see this? Uh, yeah, I know. We got to get this team. Also, I think Psyche's Bratz doll <laughs> profile pick is just hilarious. Oh, hi, Blaine. I know you were referring to me, I'm sure. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, let's see. Do we have the second GT game? Well, oh, that's ranked. Here we go. Oh, you called it, Spraggles. You called it. GT is delivering. We got a Mr. Mime from Egg Noob. I it was hoping to see some Cinderace Mime. Cinderace and a Mamoswine. I, I told you we see Cinderace. <laughs> oh, my God. I said if I... Oh, man. I knew if I called some Cinderace, we'd see it. I said, there's no way we'll see Cinderace, knowing that that means we're going to see some Cinderace. Absolutely <laughs> devastating right here. Oh my goodness. Okay, stalking back on the signature. Mew, OG on the Buzzwool, the top pet demon, of course, Espo on Blissey, and I believe that is black on the Leafeon. So again, just this Pokemon dominating the North American game. Here we go, everybody. You gotta love seeing black on the Leafeon, too. Leafeon is just so Yay. good. As we've got an invading mime, you better watch this, Zoinks. <laughs> Do not take the camera off. We have a double support invade heading to the central area here of this Cinderace. This is incredible. Incredibly cruel to do to the professors, but you know, you need to make plays like this sometimes as we have the Blissey looking to see if it can get anything off here. Obviously hiding in that tall grass. Cinderace not able to fight it as well as it would like. It does have a focus band. They are able to pick up the blue buff. No one coming to no. help Cinderace <laughs> as they go down. I think Cinder had no idea that Mr. Mime was on the other side of that engagement. I, I can't imagine they did, but obviously Espo getting a little rage out against Professor Oak saying, carry your own parcel to the next town. And he slaps them all over the face and sends them to back to bases. Oh, well, Professor Oak not even able to get that one. No. And Espo gets, my man gets away. Criminal. That's a, that is, cri if Blissey gets away right there, I'm going to make the stream crash again. It did. I'll find a way to crash this thing. How unbelievable ramp, ramp, ramp. that is for Espo. That's just disrespectful. <laughs> yeah, 07's in chat for sure. That's disrespectful. <laughs> it is. It is. Ooh, Solar Beam does not catch anybody, but now Black is involved in this early game. Going to start sliding in GT's direction. Let's get Kui can find a way to close out one of these knockouts, and not quite. Black going to clean up shop. I, I, I don't. 
I don't have high hopes for the professors in this match. Oh, no, yeah. I, 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 I want them to do well. I think they've got a tough, a tough road ahead of them. I, I agree. I agree. Professor Elm on the Swinub at the moment. A Pokemon whose early game gets overlooked quite a bit of the time because, of course, they are a, uh, a powerful, powerful Pokemon. The Roomba um, having some good value. <laughs> you know, this is yeah. the start of a tournament oftentimes. Right, yes. <laughs> uh, it just is what it is. Uh, this mm -hmm. is GT. They're a great team. Um, I don't know the professors, but, you know, they're, they're not GT. That's okay. Mm -hmm. They might get there one day, but right now they have to do this. <laughs> yeah. Which is yeah, how it goes. Was... Look, I've I've been on a team thrown together and played against like peak TTV and stuff like that. So I know and how you this did okay. Feels. We did okay, <laughs> yeah. But you're not gonna, you're not going to beat a, a well oiled team as a, a newer squad or a squad put together, right? That's just, yeah. It, it if would... anything, I think it kind of helps out the argument. You know, there's a lot of arguments against Unite. You've heard it, baby MOBA, right? Like, <laughs> easy game. I think it, uh, it helps us a little bit to understand it. No, there are top teams, and there are middle-of-the-pack teams, and there are new teams. Uh, and I think that is, uh, that's okay to showcase every now and then. But yeah, right now, we are seeing a very good team against what looks like a relatively new team. Yeah, and that's and things are going about the way you would expect when something like yeah. that happens. Interesting seeing the no EXP share Clefable, highest level on the team. <laughs> Kukui, uh, monster. Black taking this out. Yep, this is uh, this is about over. Uh, do you want to watch the remainder of this one, <laughs> or uh, do we want to? Uh, I mean, the predictions would get hurt, I suppose, from chat. But um, we don't have to finish this game. Okay. I, okay I, so. You know, it, it's fine if we do. We don't have to. Um, Let me, it's over. Let me take a look at the. Um, That's okay. See what the bracket looks like if we have another game coming up anytime soon that we have ready. And... Gosh, there are so many teams playing. Okay, God Squad won their game 2 0, by the way. Cool. Uh, anyone was curious, so they're moving on. Oh my God. Luminosity should have their game very soon. Chat's asking, Zoro got a damage buff? No, got nerfed a while back. Zoro? Like, Zorula? Zoro Rorik? Cinderace Bush Strat at Ray? It's possible. Ooh, actually, the next game that is almost ready, I would love to do. Would be Flamin' Hot Dodrios versus most likely Dark Aura or Keyblades United are their two options. But they're currently currently tied 1-1, and they'll be going into Flamin' Hot Dodrios next, which would be pretty cool. Well, that's fine. Let's let's just pop out of this. All right, sounds good. GGs and all GGs. that. GGs. Yep. GT obviously playing well. Good to see them starting strong. This is how a lot of the early tournament goes. Like, look, if you put uh, any of these early teams into one of the top teams, something like that is going to go down. That's just mm -hmm. how it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you add a cookie as well? They sent me... I don't know if they sent me the request yet. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, no request being sent as of yet. Uh, let me check if how their game is going. Uh, they're in pool one. Yeah, TTV is seated second, so they are in pool two. And yeah, you can pull up the bracket on screen if you're looking at bracket. I really need to stop pulling it away. <laughs> you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to duplicate it so I have it twice. There we go. That's okay. going to cross the stream. <laughs> the stream. No. I know it. It did actually slow down Star GG quite a bit by doing that. It did not like that. All right. Too many cooks versus only friends. It could be going to game three. We don't know yet, though. But only friends starting with one and oh, that's pretty hype stuff for them okay so if we look at the oh my gosh they have to get they have to win the winner semifinals to get to play-ins because of how many teams there are who who has to win this winner semifinals well any team is oh. what i mean i think it's like one round shorter than or one round longer than uh yeah this will be one round longer than the eu teams okay uh, run 
but yeah, the the like by seeding, this would be luminosity against um not alter ego. Who would be seated highest in this side of the bracket? Oh, I don't know. Well, only friends would have to go through them. I guess I would you would probably say GT versus uh GT versus Luminosity is maybe the pro projected. Yeah, I think I can actually show projected. There we go. Yeah, so Luminosity versus GT would be the projected for this bracket. Alter Ego versus YouTube projected Ooh, for that one. That would one. be a hot game. YouTube also has to go through God Squad uh, to get there if they want to. Alter Ego has to go through Brave Birders to get there. Those would be hot um, games. Hot games. Okay, very cool. All right, so that's projected in pool one. Let's take a look at pool two. These are hot games, everybody. Okay. Okay. Uh, TTV versus Genesis. I don't know who's Genesis and why are they ranked higher than Ignorance? Is that Nemesis? Are they Genesis now? Oh, this is Bora, Faz, Lakoding, Rhino. Okay. Yeah, this is a great team. This is a good team, yeah. Okay. Gotcha. So Bora's great. That's, yeah. And then the projected on the other side is Nemesis versus Exile, which would be a very good game. Who's Exile? Exile is uh, Freak, Oblivion. Oh, it doesn't show on this project. Here, let me show you down here. Uh, pure, Oblivion, Freak, Neon, and Simp. <laughs> I mean, they, they picked the right name. <laughs> yeah yeah they did yeah they're a great team they, they could do really yeah, well yeah they're talented yeah. yeah they're one team that talked to me a little bit on twitter about maybe why i had them ranked so low and i was like that's maybe fair also hey thanks gaming very funny team name and they beat flippy rippy oh the toxic unite behavior match that's so cool to see <laughs> well apparently a thanks gamer is still better than someone who just flips that ray <laughs> I guess that's so. what we're learning right now yeah, exactly, exactly. Okay, what was the game I was... You were talking about Flame and Hot Dodrios, possibly, versus... versus uh... Darkora, potentially, right? Yeah. yeah. And they are on this bracket. Oh, so it's tied 1-1. One, one. Um, Dark Aura's in their third game right now. We could jump into Dark Aura's third game if we want, but... Sure. Okay. Because that's what we'd be going to next, anyway? We Yeah, we'll follow them if they win. Okay. If they don't, we'll fight whoever they're playing right now, so... Yeah, so this is the game three between Dark Aura on your purple side and then Keyblades United on the right-hand side or just KU. And they got a Meowscarada. Interesting. And Love a Sableye it. from CSE. Okay, okay. And Dark Aura's up one game, you said? No, it's tied. 1-1. One, one. Oh, tied 1-1. One, one. Ooh. Tied one. Exciting. Yeah, very. Okay, shall we watch the Sableye off the rip? Let's see what Can't Stop him does. Of course. <laughs> Sableye running up through the flux zone, using this pad, heading into the enemy central area. This is why you play this. <laughs> this is what we want. Yep. Are you not entertained? Here at the red buff oh. right away, showing themselves, but it looks like they're actually going to back off. Possibly Thief here? No. No Thief, they don't have it yet. There it is. Steals the AO synergy. Uses their X speed right away, too. They're going to go for a quick score. And then they're going to back off here. Try to get some secure. They do. They get another five. Glaceon here already. And, you um, know, uh, really, they weren't able to do too much. As soon as Hoopa saw them and they saw Hoopa, they said, all right, fine. And they left. Spragos, how do you feel about fast-forwarding this one to get to the later game? Because Only Friends are going to game three. We can hop into Only Friends' game if you'd like. Well, it won't be ready yet. Okay, let's fast so, forward then. Yeah, get us up to like five minutes or something. Yeah, sounds good. Let's cruise through. Early game going quite well for Dark War down here. So much work. Tank, yeah. those buffs look really crazy on fast forward. Yeah. <laughs> got it. Ooh, we got a Night Slash cat. Oh, interesting. That's fun. Man, we should just cast like this. Here we go, Umbreon and down on the bottom path, and we see Umbreon moving forward right here. Massive uh, Blizzard Avalanche right here as the Icicle Spears are coming in. Seven minutes on the clock. We do have Rayquaza spawning here at the bottom path, and now we have, it is Reggie, <laughs> Rayquaza, Reggie Rock at the bottom path. Massive Hyper Voice, they do go through, three go down on the side of the other the brown team, orange <laughs> team name, and then they go down and then score. Points are raining in, 223 to zero. <laughs> 
Now you see there actually it was a Sableye came in with the Chaos Streak of Two. It's the Confuse Ray that I was really wanting to point out. If you look back, oh no, you gotta look. Okay, well. <laughs> Dang, Masquerada uh, getting KO'd quite a bit, from what we can tell. <laughs> Doing okay, but I'm getting shut down. Yeah, it looks Ooh, like uh, Dark Horse scoring uh, on tier two. Yee -yee. These are uh, these are Serena games right here. Serena games. They're stomps. Oh, no. Yes. Oh, I see. That's clever. Mm -hmm. I thought just because that Pokemon's bad. <laughs> but yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> no, it's yeah. they're stomps. <laughs> yeah. I thought you were just like, yeah, Pokemon sucks. <laughs> this is Serena games. <laughs> It's terrible. <laughs> what would what would that be though? If you're like, oof, this is quite a blank game. What Pokemon would you like? Scizor? Um, this is a Scizor game for sure. Uh, yeah, this would be like a Jungle Scissor. <laughs> it's not completely oh. over though. They got Reggie. No, not at all. Yeah, they got Reggie. Four minutes on the clock. Level wise, they're they're behind. Oh, they're scoring their main. Uh, <laughs> level wise, they're behind, but it's definitely it's not over. No, not at all. Jasper Audio Knight doesn't even walk away with a KO and a Sylveon, though. They do mean look, though, but that Hyper Voice does like, so much damage. Eventually, they go down. So, yeah, you're right. This is not technically over. I mean, these are those are big KO pickups. At least they have that. Yep. Absolutely. Sure with that. Winnable. Oh, I see Winnable. now. What's up? Uh, I was like, why did Umbreon leave? And uh, now I see they they uh, they got Reggie Lucky in top. So I want to see if they can score. Mm. Makes sense. They need a, they okay, need some okay. points. I mean, look, this is we've seen some tough games. This is not unwinnable. It they just need to get a ton of experience. They need to win some big fights. That's all. Cannot agree more. My favorite part about Sableye's scoring animation is that he looks both ways. I I think that is so funny. <laughs> He's like, huh? Hmm? Okay, we're good. <laughs> and then he chucks it in. I think uh, I think Sableye could be the reason they might not be able to come back here. If that Sableye can get full yeah. pockets, it could stop them. Yeah, good luck getting a late game score against them, or stopping a late game score via Sableye. It's so because they're gonna difficult. need to take the fight full force. They don't have a choice. Mm -hmm. They have to Rick win. Koopa Meowskarada, by the way, that's a fun little duo. I yeah. like that a lot, actually. Mm -hmm. We got forty-five. No one's mm -hmm. no one's looking at this. This is doable, but then again, the same thing's happening the other way. Right, and it's going to be a 35 oh, and a 50 no. over dunk. Oh, gosh. Oh, jeez. <laughs> it's like the ideas are right, right? They're just kind of getting outplayed a I little mean, bit. I mean, the match Turn. is slipping away, but it's not impossible. Ray, That's true. full pocket, uh, full of uh, Ray with full pocket scores on the team, they do come back in this game. That's true. Yeah, they would need like all five down potentially. Yeah, uh, but it can happen. Look, they they, happen. they could sweep. They could win a team fight. It's not impossible. Level level fourteen now. Oh, they find Buzzwool early. If Kersey goes down here, this could be devastating. They unite, move on to Candle though. Umbreon steals all the shields. Buzzwool in a bad spot. They go down early. Yeah, that's that's worrisome. Yeah, I mean this is their moment oh, and no they're way. facing. The same no the same I hit him. The Sableye oh. hit three of them. Oh, is that what it was? The Sableye hit three of them with the Unite. And they got it. it. They blast us, gets it. They got oh it. Three down. Gosh. No. No. Dude. Okay. I mean, can't stop them trying to drop money. Does that allow them to double score? Yes. It does. Dude. Oh, boy. Oh, no, 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 no. Dude. <laughs> it's not over. It's so not over. They have to be smart here. Don't just run and lose your shields. They, no no way. That's no way. Lead. That's the lead, though. <laughs> no. Holy, what a match. <laughs> oh, my God. No way. All right. It's close. 537, 580. It's definitely not over, by the way. If I was on the orange team right now... Um, uh -huh. I'm I'm looking for a full pocket on one of my players still, because I don't I'm not comfortable with this lead. Yeah, I mean, well, it seems like they're just playing for defense though. I get it, I totally get it. But with Sableye, with with what it can do on a goal, I just I want someone to to put in points. I'd probably be Meow at this point. But <laughs> here they go. Just stacked up. They're all set. There's only one goal zone to score on. 
CSE gonna try to throw in two. Unite moves, hits two. So Umbreon and Blastoise are both gonna have to base. One score goes in. Slowbro desperately trying to get theirs, but they're not gonna be able to get the 24. Multiple members from Dark Aura down as Keyblades United hold strong. Dude. <laughs> oh, shot. What a game. Oh my word. Keyblades United. Set Dark Aura to loser's bracket in round one. Wow. <laughs> it just happened. Holy moly. Teams obviously switched around here. We don't know which team is yeah. purple and orange when we're spectating them. They always show us the perspective of orange. Uh, excuse me, the perspective of purple. Uh, but yeah. there you go. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, bizarre. bizarre. I mean, dude. I mean, there's a lot to say <laughs> about a match like that. I'll say that much. I mean, I, I feel like the chances of them losing that Ray is so low. Uh -huh. So low. <laughs> but they were winning already by so much. Hey. I mean, oh, wow, what oh. a tough one. <laughs> oh, that hurts. That hurts. That, uh, how do you recover from that? I Having guess. to play all the way through a loser's bracket Yeah. after that? Oh my gosh. By the way, if you're here on YouTube, the stream got restarted. I would love you for life if you smash that like button, everybody, because we're only down, we're down at 100 likes now. We had almost 1,000. So I'm very good reminder. About that. I got to do that. Smash that like button, everyone. You know what? Maybe if we get to 1,000, I'll, uh, I'll do something nice for the chat. <gasps> Maybe. I do have something nice. Wait, what is it? Well, it, how many likes do we need? It flops around like a fish. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah boy Gosh. yeah boy um, wow okay, what so a game looks... you know what i'm i'm so happy we got to see that game zoinks I, because me too <laughs> there there are a few things about that game that i think are kind of just important to talk about um yeah one is yeah, just you know there's this uh there's this thought process that you can't win a game like that you can mm -hmm. you have to i talk about it a lot you need to make a big catch so they caught buzzwool right yeah. Um. Mm -hmm. The uh, Sableye Unite was great. That was a great Hit Sableye three Unite. Three people to base. But yeah. let's say that Sableye Unite doesn't happen. That can still go down like that after you make a massive catch. It yeah. really can. So uh, I think you just have to recognize you just need to keep playing for your win condition. Keep playing for your win condition because it just happened on stream, a heartbreaker. And then you also have to decide, you know, as the team in the lead there, there are times where you can rip. I think if you're 100 points ahead, 200 points ahead, I'd probably rip. Mm. If I'm 400 points ahead, I wouldn't touch Ray with a 10-foot pole. <laughs> yeah, that's that's probably for the best. And I think it's just, I, I think games like that are important to see, you know? Yeah, I hey, agree. Hey, Spraggles, I want to know, do you get paid for this casting? No, we're just doing this. Um, everyone so, who subs chat. up or is watching and stuff like that helps support the stream. But no, I'm not getting paid for this casting. Unless someone in the chat wants to, you know, donate 100 memberships, then I'm getting paid. <laughs> Can fill my rate. <laughs> Talk to my agent. Thank you, Super Chats. And okay, it, and so the, the next question is, is Zoinks watch. getting paid is probably the most important question. <laughs> and here's what I'll say. It's community service at this if, point. If you guys donated $1,000, I wouldn't consider giving Zoinks a penny. $10,000, I would. it would actually make me even happier to not pay Zoinks. Okay? Yeah. Now, reminder, Doopsnacks is getting a portion. <laughs> Doopsnacks uh, gets 75%. <laughs> yeah, he is an, he's a... Hard negotiator. Yeah, look that <laughs> that guy really and that guy's worth every penny. He's here for a few <laughs> hours at the start of it. And he's making the big bucks. All right, oh, we're word. just supporting what he's up to right now. All right, we have game three between only friends and too many cooks. <laughs> too many cooks is a player named Resurrection. Oh, uh, that's a killer just, name. By the way, we just, just got a, a big chunk of gifteds right here. Thank you hey. so much. Luchery, thank, thank you for the gifted. You. Goldfingers, thank you for the 10 gifteds oh. right now. You know what? It's we should... hard to say thank you because it is, of course, spitting in my face. We should <laughs> we should figure out a way to pay for Zoink's car battery. That's what I think we should do. <laughs> I think we should. Oh, well. Proceeds from this stream 
We'll pay for Zoinks's car battery. Oh, I'll, that would... I'll, I'll promise this right now. And let, I don't know what, what kind of battery is this. <laughs> is, is this like huge. some sort of newfangled battery that costs four grand? No, no, no. It's a 2012. It's all good. It's only it's only around a hundred bucks. So. All right. Yeah, we'll all right. You yeah. hear? You heard it here first. Because because of the your generosity, everybody, Zoinks will get his car battery paid for. Oh, that is so kind. Through you, you, but Spraggle essentially chat. through me. Okay. Yeah. So let's never That's forget to thank correct. me. Yeah, exactly. Let's make sure we pay the piper on this. I hear it. Uh, let me get the okay. team names right. Sorry, Zoinks. Who, who do we have here? Only friends it, versus whom? Uh, this is too many cooks, as in two uh, T O O. Okay. Too many cooks. Danko playing the blast toys. Cookie dough, of course, on their signature Blissey, which I believe you called the most iconic Blissey in the world. Which, I uh, I think I don't think we can argue that. I, I think that's it, true. It, it's it's tough. I I do think. Uh, Cookie Dough's Blissey is right up there with Slash's Blissey. I'm not even kidding. Also, Zigzagooning, I believe, is Psyche. So I believe oh, nice. Zigzagooning is one of Psyche's alts, <laughs> which are, there, of which of which there are many. Unless it's unless it's the Espeon. Lurid? It could be Lurid. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Let me look. We're gonna find out. No, it is not lurid. It is not lurid. It is, in fact, uh, it is, in fact, the Ivysaur. Okay, Resurrection. I gotta say, look, I love Cookie Dough. I Resurrection needs to win. <laughs> the name's too good. <laughs> but only one hat, Spraggles. And, ooh, and but Drill Peck. Okay, so now I'm conflicted. Boy, <laughs> so this have, is a Drill Peck Dodrio correct. with one hat named Resurrection. <laughs> if they don't win, then we all this is, lose. This is the most complex storyline that we've ever had in competitive Pokemon Unite. I don't know what to tell you. Oof. Got some value there. That was Slowbro immediately KO'd. And all of Too Many Cooks just rocket in the middle path. Only friends sent running for the hills. It's crazy. We've got a, a bit of a wild story developing with Zoinks's car battery, but apparently okay. if Resurrection loses, Zoinks gets nothing. I can't believe this. <laughs> okay, no, Somehow, I'm this here just, for the gambling, It's though. just wild this how this good. goes, guys. This is good, yeah. I don't make the rules. At the same time, I do, but I, I, I certainly don't love them. <laughs> well, very kind of you. Oh, my word. Okay, Psyche does hit the Venusaur Evolution. Double Hoopa reset, though, makes it very difficult. The Sludge Bomb a little bit short, so they can't get the value there. And Slowbro goes down. Yeah, if, if, uh, if Resurrection loses, they steal Zoinks' tires. Zoinks will lose an Alternator <laughs> today or Zoinks. gain a car battery. One way or another, it's it's something happens oh, wow. for Zoinks. And the emotions are high. I'm I'm emotionally I invested. I'm emotionally terrified. Is that a thing? Oh, nice secure yeah. by Psyche via the solar beam. Gonna take this Reggie Rock. Bit of a defense boost to the squad, but I think the defense around the goal zone will be okay. I stand corrected. KO streak at two for Psyche. She is lining up these beams. Beautiful stuff right here. Seeing Cookie on a Blissey is just absolutely insane. One thing I love is seeing Cookie with an EXP share. I have duoed or trioed plenty with Cookie. Um, uh -huh. We haven't as much lately. Uh, sad, but true. Um, but she refused to run EXP share for the longest time. So I love that when she's playing competitive, she's like, oh, I guess, I guess now I'll use the item. Oh, that's awesome. Well, unfortunately, you could never convince her, but at least somebody has. <laughs> well, she's <laughs> like, look, if I get a real carry by my side, I'll power him up. <laughs> yeah, Otherwise, yeah. you know, I'm just hanging out. Yeah, I want the, alt, uh, you know, the amplifier. Give me the Unite Move amplifier. She I'm does it. love that energy amp on Blissey. It's to so be fair, sick. solo queue is like, it's the Wild West, man. You know? True, truly. Get in there Ooh. with what you, you know best. Oh, and then the Bliss Assistance on top of that combo play with the Blastoise. Meanwhile, Venusaur taking out the Embryon in the back line. Oh, wow, that was a weird visual effect as the Inteleon comes back through the Hoopa portal. Slime Shot takes out Cookie, Whoa. but the Reggie Alecki is taken by Lurid. Yeah, nice shot there by Lurid. Unfortunately, this is one of those Reggie Aleckis that you kind of wish you didn't get. Um, yeah. 20 into a 17. It's a it's a bummer of a Reggie Alecki. Of course, you don't want it coming your way either. But it, it's not a huge value either, yeah. you know. Seek him some, seek him some. Yeah. One of the old. 
Cookie Dough, almost at level 9. Obviously getting a United 8, but still. Uh, keeping pace with quite a few members on the enemy team. Another Slay at level 9 as the slow bro. Uh, gonna have a tough time finding a target other than Dodrio, right? Like, that is gonna be the number one Pokemon that you are trying to grab and set up for a big Venusaur Unite move or even just a good old Solar Beam should get the job done. Yeah, and here we go. We've got our Unites positioning around this pit. You know, if they can grab Inteleon, that wouldn't be bad either. They see where it sure. is right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Slay actually trying to get all the way up in their face via a slur for a bit of the movement, but a Snipe Shot is now out of range of a Registeel, notably. Another Slay is still going to be taking the body blocks for those hits. Danko eject buttons to get a three-person Hydro Typhoon. Forces out a Snowcloak passive and an Under Umbreon passive, but in the end, still walks away with a knockout. Yeah, nice play here, grabbing the telekinesis. I thought they might even pull them in just to use the Unite. I mean, we're at four minutes right now, so it feels like it's about time to do that. Hoopa with the play in the top Ooh. path. Look at him okay. bringing the squad in. No one's going to be able to make it in time. Now, is too many cooks going to try to push the second tier goals on the bot side? They do, so good call out by both squads on some bit of a macro rotation. It's a huge overdunk as well. So making up for that bot side uh, unfortunate play and now really capitalizing on it. And oh my word, only friends cruising through this enemy team. What a beautiful solar beam right there. Psy beam, Psy sh I mean, uh, not Psy shock, Psy beam as well with the stored mm -hmm. power. Gorgeous stuff there from uh, Only Friends. Yeah. So Psyche, uh, she and I and Bridget and uh, Uzi played in a tournament a while back and uh, we convinced her to start playing Venusaur. So I like to try to, I like to kind of think that I was the, I don't know, the, the GM that picked up Psyche and got her onto the Venusaur play because she's really locking it in now. I'd like to think of myself as the person who couldn't convince Cookie to play Blissey correctly. <laughs> yeah. That's who I'd like to think of myself yeah, as. I think that's a pretty good description. Now, Reggie Likey will be taken by too many cooks, and the Nodrio is able to get a few back caps in the meantime, completely undefended bottom tier goal zone. Oftentimes, you'll see a lot of top teams leave their tank in that rotation and kind of take that fight around Reggie Likey at four players to whatever the enemy's got, just so you have something to counter those bottom end scores. Because look at this. It's now getting to dangerous territory as 44 points is being threatened to score on the bot side. Jeez, look how close this game has become. 298 to 290. Obviously, Dodrio is the kind of Pokemon that can just run back. Literally, if Dodrio has 10 points on it, you could never stop it from scoring. You'd need the entire yeah. team there, a slow beam or something like that. You could just walk into that goal, put the points in, and all of a sudden, they're up, you know? Yeah. So... This is a really tough spot for both of these teams to be in. It's so incredibly close, and I think eight. if I'm only friends, I want to try to take a fight here. Oh, eight points separate them. I mean, that's right. I, I completely agree with you. You can't fight the score potential of too many cooks with that Dodrio. So yeah, team fighting is going to be your best option to feel a little bit safe. However, these teams playing it very patiently with that Venusaur, it's a a little bit tougher, I guess, to initiate a big team fight. I guess they decided if it's their home goal zone, maybe they won't be as threatened to score on it, but a bit of poison damage onto the raid, trying to bait out a few members of Too Many Cooks. All they got eyes on is Sarve, and maybe they found Wiseman now as well. Look, they're up, but not by much. You see Dodrio right now. You have to make a play. Minute 20, yeah. they, they're they definitely behind right here as Dodrio put in a huge grip of points. Big solar beam as they're moving through towards this fight. We do not have a slow beam yet. They don't want to pick it up on Umbreon. They move forward here. Blastoise looking for a big Unite move, being supported by the Blissey. Hoopa bringing the team in, but the team is getting decimated right now. And here comes the Dodrio looking for a massive drill peck, but they get the slow beam instead. Glaceon ripping through Blastoise but it is leaving on one and it looks like it's possibly going down now you have to uh -huh. recognize that they are behind only friends they can push back they can look for a back cap but with players respawning their call is to take Rayquaza it's getting incredibly low Umbreon doesn't have a chance to make it they secure it now all they need to do is score just uh -huh. one Pokemon getting into that goal zone and they can win this game and there they have it Wow, only friends gonna be moving on past a round one in a nail biter finish, I will say. That was unbelievably close in our game number three. I'm very glad that Cookie relented and allowed us to cast some of their games. As yeah, they are looking fantastic. What a crazy final moment. I honestly think Slay on that slow bro picking up that knockout with one last boosted auto onto the Glaceon was a game-changing moment. I mean if that huge. Glaceon gets away, that Rayquaza is 
way more threatening to even focus your attention on. And Teleon and Glaceon, two great last hitting secure Pokemon. So good job from Only Friends to capitalize on that. And um, there we have it. Only Friends. 2-1 victory over too many cooks. Super exciting game. I feel like the only missed plays were the Blissey. Um, but besides that, <laughs> I mean, what a game, you know? Yeah. I, I tend to disagree. Uh, oh, don't <laughs> but, even. You're getting your car <laughs> battery. Jeez. Yeah, yeah. No, I think I think more than anything, uh, seeing a Dodrio like Resurrection really pop off in a few moments was exciting enough for me to call that game. But wow! Yeah. All right, I'm glad we got a game in from uh, from Only Friends. In this me too. Practice. Playing that great. So yeah, great job, Cookie. You guys were excellent. That was awesome. For real, for real. Such a fun. I can't imagine the stress when that two minutes hit when it was that close of a game. Like that must have been just. So nerve wracking. Obviously, the chat yeah. is distraught that Resurrection lost, as you should <laughs> yes, be. Of course, it's one yes. of the best names that we've ever seen uh, inside of Pokemon Unite. Okay, can let's check to Resurrection see Resurrection Heroes win. <laughs> let's check to see if we have that Flame and Hot Dodrio's game or not. Oh, I missed uh, some super chats. Okay, one second. While Zoinks looks for this, yeah, I'll, I'll make sure that I, I uh, call out those super chats. Thank you guys so much for the support. Let me see what we got here. I got a super chat. One second here. Uh, okay, we got a super chat. Uh, don't give Zoinks any money. Hey, come on now. Um, got another super chat. Zoinks is tearing this broadcast down. He is an anchor. If you detach him, you can finally sail. These are so annoying. Is that um, like a like a comment about? I don't remember. I I don't know what it is, honestly. Uh, this next one, you have to give all of this to Zoinks, no exceptions. It's a penny. Gross. <laughs> Razel plays, yeah. uh, by the way, thank it's you, JC Vibes. Razel plays, let's go, Spraggles. I'm upset. The best player of my team is 15 years old, and I'm in Brazil. The minimum age of eight oh. is 18 to play regionals. That is a bummer. Did they not tell you that beforehand? Yeah, I feel like 15s, I, uh, I, I don't know a region where they'd let 15 play, unfortunately. Yeah, almost everywhere is 16 years old, but Brazil is higher for some reason. I, I'm not too sure why it's obviously some kind of regional rule, but. Yeah. What do we got here, Zoinks? I think it's it's usually prize money uh, wise. Um, I was kind of waiting on the Flaming Hot Dodrios versus Keyblades game to really kick off. People uh, are saying TTV's got a game. Okay. Um, yeah. If they if they pop up, we can get into them. Exile has started. Um, Exile Alter Ego has started. Ignorance has started. E Kittens has started. Um, I forget what team, uh, what the team name of Kiro is. Is it Depenta? Is that their team name? No, it is not. Depenta is Chunkernaut's team. Chat's wondering why we lose 12 likes. I don't know. Smash that like button, everybody. Yeah, quit losing them. Quit losing the likes. There's a thousand of you here, only 242 likes. That means mm -hmm. that 750 of you are, you know. I, I don't I don't want to say it. <laughs> I'll whisper it. Yeah, TTV should be starting Jokers. their game very, very soon. They've like literally been Jokers. in the lobby for 20 minutes, it sounds like. so. Well, I mean, there's a lot to discuss. <laughs> it's so true. There's a lot to discuss Ooh. in some of these games, Zoinks. Yeah, yeah. TTV, well known for their good bracket behavior. All right, uh, what else we got? Ignorance Coming from the chat, 15-year-olds play good, and uh, yeah, the response is kids are demonic at every game. It's true. You guys got to understand, when people are like, ah, this game, like a bunch of kids playing it, that would mean they're better. <laughs> that would mean they are better. They're better. I'm, I'm not talking about a four-year-old, obviously. <laughs> yeah. But if you're yeah. a kid, you're better at games. What else do you got going on? You don't exactly. have car batteries to deal with. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I <laughs> did my escapism spraggles. <laughs> yes. Um, Nemesis just started their game two. I believe they're currently up 1-0 over a team named Gokage. Um, How close is YT also? I'm, I'm interested to see them at some point. YT. Yeah, they haven't started yet either. I think they are. In, yeah, they're in pool one. So let's go over to pool one and take a look. Obviously, they were a team with a... Uh, they should be starting soon too. So we basically should we just grab whatever comes first, TTV or YT? I think so. Cool. I know Sounds people good. love the TTVs and the YTs. 
Mm -hmm. So it'd be good to grab one of them. I definitely want to. I, I feel bad. I didn't get to see YT on stream last time, so I would definitely want to see. Oh them. yeah, we got to get some YT. I'm excited to see this team play. I was, I had them ranked rather low. Um, which You're is, a hater. I, I, which I have been. Uh, you've notoriously yes. been. It's okay. It's, it's true. It's you, been consistent. Too, you've notoriously it, been a team YT hater. The I'm only notorious. reason is I just know they've really struggled in scrims recently, and so that was one of the reasons I was like, "Well, we'll see." But they're a team that always has the potential to win a tournament. They play. Like, they they, cool they perform on the YT. day, Zoinks. Exactly. They perform that's, on the that day. That is true. That is true. I, and I um, look, we we all hate things. You don't like Team YT. Dupe Snacks and I are obviously gunning to get OCE removed as a region. So we all, <laughs> from, yeah, from the region. We all have things that we're concerning ourselves with. Yeah, yeah, that is very true. Okay, well, while we have these couple of minutes, it seems, I'm going to go take a quick break. Uh, I'll be back in just two minutes. Great. We got a couple of minutes, everybody. We can open some cards if you want. Mm -mm 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 -mm. You can hang with me. I got some packs here of Paradox Rift. Paradox Rift is an important pack of Pokemon cards that you need to open. You think we're going to get normal energy? We usually don't get it right up top. We usually don't get it. Ooh, you got lucky. You got lucky. Normal energy. Blip bug. Fue. Coco. Snow run. Han edge. Simipore. Zebstrika, Crocolor, Gimme, Gimme Ghoul, Gimme Ghoul, Gimme, Gimme Ghoul, Garbador, and finally, oh, oh, what's sneaking out? Oh, what's sneaking out? It's the Hoopster, the Hoopster EX, ooh, beautiful, a beautiful card, a beautiful card. Was that fighting energy? Nah, normal energy. Do a poll, TTV or YouTube? I can do a poll. I think I, I think both are... Look, they're both going to be pretty brutal games to start out. I'd probably go with Team YT. Because I didn't get to see him on stream last time I, I cast, you know? I'd like to see him. But they're both great teams. I'll ask the chat, but... I don't even know if I need to ask the chat. You know, You know what I'm saying. You know. I think it's going to be good either way. We got a lot of love for both. I think we'll start with YT. If they're starting, I think we'll start with YT. TTV will sweep through first round. So will YT. There's, I, I mean, if they don't sweep through first round, that would be shocking. I would be like this. I'm telling you. You know how I might be? Like that? Seriously. Watch this. Someone in the chat say say Team YT lost in first round. I'll see when it pops up. Just read in the chat. Mm, practice this. TT won first game. Hitman's really good. What's the damage of Megahorn? Megahorn's is super, super good. Yeah. Megahorn's damage is huge. All right. Team YT lost. What? No. What? <laughs> no. Are you serious? Oh, no. That's crazy. No. See, guys, I'm telling you, I'd react big. It's not going to happen. Those are good reactions. I'm Thank impressed. you, man. Thank you. Yep. Mm -hmm. I uh, haven't been part. taking acting classes. They, they kick me out for being too good. <laughs> that also was pretty disruptive. Did not raise my hand. Yeah. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of times people would mid-scene and I'd go, fake! A lot of that. <laughs> but, you know, your head. I, I'm sorry. I, I'm the kind of person where at, at the end of the day, you know, you're you're walking away with something from me, whether it's positive or negative. Like I, I'm, I'm sorry that I'm not 
you know, fraudulent in my acting class, but I'm giving you notes. Yeah. I may not be the teacher, cool. but you can learn from anybody. Wait, is TTV actually 1-0? My wife said Team YT will lose. Come on now. <laughs> As I've said a million times, Pokey Face, leave your wife. <laughs> yeah, you gotta stop saying that, dude. <laughs> okay, so apparently TTV is up 1 0. Sounds about right. We can jump into TTV's game number two. Is it up? Or we can watch. It just came up. Okay. Or we can jump into Team YouTube's game one. Is Team YouTube's game one up? Yes. I wanna watch YouTube. All right, let's get into I it. I didn't get to see reason, him last time. Muck is on Slowbro. <laughs> Muck's on Slowbro? He's playing it as an attacker, huh? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Huh. I mean, it's not impossible. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's not. How we'll on see. earth do we have another Cinderace? How do I do this? <laughs> Huga. Uh, what's the team they're up against? I was just looking that up. Uh, TZU... Vuitons? Vuitons? Zoo Vuitons? Give me a give me a what we're gonna call them. T Z U. T Z U. Great. Zoo. 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 And they're okay. zero zero right now, huh? And Mux got EXP share on, of course. <laughs> so Phil can game. Yes, they are zero zero, sorry. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. Muck playing the uh support attacker slow bro is what it's gotta yep. be yeah because phil refuses to run exp share somebody's got to so muck thrown into the uh thrown into the field and that's so. i don't know how you don't love this team zoinks <laughs> it's awesome i do love this team so much though i really do uh i just i wish all the i wish them all the success because i want to cast as many team youtube games as i can because they are so fun they are. They're amazing. Up in this top path, Fui doing pretty well with the Buzzy Boy. Looking for that secure. Able to get it right here. Sam pushing forward right now. It's got that red buff. Ooh! Nice, nice little boosted right there. Pulling back to get a little farm. And we see Cinder... Uh, were they invaded? I don't maybe know. Maybe Clefable, I, That's huh? why I swapped over to them. I don't even think they did. Well, maybe they did after... Scoring? Because I know Aquilo went down trying to stack, so I'm not really sure what went down I'm there. thinking that's what it had to be, because Cinder's just so incredibly late to this. Yeah. Um, I think Aquilo must have walked into uh -oh. their center. Nice big KO there for Fui, and this is just not good at all for Atomics. Standing on this goal, they are going down for sure. Fui and uh, as we so talked hard. about, you know, the start of a bracket can be pretty tough for a newer team. <laughs> Yeah, that's very true. Uh, it's always tough in those kind of scenarios. Mimikyu not even able to make it out, though, as Slowbro and Phil chase the enemies down. And we're attempting to score, of course, right in their face. Muck not going to be able to do so with 26 points, though. Well, I, I take that back. Surf Stoice to the rescue. Yeah, big, big surf right there. Very, very nice. We up in this top path already level 7. We got three level 7s on the side of YouTube. That means we have our Kanto starters fully leveled up here. <laughs> no Char Charizard notably missing. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Pokemon that could do with some another round of buffs, I think. Yeah, that needs a buff. Yep. Absolutely. Venusaur. Give it back its true damage. Getting ripped up a little bit right here, but, you know, it's got a Clefable with it. It's also got a Giga Drain, so it's doing just fine here. Into this bottom path. Level-wise, uh, our Dratini's in a lot of trouble. They need to let one of these goals go, but it's kind of hard to make something like that happen because YouTube doesn't want to let it. Right. <laughs> They're smart enough to not allow that to happen. Yeah. Uh, especially if we use, obviously, uh, a Gudra Extraordinaire as well. She's the amount of damage that we get out. I mean, this is a level, almost level 9 to two level fours, right? This is what you're gonna. This is what you're gonna see. Fui was one of the Buzzwool, like yeah. the, putting the Buzzwool on the map. It was Fui, really, in Potato. It felt like yeah. that put Buzzwool. I on think the that's map. a good shout. Yeah, one of the Buzzwools of all time. Certainly. Yeah, one of the Buzzwools of all time for sure. <laughs> and it's really tough to let them have that Pokemon. I'm wondering what was banned out, Umbreon, I guess. Yeah, if we're going to start talking about draft, there are certainly some question marks that arise <laughs> in multiple areas. Uh, Cinderace, Gudra, uh, a whole lot of shenanigans have been added into this game specifically. 
I'm fine with Gudra. I'm fine with a few of these picks. It's just hard to pick them all together, right? I mean, that's one of the tough things. It's like when you're playing things that are a little off meta, it's kind of hard to have a lot of off meta all in one big chunk. Right. That's the thing. It's we make some arguments for some Pokemon is like, well, they're they're off meta, but they can still hang. There's some Pokemon that are off meta for a reason. You know what I mean? There are some that are like, well, we're making this a little harder on ourselves. Um, yeah, of course. Phil Level 10, them. not he's going Surf Stoice and not running EXP share as well, which I think is like the really bizarre part about this Team YouTube rollout, right? Because obviously you're putting Muck onto the secure tool to have the EXP share, blah, blah, blah. Phil, though, isn't even going into the damage build and just wants to run something else. I think he's going to do plenty of damage. I'm yep. guessing he's stacking <laughs> on it. I mean, the scaling is yeah. still really... Oh. oh. <laughs> Huh. Yep. Yeah. Team YouTube. <laughs> I mean, we just I don't have, think we're gonna watch the rest of the series, but we can probably watch. We just have. Game. It's just such a big. Um. You know, the start of tournaments. There's a. There's a large gap. Um. Mm -hmm. In in skill between these teams because what you're seeing are high seed teams against low seed teams. And Team YouTube is truly an incredible team. And they qualified yeah. for Worlds last year. They are playing with almost the exact same roster. Of course, they are having Muck join the fray, who I think. Muck and Chaotic, both very, very talented players, but Muck is obviously a grinder. He's been doing it for quite some time. And Muck also willing to play slow, bro. Well, I mean, it's a, you could play Scald, bro. You could play yeah. it as, a, as like a, a, an attacker, and it does give you an insane unite, you know? Yes. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I think playing defenders um, as attacker roles is extremely strong sometimes. It's not fun all the time, but it, it can get the job done. I think Scald Bro is. I mean, especially into a Cinder, Mimikyu, Dragonite. It's also pretty yeah. reasonable here, too. You know? That's true. Yeah, a lot of attack lowering uh, value that you can find. Uh, Demigod, um, please don't do that. I don't know if you know what, you, what you're supposed to do in chat, but don't do that, buddy. <laughs> Oof. Poor Espeon, caught out by this Blastoise. I mean, that's a tough, that's a great ambush tool, right? Uh, that's one of my favorite parts about the surf, to, uh, surf kit, is that hiding in tall grass with the Blastoise can really pay off in major ways sometimes. Oh, All yeah, of a sudden, yeah. you just surprise Blastoise, and it's just devastating for the enemy to have to deal with. And Phil may be a master at uh, specific maneuvers like that. Here we go, looking amazing. Get word from the chat that LG match is starting. It's gonna be this. Right, that's the thing. Like we want to watch all the top level teams. We do. It's just I think at the start of the tournament, it's better if we save them for a bit later. It is. It, it's tough. Like obviously, we don't want to miss any teams. Um, right. There's so many. Yeah. There's so many. But like guys, this is uh, th this is what the start of a tournament is when you're watching a, the top seeded teams. Yep. yep. There's no other. Exactly. There's no other way it can go. That's true. But that's okay. You know, sometimes we find diamonds in the rough, too. Well, teams look, that, we that, had no that idea. Dark Aura game earlier was exciting. Yes. Oh, my word. That game was unreal. I can't believe it was that close. Oh, that was... I. We just kept being like, it's over. It's it's. But it's not. It's not over. Hi, Spruggles. I... Please, please, please say hi. I've been watching you for two years, and I really wanted to talk to you. Not a chance. <laughs> No, thank of course. You. Hi, New Jeans. Uh, thank you for hanging out. Your New Jeans. Your New Jeans. <laughs> oh my goodness. Spraggles, how's the how's the TikTok grind been going? How's TikTok chat doing? What's up, TikTok chat? TikTok chat likes you and likes Cookie. Okay, good. Good to hear. <laughs> TikTok chat's people. on board for Zoinks. Uh, YouTube chat loves Team YouTube. Fair enough. Yep. I would expect them to. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Twitch chat. Uh, I'm not sure where Twitch chat's at right now. Yeah, they are a uh, divided people. Yeah. <laughs> we need to we get them to. I mean, lock we got in. Ramen Burb over there. They like TTV, of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> How could they not? How could they not? Oh, they roll. Is that Aquila rolling fly as well? Cinder down. Lots of night moves. Come on, Ray. Okay, mid is gonna go to Team YouTube. And there you have it. Yep. Team YouTube, I'm gonna start this match one and zero. Yeah, the look, Team YouTube's sick. I know Zoinks is a hater. I'm, yep, I'm I have always been a supporter. Zoinks, 
let's be honest that I've okay. always been a supporter. So that's what I will absolutely agree with. I think there is uh that you have always been a supporter, I have always been a hater, and I think you and I have both been wrong at times about those stances. You know what I Without mean? Without question. <laughs> like, Without question. I think we are we have both found moments where I should be chilling out a little bit and you should be maybe reeling back on your support a little bit. But what so, I've always said about Team YouTube is and I stand by this. Um, I could beat them all in a fist fight, but why would I fist fight? No. What I've always said about Team YouTube is um, they are the kind of team that could beat any team on, on, on yep. a given day. They are they are that good, and when they are playing, like, when they are, like, really gelling as a team, uh, I feel like they could beat the world champs, and they have. They've yeah, done. that's true. Oh, four-digit. Four digit game. Let's uh Ooh, shall we abandon ship? No, we you gotta line? you gotta see the yeah, scoreboard at the we, end. We do, we do, we do, we do. Okay, okay. Fair enough. Oh, eleven hundred points in total to the donut on the other side. Team YouTube, okay, did we talk about what they need to compete with uh to get to, to qualify with a projected? I don't know if we did. Um we didn't, I don't think, but I'd love to hear you uh or see you break it down. Let's see if we can bring it up. Let's, well, after the scoreboard, we'll take a look at it, and then I still would like to get into that Keyblades versus Flame and Hot Dodrios game if it's still available. I'm happy to. Um, but I know there's other top level teams we were talking about, but these 16k, there's a few of those. No, I'm not even 100k. Come on, Sam. What is this? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty cut. light. Oof. Well, I think the uh, the KOs speak for themselves, but impressive, yeah. impressive stuff. Quite a match. Yep, Team YouTube obviously just won up a 1-0 in that series, but most likely they will be taking down that one and headed on to the next matchup. Look at the spectate screen. See what we got to work with. Center battle. Ooh, lots of games ready. Uh, <laughs> that game is good to go. We haven't seen an Alter Ego game quite yet. Get new machine on. LG obviously has started. God Squad is cruising along. And yeah, I don't have that specific game I was talking about anyway. So there's a lot of different directions we can go. Um, Pull up LG. All right. Yeah, sounds good. Let's uh, let's take a little look at what LG has been putting together today. Uh, I think this is game one. I am pretty sure this is game one between Luminosity and VCG is who they're going up against. Okay. Let's talk TV. They got my champ. They do. Only one hat, though. Hmm. Which I, I guess mean, you would have to say is the right amount of hats for that Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, some Pokemon can't wear all the hats. <laughs> right, like the right amount of hats is different depending on what Pokemon you're dealing with. So This is, you know, probably shaking up to be similar to the match we just saw, but these are the world champs. I don't know what else you'd expect, right? Okay, let's take a look at what LG is playing today, though. So Overlord opting into Dragonite Central. I don't know if I've ever seen Overlord play Dragonite Central. Um, so that will be pretty interesting. I mean, back when this Pokemon was so meta, Overlord was basically the top path demon. So we didn't get to see them around too often. Um, but Jungle Book on the Blissey in partner with Slash's Buzzwool, which is uh, not a huge surprise that they're giving draft priority to that specifically. Coming from the chat, is this a... Uh, toddler versus the sun type match. I've never heard it, it described as that. I, if that, you ever allow a toddler to fight the sun, well, I have. I'm telling you, it sounds horrible. But I well, does. look at this. Leafeon actually putting in some work. I mean, making something happen up here. Yeah, rocking the Comfey as well uh, as a partner with them. So VCG opting into these hyper carry compositions. So a Comfey going to try to enable either a Machamp or the Leafeon to really take over the game. Obviously, Decidueye not going to have a lot of benefit from that, but they can try to set up them uh, their teammates as well. Interesting seeing Curios on the Glaceon in path. Obviously, mm -hmm. Glaceon struggles a lot in path, but it looks like they were able to out secure just about everything down here. Rowlet's matchup, I think you're probably okay there. <laughs> but Slowbro. Yeah, Slowbro I feel like would be there. hard. I, I yeah. Slowbro into these is I feel like it's a it's a tough fight for not not as much Crustle. Crustle's really powerful, but Glaceon's bad really. Yeah, the Dwebble Rock Slide, just low key the best crowd control move in the game. <laughs> it's so so good. Nice a secure here. I mean look, uh, they're they're actually keeping up with LG at the start of yeah. this, which is impressive. 
Mm -hmm. I mean, they are losing 77 to zero, um, but like levels wise and everything, you're right. They are they are holding their own in that regard. So not a landslide quite yet. Luminosity Gaming just sort of taking this one a little slow out of the beginning of the game. Well, they kind of have a slow comp too, right? Yep. Dragonite's not running into the path with Zorark or something. <laughs> That is true. Okay, so it is Dragon Dance. Obviously, that doesn't give us a perfect indication of the moveset. However, I think it's safe to say we're probably looking at a Hyper Beam Dragonite. It's most likely Hyper Beam Dragonite. And a lot of teams have been playing it lately, so I'm not surprised to see it. Um, I, I feel like it's gaining a lot of popularity. And I was playing it the other day on stream, and it is. It's Dragonite's still very solid. <laughs> yeah, incredibly so. Lugar going to throw in 19, bringing that goal zone down all the way to 8. Slash left alone a little bit on an island. No Blissey to support them. I think Jungle Book was actually looking in the enemy central area to see if there was any kind of option to try to invade or steal, but Slash is okay. They still make it back to the goal zone, and VCG doesn't really do any kind of chasing. If Slash had a Unite move here, he could have taken the entire team. He was just yep. a little too aggressive without the Unite move right there. But, you know, he. I, I think... Uh, Ironically, or not uh, not ironically, Buzzwool is trying to flex in the top path. <laughs> Agreed. Okay, VCG able to dodge the Rock Tomb with a very well-timed Leaf Blade as well, and they're able to retreat. Their goal zone is broken, so this Regilecki is scary for them, and LG was able to take that bot side, Reggie, completely free, which keeps this Decidueye at that Dartrix stage. Jeez, Overlord coming in with a Dragon, already level 11. Big secure oh with the Hyper Beam as they push towards this top path. I'm interested to see if uh, LG brings this out against some of the bigger teams they run into. Yeah. Because Dragonite is... Uh, Dragonite's happening, all right? For everyone out there that says Dragonite's <laughs> not happening, it is happening. I think Overlord is running Rapid Fire Scarf, too. Like, it seemed like there was a couple of moments where the Dragonite was all of a sudden doing a bunch more basic auto attacks. So I wouldn't be surprised for a Dragonite build, including both Muscle Band and Rapid Fire Scarf from Overlord. It's a very solid... Any Pokemon that attacks at range like this, Rapid Fire Scarf could be a solid choice for sure. And that Electric-type boosted auto attack, so powerful. So the yeah, more the, chances the you have to use that... on that are so good. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, call up from LG for a bit of support as Zogrog is down here defending the goal zone alone. Rubble Rouser to get some shield stuns a few members of the enemy team. And, of course, continues the defense, giving it up long enough for Overlord to return to the top path. Marvel Scale does proc via Surf, so not the best option. And LeChonk TTV looking for a target with the champ. Eject Buns in the last second, but it's not quite enough damage to turn the tide. And Glaceon going to find that KO. Curious on the board. Tell me what you think, Mr. Zoinks. Uh, I think Machamp is way, way overdue for some buffs. Oh my gosh, yes. I, I think it was on Twitter I was talking about it. I think Eeyore from APAC <laughs> talked to me about it, but it's a Pokemon I just forget exists <laughs> yeah. all the time. Like, it is, this Pokemon has some cool moments. It's got two unique builds, right? You have sort of that critical hit dive composition, or you have the pseudo off-tank style of build with the submission, but neither feel good enough to really make it viable. It... Oh my word, you, don't touch its Unite. Its Unite is fine, but everything else I do think could use a new look. I actually think they do need to touch its Unite. Uh, really? I think it's too easy to walk out of it, yeah. You literally can walk out of it. It feels like we're playing with fire if we increase that kind of level of power, though. You're probably <laughs> right, but at the, look, look, when something has just kind of become irrelevant, yeah, um, maybe it's time we start turning those dials. Yeah, I think I so. You. you know, I, I understand mm -hmm. there's... Look, there's a huge roster in this game. It's really hard for everything to get some love. But you do notice some things are just, like, really out of the meta for a considerable amount of time, and I think it's like, maybe give them a look. Yeah. Slow beam onto Buzzwool, but unfortunately, Buzzwool is not low on HP at all, so not really threatened at this moment in time. It's Luminosity Game and just cruising through. It's a Kale Streak of three for the Glaceon. Obviously, they started in Path, which is a tough place for Glaceon to be, but Kyrgios making the rest of the game look very, very valuable nonetheless. Yeah, the chat's noticing Overlord already level 14. You know, the thing about Overlord is he gets his levels. That is that is one thing that he will not be denied. Yeah. <laughs> Overlord will always, always be at minimum level thirteen. Yeah, he I you never you never see Overlord not getting his levels. He he is well aware that to be a strong carry on the team, he has to be a high level. 
The team does a very good job of enabling him as well. It's always been a criticism of LG, but also one of their hallmarks is that yeah, a lot of resources It's always easy to criticize the two-time world champs. Maybe they're doing something <laughs> wrong. Okay, listen. Of all people to say that. Anyway, <laughs> Overlord, a, uh, a player who demands a lot of resources on a team. Uh, however, they pay off when you give it to them. So it's hard to say no. Yeah. It, yeah. It, it, when you have a player that you know dominant of mm -hmm. course there oh nice oh. little secure there from the <laughs> decidueye when you have a player it. that dominant obviously you need to feed him right mm -hmm. I, that was a something i talked about last year i thought that was going to be an interesting uh dilemma for lg was having rin a player who yeah. is so used to being absolutely overfed and then overlord mm -hmm. same thing and, and how that was going to play out nice little ko's right there yeah, Coming back in this game a little bit. Oh. Very bizarre scoring right there. But you know what? I, I think you're just excited to get some points in. <laughs> you're just excited. That's true. Okay, so Leafeon has obviously found an answer to Glaceon. The problem is the Unite move was utilized there, and now they're probably running Energy Amplifier. Well, maybe not even. It's going to take some work to get that Unite move back online. LG, on the other hand, have got great positioning around Rayquaza, cutting off an entire pathway into the Ray Pit for the enemy team. So we've got Slowbro peeling up for a score right here. They're going to get it. They're still mm -hmm. quite a bit behind. And I mean, at any now time LG can start Ray, but of course LG doesn't want Ray. They know they're up by hundreds of points right now. So they're just looking for members to try to pick off right here. Yeah, Zuggrog going to try to isolate that Machamp. Decidueye Unite move is throwing in damage from range, but just seems to be peppering it in at this point. No one really getting too much of that value taken, and Slowbro goes down thanks to the Buzzwool. Leafeon, I assume, with another back cap is rotating around the backside, trying to find a big flank, and Overlord sniffing it out. Yeah, they know exactly where they're at. Overlord walking into the bush right here to find them. And there isn't a lot that this Leafeon's going to be able to do. Looking for a Unite move, but it just wasn't able to get it in time. It wasn't able to do enough damage fast enough. I kind of like these sneaky plays because they know that they're behind in a fight situation, right? So you've got Decidueye mm -hmm. looking for something. And they also know that LG doesn't want Ray. However, right. at some <laughs> point, maybe LG just says, all right, forget it. Yeah, yeah we have Overlord starting it right now. Yeah, Overlord starts it. We have the decision. I actually go for the back cap, but so is Zogrog. And that's that's the tough part about back caps. They can just be answered pretty much at any moment. Bliss assistance. No way. Okay, the Glaceon secures it. For some reason, I thought the Glaceon was on the enemy team side. But nope, that is Luminosity Gaming's Curios securing the Rayquaza. And LG going to get very, very dominant game one win in their first series of the day. Yeah. Uh, obviously, that they're just in control the entire match. Mm -hmm. They look like it. And uh, these are what you're going to see from a lot of these top teams at the start of this tournament. Yes. Just hearing from the chat that uh, YouTube stomped their second game. I'm kind of shocked after they won 1100 to 0 in that first game. <laughs> they actually had a good game, too, huh? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did Muck right. have to play Slowbro again? Who knows? Okay. Fair enough. All right, we are starting to get some uh, some really interesting games coming up soon in the bracket. Kind of just one game away, like one team is already qualified. We're just waiting on the second one sort of thing. But Overlord and Kyrios tying in KOs, 13 and 13. Uh, let's take a look at the damage numbers. And still, Dragonite denied the 100k number. Washed. Washed. Send them home. <laughs> yeah. Boy, they stopped being good. Yep. It's okay. Ooh, a Zorark ban was VCG's ban against LG. Interesting. Honestly. <laughs> They've seen enough I, of Overlord. They're like, you know what? <laughs> no, thank you. I kind of respect it because mm -hmm. I don't want to fight that. That yeah, makes sense. I, it's Zorark is not the best Pokemon in the game, but man, in the hands of a player like that, I, it's just a nightmare. <laughs> yeah, you do not want to have to deal with that at any point. Ooh, we got Gloxic, huh? Yeah, Glockslick is on a team named Perseverance, and they've actually been doing quite well um, in in some tournaments. They haven't been winning too many big events, but they've been uh, they've been doing some good performances. We could watch a we could watch a God Squad game as well. I think they are up one zero in their game right now. How about um, this Glockslick game? I mean, I'm I want okay, a game. I think I don't think it'll be super competitive. At, either but it would be nice to have games that were a little more competitive we're going to be seeing these teams all day that's true okay like, these that big Dark teams Aura were game not... i was talking about oh no darker is in losers bracket right now actually never mind um but yeah let's let's definitely find a a more competitive game we have the capability to do that ender on the blissy eh Ooh, interesting 
Yeah, God Squad's in their game too. Perseverance is versus Secret Agent. So if we let's turn into Perseverance. They are currently up 1-0. Um, and they are playing against Secret Agents, is the enemy team. Okay. <laughs> Agent Mr. Bond YouTube. Heck yeah. <laughs> They're leading into it. <clears throat> Taco bro on the slow bro. Let's we got go. purse versus what was it? Perseverance versus secret agents. Okay. Uh, and Perseverance is up 1 0 okay. in this matchup. Their opponents, uh, of course, secret agents, will be Bulbasaur headed into the central area. No sign of an invade yet until I say that, as Rod V is actually going to go on the Blissey invade. EXP Shooter gives you that movement speed. It is enticing at any moment in time. As Bulbasaur just working through the ball toys, it seems like the only one Rod V is interested in taking away is that red buff, if given the opportunity. I mean, we've been seeing this today, these supporter invades. Let's take a look mm -hmm. at it. I want to see if they're able to get that secure. You got yeah. it. Oh, they got a long ways to walk. Yeah, good call by Kim Gucci to bring it to the other side, but they do take it and they get the evolution. So Blissey walking back to top side with a red buff and most notably is leaving behind a Bulbasaur to fend for himself. Boy, I'm I'm kind of loving seeing Whirlpool Azu. Yeah. I, 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 how do I want to say this? I don't <laughs> agree with it, but I respect okay. it. Sure. And w you would agree with, what is it, Water Pulse in that slot? Is that Well, the Water other Pulse option? is the other move. Um, oh, Aqua Tail is the other option. Aqua Tail is right? the other move. I don't think I'd agree with any Azu, but I respect okay. it. I respect it so yeah. much. There is a few players that just swear by the Azumarill, right? It's like a hardcore pocket pick for them. It's never been my favorite Pokemon to play. It's like one of the only all-rounders I think I'm pretty uncomfortable on, just because I haven't played it too often. But uh, good to see Alice rocking with it. The blue bunny in the top hat. Play rough as well. Wow. Chat's saying I spelled perseverance wrong. Doesn't look like it to me. <laughs> I've never spelled. I've never spelled the word right in my life. So don't ask me. It looks right to me. That's all I'm saying. All right. Good to hear. Security L on the Buzzwool has hit level five at the very least. They are behind the enemy laners, but at least they're getting some early experience. And they're going to head to stack. While the rest of Perseverance has actually chose a more aggressive route. As they are charging towards this bottom tier one goal zone. All five members for Perseverance at 740 have arrived at this tier number one. Yeah, and this is uh, this could be a huge moment for them to crash into this goal. But great defense right there, and now it sent them scattered. And they're going to have to decide what they want to do in this moment. Looks like they're running back up to top path because they have left a Buzzwool here all alone. Buzzwool now seeing the exact situation there and missing their grab right there. Not able to make it happen. Man, play rough Whirlpool coming in in this match. It's, it's, uh, it's a choice. It's a choice. So far, it's been effective, though. We can't take that one away from them. However, that could be in part because of the Leafeon right beside them at any given moment. Uh, Leafeon definitely putting out the majority of the damage between these two. But Azumarill into Buzzle, I actually don't hate it. That, like, Of course, that passive getting the auto crits onto one enemy. And Buzzle is a Pokemon that will be isolated and sort of left on an island quite a bit. So Azumarill thriving in that scenario. Look, uh, I'm happy for them. I don't <laughs> think this is good at all, <laughs> but it's it. Look, it proved me wrong. Uh, I don't think this is the match to do it, but uh, I, I'm happy for them. Whatever they would like to play, you know, ma make the meta. Yes. Some people want to play the meta. I say make the meta. Yeah, I'm right there with you. Making the meta is way more fun. Registeel brought extremely low, and it's the Venusaur from downtown from Kim Gucci, who's going to grab that Registeel. Of course, earn all of the benefits that comes with it. Chaos Streak of 2 also in tandem with that. All of a sudden, this team coming alive. Espeon holds him in place. Venu grabs one, and there we go. Let's go yeah. Secret Agents. Points raining in right here. Nice big score. Now we're at 119, 117, one goal zone down for both of these teams. This thing is evening up pretty well. You've got uh, some interesting matchups as this continues to play out. Buzzwool just hitting their level nine here, so they have their Unite move, which could be really huge. Oh, they actually decide to turn on this fight. We could see a big Unite right here. No, they actually decide to back out. Oh, ooh, I, feel, I feel like they could have taken that in that moment right there, but obviously they wanted to play it a little more cautious than that. 
Yeah. Um, and you're talking about secret agents in that scenario, right? Oh, what did I say? No, d that's what I was talking about. Were you talking about secret agents? I, I was just trying to confirm, but with your line of thought thinking. But basically, the only reason I'd say they might hold off a little bit is just they are down 1-0 in the series, right? That can do a lot to a team mentally. Uh -huh. You're just you're playing safer. You don't want to go down early. And oh my gosh, I hate that mini map button. Uh, <laughs> Leafion getting the bliss assistance really turns that fight around. Reggie Alecki headed towards their team as well. Not a good look that they have to deal with. Yeah, not, unfortunate for them. And yes, I was talking about secret agents. I feel like in that moment with Buzzwall, that's a Unite moment. You just, you take that right there. You take that win in that top path. Instead, they kind of use their Unite much later when they were much healthier. Yep. Well, Reggie Lucky almost hitting tier 2 obviously gives them a ton of vision of where the enemies are, and that is going to be good enough for Perseverance to try to make a push onto the bottom side path. 20 points do go in for Rod V on this Blissey, so at least uh, some amount of worth as they do take a lead, 139 to 117. It is close, but at least Perseverance has found themselves a lead, or at least if you're a Perseverance fan, you're getting pretty pumped about that. Yeah, you are. 139, 117, like you were mentioning, down in this bottom path. We got a big fight breaking out. Leafeon is coming down. We do not have Buzzwool. So Buzzwool is busy getting themselves stronger. They're working out in that top path. They actually are basing and running down, but Regirock is already at half. This feels like a waste for Buzzwool to make it here, but we're going to see if they can get there in time. No, they cannot at all. Uh, I feel like Buzzwool in this moment just needed to go farm. Yeah, not even close. And oh, what a Unite move by Glocksick on that Blastoise hitting so many targets, knocking them all up. And they're not done after that either. A Surf crossed that goal zone to both defend their teammates scoring, but also look for even more KOs. We have the Espeon and Venusaur, the two long-range special attack damage dealers on this team, retreated all the way back to Tier 2. And of course, running all the way back to their central area. It's their only option to level up in this game so far has just been clear farm on cooldown. Yeah, I don't, I mean, for me, I, I don't know if it's uh, better late than never. I think maybe never for that Buzzwool would have been the better call. It just felt like they were never going to get that positioning with the way that they, you know, that was shaking out. I'm sure they were charging a Unite move or, you know, clearing a certain piece of farm that was important for them, obviously. But, you know, you're not going to make it to that fight. It looks like a possible steel angle with a beam, and then you're just going to have to run away from it. Now we have Reggie Alecki walking towards Tier 2 again. 226, 117. They are up now, and we get to see Perseverance just head back to their side of the map and big farm up. Yeah, I've got a big farm up. My favorite. Uh, a whole minute left in this matchup for these teams just to slowly take it easy and force get stronger like we were just talking about. Final team fight wise, win conditions are pretty difficult here, Spraggles, for the side of Secret Agents. Uh -huh. um, they do have the Venusaur Unite and the Slowbro Unite, which I think are going to be the two major difference makers. But there's not a lot of targets on the other side that just evaporate at a, at a press of a button. Um, maybe Glaceon and Leafeon can be considered to that, but those are tough targets to lock down, even with a Slowbro. Yeah, it's just... It's really tough. If they get Leafeon, if they get Glaceon, they can start to kind of snowball this fight, especially mm -hmm. if one of them goes down and then they can start pushing in with Buzzwool, right? Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Also, if they're grouped up, you have the Psybeam as well from the Espeon, but you're right. It's going to be a tough fight, and that Bliss Assistance really is going to be able to stop most all of what is going to get thrown at them. We're just going to have to see how they want to engage right here. They're definitely behind. They're going to be the team that needs to make the play. As mm -hmm. we see Surf kind of, you know, hitting them right there. You know they hit them because of that Resonant Guard. So you get some information right there. So you're aware yeah. that they were hiding in that L bush. Is now they have peeled back from it right now. And they're just looking for their moment. Down by over 100. They have to be the team that is pushing here. They have to be the team that is forcing something to happen. Blastoise peeling off right now. Possibly looking for a score, but actually looking to come in on the other side of the team. This could be a massive moment for them. Thrown up into the air. We don't yet have the Blastoise Unite. It goes down without a Unite as Venusaur throws a huge Unite move. Two down right now for Perseverance. This fight is going very, very well. If you're the orange team, as three are now down, it's going to be time for them to make a play, and that play is definitely Rayquaza. Four down now. Blastoise has respawned. It's time to take Ray. You have to move as quickly as you can, and for some reason, this team is sort of split a little bit. I, they need to not worry so much about Azumarill as now Blastoise moves in where a possible security gets it! Oh, Glocksick with a five-player Hydro Typhoon and a Hydro Pump to secure. That is 
you're right. That is a fumble by Secret Agents if I've ever seen it. But what a pickup by Perseverance to take that one. Oh, my word. Azumarill, obviously a thorn in their side, but maybe not the threat they needed to worry about. Is yes, some scoring attempts are going to be made now from the side of Secret Agents. Doesn't quite give them the lead, but they are taking these fights with no shields. Blissey, who was up at the time of Rayquaza's knockout, has now headed to score a goal. Yeah, Blissey's going to be able to score here. I mean, they're just going to have to try to put points in. There's no way that they can stop a Blissey with a shield here. And they are going to go down. It's an unfortunate moment here for our Orange Side team, Secret Agents. But, uh, you know, the fact of the matter is, is they... Uh, they, they, uh, fumbled the ball on the one-yard line. Um, Azu had no chance of securing that. Yeah. No chance of securing it. I do think the Azumarill was an interesting X factor in that team fight. Yes. Um, however, when it came to securing, yeah, that, that's not a, not a factor that you need to be worrying about. Espeon may be paying a little bit too much attention to that. And unfortunately, Secret Agents are going to be taking a pretty early exit out of the winner side of the bracket to make their run via bottom side. Perseverance going to be moving on on the winner side. Yeah, good job to uh, Perseverance. That was game number two. Perseverance mm -hmm. was already up by one. Uh, of course, like I've said before, it's uh, it's always easy from the cheap seats to say what you woulda, coulda, shoulda. So I'm not. I I don't like to you know uh, harp on these teams like oh you fools had only I been there. But at the same time. Um, prioritizing Azu in any way, shape, or form, uh, Pokemon that had zero chance of securing that, I feel like was just a, unfortunately a big mistake, and it's going to cost them their winner's bracket run, so they're going to have to pick it up in losers. Yep. Okay, win Ray lose Azu game. slayed. Azu did not slay. <laughs> that, <laughs> that entire team comp is... I, I, Perseverance should not play that team comp again. That's just my take. That's not good. Azu slayed. Azu slayed. I'm yeah. <laughs> Azu slayed. <laughs> okay, um, so if we want to see some more teams, Ignorance versus Eruption actually could be a pretty cool watch. Um, Ignorance, obviously a team well-known for their pretty bizarre builds, I think is maybe why they're most notorious, the Assault Vest Enjoyers. Uh, however, Eruption is kind of a newer team that has been doing extremely well in grassroots events. Um, so definitely a team that we could keep our eyes on. Uh, Flame and Hot Dodrios going up against another one of those teams in Umbra Volpium. So another team that has been doing extremely, extremely well in grassroots. Uh, so both of those teams that we could keep our eyes on for games to spectate. Take a look at the other pool. Gosh, there's just so many teams in NA. My eyes are going cross. I know, there's just so much, right? Uh, Viridian versus Anbu would be so good, but I don't know uh, who's going to be making it in there and seizing as Royal Garden Anbu are still playing it out. GT versus Regicide could be interesting. And Midnight Mulders versus E Kittens, another good game as well. That is a good game. Yeah, that's a good game. Yeah. Okay, let's see what's actually on the spectate list. Sure. Because I'm just let's looking at it. potentials <laughs> now. <laughs> so, uh, Nemesis, GT, and oh my gosh, who is Kiro's team? Let me look this up because I'm tired of not knowing. <laughs> I love people saying Azu carried. I know you guys are kidding. But some people won't think you're kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Spraggles, notably misinformation, not a joyer. Doesn't want to. Um, actually. <laughs> uh, only oh, fans Umbra right. Volpium is who Blue Hero is playing on. Very cool. Okay. So. Who said we joking? You better be joking. If you watch that game, you better be kidding. <laughs> Okay. Guess I'll buy Azu next. Thanks, guys. There you go. Do we want to do Umbra Volpium versus Flame and Hot Dodrios? Sure. Sounds good okay, to me. Sick. So we are going to jump in with uh, Umbra on the um, on the left hand side. Okay. Versus uh, versus Flame and Hot Dodrios on the orange side. And is this 0-0 uh, zero, zero really right worked. now? It is 0-0. Zero, zero. Great. This will be the first game. Seeing the start of this series right here. Let's take a look at this draft. Zoinks, Clefable, Umbreon, Decidueye, Mimikyu, Lucario. We got a Talonflame on the other side. Boy, uh, if I'm uh, Curio, I'm so upset seeing a Talon, honestly. 
Oh my gosh, yeah, that seems like a hard call out to this poor Dotrio to have to deal with, especially because I assume Kiro from this initial rollout is going to be going into the bottom path, not even going to be able to hit level 5 quickly as Elo Poppy on this Talonflame is going to clear and move. I've seen this player play a lot before. They are underdunk uh, phenoms, these Flame and Hot Dotrios. I think the evenings are a lot more free for them than the weekends normally, and Elo Poppy is well known for their Gengar play, Sprites. Yeah, that's uh, an exciting Pokemon that I feel like you don't see competitively really at all. Yeah. I was wondering if we were going to see, uh, who was it? Bora. Bora Reach pull out a little mm -hmm. Gengar. They oh, are I known for an insane or Hex Gengar. Or Titar, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that'd be so fun. Yeah, Steel and Jay doing a good job of holding down the fort against a Pokemon like the Rowlet, who obviously has a lot of good auto attack damage. But when you have a Squirtle taking a lot of those hits, you're probably going to be okay. Here we go up in the top path. We're looking for a level five here for their Buzzwool and possibly a level four here for the Eldy. Neither happens from that moment right there. I wonder if they peel away from that, if they actually hand that to Eldy. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's close yeah. enough. But we have the Mimikyu up here right now looking for the big Shadow Claws. Another one's coming out right now. They're just looking. They could possibly KO multiple members of the enemy team, but with that level five Buzzwool, it is not happening. Nice big double KO in the top path. Looking for another KO on Lucario. They should be able to get it as Luca is fighting, pushing back, able to take Talon, but it's that auto attack from the Eldy that finally seals up Luca. Let's go, Kristen. Gamer Kristen on Twitter. Make sure to follow him. Uh, that's what I should be doing. I should just shout out everyone's social media as well we cast. That'd be fun. Yeah, that's All what right. you should be doing. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, Steel and Shaman. Or not, sorry. It's not Steel. Kristen and Shaman having a really good top path showing so far. However, the Ego West duo doing okay as well. Almost at level six. The problem is Shaman has already arrived at that specific benchmark and is walking all over them. Midbird's not even going to be a question. Flamin' Hot Dodrios picking all of those up. And the Buzzwool doesn't even need to be there as they get in some more attack weight stacks on the top side. Yeah, Flamin' Hot doing incredible right now. Again, we already have the level seven for the Talon. I'm not sure which kind we got. I, we didn't see. It's got Flame Charge, so I have to assume we're Fly Flame Charge, and we yeah, are. Yeah. Heading back into the center, just picking up some experience right here. This is going to be a real tough one for Umbra. I mean, they've got two Pokemon that Talon Flame eats for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, so it's going to be a, a hard one for them. Oof. Yeah, just the level, of, even with a Moonlight Clefable, they're going to find that KO. So, so much damage coming from Elo Poppy. They take down all three, and the first set of objectives isn't even here. It's a very high KO count game. We're setting that goal zone down to one. Elo Poppy, wise to the tricks, though, of Umbra. They do not go for the score. They peel away. Yeah, they peel away. They also would love to be level nine so that they could put 40 in right now. Um, if they could get there real quick, and now they are able to get there, this is just a better score for them to make. And yeah. they're looking for 36 either way. So this Jeez. is a, a really strong score. Uh, big overcap on the top path. Now they can get Reggie Alecki done here. In the bottom path, they're just kind of trading a little bit. They're winning. And uh, no one is taking the bottom ray because of that. Here comes uh, Mimikyu for a nice big KO right here. They absolutely need this. And they do pick it up. Okay, yeah, the Lucario getting a nice stun. I think the gravity stopped the Smackdown in its tracks from his Egoist, so impressive stuff there. Mimikyu is really nice, too, with Shadow Claw. I mean, it rips objective mm -hmm. super fast. It rips Reggie Alecki, so they're not going to hurt too much from this, even though, you know, top path was pretty devastating for them. Bo bottom path looks like it was as well. They're definitely behind in this moment, but Mimikyu is the kind of Pokemon that could actually peel them out of a bad situation like this. Talon coming in, trying to see what they can do against that Decidueye. As we have points raining in here in this top path, Talon looking for a KO, but maybe getting a little too deep. Having to use a Unite move, actually, misses the Unite on the KO. Another arrow. Jeez, that was so close. Yeah, a little too close for comfort. Kiro almost finding the KO there. Elo Poppy going to need to rotate towards the Reggie Rock instead. Uh, meanwhile, at this first tier goal zone, we do have a few members from Umbra actually going for a bit of back cap scenarios. Uh, but now they're going to have to face the wrath of the Flamin' Hot Dodrios, who have noticed them and are starting to find a KO. 
uh, series coming up right here. Yeah, now we have five pushing in this bottom path. We have no pads either, Zoink, so that means they can push here, they can get KOs, and it's hard for them to get back to defend this as Blastoise moves in with a huge Unite move. We have Mimikyu trying to get a targeted Unite onto the Talon, but Talon barely makes it out of there with absolutely nothing. Mimikyu's gonna have to pick up Eldegoss in exchange. Two do go down for the Flame and Hot Dodrios, though, as Umbra actually takes the better of that exchange. Wow, Umbra? Okay, they're scrappy. They're fighting back. This is not completely over. Flamin' Hot Dodrio's obviously having a very nice score lead, and a few members at level 11 does put them ahead on the experience race, but that does not mean that Umbra Volpium is out of this matchup quite yet. Steel tries to find the Decidueye and cut them off. However, Kiro, wise enough to be able to run back to the tall grass and avoid getting smacked by that surf. Here we go. Top path, Regieleki in five seconds. And Umbra actually in great position for it, but we do see the Dodrios slowly making their way up there. They always have a Talonflame, so Talonflame can get somewhere pretty fast and look for a secure. If they could just secure this quickly, they're going to be able to get it, and they do. Really, really nice for them. Clefable does go down, and we're going to see if they pay for this Regieleki with a few KOs. Buzzwall coming in with a big Unite move, looking to take down Mimikyu, and they do. LD taking to the sky right now as we see points are attempting to be scored in this top path. A few do go in. Nice Decidueye Unite move to push them back right here. They're trading a few KOs for a few points on both sides. Yeah, Lucario dropped their Unite move as well. I think it did some decent damage oh. to the Buzzwall, but ooh, okay. Kiro making sure that that blue buff doesn't go too far from home as they not only bring the bird down, but also earn themselves the Acel Gore in the process. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful arrow right there. And that, I mean, with any of these snipers at any moment, something can just kind of disappear. And it's always yeah. fun to see. Mm hmm Inteleon versus the Sigui games are always interesting because one's all about body blocking and one's all about making sure you scatter. You don't want to get multiple Pokemon hit by Spirit Shrackle, so you want to play a little bit split, but you don't want Inteleon to hit your back line, so you want your defenders to kind of bulk up around your carry. So it's two different schools of thoughts around the snipers, which is uh, pretty interesting to see these two match up. You don't want multiple Pokemon hit by Spirit Shackle? Why not? Um, well, I find that it is a look, but not my favorite one that I've seen. Oh, I, I mean, hitting multiple with Spirit Shackle is my absolute favorite thing. If I'm shooting Spirit Shackle, I'm a huge fan. It's a bit of a flip-flop scenario. Oh, I guess you're right, yeah. Here yeah. we are in this top path. Buzzwool looking for Lucario. They are able to get it. No, oh, Lucario possibly making it out here. We've got Blastoise moving in. It's the auto from uh -huh. LD once again. It's It feels like everyone knows, but you forget how gross uh -huh. Eldegoss is. Especially it's boosted. The boosted auto slowing effect onto any Pokemon is just so frustrating to play around. It's not cute charm frustrating. I'll say that also, notable lack of Wigglytuff today. I think that is maybe something that I'm a little surprised about so far. But also, uh, just that Eldegoss damage and the slowing effect, so, so powerful. Yeah, I'm also surprised with that. You know, we got some nice buffs for Wiggly, but I guess they just weren't enough for it to get a ton of competitive play. We saw more right when it got buffed, but I guess mm -hmm. everyone's off that currently. As we're getting ready for this fight, it's a level 14 Mimikyu, level 14 Buzzwool. We have some big power Pokemon on both sides. So, you know, if uh, if either team could get something to start here, they could probably finish it. Last hit secure is also so interesting. So you have Snipe Shot and Fly from the side of Flame and Hot Dodrios. But then you have like Power Up Punch and Spirit Shackle over the side of Umbra. Like it is close. We are going to let the Talonflame score, and they're going to fly away completely safe. That's 46 doubling up in the final stretch. I mean, let is an interesting word there. <laughs> There's, like, not mm -hmm. much they could do about that one, right, right. with that yeah, goal zone so. inactive. <laughs> like, Talonflame, they tried. They tried to power a punch. They tried to do something to it. But now they know they're behind on the side of Umbra. So it's time for them to figure out what's going on, try to make a play here. Nice big Spirit Shackles landing on the Blastoise. They're going to continue to fire them. Found Eldegoth found Blastoise, big snipe shot, hits the Clefable, but we're still kind of dancing this moment out, and they do have great secure on both sides, so if this were to go down, I mean, you're kind of into flip territory. Talonflame coming around the backside right now, looking for this Decidueye, possibly looking for a Unite move, here we go. No, they don't decide to Unite, they actually just eject towards Decidueye, and they end up autoing it to take it down. That's going to be one down for Umbra, flying into the air, Lucario goes down as well, that's going to be two, and now it's time for them to clean up this fight. That is going to be an ace. They wipe the entire squad. Ooh wee 
Flaming hot Dodrios. Yes, it is a red bird. It's Talon Flame, not the Dodrio, I guess. But Elo Poppy popping off in that final moment. I like that play, though, from Shaman and Elo Poppy sort of working in tandem on that flank. I think they're trying to bait out gravity in either side. If Gravity goes for the Buzzwool, that's fine. Talonflame is allowed to cook. If it grabs a Talon, that's all right. Buzzwool gets a free Unite move to basically take out whoever they want. Very, very threatening double dive attempt from the squad. Um, and uh, in the end, Mimikyu Unite was used to shut down the Buzzwool, but I don't think they were even able to get the KO in the middle of that. So impressive stuff. Flame and Hato Drios, 1-0 in the series. Yeah, really nice stuff from them. I knew it was going to be tough when I saw that Talon Flame uh, into that uh, Decidual. Uh -huh. I knew it. Because yeah, when I play Talon, hard. if you see things like that, you know, things that are squishy, like Candle, uh, Decidueye, that they're just squishy attackers that have no good mobility. I mean, mm -hmm. you're in heaven. You're in absolute heaven. Yep. Uh, it has to be a final pick. I know Elo Poppy kind of historically at the bottom of these draft screens because they're the ones picking the most weirdo stuff. So you're gonna you're gonna keep that near the end for a surprise when it comes to draft. So I'm sure that was a response to the Decidueye Mimikyu even. So that would make a lot of sense to me. All right. Do we want to try to stick with this series? Do we want to bounce off? How are you feeling? I think the series is pretty good. I mean, we can see what's going on with the rest of the bracket. Of course, once some of the big teams start clashing, we absolutely want to prioritize seeing those games. But yeah, why don't you pull up uh, our bracket here and just kind of see where we're at? Um, Sounds good. I was just going to do a real quick check of the... Uh, okay, so the second game has started, but we we'll probably have like three or four minutes until... Uh, we're allowed to spectate. So let's take a look at the bracket. Sure. So it's ETV, of course, moving on throughout their bracket. They take down Carnage 2-0, and they are queued up against Fixed Next. The winner of the series we are watching right now will go on to play TTV, um, is notable. Yes. Uh, Genesis versus Phalanx Guard. Uh, Phalanx Guard is a really fun team, by the way. I remember looking up at this roster. Yeah, it's Ripto, Griff, the the guy, AT. I think that's that guy from all the chats. Gastrodon and Shimmy Bear. So Phalanx Guard, a very fun team. Also, they made that name before the Phalanx news came out. Well, so, that means it's a very cool. good. It's very good. Genesis on a run as well, of course. The Faz team that we were talking about before uh, having a pretty decent showing so far today. Bora Reach and all them uh, getting close to this next point. Ignorance versus Eruption. Nemesis is going up against only Trolls. Don't know anybody on Spinal or Avarice. Exile and Win Ray Lose Game seems to be just starting their match at 0 0, and Eclipse and Wolves United 0 0 as well. Let's take one quick check in at the other side of the pool so we can see the big teams over there. I think sure. LG and YouTube and all them, but yeah. Star GG is uh, being a little uncooperative right now, but we'll get you in a sec. Hello? We have a new Spinal, huh? Oh, who? Spinal. Oh. <laughs> That's funny. I didn't know. Yeah, I just noticed that too. New spinal, <laughs> spinal. A new spinal. Okay, so Nils, a rogue clash, the Awo and Helix. Okay, don't really know, but all right, let's move to pool one. Imagine Luminosity Gaming doing okay. They're just starting their second match of the day. No, uh, no game results in quite yet. Viridian versus Anbu is about to start as well. It's a team. I'm, it's two teams I'm very, very excited about. Um, Alter Ego is going to go up against Emerald Lotus. That could be a good match. I do think Alter Ego is very favored, but it's still Emerald Lotus could throw some surprises. GT up 1-0 in their regicide game. Rack versus Perseverance about to begin. YouTube is going up against a team named Avalanche, and they've already started 1-0. I'm sure chat already well aware. Uh, and then God Squad is playing against Mew World Order. God, such a good name. It is a really good name. It's just such a good name. <laughs> okay, I have gotten a DM, by the way, that we will most likely have Gengar in this next game. I love it. <laughs> Elo Poppy just said Gengar inbound and then winked at me. Nice. So <laughs> I think we're going to see... Uh, Gonna see some of the Gengar. That would be awesome. Yeah, chat's telling me TTV120 again. Not surprising. Nope, not surprising at all. They are they are looking awesome. I'm very excited to see more from that team. Yeah, definitely. I, I can't wait to see them. Okay, I right, said one thing.
Chat's asking me to spectate the Nemesis match. Maybe. I definitely want to see some Nemesis today, for sure. Yeah, they're, they're who's a Nemesis? Um, do we want to just jump into Nemesis for a little bit, or would you rather... Let's stick with this series. What yeah, let's think? finish our series out. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, we'll definitely get some Nemesis games in. Rex also has been perma playing Sableye. I know I don't have like a great idea of what all the team comps are, but I just, when I have what I'm looking at this spectate screen, and <laughs> every time it's Rex on Sableye. So, very interesting seeing them bring out the perma Sable. Yeah. Rex on the Sable, baby. I love Sableye in comp play. It's so fun. It's so crazy good. I, like I said before, Spreggles, I've been doing some of those ghost type run things I've been trying, and Sableye is uh, it's a tough one for me. I, I've never played this book, but you watched my one game. I actually listened to some of your advice. I take it to heart, and I had another Sableye game the other night that I actually did quite well on, I think, because of your coaching. So thank you. Oh, you're welcome. This is Ben Mommy. Yeah. <laughs> Will do. We got Egg Noob we'll back on the mime. Cool to see. Yeah. And we have our game two. <laughs> no longer the bird. They now have the Inteleon here, Glaceon as well. We've got a Leafeon on the side of Umbra. And what a bulky squad for the side of Flame and Hot Dodrios. I mean, <laughs> holy moly. And here comes the Gengar. Mm hmm. Elo Poppy, well known for this Pokemon. Let's see if they can make it work. There's been a, there's a long history of Zoinks really amping up Gengars and. <laughs> their results not happening so oh yeah they're I, I they're terrible i love <laughs> to watch so it but gengar uh -huh. never works out <laughs> no I, it really it's so cursed so cursed but you're right about the bulk we're gonna have blastoise in top crustle in in top as well oh my word and umbreon in bottom like that is just so much hp i'm guessing they're gonna play this umbreon support right they're gonna mm -hmm. like especially i mean look hey if you can mean look you could mean look uh, Sludge, Hex, Gengar, and that would actually oh, be wow. disgusting. I don't think you go Sludge, Hex against double EVs, though, right? Like, you're probably going to try to play the Dream Eater combo against those specific Pokemon. At least I would. I, I mean, know. I totally get it, but you'd be eating my dreams, because my dreams is seeing <laughs> mean look in, with Sludge, Hex, Gengar. So you'd okay. be eating more <laughs> dreams than just one. I'll tell you that right now. That's yeah, there's so the Dream sad. Eater. So sad. Yep. I'm distraught. And it, and it missed. <laughs> it's just no fun. Hey, once they get the Mean Eating Look, one. that won't miss. That's so true. Except, is it Mean Look? We'll see. I, you probably go Mean I Look. I gotta you assume this go is mean look. Look. Yeah, yeah, I don't know why you would go foul play to this kind of comp. You're not like, lacking damage. but Yeah. Yeah, Kristen just trying to bulk in front of their uh, squishier teammates as much as they possibly can. Bit of a body black angle, more so just uh, see if they can find any good targets. They do mean look down the Phantom, but they take so much Icicle Shard damage, the oh, Bulbasaur can't even block for them in time. Yeah, not much they could do in that situation, right? I mean, they're looking for something with the mean look. They, they're looking to pick uh, up a KO, but Gengar had already decided they're leaving. So yeah. <laughs> it just it wasn't going to happen. They were in a lot of trouble. Leafeon also in a lot of trouble right here, but able to jump out of this rock tomb. Back on in with a big solar blade. But again, they've got some bulky Pokemon in this top path that they're trying to chunk down. Leafeon does a lot better trying to chunk down something squishy. Yeah, one Solar Blade never really feels like it's going to be enough into this team composition. You just have so many opponents you have to deal with. Charles is going to take one Shadow Ball from Elo Poppy, but no follow-up other than that until they follow a little bit farther. Dream Eater combo works to KO the Trevenant, but it does not get that final attack out of the Glaceon. Haunter sent back to base at level 8. And here we go up into this top path. You see her egoist looking for some type of KO with the Solar Blade. They are pushing in. They're getting very, very low up here, but here comes that mean look that they have to worry about they are stuck right now and they do go down because of it that ko gives a ton of experience over to the side of our orange team flaming hot dodrios and that is going to evolve blastoise great priority target to find his egoist is actually hit by that shadow ball but the knock up too much for elo puppy to have to deal with otherwise they have to run though too low to ha be able to contend with a glaceon one icicle shard coming your direction is an immediate ko and you do not want to be giving that up at this stage in the game i think it hit a dream eater right and the natural cure cleansed it is that what i saw yeah, there yeah i think so yeah, yeah. tough because wow. that could have been a nice little combo for the the gengar right there just wasn't able to make it happen 
decent on paper effect though right for for blissey to have access to that little natural cure that's what every six seconds i believe uh is able to restore all status conditions so sleep not able to uh pop off in the way that elo poppy was hoping for here scenario. we go 36 into this top goal we got two 30s this is a nice score right here put them up 147 to 40 gengar coming in looking for something here not able to make it happen just yet the unite move doesn't clean them up i mean there are four that's just a, it's yeah. just a tough fight two three they might even be able to wipe the whole squad but four into that moment just going to be really really hard as we have a secure in this bottom path easily taking that reggie rock and Kiro able to 1v1 against the Umbreon as well and get that knockout. So now it seems like it's finally time for Umbra to start making some moves. Steel defending the goal zone with one X. Scissor pushes Charles back. Actually isolates Charles from the whole squad. However, they are eject buttoning all the way into the back line. And somehow it's them walking away with the most HP on the entire squad. Steel joins in as well. And they eventually take down the Trevenant as Chaman gets the work of the back line as well. Oh, big raid from Bruno Monkey from Brazil. Thank you so much, buddy. Appreciate you. We're just watching the AOS Cup here in North America right now. Welcome on in, everybody. The match you're seeing is Umbra versus Flamin' Hot Dodrios. Umbra is down one game right now. Flamin' Hot looking pretty dang good in game number one, but it was a close match. Extremely close, yeah. And uh, Flamin' Hot, uh, only at 40 points. So Umbra Volpium, uh, keeping up score lead-wise extremely well. 147 to 40. They are not wanting to go out of this tournament, or at least not down to losers too early. Um, they're doing a pretty good job of it so far. Obviously, the draft, I think they handedly had a great time. They are having to go up against the Gengar, but I'm assuming uh, Elo Poppy playing for the comfort pick for sure. Yeah, I think so. And, you know, at the same time, it's exciting to see Gengar, but Gengar notoriously does not produce results in tournaments. So mm -hmm. uh, there have been a lot of people that have tried, some great Gengar players. It just really doesn't ever seem to uh, be the winning combination for whatever reason on a team. Speedsters are tough. I was talking about it earlier. You can get a lot of value out of them, but uh, sometimes you're just not able to fully make it work. As we're going on in here, looking for the combo, not able to make that land, able to avoid any type of Icicle Spear right here using a Unite move, but unfortunately it looks like they're just going to have to use their Unite move to back away. Yeah, not the worst thing, I think, just to try to run at this scenario. Regilecki is going to leash, so they have a chance at stealing it away. Leafion is still going to take it. The, sorry, Glaceon, actually, the one the last hit secure it. But the team fight is going to rage on. Trevenant is going to throw all the damage they can towards the Crustle and is eventually enough to KO it. And meanwhile, Kira's just been hanging out on this bottom side of the map with a pocket full of 40. But thanks to this Umbreon, they've had no chance to dunk it. Yeah, just sitting in a mean look. Having not the time of their lives down here in the bottom path, but they have been getting some good secures. You can tell by their level right here. 11's not amazing, but it's much better than what's across the map, so that isn't too bad. Scoring 40 in this bottom path. Looks like they're stacking up a little too. They let the priority move on over to that Leafeon. Registeel now getting chipped up already at half. This is going to be an easy secure for Umbra, as no one is really around to do anything about it. Uh, all right. Oh, are you good? Yeah, I just thought that was odd. <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry, I thought you liked out or no, something. No, like um, no, I just thought that was odd. But I mean, yeah, I guess you can use your unite there. I don't. <laughs> just, in, just in case, you know what I mean? Just yeah. in case. I don't know. All right. Sure. All right. <laughs> At this point in the game, though, Umber Volpium does have a very, very good lead that they have been holding on to, 187 to 64. Uh, and with Levion and Glaceon, they are always an offensive threat. Despite the bulk that we really talked about at the beginning of this game, it seems the number Volpium is was not too worried about it. With their burn damage that Glaceon can affect, or the icy burning damage, I suppose, um, with the damage over time that they can provide, very, very powerful. And it's been enough to cut through the defenses of, uh, of Flamin' Hot Dodrio so far this game. Blissey right now running from this situation, but honestly, this might not even be that bad. I, they're charging their Unite move by getting KO'd right here, and they're not giving up yeah. much experience on their side. So that's not too bad. They probably get their Unite because of this, and they may have been trying to make a play like that work. Either score 
or get KO'd while trying to score one way or another. They need their Unite back for this fight. Five seconds now until Ray Quaza here zoinks. And we can see our orange Team Flame and Hot Dodrios down by over 100 points, which means they need to make a big play happen. Gengar sneaking down in the bottom path right here. They obviously don't want to be caught, but at the same time, they want to look for a nice big catch. And, you know, Inteleon's down there. If Inteleon gives away their position, that could be a quick Gengar unite, and they could look for them very fast. Absolutely. Now, Inteleon is going to be defending the bottom side. Obviously, they could be found, but the invisibility helping maybe a little bit in this scenario. Uh, but Leafeon defending the top side of the goal zone. Quick little check around the Rayquaza, just starting to be hit by Flamin' Hot Dodrios, as everybody else from Umbra Volpium is all the way on the backside defending their outer goal zones at the moment. And we can see Blastoise moving on here, letting the Icicle Spears hit Ray. And Ray is going down at this point. It's already at half. Now it's really, really low. Here comes the big Venusaur Unite, secured by Leafeon somehow in that exchange. Leafeon able to pick up the secure. Wow, Leafeon gets it done. Gengar does find the Inteleon, but maybe a little too little too late. Lissy going to be isolated and KO'd as well. I'm assuming Trevenant will have a full Ray Shield. Yes. So with a minute left in the game, there are 301 points separating these two teams. Venusaur trying to dunk in 50, but unbeknownst to them, Leafeon is waiting in the wings. And her egoist sends them back to base. This is going to tie the series up right now. 1-1 one, one is there's really nothing Flamin' Hot Dodrios can do right here. Uh, one thing is for sure, I doubt we're going to see Gengar again. As much as it's you know fun to see a Pokemon like this, you could see even just in this final fight throughout this match, most often in a competitive environment, this is just not a difference maker. Yeah, <laughs> sometimes it's just a little lackluster and it seems like it happened yet again. Um, I lost the court either way, really. But at the end of the day, this will be Umbra Volpium tying it up. I honestly think this Trevenant played extremely well. Charles and his egoist, uh, the Blissey, they're a very, very good defensive team on the side of Umbra Volpium, and now we're tied up one to one. This, these are the exciting games, by the way, Zoinks, to watch at the start of a tournament. Both of these are yeah. good teams playing against each other, and we're not watching full on stomps either way. They're positioning for these fights. We got some interesting stuff happening. The scoreboard is close, and they're bringing out exciting Pokemon. So I gotta give it up to both of these teams for you know putting on a good show in moments mm -hmm. like this. No one wants to just watch stomp after stomp. I wanna see competitive <laughs> games and that's what we're yes. seeing right here. Yeah, we've had a couple of chances to see some of those very crazy end games and just honestly good solid Unite games as well. We've seen some stomps in the mix too, but like you mentioned, start of the tournament, that is to be expected. Yeah, of course it is. What you're seeing at the start of a tournament is just, you know, top ranked versus bottom ranked, um, mm -hmm. the way tournaments are seated, and yeah, it's going to create a, a pretty crazy imbalance. Yeah, wow. This is a lot of gamers gaming right now. Feels like everybody on the friends list is back out participating in this tournament. Isn't it so exciting, exciting man? Spot to be. Oh, I can't believe it. I'm just it. so I mean, pumped. UCS is such an exciting time for Pokemon Unite. It's just so great. Pokey Doe's still playing. So do we need a check-in with how Only Friends is doing? They're do in know? the losers. That's what I had heard. From oh, the chat. I see, I see. Um, okay, so they're playing in losers record right Yeah, now. they're playing gotcha. in losers right now. Okay, so GT won their match. Midnight Malders doing quite well against E Kittens. Uh, Alter Ego looks like they haven't started. Rack 1 0ing over Perseverance. God Squad 1 over against Mew. Luminosity taking their time, but <laughs> they obviously is slower on the start of their bracket. That first game takes a while but we got a, a match coming up here very soon everybody i'm gonna hand it over to zoinks for like two minutes in a sec uh quick little plug for one of my sponsors g fuel if you're looking for a gaming energy formula you've heard of g fuel and their sponsor in the cowboy exclamation point g fuel in the chat if you want my link use spraggles for my discount code you get 20 percent off i'm making myself a bottle of shiny splash right now shout out to a drive i'll be back in just one yeah. sec zoinks will keep you company for a minute right here remember uh because of all of your generosity becoming members gifting memberships and subs today zoinks will be getting his battery taken care of compliment of the chat what a world zoinks thank you very much yeah chat shout out for real you're you're really helping me out so thank you thank you very much you never uh want inconvenient things to happen like that on a fun tournament day uh 
But that's okay. I got all of you to hang out with. BRB! Uh, we got a lot of good Unite games. So, see you soon, Spraggles. Yeah, shiny splash, by the way. Another shout out to G Fuel. Great flavor. Miss A Drive some. But with Crustle back around in the metagame, I feel like we sort of are seeing A Drive live on, you know? Is A Drive in the room with us right now? Yes, because of Crustle. Okay, Ignorance 1 over 1 0 over Eruption. Nemesis versus Only Trolls hasn't reported any score yet. Exile 1 0 over Win Ray Lose game. Um, and TTV and Fixed. Does anybody in chat know who Fixed is? This is a roster I should be aware of. Oh, yeah, Poison's team. Poison, Lewis, Bats, Flareons. Okay, yeah, that's a great team. Oh, gosh. Well, if we watch the end of this one, we should probably pivot over to TTV and just kind of stick with this side of the bracket for a little bit. Um, or at least I'd be interested in doing that. I don't know if you'd like to do that, Chad. Please put on Anbu. Yeah, the, for real. I will. We will try to get as many games as we can um, from all over the place. Anbu is a team I'm very excited to see. Uh, they are playing in one. Yeah, it's, it's for Anbu versus Viridian, which is a great, great game. I think as soon as the game three finishes between these two teams that we have been watching, we will pivot over to that one. So. We are just waiting for Kiro or Elo Poppy to pop up in my spectate. We'll watch that final one, and then we'll try to move over to the Onbo, Onbo Viridian game. I promise. Well, I can't promise. I'll try. Who is playing Greninja? That is a good question. That is Anon from God Squad. So God Squad has been playing a bunch of Greninja. God Squad on the Greninja. Not a huge surprise, honestly, because uh, how much they adore that Pokemon. It's pretty cool. Interesting. Anbu playing a bit of Sylveon action. Viridian on the Trevenant. Zugrug so playing a lot of Crustle today, but so is Pierre. So I think we're just going to see so much Crustle. Oh, Card Chapter, you got to sub in for Win Ray Lose game? That's awesome. I, um, I've played against them once in tournament at a really good match. So, uh, But I've never gotten a chance to sub for them or anything like that. Boozy is known for Greninja. Yeah, Boozy's Greninja is something else. It is very, very strong. Um, it's a tough bit of game, though, for Greninja. I don't even know if Uzi himself would want to be trying to risk it on a game like that. So <laughs> I don't know if we'll see it too much. Are EX licenses banned for UCS? They are banned for this tournament um, at the very least. So, yeah. Yo, that guy, what's going on? How's the run been, that guy? You still playing? How's the tournament going for you? What build does Uzi use on Greninja? Um, no Unite Mike stream today. Well, I guess it was a Unite Mike stream today. Dupesnax and I casted one game earlier, but for the most part, it's just been Spraggles and I. Uh, Dupesnax was around for most of EU, though. Oh, you're not playing today. Oh, I thought you were. That's too much of a bummer. Um, yeah, Hot Mom. EX Lessons are banned for February. We don't know for the rest of the tournaments. They could be. They could not. We're not too sure yet. I'm back, baby. Okay. All right, we're still waiting on, um, we are still unfortunately waiting on this game three to start, but of course, it's how draft, the nature of us not being able to view draft kind of is, but. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Yeah, it'd be really awesome. If we could. I but, wish we could be a, a little faster. But yeah, six minutes since Let's Master. have some draft. Five, so, it should be like, immediately, we should be able to get in there. And yep, there it is. And oh, it is the Gengar again. Interesting. So, All right. Let's see it. Let's see it. <laughs> oh, and a Dragapult and a Tail. What is this? Draft Spraggles. I mean, we're having some fun with this one. This is great. I, I love to see it, honestly. These are lots yeah. of exciting picks right here. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Talon, I think, is solid, really into Inteleon. Um, mm -hmm. It's all right into Gengar. It's all right into LD2, but really, Talon is solid into those snipers. It's great. It can fly above them, make sure it doesn't get picked off by them at all. So this will be fun to see, and they are going to be playing it in lane, which okay. is very, I don't know, feels very Japanese. Yeah, <laughs> it kind of does. <laughs> very stylistic of that team. No Mamo Swine, though, to partner with it, which is too bad. I love that Japan's picking up a ton of Mamo these days. Yeah. Uh, been very, very fun to see. But uh, okay, Chaman going to be trying to dunk in on the other side. I'm seeing so many uh, people on like in your chat and stuff talking about just like getting random team updates and everything. If we ever do this again, we need to get a score ticker. Oh, that we would need be to get, so like, fun. A, we need to get a ticker on the bottom. I, I, I think I could absolutely set something up like that. Yeah, I love that. We got to do something like that. Mm -hmm. And I got to get my computer more RAM. 
Download more RAM, please. I know. <laughs> you just gotta click the download button, but I'm afraid. I really wish know? I knew how RAM worked. I don't that want would viruses. help me a lot. Yeah, yeah. No viruses. Don't give me the malware, please. Just the RAM. Wow, I'm actually shocked that we're seeing the Psy Shock on the Espion. Not that it's bad. Um, it's a good move, but I feel like playing into uh, Gengar, I feel like you would more often want to take stored power. Yeah, I mean, is this uh, to contend with Inteleon early game, maybe? Is that, like, kind of their their best chance of uh, getting some big last instant gears? I don't know. Either way, it's a bit of a bloodbath. This Elo Pop against the K opener. The KO's the Cloak. Shaman stopped in their tracks by a good Espeon stun. Rigoist jumps into the fray. However, they're just a poor little fletchling, and Elo Poppy racks up a second. They are going to try to force a third, if possible. However, three members of the enemy team are here. Well, that doesn't stop Elo Poppy as they dream it over one, but they're Cloak getting the revenge KO, and notably, a Phantom Force stack. Yeah, getting a little greedy there, uh, unfortunately. Uh -huh. um, you gave up a Phantom Force stack, and you gave up a big KO. You just got two. I think you're fine with that. I understand how low that, you know, Clefable was, but at the same time, you, you risk really giving up everything you just earned, and I think they did, and more. Yeah, <laughs> it's sliding. It's difficult to have to deal with. But now this final minute, we finally have the Umbreon evolution as Charles arrives there. However, the snipe shot damage plus the Gengar dive is just too much for them to withstand. And Flamin' Hot Dodrios add another one up to the KO board. Yeah, Flamin' Hot Dodrios picking up a lot of KOs right here. Level-wise looking pretty good. We do have that Dragapult leveling itself up, though. As we've talked about, it already has one stack. It can get up to 10 stacks based on how many KOs it has. And every single one of those just increases that attack stat. Very much like an attack weight, but it's just based around KOs once you unlock Phantom Force. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very, very cool. I remember when this Pokemon first released, I thought those went away after you got KO'd. Did not realize that they persisted the entire match. Uh, an extremely strong factor. Shaman is stunned for a moment. Ooh, they're looking mighty weak. Talonflame obviously would have a pretty good option here. Flies up, chasing down Kristen, and they are going to get the KO onto the enemy Eldegoss. Shadow Ball lands on the Espeon, but the Psyshock trades. Gengar not able to chase that KO because of that. Yeah, Gengar not able to make much happen right there, but they're looking for their level nine. They could have it very, yeah. very soon right now. As soon as they get that level nine, that could be really massive for Gengar. That Unite move really lets them set up easy KOs onto Dragapult. They could sneak right around it and just be able to quickly set up a combo, which should one-shot this Pokemon fairly easily. Dragapult has hit level 9. Now the Unite move is available. Elo Poppy is having enough of that. Unite move chasing down. Uprise gets the Dream Eater, misses the Shadow Ball, misses a second Shadow Ball, but gets that one. Finally, they go down. Talonflame trying to throw some damage back the other way. And Gengar does get KO'd as they were fighting 1v4 in that spot. Yeah, I mean, this is an interesting moment right there, right? That's exactly what I was talking about from that Gengar. It is going to follow this Dragapult. It's going to stay right on its heels, and it's going to make sure that it can pick up a big KO on it, and it did just that. The question is, is their team going to be able to do enough with that trade? Yeah, is, is that your one job? Is that your job that will actually allow you to win the game or just make these team fights a little bit easier? Also, so far, it's been kind of on the cleanup effect of these team fights of when we have seen that engagement. I think we need to see that Gengar getting the value a whole lot earlier in some of these scenarios if we really want to see a turning point for this team. And here we go. Dragapult waiting in this bottom path with the entirety of the team except for this Espeon. We're in this weird moment, right? There's not really a piece of farm up on the map. There's almost <laughs> nothing to do except int in this moment right here. As we see Talonflame just getting chipped a little bit by the snipe shot. But nobody needs to make a big play right here. However, Eldegoss caught out in a very tough situation. Dragapult, though, playing extremely defensively in that moment. And actually kind of running away as they're possibly getting ready for a fight in the top path. Espeon throws out their Unite move to make sure that Gengar doesn't pick up a big KO. And Dragapult looking to chase it down right here. But yeah, I was going to say Gengar could turn right back around. Very lucky that that Snipe Shot, excuse me, that uh, Psy Shock hit there. Yeah, it would have been devastating. Gengar could have maybe walked away with two KOs otherwise. But great shot by Kiro to really cement a great factor for them. Talonflame going to escape, dodges the Dream Eater, gets all the way to the other side, Surf cuts them off, Elo Poppy chasing with their Unite move, Unite move from his Ego S, and they get stuck by the Dream Eater, but they still make it away. Wow. I mean, 
great. What what a what a great escape there by Talon. You know, using that mm -hmm. unite move and real heads up play there to know like if you don't use this right now, you're getting caught by Gengar. They were very aware of it and they made sure that they got out of there. And all of that you know gives them a massive score in that top path. They also have only 20 in this top path goal. At any mm -hmm. point before the next Reggie, someone can sneak around, grab that, and set up a big win condition for Umbra. Oh, that'd be huge. Umbra looking for as many win conditions as they possibly can, obviously. And that would be a really nice one to have. One that's really tough to protect against, right? That Reggie, like, you have to dedicate manpower towards it, and it makes your team fight so much weaker. So you do not want to have that split attention at Ray. Yeah, I think if I'm Talonflame right here, my number one goal is grabbing AO Synergy. I'll even cap that goal. They won't be able to stop me, and you'll easily be able to set something up. You know what? It might not even matter is that Reggie's already walking towards that goal zone right now. <laughs> Yeah, Blastoise making it just in time, so Steel returns towards their goal zone so they can defend against the Regieleki. But because of that, Regieleki positioning has landslided over to the side of Umbra. Her ego is going to throw in 29. Blue Kiro attempts the 42, but they can't find it. As Shaman starts getting to work, the Buzzwool gets one KO. And that Pollen Puff healing going towards the whole team. Snipe shot does kind of it that was a weird interaction i feel uh, like they avoided it and then somehow walked into it <laughs> that is so weird that is unfortunate for the SBL. they do eventually go down gengar and company taking ka ko's of the enemy team I, I i mean i feel like it might be a nice time to to score there but you know maybe i got the timing on this reggie wrong no i didn't there's still time for it yeah. so it's gonna be cutting it close but what you need to do right now, this Talonflame just needs to get 20 points and mm -hmm. sneak around. I think Gengar might know that. It might be waiting for it. But someone needs to grab 20 points and break that goal. That way they can rip uh, this Regieleki. Well, it looks like they don't really down. care about that as this fight is pushing towards this top goal right now. Gengar moving on in, picking up a big KO. It looks like Espeon is going to push a KO back the other way. And this is now turning into who cares about Regieleki as this is turning into the Ray fight right now. Buzzwool looking for a KO, not able to pick it up. Three members down right now for Flame and Hot Dodrios. And this is a rip situation if I've ever seen one. Talon takes to the sky as we have multiple members of Umbra ripping this objective apart. It is already at half. And Teleon looking for the snipe shot uh, oh my gosh i was gonna say please 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 uh -oh. umbreon stand in front of it but it jumped into the air somehow they are able to secure it still from that snipe shot and they do take the objective okay we have dragapult losing their ray shield flame and hot dodrio is able to take out that heavy carry pokemon but the bot side has not been the same story 486 for umbra currently flame and hot dodrio is having a lot of work to do if they want to try to tie up this series a minute and a half and you do not want to be going to lose this bracket in a tournament as stacked as this one this early flame and hot dodrio is desperately trying to find a scoring option yeah, and unfortunately, they just aren't able to get much done here. I'm having audio issues once again with Parsec. I'm going to cut the game audio for everybody here. Just kind of sounds all, all choppy for whatever reason. Uh, they're pushing on this goal zone. One minute left. It is definitely not over as Clefable goes down. Buzzwool is down. Blastoise in a lot of trouble. It goes down. That was very unfortunate. And now this fight is over. This match is over. There's nothing they're going to be able to do here. There's just not enough time to get a back across the map as that is going to be umbra taking this game uh i i, I like the pokemon selection um but i i just i i never see gengar make it happen it's sad to say <laughs> i know it is it's devastating i really wish we saw a lot more gengar w's but in the end just rip no strategy on final fight i don't think that's true at all i think there was a huge fight right before the ray but whatever uh yeah dragapult way too good and powerful in this game i feel like it had some good early moments and then after that it just sort of took over yeah yeah it's uh you know the, the thing about gengar is i feel like it is um there's not a a ton of priority put on to figuring out how to make it win in tournaments right uh, and I, I think a lot of top teams have written it off, but at the same time, I feel like I, I don't know if you can play this build in competitive, uh, against mm. a good team. I just don't know if it works. It's yeah. a solo queue build. I'm with you. I'm with you. Well, blue Kiro running that side shot build coming away with 96,000 damage on the Espeon. Kiro was putting in the work in this game. What a showing from them.
Yeah, holy. I mean, we talked. I talked about that side shock. I I didn't expect to see it. I really thought yeah. well, you see a Gengar on the other side because the second you see it, you can stored power and avoid its attacks. You can't really yeah. do that otherwise. But they were able to like nail all of those side shocks into side beams. So there you go. Mm hmm. And now Flame and Hot Dodrios headed down to the losers bracket. Umbra Volpium moving on on that winner's side. Yeah. Nice stuff. Let's take a look at our bracket, Zoinks. What do we have coming up? Or do we have some big teams running into each other yet? Uh, pretty soon. Uh, that would probably be like next round. Viridian versus Anbu is still a sick game. We could probably jump in on that one, and sure. most likely their game two. Uh, we might need. We might be forced to wait for the game three if that one does happen. Um, let's see. Well, Kratos, Indirect, Shag, Lost, Excruble, Not. Yeah. So no one from that one specifically playing right now. Let's see. Alter Ego uh, going up against Emerald Lotus could be an interesting one. We haven't seen Emerald or we haven't seen Alter Ego yet at all. Uh, we could watch some Team YouTube, some good old Team YouTube as per usual. We could watch some TTV real quick and then, you know, because Winner's Quarterfinals is going to pre uh, present some really interesting games. So we could watch a little TTV if they're Ooh. still up there. All the way we, at the bottom. Okay, could we do, could I argue for um, Anbu versus Viridian game three? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, all right. So this is Anbu versus Viridian game three. Anbu will be on the orange side and Viridian will be, oh, sorry, Anbu will be on the purple side and Viridian will be on the orange side. This is game three between these two. Okay. And you like both of these teams. I do, I do. I have Viridian ranked a little bit higher than Anbu um admittedly however they uh i mean they're tied up to one to one right now so taking a look at these comps we're seeing a whole lot of meta it is mm -hmm. interesting you know you, yeah. you bounce around and you see some teams not playing things that are exclusively meta and then you do see some teams play things where you go yeah i can't say a single pokemon here is not <laughs> meta and that's kind of what we're looking at here in this game big defender picks Tons of EVs, which are just extremely popular in this meta right now. I, I got to be honest. I did not expect the EVs to be such a force here in year three. I can't believe how good they are. They're they're just <laughs> every single one is so good. Even the uh, the EVs that felt lackluster are power spiking again. It's it's wild times out here. They love their EVs, man. I mean, they do. Pokemon in general. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get ready for our next broken Pokemon. As soon as Vaporeon or whatever comes to the game, I mean, just get ready because oh, th they, they love oh, these things. Mm -hmm. Lunaire trying to steal away the last hit on that middle Indeedy does not find it, but I think Boozley was able to take away that Indeedy on the Sylveon, who was running it uh, top or no, central, I guess. A bit of a split central, I suppose, with mm -hmm. Karma and Uzi splitting one for one. Sylveon and Leafeon both heading into lane, fully evolved. Yeah. Here we go. Twisted getting their evolution right here. And now they're running up to top path a little late right here. But obviously, you know, we'll see what you can secure with that hyper voice. Looks like a lot of that went over to the side of our orange team, Viridian. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm pretty confident, by the way, this is 1-1. The bracket hasn't updated yet, but it would be pretty bizarre, I think, if this was not title. But we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Twisted trying to do as much damage as they can with this Eldegoss to defend this goal zone. But, of course, Viridian making sure that they do everything they can to get some scores in. 21, a bit tall of an order, though, for a War Turtle to hit at this point in the game. Yeah, a little tough. They were looking for something right there, but they always knew that they had that get-out-of-jail-free card. They could take a ton of damage and just walk right back into that hyperspace hole. No big deal. Nothing really lost for that exchange. Heading into the center right here, we've got Sylveon versus Glaceon. Both of them are going to try to rip this down with just a bunch of sustained damage and trade a little bit back and forth. As we head down to the bottom path, nice big rock tomb catches Trevenant, but they're going to peel back as well. Yeah, Barnwell, probably the most notable player on the side of Viridian, or at least the one that most players will recognize if they have watched, uh, was a participant in NAIC last year at the in-person event for North America, uh, and has really been an incredible tank player. I think Trevenant and Umbreon, the two Pokemon that they are truly uh, a top-level player at. And here we go. 
top path right now, pushing forward. It's Sylveon just is constant pressure. It's so frustrating mm -hmm. to deal with. It easily just walks towards you with this hose of special attack damage just spraying down the entire enemy team. And you just have to kind of back up a little bit, wait till it stops <laughs> screaming for a second, but it has it up in another one second. It's just a, a really, really relentless Pokemon to deal with. Yeah, I think that's my favorite word to describe. Sylveon is relentless. It just never stops, never sleeps. So much damage you got to deal with. One of the best options you have are dash moves, so something that can get behind Sylveon. Um, notably, Aegislash, a pretty decent option in a Sylveon and Glaceon. Uh, just not a lot of players willing to try it. Here we go. Nice secure here by our orange side, Viridian as we get the first objective of the match down up in the top path. It looks like Buzzwool is looking for something, but here comes a big snipe shot. The flip back around, and no, they just barely missed their timing. Yeah, then they're able to secure the Reggie Alecki with a good superpower, and unfortunately, Breezy's snipe shot going either just a little too early or a little too wide. Either way, Reggie Alecki is headed towards their base a bit faster now, with Beast trying to bring it to a safer location for them to KO it. And thanks to a Hoopa portal, sounds like we're going to the bot side real fast. Yeah, heading down to this bot path to see if there's anything that they're going to be able to stop here. Nice big snipe shot. They can actually push towards this fight. That's exactly what oh. they do. They try the quick shot off the hip, but they miss twice. Oh, no. Breezy trying everything they could to get the KO on a Tama Tama. Notorious tank player that they would have to deal with. Brave Pie putting on the damage, though, as Twisted is currently central area invading as the Eldegoss. And I believe they're walking away with a blue buff. That is criminal. Yeah. You got to love those plays from uh, Inteleon, you know? You fire mm -hmm. those snipe shots every once in a while, and you pick up a, a mean, mean KO for it, which is very, very cool. But not yeah. able to make it happen right here. Heading back up to the top path. What an incredibly close game, by the way. 24-16. Oh, Level-wise, it's basically completely tied. Is it completely tied? Yes, it is. Across the board, the levels were exactly the same in that <laughs> moment. So this is just really neck and neck. Oh, my word. I, I can't wait to see the final results of this match. I guess I only got to wait five minutes now because a team that moves on from this match will have a very, very good chance of making it to our top eight bracket, I think. These are, we are into the point of the bracket, Spraggles, finally in North America, where we are seeing top level teams and kind of those teams just outside that bubble. The upset potential is basically on the table from here on out. These snipe shots just keep missing slightly right here, and it's always <laughs> unfortunate. You know, the snipe shots are incredible. The damage is insane. But if you just miss a couple of them, all of a sudden you lost so much value for this Pokemon. It's you know, the reason these uh, snipe shot players are so good. They have to be so good because it is feast or famine. Mm -hmm. And you yeah. have low battery on something, just so you know. Yeah, on my on my mouse. <laughs> I will correct that now. Sorry, everybody. Oh, but I should probably pick a Pokemon to spectate. Yeah, watch Crustle. Have fun. We're having fun watching Crustle. It's getting pushed back into this flux zone right now. Zoinks dealing with his mouse. He needs to make sure that this is something that happens. Obviously, you All know, uh, not having a uh, charged battery is the name of the game for Zoinks today in more ways oh. than one as we head up <laughs> to this top path right here. We've got Eldegoss pushing forward, looking to see if they can get anything done on this Intellion. Nice big X scissor right here but not able to pick up uh, a KO. Oh, huge. As we see the big Unite move from Krusty Boy now pushing back towards this Trevenant, but it looks like they're going to continue towards this goal zone right here. They are going to get KO'd. So does Eldegoss, and possibly so does Sylveon if this snipe shot can land just barely. Oh. No, one hits, and there's the auto. Oh, Barnwell somehow rocking back and forth on this Trevenant, just barely dodging a KO. I mean, the hyper voice damage was just so much, and every person I click on just decided to recall. Oh, really? Everybody. Okay. Eldegoss <laughs> going to move on to the top side. Twisted trying to gain some vision as well as some experience. So obviously, the, what they can do well from here on out is just predict the next move that Anbu is trying to accomplish and shut them down, or vice versa if you're Viridian. We talked about how close this match 
matches. That has not changed at all. 139 to 131. Both teams down one goal zone. It is, uh, I mean, a razor's edge between these two squads. Yeah, insane. Eight points, almost no experience difference. This is such a close game. It's kind of unbelievable because a lot of games in Pokemon Unite, I mean, are much more one-sided than this, even if they are fairly close games. But this just feels like every fight is close. Every objective has been close. If the score is close and it's going to be you know kind of exciting to see who is able to pull out a win here because it's just so dead even right now well barnwell plays for vision and that tall grass it kind of gets punished for it as tamatama isolates them and deals a ton of damage now registeel's the next main objective but we're taking this as our true team fight registeel down and teleon lands that slap shot and an attack buff is huge gigantic horn leech from barnwell into the wow. wood hammer the trevident shutdown is unreal and viridian take four before the ray is even seen i mean just incredible stuff right here sylveon trying to stay in this if they're able to pick up any ko's right here maybe they can make something happen but Ray is already almost gone. The big Unite move from the Blastoise, knocking up the Crustle. Ray goes down. Huge play. That was the Ray fight, everybody. I mean, just an absolute domination right there. And if you get caught and then your team continues to sort of have that domino effect this close <laughs> to Ray, there's your fight. The comms coming out of Barnwell in that team fight must have been insane. They like got three or four person horn leech into the wood hammer. Like I would just be screaming to fire everything we got on that particular setup. What a great play. The kind of things that defenders dream about seeing in tournament. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, this is just uh, so great. Such a such a great fight for them. Shout out to Charles. Thanks for a sub, buddy. Just noticed that. Thank hey. you. Uh, yeah, I mean, these moments, I talk about this in solo queue um, as well, Zoinks. And of course, it's really hard to have any coordination in solo queue. But there are moments mm. like this. And these moments are like, it's time to win the game, guys. You just yeah. won, you know? Um, okay. No Come matter on. what happens right here, they don't even have any points. I, I, I yeah, would be shocked. Right. <laughs> as long as they don't, they would have to KO everybody. They, they, our orange team here, uh, Viridian would have to be foolish enough to let them themselves all get KO'd right now. Cause otherwise they yeah, just can't right. come back. <laughs> that's fair that's fair i think i think you're right i i'm holding my breath after that first dark war again that we saw earlier on broadcast okay that that changed everything for me i have a whole new perspective but i'm sorry you were mentioning things about solo queue and well yeah i was just talking about you what know moments about? like this when you catch your enemy and you ko three or four it's time to go. It's it's yeah. not like, all right, everybody, let's all reset and see. Let's we'll see him again in 15 seconds at Rayquit. Like, no, it is go time. Holy breezy 12 KOs on this Intellion, 91,000 damage. Yes, maybe we were spectating them at some unlucky times and saw these Intellions whiffing, but are uh, the slime shots whiffing? But oh my word, did they hit him when it counted? 91,000 damage in total for the Intellion. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful stuff right there. Viridian takes that win and that moves them forward in the bracket, right? Wait. Thought so. The way bracket is not updating here okay. quite yet, but I am like 99% sure that that means that Viridian is moving on. Uh, I just don't know why it's not reporting on Star GG quite yet, but uh, that means that Viridian's next opponent will be none other than Luminosity Gaming, by the way. Uh, <laughs> not an easy games back to back to have to deal with. How's uh, uh, Where's TTV in our bracket? TTV is on the other side. Yeah, it's in pool Let's take two. A look. Pool two. Let's take a quick bump on over. TTV against Umbra Volpium are oh, yeah. just starting their match. We could watch a full TTV match. I'm down. I'd be happy. Genesis to see versus that. Ignorance would also be very good. Where's Nemesis? Oh, no way. Nemesis got knocked down by only trolls. 2 0. What? That's crazy. Wow. Nemesis lost 2 0. Who's only trolls? Let's find out. Only trolls. Uh, Bits, Dusk Runner, Stanley Fishy's team is the only player I recognize on here. <laughs> the MF Go. Hey man, I mean you, you gotta love the these kind of upsets. I mean they're uh -huh. big, and and they also put the wind in the sails of a new team for sure. 
Absolutely. Okay, only trolls. Uh, and their side of the bracket, I mean, admittedly, Exile's a great team, but if you're able to take down a team like Nemesis, like, chances are they are a squad, I would say, that are considered probably the most likely to make it into the play-ins on this section of the bracket via winner's side. So. Yeah, that, they definitely would be. I think Exile has a good shot now. Of course, yeah. I think Exile, I would still consider it my opinion, but the fact that Only Trolls took down Nemesis, that is... That's huge. That is wild stuff. Absolutely yeah. huge. Uh, and then, yeah, I'd like to see a TTV game. And what's YouTube looking like? YouTube, uh, they are still on winner's side. I saw it right before we switched over. Um, YouTube and Enigma are okay. playing, and so YouTube is currently up 1-0. I would love to see TTV, uh, obviously, and then at some point, I think that YouTube God Squad game could be really good, too. Yeah, that'd be lit. We could jump into YouTube's game right now in the second game of that they're in, or we could wait for a TTV game to start. It's kind of up to you. I think I would kind of like to see the TTV game, I think. Ooh, um, sounds good. But, right, uh, but I guess it depends on how... I guess it. I guess it depends on how long it, it takes. We. I know we don't know, but. Well, I can check to see if they're in game yet. Uh, yes, they just started the match. Oh, perfect. So Let's wait for TTV because we haven't got to see them today, and I kind of want to see what they're bringing to the table. Sounds good. I will be right back. Hey, Glocksick, what's up, buddy? Thanks for the prime sub. Welcome on in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So we're getting ready to find our next game. Chat's telling me YouTube's crushing it right now. Not a surprise. Oh, and thanks, Umbreon, by the way. Thank you for the raid. Appreciate you. The TTV team does have so many members. They have too many members, you could say. I missed a sub from earlier, too. Oh, thank you. I'll take a look. Who did I miss? Uh, if I missed Charles, sorry about that, buddy. I thought I called it out, but I might have missed it. And Ramen Burp, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. If we do see an ad right now, it's because, one, you're not subbed up, and, two, I'm going to make sure the ads pop up when games are not happening so they don't try to interrupt your gaming and viewing experience. So you may see an ad on YouTube and Twitch. You may not. What does TTV actually stand for? Nobody knows, but some people think it's Twitch TV. Yeah, YouTube is on a roll. What you're going to see at the start of a tournament is all of these top teams are going to kind of like steamroll through their bracket until they run into another big team. They're just going to kind of start crushing it. Elena asks, is there any player that you think is kind of slept on one who doesn't get as much notice as curious or overlord, but you think should, I mean, I think bruv, I mean, bruv does get uh, a ton of love. Right. But I do think bruv is like one of the best tanks out there. Absolutely. I think there are some other tanks who get maybe a little more love, but bruv is insane. Um, let me think of uh, some other players that I think are a little slept on right now. I think Phil is slept on, honestly. Um, I think he's a better tank than people probably uh, give him credit for as well. I think Phil's pretty nuts. Um, let me think of some other uh, people that are they're great players, but they're maybe not talked about in the same breath sometimes. Um, who's really cracked in some of these? I'll have to think more about it. Yeah, tanks are not as shiny as attackers a lot of the time. Yeah, I think so. I think that's what it is. Like, a lot of people remember the carry. You know, they remember, whoa, 120,000 damage and the 15 KOs. Um, but there are there are a lot of, uh, you know, players that I think don't get as much love. Or if they play, like, support or something like that, you know. Do you have a G Fuel recommendation? Uh, I like Blue Ice. I like Shiny Splash right now. Those are kind of my favorites. The Watermelon Mint's pretty good. PewDiePie is not bad. I'm not a huge fan of it. I haven't tried this other one I've got yet. Zogrug, I think, is rated high, though. The chat's saying Zogrug. Zogrug is amazing. Don't get me wrong. But I think Zogrug is kind of notoriously talked about as one of the best defenders.
Zogrog is crazy good. Phil cries too much when he loses, but he doesn't cry enough when he wins. All right. His crying is all all out of whack. Blush Blaze, I'm more hyped for this than the Super Bowl. I mean, this is your I mean, we've got the Super Bowl of Pokemon Unite. Aos Cup is huge. It is massive. Okay. I'm here. Welcome back. And I guess with grapes. We're talking about some of the top uh like underrated players right now. Uh, yeah. Is that Grog? Uh, well, I, I can't. I can't imagine a reality where he's underrated. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, I saw him. I just saw him in chat. Uh, one of your most recent subs, Glocksick. Pretty Glocksick's pretty great. Solid player. Yeah. It's been a long time since he's been like grinding the game, but I think with the announcements of UCS, he started picking it up again and found a team. So it's exciting. <laughs> yeah, Glock plays well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Chat says Underlord's a little underrated. Yeah. Pretty underrated. Okay, we were waiting for TTV, right? Well, they yeah. just came up. Let's, so let's play do it. Let's TTV play some TTV game. gaming. This is going to be TTV's game number one, I think, against. Uh, oh, this is the team, of course, that we spectated before. This is going to be Umbra Volpium, or just Umbra. Okay. TTV. People Utano love their TTVs. On the Sylveon. Who's on Sylvie? Um, uh, Lutano. Lutano on the Sylvie. Lutano on the Sylvie. Fix the score Interesting. Here, so they're going to solo central as Sylveon. And very, very interesting. Okay. I mean, do you think they just take a piece and then run? And then they have someone peel I mean, back from like blue? It looks like they're doing that. The yeah. 945 play. Yeah, and then maybe Sobble comes up and takes blue. Uh -huh. So sure. you, you can test, and you might even invade with Sobble. You could, depending on what's on the other yeah. side. They're actually splitting Eevees on the other side, too. Yeah, triple Eevee on the side of Umbra Volpium. I mean, these Pokemon are so good. They're so good. <laughs> They're so strong. Yeah, here comes Lutanu. Very fast here. We've got the Hyper Voice looking to see if they could steal something. Not quick enough. Mm. We've got Ender on the Blissey. We yeah. got Hitman on the Buzzwool here. Really solid squad here from TTV. Otter. Uh, I feel like I don't see Otter too much on the Intellion, but maybe I'm just misremembering. No, I think you're right. They tend to prefer uh, other Pokemon. I think more so that they just, they're willing to give it up in draft because Otter's just so busted good at other popular attacker Pokemon mm -hmm. that it's okay to allow other people to get the Intellion because Otter will still carry on something like the Mew or the Delphox or the Espeon, so... We have Lutano pushing forward here. It looks like a decent amount of that was secured. We still don't have a level five here for this uh, Buzzwool, so they're not able to do a ton in this top path. Otter pushing forward right here, and we have another Psy Shock Espeon. Uh, it was the, the same players one, before, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Okay. That that makes sense because I was like, dang, this thing is like a virus. It's spreading. No, it's not. It's like the opposite <laughs> of a virus. It's chilling. It's isolated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Quarantined to just this one player. Oh my gosh. Glaceon has to run all the way back to the home goal zone. It's Ender and Lutano working together in tandem. Best buds in the enemy central area. I'd, I'd read that webcomic. That sounds great. <laughs> yeah, best buds in the enemy central area with Lutano and Ender. Ooh. Just a great time behind enemy lines, seeing what they can get done. <laughs> <laughs> couple of friends, you know, really making it work together. Who wouldn't want to read it? Just a great time behind enemy lines is an amazing tagline. I don't want to see that on a movie poster yeah. now. Well, it's just, <laughs> it, it, that's great. like a classic, like two hotties, you know? They're <laughs> yeah. hooking up back there. Like, they can't even believe they got to go to war together, these two hotzos. <laughs> yes, they please. Be... Oh, Hollywood, call us. We yeah. have so many ideas. So sick of these movies not getting made because they're clearly good. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. Level 5 has been unlocked for Hitman. And they're already starting to try to utilize it to the best of their ability. A jack button need to be used, though. The Shadow Claw Mimikyu damage is just too much to contend with right now. Yeah, Shadow Claw Mimikyu is crazy powerful. So Especially good. once you hit this level 7 and you hit that Shadow Sneak. I mean, you could really do some work with it. They went in too deep right there, and they're going to get punished for it. Especially with Lutano up there. Lutano's been rocking Sylveon before it was a thing. So I'm not Ooh, surprised to see Lutano using it in a scenario like this when it's now really really powerful 
Yeah. Look at this. TTV actually with a three-player commitment to topside, but it's actually being matched four players from the side of Umbra Vulpium. Uh, so Hitman's going to hit a couple of members with that superpower and smackdown combo. Lutano going to clean up and sweep through the rest of the team as they earn themselves a KO streak at two. They take full face damage from the Icicle Shards. Take a look to see if Otter's taking care of the Reggie Rock yet. <laughs> and it seems almost so as uh, Zogrog just playing defense on the top grass. Yeah, and... Nice stuff right here uh, for TTV. And I think it was Pikadiff maybe playing the defense in that grass. Yes. But it's understandable mm -hmm. that you might think it was Zugrug as we actually have that oh hyper my gosh, voice. Did I say Zugrug? You said Zugrug. Oh, no. um, uh, nice big pickup and slam down here on the top path. We have the Unite move, but stopped by the mean look. It is incredibly mean. But all the while, Utano has been screaming at this Reggie Alecki, pushing it towards this top path. You know, you're not a fan of this break, but it is what it is. They're going to continue pushing right now. No pads. <laughs> which means you can continue pushing and continue scoring right here. Mimic you trying to stop this. And if they do, it could be absolutely oh huge. Hitman picking them up, setting them down. That's a triple KO. Call it a four. Can we get a Penta for the new addition to TTV? We're going to see if it happens right now. Umbreon trying to push them off of this goal. And it looks like they are going to have to retreat. Oh, my word. I mean, what a welcome to the squad for TTV. I know there's a lot of TTV enjoyers in your various chats out there, Spraggles. I hope they are welcoming Hitman with open arms because if you're going to see plays like that from them all season, TTV is going to have an incredible showing this time around. Yeah, I love seeing Otter down here. I mean, just like casually farming to 11, almost mm -hmm. 12 by themselves in this bottom path. <laughs> Not really a lot. You're like, what, what can your opponents do? Against snipe yeah. shot and talent, like how can you? You just have to body block every single piece of farm, basically, right. and then they'll just KO you. <laughs> they have a two level lead on you, so yeah. if you body block that move, you're just gonna get knocked out. And look at <laughs> this: you a, have Otter just either. sort of uh, camping this central area right here, uh, waiting either for this to spawn or someone to walk right by here and not notice that they've got a little camouflaged buddy waiting for a KO. That is that location on the map. Pretty wild how well that chem flush works. But okay, Umbra Volpium choosing to hit the gas pedal finally. Bliss assistance on a hitman, but Ender will still go down. All that damage redirection not working out for them as they fire away on this goal zone. And Umbra Volpium really climbing the score charts now. Yeah, nice stuff for Umbra right there. They absolutely needed it. Pika Diff deciding that it's time to score Diff them here in the bottom path. Mm -hmm. We have a Reggie ready in the bottom path as well. They're going to trade Reggies. Top is going to head on over to Umbra. Bottom on over to TTV as Ender right now is backing, heading up to the top path. There's really no one that can do anything about this anyway, so they can keep one or two members down here to secure this. Just a red ice, so obviously not the best random roller RNG that TTV could have hoped for. You go into this fight with a Regi Steel or Reggie Rock, maybe you're a little more favored to win, but that healing over time, not as effective as maybe they would have liked. You Charles, know, I have some people who I think who swear by it a little. I can't remember if it was Slash or someone was saying they love Reg Ice. Okay, well, I'm not going to argue with Slash, so if you do invoke that name, I will relent. <laughs> I, will say I have that, invoked yeah, the Slash. You <laughs> yeah, may exactly. not have a different opinion. <laughs> yeah, I think that sort of works, honestly. I love that preemptive woodhammer from Pikadiff towards the Mimikyu and Shadow Sneaked Ender and just kind of waits and says, if you show up, I'm going to give you the bonk. And uh, Pikadiff preemptive, and it just ended up with Ender getting woodhammered in the face. Yeah, and we see uh, up here level thirteen now for Otter, big level lead, and they are they're they're liking this play, they're kind of liking this uh, <laughs> Intellion that sort of hangs out out in the open a little bit. It seems to be something yeah. they're having fun with for the side of TTV, and you know you could say you don't like it, but I asked Slash, and Slash likes it. Stop invoking the name. You only get three uses a day. You can't be doing <laughs> I'll this. I'll find one more opportunity that's good. <laughs> perfect oh my gosh all right a final central area clear it looks like it will be here for the evolutions hopefully or at least uh at least umbra is hoping that a couple of their evolutions will hit 13 but so far everybody just sitting at level 12 right now kiro at 12 and alongside that glaceon of a um maybe with hitting 13 no not quite getting close though 
any piece of yeah. farm they'll be able to get there. 260, 143. We've got an open goal zone, tier one in this bottom path. This game is actually incredibly close right now. Uh, hit yeah. the snipe shot, but it just knocked the disguise off of our Mimikyu right there. As we see, they're just uh, kind of throwing a little damage onto Ray so that they can charge up their shards here for Glaceon. Nothing too crazy right now as we see Lutano making their way in. Here's Pika Diff caught in a bad spot. That mean look setting him up, but here comes Hitman moving on and Unite moves are just flying every direction direction umbreon unite move we have a unite move from buzzwool running in trying to pick up a ko buzz is down mimikyu is down umbreon is extremely close to going down right now as otter is sitting here just waiting for these massive snipes huge wood hammer picks up the espion glaceon goes down clefable oh. goes down and that is every single member of umbra TTV with a beautiful team fight, and it is verified by none other than Slash. That's Slash, <laughs> yeah. TTV are so well known for their team fighting prowess, and th th things like that that really showcase why. I mean, Trevenant finding multiple targets isolated. <laughs> yes, he gets in a rough spot. Hitman totally covers for them, and T Pika Dev drops the Unite move as well to allow Buzzwell to get as much damage in. I think in the end, it was only Hitman who went down for TTV, and until on obviously otter just free firing from the back lines cleans up everything involved in that fight and well they're going to continue to do so for the remainder of the match as i don't think we've seen that well now they missed the snipe shot but uh, <laughs> they're doing uh pretty solid so far today interestingly enough though i mean a lot of shields broken for the side of ttv they actually did not score sure. as effectively as i thought they would in that moment they oh, you yeah, know they completely fair. wiped their enemy team. So there was, of course, the opportunity for them to come back and uh, defend. And they did a, co a good job of defending and breaking a lot of shields. But TTV also played that, uh, it, I would say, in classic TTV style, where it isn't just run, pick up a bunch of KOs. I think they are the kind of team that would play that moment very intelligently. They know that they are up. Yes. Yeah, good macro knowledge has always been an incredible factor of their success, and it doesn't seem like that's going to be changing at all headed into Season 3, which, why would you want it to? It's such a good factor. Of their We're getting worse with our macro. That's our new plan. <laughs> that's, that's Season 3. Yeah. We are sliding. Tired of this macro. <laughs> Enough. Enough. 68,000 for damage for both Lutano and Hitman. Otter with only 47k, but reminder to everybody, we talked about it. They were basically chilling in that bottom side of the map by the majority of the match, where obviously not a lot of fighting happens in today's day and age. Yeah. Uh, we've got TTV doing well in their bracket right mm -hmm. now. I uh, want to make sure that when we do have YouTube versus God Squad, I think we should bounce to that. We pivot to that? Okay. I think it. so. I don't know how close we are to it, but that feels like one of the first big, big matchups on our, our uh, NA mm -hmm. broadcast. Yeah, so, let's, uh, let's see. I don't know if yeah, we're there I yet, so. but I just figured I'd mention it. I know the chats, they're hungry for Team YT. They need to see their Team YTs. We appeased the TTV viewers, and now we have to pivot. Yeah, okay, so Team YouTube and God Squad just got their lobby uh, formed okay. from Star GG, so it will be a few minutes until they head into their game number one. Um, Alter Ego did defeat Emerald Lotus, even though they dropped a game to them, um, which was a bit of a concerning moment, but Alter Ego is able to move on. So the projected match would be Alter Ego versus Team YT as a play-in game, which would oh, be okay. very, very good. Yeah. Um, obviously, God Squad stands in YouTube's way, and Rack stands in Alter Ego's way. God so Squad's fine. pretty good, dude. I mean, th that, that should yeah. be an exciting one. I think so. I completely agree. Uh, they've also, I haven't seen any of their matches yet on our broadcast, obviously. You've watched them all with me. But in the spectate mode, I have a non-friended, and I'm seeing a lot of Greninja gaming from them. So, Ooh. some uh, Greninja potential. It could just be because it was early bracket, you know, they're just having some fun, and they're comfortable with the games, but who knows? Maybe we get to see some of the ninja. I mean, who wouldn't want to just vibe early bracket? I'd be vibing. Give me my birds early bracket, baby. <laughs> GT up 1-0 in their game. Luminosity also up 1-0. And then, yeah, we watched this Viridian versus Zonbu finish up. Yeah, it seems it's like uh, the word game. in the chat is YouTube is drafting. So if we want, we can finish this TTV set or we can just wait for this. I think we may just want to wait for this game. Sure. I'm down. Yeah, let's do it. We may want to wait just for Team YouTube, which could be a big okay. game. Could be a big game, everybody. Very much could be. 
Yeah, it's going to be an interesting matchup. YouTube's got some cool comps. Obviously, YouTube is sort of notorious for Phil playing some a little bit of wacky stuff, but they do have some other really interesting factors about them, right? Like, they have the Wish Umbreon support that they're really big fans of. Mm -hmm. um, that is a, that like, Aquilo plays that quite a bit, um, which is a really, really cool uh, tech that we like to see. So they're basically playing stacking Umbreon all the time when Aquilo's on it then, so their attack weight can buff their Wish healing. Mm-hmm. Uh, Genesis is up 1-0 against Ignorance. Interesting. Yeah, interesting. And the biggest upset that we've seen so far... Only Trolls Nemesis, yeah. Only Trolls Nemesis. We're taking a look at our draft right here. They're going up against Spinal. Exile took down Wolves. I mean, we talked about Exile. Um, yeah, they're a great team. They're great. And I, I, admittedly, I don't think they... I don't think they have a super hard bracket either. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, yeah, I think they, uh, I think they got a pretty good spot in bracket. So now they, did. they are in there winning it. Yeah, uh, they, they, they got a lucky spot in bracket. Um, but mm -hmm. they had the possibility of running into Nemesis. That didn't need to happen. So yeah, you know they're in, they're in a great spot right there. Looking down uh, at the bottom of this our bracket. Users, yeah, who do we got down here? That's. Uh, so well, let's gonna... just look to see what Nemesis is going to have to go up against. Um, it looks like either UTA or Team GoGo. -Go. Uh, I'm not too sure, but a lot of games and losers to happen yet. Um, I think Fixed was... A, they played against... I think TTV was the team that took down Fixed. Mm -hmm. Obviously, Flamin' Hot Dodrio's down here, too. Same with Eruption. We can switch to the other pool as well. Take a few more looks at their teams. Yeah. So... Yeah, LG just won, so it'll be LG Viridian, also a great game. Um, that'll be really interesting. I think obviously LG favored, but Viridian having some outside chances. Yeah, I mean, look, uh, it's not uncommon for big teams to get upset in moments like this. It definitely mm -hmm. happens. I, I don't know if it would happen to LG right now. Last time I <laughs> saw them, they were just playing, you know. Yeah. It was so good. on fire. Like, the uh, chat's letting me know that probably. team YouTube YouTube game has started. That's great. That means it's like two minutes for us, um, yeah, before it pops up on uh, our feed to spectate. If anyone is watching Team YouTube on another stream, just please remember don't give uh, anything away that happens inside the match. I know there are a lot of streams going on for yeah. what's happening in some of these games. Uh, just you know, be careful. Please, no spoilers. Yeah, don't spoil, especially when I'm trying to gamble my channel points. I don't want the temptation to lose all my seat, my channel points on Sprinkle Stream. So yeah, and you will, please. <laughs> I didn't. Yeah. Hey, come on now, <laughs> dude. Okay. So Chat saying I feel like it's gonna be LG versus YouTube. I, can that happen? In no. today? No. no, not in today's bracket. Uh, it could happen in yes, um, top the eight. top eight next week. Yeah, right. Phil picks a defender. All right, that's a spoiler. You're banned for a year. <laughs> that's a year ban you know, I'll, a year ban. I'll, I'll, I'll see you 2025 the old 12 monther <laughs> the old 12 Dang. my bans are intense oh my goodness all right so we have youtube versus god squad this is gonna be a test i got um meme not a little bit for how uh highly i ranked god squad in my where do you put my them? record like eight, but a lot of people don't think they should be top ten. That's not so, eight. Doesn't seem for God Squad. That seems reasonable. That's what I thought, but a lot of people are saying they shouldn't be top ten. So I don't know. Well, um, I think it's time for God Squad to prove me right. Well, I we're think. about to find out because you've been a YouTube <laughs> hater and you've been a God Squad lover. So we're about to find out where this lines up. Okay, as we are ready YouTube for our match left, with Team YouTube. God Squad. You want YouTube on uh, purple side? Mm -hmm. Team right. YT. I want to love you, Team YT. <laughs> oh, okay. So still on the Blastoise and not on the Dragonite. So they have Dragonite secure, Inteleon secure, and the Blastoise to enable it all. That is a lot of last hit potential. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting one right here. These Eevees just can't seem to go away. If this <laughs> is Muck running Hyper Voice, which I have to assume it is Muck running Hyper Voice, I mean, these solar beams are going to hit even harder. Yeah. Yeah, the Shred pet combo so, so well. Really, really fun to see that combo work out. I, um, I always love the secondary effects of moves when we really get to see them sing. 
notably sing <laughs> in an effect like that with the when the defense drops with the sleep effect i think that's pretty cool here we go looking to get a secure here against intellion it looks like they are able to pick that up one of the hardest pokemon to secure against but team youtube able to take that Fui already level four so they're getting super aggressive on towards this side seeing what they can steal away Ooh, actually not able to take that away from the squirtle as they're going to continue to push up here zealot moving forward with the hoopa and somehow we actually have Leafy on not able to pick up a secure. Yeah, so far Zilla doing okay on the Squirtle. They do lose that mid-contested piece of farm, but ooh, look at this. Anon actually going towards the bottom side instead of rotating up to the top to try to contend with the Venusaur, who obviously is going to want to try to play around that Leafy on lane. Yeah, and it looks like they actually could use this portal to send them up, or they could just be tricking them, which I actually think they are right here. They're, oh. they're not really expecting them they, to put so much pressure bottom. I think they thought that was a play to send Dragonite top. Now the question is, will that be worth it? Because now Team YT is pushing onto this top goal. And so far, it's been okay. I think Aquilo has been able to get in some stacks. Skull Bash is going to be able to stop Fui from scoring. I mean, 17 points is pretty ambitious. And this Hoopa Portal is signs of help. As now, Real Player 1 is going to join the battle uh, with their Hoopa and give the berry to Zealot. Honestly, give it up to Zealot right there. That was yeah. a real hard uh, defensive play to make. And they were able to make that look pretty good. A sneaky play there, it feels like, from God Squad. And I think it tripped YouTube up a little bit. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, okay. So we have the Phantom evolving into Trevenant Fall soon. Now finally hitting the Trelvis Presley, as we like to call them, is uh, equipped for a whole lot more than just that poor little Phantom is. And honestly gets rid of Will-O-Wisp, which is notoriously the worst move in any Unite game. I love Will-O-Wisp on Tree. Okay, well... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I do though. I think it's I great. I, <laughs> I think it's great. I love it. I want to see what kind of Venusaur we got. I'm expecting the beams, but you know, YouTube is the kind of team that I've seen uh, play around with some uh, Petal Dance Giga Drain before. Inting for a stack right here, but it's not at all unreasonable. Clefable with stacks is so incredibly important. You're not giving up big KOs. Look how much time they're wasting right here as well making sure they don't have great positioning. It is going to give them that level 7 for Inteleon, however, as they're running down to this bottom path. Yeah, I guess notably, though, Anon doesn't hit 8 off of it, which is maybe even more important that like, we don't have the Dragonite quite yet. We're still stuck on Danger Noodle status uh, as Anon is trying to clear those Oof. Bundle Bees and doesn't even hit it there either. Jeez. So now... We're going to try to rotate. It's going to be a pretty tough to unlock the Dragonite in time to be relevant, but looks like the Anon is going to finally hit it. God Squad, first ones to hit the Registeel, but certainly don't have the numbers compared to Team YouTube. Yeah, they might not have known that YouTube was actually so far behind making this rotation happen. They could have possibly just started chipping it, but now YouTube yeah. is here. Five members of Team YT in this bottom path. War Turtle staying in the top path, going to continue to soar, get some stacks, become a Blastoise. Registeel getting incredibly low, and there is the big secure. Yeah, Leafeon Solo Blade, the specific one to take credit for this, as they also take credit for a Trevenant knockout, and God Squad actually abandoning this goal zone, allowing it to go down, and therefore going to focus on this Reggie Alecki, leaving Inteleon to try to defend this tier two as Team YouTube pushes all the way forward to the second goal zone. I love this play by Team YouTube. If they can take advantage of this, they mm -hmm. get a huge, huge win right here. But Hoopa could do something to defend. Big time Venusaur, Unite move, Blastoise is in a lot of trouble here as well. It does not have a Unite, but it does pick up the KO on Leafeon. Almost got to take its Unite and use it against Team YT. That was a bit of a stalemate right there, but it got really, really dicey for God Squad. Yeah, if they get that Unite move a second earlier and able to press that, it would be kind of unreal. I think you see a non-probably Dragonite Unite move into that fight as well, if they're given that chance. Uh, which is, <laughs> if you get the comms from Zealot that you had the knockup. But no, God Squad is going to be denied that opportunity. And now YouTube, uh, yeah, maybe they went a little too far in that push. But overall, having a really excellent early game. And they are leading. Not a huge lead, but they are leading in this first game. That's right. 141-113. Really close. Levels are really close, too. Some great back-and-forth fights. It feels like both teams are uh, making some great plays. YouTube, however, when they you know finally coalesced for that fight in the bottom path, it really felt like they were playing uh, you know signature team YouTube. Let's just absolutely stomp them in this team fight. 
but they pushed towards that tier two and that was a different story. So we're going to have to see what YouTube wants to do in this match. Always tough for a Leafeon to pick up KOs on some of these super bulky Pokemon. And I'm just realizing right now we've got ourselves a Hydro Spin Blastoise. Yeah, I was just going to say that too. Yeah, Hydro Spin. Well, obviously wanting a bit more pushing effects. They're going to give up quite a bit of damage to do that. But again, if you were just trying to isolate targets so your Dragonite's got better secure, it's not a terrible option. However, I'd still probably like Surf a little more in that scenario, but I guess the best of both worlds is what Zealot wants to go with. Well, you 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 do you have some plays you can make with it, but boy, if you're not really skilled with this build, I feel like it is just a worse version of the other two. So mm -hmm. you've got to make you've got to make great use of it, which you absolutely can. Like you said, it does provide some interesting burst, like bigger burst than you get out of something like Rapid Spin, and at the same Ooh. time, it does set up uh, you know some situations where you can shove your enemies and you can reposition in different ways. But it's yeah, it's uh, it's always sort of a, a scary proposition to see a Blastoise on your team playing this sort of off meta pick. Yeah, agreed. Unite move at 3.30 because now is the only time you'll really have, and it's good enough for a KO onto the slow bro. Phil Hume is sent back to base as God Squad are sent to go clear the rest of the map. Now that's a little safer thanks to that Reggie Lucky clearing some space. And Teleon definitely in a world of their own as Yap Yap goes down uh, to a great play from Fui, and now the scoring is all focused on the bottom side of the map. Yeah, we got three members of Team YT and a fourth one on the way. They're using this hyperspace hole, but no tree just barely does not make it in in time it goes down and i don't think they're going to be able to take that portal back right here 148 to 117 we've got a tier one up for both teams sort of a little bit of a mirror it looks like one up on top mm -hmm. one up on the bottom here as we know that this dragonite is going to be looking for its level 13 as it's heading towards the rayquaza fight 153 now after that sneaky little score Aquilo possibly going down here again <laughs> it doesn't have a unite move honestly if they just inted for a stack and they got uh you know some charge on their unite after the ko it was probably more than worth it yep absolutely the pink blobs jumping on the grenade to make sure they have their unite move is uh kind of a classic in pokemon unite up until this point it's blissey or clefable and sometimes maybe even slow bro but yeah your respawn timer very very short on that pokemon so not too worried and oh no a selgor giving the position of zealot away they got a rush away but at least they go away with their red buff i still don't know if that was what zealot was hoping for from that interaction no maybe not but you know what it's nice to be able to steal a buff away from your opponents level wise things are looking good for both of these squads as we actually see you know leafeon was moving through sort of that sneaky little back corridor looking to pick pick up Inteleon right here. YouTube just kind of tapping at Rayquaza, looking for a fight. They are up. They should know that they're slightly ahead right here. Big time, uh, big time snipe, but they do go down to the Leafeon and now this fight's on. Yeah, Leafeon finds their intended target, of course, of the Inteleon. Slow beam onto the Blastoise. Zealot also completely shut down. Dragonite from Anon notably has not joined this team fight. Rayquaza finally starts getting hit. Real drops the Hoopa portal. Hopefully one member of their team can take it near the end of this fight. As Falsoon has to eject button with the Horn Leech to grab a Kilo. Sets up a nice Hyper Beam from Anon who has to use the Hoopa portal to escape. And now the Inteleon is back. Early damage from the Dragonite is popping off. But Sam, the great equalizer with this Solar Beam, is absolutely making plays in the back. Fall soon and real, trying to create as much space for Yap Yap as they possibly can, as now Rayquaza is brought down to what half HP. Dragonite, though, 15 seconds away, and Sam is taking a KO, and there's Leafeon Secure available. They miss it, and Inteleon weaves it in. Yap Yap with the rate secure for God Squad. Beautiful play there for God Squad, as multiple members of God Squad are up and able to score it here. Phil trying to stop, but barely not able to make it happen. 153-217. Fui does have, uh, there's no shield. They're not able to score in this top path. Now 153, 317. There's still points with Zealot right here. They're going to need to make a play. 24 seconds left. They have that tier one goal zone, but they're going to need to score on more than that. There just isn't a lot of time. There aren't a lot of points, and they need to make something happen. Multiple members of God Squad up here in the top path, and it doesn't look like Team YouTube's going to be able to make much happen here as they are going to drop game one against God Squad.
God Squad just all in on the defense into the top goal zone. They know that is YouTube's only potential option, but when we are looking at the scoreline, obviously we know even that one wasn't really worth considering. God Squad off to a pretty fantastic start. That Dragonite Inteleon obviously terrifying objective secure, and the slow beam from Phil utilized on the Blastoise of Zealot to shut them down. Didn't have it for a later piece within the rest of that team fight, though. Taking out the Blastoise, I think, was a good threat, seeing as Zillet was at level 14. I think there was some great stuff here from both of these teams. Once yeah. uh, multiple members of Team YT went down, I think God Squad's call to start ripping and just prep uh, Yap Yap for that secure was the way to go. Uh, mm -hmm. He had a perfect lineup on that snipe shot, and he nailed it. And that's... That's what you expect out of Inteleon in those moments. You hope that when it comes down to it, they make the Michael Jordan play. They want to be the one with the ball, and that's exactly what happened right there, and they got the big secure. Uh, I'm seeing the chat, Unlucky Solar Blade. It's interesting. I don't know if you've noticed this, Zoinks, and I don't know what it really... I don't know what to say about it, but I find that for whatever reason, Solar Blade doesn't get the Rayquaza secures as often as you would expect. I don't know why this is like total, um, just me, like total bias of something I've noticed and when I'm playing Leafeon, but I'm always surprised that it doesn't get the big secure. So you have like two kind of forms of Solar Blade, right? You have the instant one that mm -hmm. you have when your chlorophyll gauge is full. Yeah. And then you have your charge up Solar Blade. I've actually found the charge up one to be a little more consistent in securing the ray. It's easier to time with burn. Your teammates can see when you are going for a secure. Like, yes, you can communicate when you want them to rip, when you want them to secure, all that kind of stuff. You can try to time it. But when you're relying on the other team's damage and everything like that, sometimes just that visual cue of seeing the charge up Solar Blade helps a little bit which i think where that instant blade from fui is just sometimes i don't know I, it is inconsistent it, it is um so yeah maybe that's why we're seeing some of the misses there yeah i'm just uh I, it's something that i personally have noticed like it's a lot of solar blades don't end up getting the secure for whatever reason that's just i i've and it could just be total I don't know the right word for it, but you know when just like uh, you have a, a gray Honda Civic, so you see gray Honda Civics everywhere. It's mm -hmm. just something that's happened to me, so now I feel like I see it all the time. Okay. Yeah. No, I, we have definitely seen it a few times tonight Um, already or today. It's been we're doing this for a long time. <laughs> Ooh, okay. good time, long time, baby. It's so true. Okay, so the... What match? We're watching God Squad versus YouTube. Yep. Obviously, all these other matches are raging on at the moment. Um, I believe that is Luminosity Gaming versus Viridians, the Zug Rug versus uh, versus Barnwell, and the Bot Path Crustle versus Trevenant. Man, I really don't know if we've seen Zug Rug play something other than Crustle this entire tournament today. Right. Pretty cool to see. Pretty mm -hmm. cool to see. I'm assuming we're sticking with this series mm -hmm. until the until the conclusion. Between YouTube and God Squad? I think we should, yeah. Cool. I think we should yeah, for sure. Getting bot yeah. attacked over on Twitch, everybody. Turned on emote only mode. Sorry. Bunch of clowns. Mm -hmm. Any mods over there on uh, Twitch, if you just want to report all those accounts, I'd appreciate you. Everyone else, uh, love you. Sorry, but this is what happens when you're cool. When you're cool, apparently, you just get a bunch of jerks. I can get how many online friends if I... Okay, hold on. So you don't need it. online friends. You need a car battery. <laughs> I do. I Focus do. on what's important. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Fair yeah. enough. Oh my goodness. That's how it goes. It do be how it goes. Man, it's wild that we're going to have the top eights of all the regions already. It's crazy to know that we'll know the guaranteed teams in the group stages of AOS Cup by the end of next weekend. Oh, right. Yeah. Like, we'll know the one team from every region that no matter what, they will be going in. It'll be very fun, obviously. Uh, we're going to be watching NA and EU very closely because those are the regions that we've worked with in the past and we pay a lot of attention to. But I'm going to do my best to make sure I, I watch at least the grand finals of every other region so we know all the teams that are going because I want to see who I need to cheer on, who I need to VOD review, all that good stuff. Yeah. It's going to be fun. It's going to be very exciting. It's always an exciting time. UCS is a great yeah. time for Pokemon Unite. Then once UCS ends for two months, everyone says that the game is dying. 
Yes, it's always so fun because it's because our timeline is just pro players, right? Like it's because our timeline is just strictly top level competitive players, and when they don't have a tournament to play in, the game is dying. But in their feet, I, so. I wish people, and I, I don't mean this as a knock against pro players, but I just I wish people wouldn't listen to them <laughs> in that moment. In that moment, they're just they're bored. And I get it. I, I wish there was an off season tournament. I wish there was more than that too, but it's yeah. just not even, it's just not true. You know, <laughs> it's yeah, so, I, I don't know. It's like, uh, it's like someone who like only cares about going snowboarding. And then when it's not winter, they're like, I hate my life. Everything's actually terrible. <laughs> it's Sports like, no, dead. no dude, Sports you just suck. want to snowboard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm so so in agreement that is unbelievable. I respect it. You just want to snowboard. That's okay. Go snowboard, yeah. you silly goose. But if history is anything to say, UCS will end and then we'll have to deal with a power overpowered EX Pokemon. Oh, bro. dude. Uh, <laughs> as I've as I said in a video a little while back, October Pokemon Unite, it's terrible. <laughs> I get I get why people are upset. <laughs> October Pokemon Unite is not fun. There people aren't wrong. It's like the worst time for Unite. October Unite. Get ready. It's bad, bad. It's bad, bad. <laughs> if the game ever does shut down, it'll happen in October. Oh, I'm calling it now. I'll dance on the I'll screen. call it right now. It's October. <laughs> That's fair. Um, I'm gonna ask. Oh, I forget at this point. Hmm. Oh well. Chat, how are you doing? I know you can only emote. Just send a good, good emote if you're doing well. Chat on YouTube can do more. Oh, they and TikTok. Stop yeah. Forgetting about TikTok. It, it's just uh, <laughs> it's just Twitch. I think it's done now. Do you have um? Do you have all three? Um. Uh, do you have all three chats on one or just the two? So I've been working to get all three chats on one and there's a program that does it pretty well, but unfortunately it's just uh, not, it's not perfect. Okay. Um, it, for whatever reason it has a hard time connect. It doesn't have a hard time connecting to TikTok and Twitch, but it has a weird time connecting to YouTube. I'm trying to find a good solution for it. Hmm. It does sound hard. It does sound hard. It's not fair. It's not fair to me. Not fair. And can you have mods in TikTok chat? I don't even know yes, I do have a mod there. I have Mia there right now. Oh, cool. Um, so I do have mods in TikTok. TikTok's a weird one. It's like the Wild West. It, not, <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes there's a ton of people. Sometimes there's like nobody there. It's weird. Sure. It's just like, are they scrolling their phone? And did my and did their phone stop giving them a TikTok shop ad for a second <laughs> and start giving them a match? Yeah. By the way... I, always say, I, I know this doesn't TikTok. this is has nothing to do with anything tiktok is it kind of sucks now <laughs> their new algorithm <laughs> sucks what are is they doing just ads all the time dude it's, it's just, constant oh ads mm -hmm. it's ad then tiktok shop then ad then like one video you might want to see then uh a live video that you're like i don't know what this is someone just stirring wooden beads in a soup bowl and then it's ad and then it's tiktok shop and i'm like this is not good <laughs> it's just it's same thing that happened to instagram right it just it just becomes a marketplace it always does <laughs> like they just they got to keep the lights on it just sucks but anyway oh wait look at this pikachu and greninja what just happened i love seeing this pika right here as we're heading now into game number two team yt versus god squad here zoinks we got the Pika on the yap, 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 yap. Uh, I'm guessing we had the Inteleon banned out, right? And that now we have the Greninja. Umbreon too. Umbreon banned potentially. Because uh, we have Sylveon, Leafeon. But mm -hmm. Yeah, that looks something looks something like it. It's here we go. A little bit of an invade. Hoopa's got the earrings. Got the invade going. Looking for that blue buff right here. Sam's in a lot of trouble right here. It's really hard to stop a Hoopa. And you know what? The only thing that stopped it is the fact that Gardevoir clears so slowly that it actually yeah. wasn't low That's enough true. yet. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, the the teleport tech helps a little bit in that clear, but it's certainly not enough. This real player one's going to keep on hanging out, taking both Phil and Sam's attention, but so far not taking any of the buffs they'd like to steal. Not taking the buffs, but this is one of the big problems with an invade. You know, if you're good at invading also, you're, of course, a, an absolute, you know, force to be reckoned with but it takes so much from a team in you know the the uh in resources to deal with this invade and look at this sam is now walking to path 
at the at the birds here under leveled. Yeah, Fui has to give up that last piece of farm for Sam to even show up at level 5. Problem is, God Squad did lose a teammate in the kind of the central area at one point in the early game, so it feels like just a bit of a wash on that invade's worth of value. For sure. I'm going to take some last hits, but yeah, other than that. I mean, look, it's a, it's a really strong play, and teams need to know how to play against it. I think YouTube handled that very well, but you can only do so much against it, and sometimes an invade goes so well, and they take so much experience, and it's really devastating. Look at how well Yap Yap's Pikachu is doing right now. Almost level 7. And Muck is currently only at level 5 and barely even close to level 6. So this Pikachu have a, a ton of good showings at the start of our match. Well, I mean, they were try they were out securing a Sylveon by itself. They had The Slowbro had to leave. So yeah. That's I mean, true. Yeah, there's that nothing sense. Sylveon can do right there. It has terrible Ooh. secure. Talking about big secure. Securing a huge KO is Fui on that Leafeon. Getting now a nice double for Team YouTube in the top path. Pika in some trouble right here being chased down by Sam. And it looks like God Squad just making error after error in this fight after Greninja goes down. Now Hoopa's in a lot of trouble. Ooh. That's a triple KO. But Greninja is coming up here looking to see if they can make something happen. Multiple members of Team YouTube. YouTube are in a tough spot, but with the goal zone gone, no healing, no shields, they're going to have to peel back. Oh, follow me hurts so bad right there, too. Akilo brings both the Greninja and I believe the, it wasn't the Trevenant, but the Hoopa right together, and they just have no option to do any damage in the way. All they can do is force to retreat. Now the team YouTube is going to prioritize this Reggie Alecki, the first one of the game. And this Guard of War from So Sad Sam already has at least three knockouts to their name, maybe even more at this point. And I can't really think of a Pokemon to make unforced errors against that would be worse than this Guard of War from Sam. Because if they scale, and they already have, it is devastating. Yeah, we see Team YouTube now deciding to head to the bottom path here instead of push top. They do have a Guard of War Unite move for this top path, but they don't want to use it. They are going to pull it down here towards this bottom path. And now we see Greninja coming down. This could be a bad spot for Greninja. Jumping in with... With the Unite move, they do pick up a KO on Muck. They're looking for Sam right now. Sure. Sam has this Unite, but no, Sam actually threw their Unite just a moment ago, and it looks like they were not able to take Greninja with it, but they do take Greninja down. Scary moment there for Team YouTube. Turned into something real nice. 173 to 0. Yeah, Sam actually dropped the Fairy Singularity right on the goal zone as the Pokemon were emerging from the uh, from the portal, the transport that Hoopa was creating. So it was kind of an immediate bounce uh, and try to catch where it was there, but Greninja had to unite move to completely avoid being stuck in that Fairy Singularity. Feels like God Squad's made a lot of great plays throughout this game, but YouTube is counter punching in some amazing yes. ways right here i mean it feels like every time god squad takes an inch youtube turns it right around and takes a mile up huge on the scoreboard right now someone could get caught by this greninja though big unite move from oh. pikachu united right back the other way two eevees throwing their unite moves now greninja's in so much trouble and it goes down greninja is a pokemon we just do not see enough of uh in competitive play zoinks and you're not seeing enough of it in this match because it keeps getting ko'd yeah, it's decent into double mage like Gardevoir and Sylveon, but the Unite moves from both of those Pokemon, or from Sylveon at the very least, so good at just avoiding Greninja and not getting KO'd. And then, of course, Leafeon can just turn around and basically delete that Pokemon with one button. So uh, the Greninja has just been... Uh, maybe on paper, this seemed like a decent counter, but it has been read and solved by Team YouTube already. Yeah, Team YouTube having an excellent game here so far. And, uh, I mean, mm -hmm. we're seeing a, a real difference... Uh, with not having an Inteleon, that's for sure, on the side yes. of God Squad, which was a huge playmaker for them. YouTube now mobilizing towards this goal zone. 438 on the clock, so they've got pads. We've got a Hoopa Unite that can bring them around towards this fight. Here comes Trevenant. Here comes Greninja. They're looking for these big KOs. Are they able to pick them up? Sam in a lot of trouble right here. Sam does go down. Leafeon now getting pushed out. Fui is on absolutely nothing. The eject button after the wood hammer to pick up that KO as well. Trevenant cleaning the fight up. Wow, impressive stuff. All of this while poor Blastoise was forced to try to defend against the Reggie Alecki that was pushing towards their path. The Zealot kind of forced on defense duty while everybody else was dealing the damage. No glowing rings, so that means nobody's coming back through the portal. Everybody else just searching anywhere else on the map for some value. But finally, 
God Squad has a play go their direction because YouTube has been dominating this one from the 10 minute point. Yeah, YouTube has been destroying this match so far, but you know, these are some big moments for God Squad. They were able to pick up that Guardi KO, and obviously, you know, there's a big target onto So Sad Sam. They know that this yeah. Pokemon can carry super hard, and if they let Gardevoir get out even two rounds of their moves, it could be the end of it for God Squad. So this Greninja is, you know, solely focused on taking down uh taking down Guardi, and I think God Squad maybe needed to be solely focused on defending a little bit right there because they just lost their tier two. Yeah, I, I think they were trying to look for an overdunk in top, but they don't have the Pokemon. They don't have the points, so neither is going to happen. They break 100 points, but that could have been so much more if Yap Yap was along for the ride, and they must have just been farming to try to get to this level 13 by endgame because Pikachu is still sitting at level 12. Yeah, this is a tough spot here. We also have Blastoise, no EXP share, only level 11. And that mm -hmm. feels like a, a pretty disappointing place to be in for that Pokemon as well. You're tied up with the supporter on the other side of the map and the supporter on your own team. Feels like either run EXP share or, uh, yeah, you needed to get a lot more done throughout this match. Nice secure here from YouTube. They're up 283, 104. If this walks somehow, they put themselves in an incredible position if mm -hmm. God Squad is not able to... Uh, if God Squad uh, lets it walk, they put themselves in an incredible position because then they're going to be so far ahead on the scoreboard they could even lose Ray. Right. And it looks like they don't even, I mean, even without having the Reggie Lucky go in, they're still in an incredible position. Over um, over a 100-point lead and quite a bit over that as well. Uh, and they have great positioning. They have eyes on where the enemy defender is, which is so, so important. They won't get surprised, wood hammered or anything like that. And Phil just tanking all the damage in the world. And now Sam decides to start throwing some of their own. The portal is good because they were avoiding the Psyshock damage while waiting for it. But uh, Sam, not even touched yet in this fight. Greninja looks like they had to use their Unite move, but they did not pick up a KO with it right there. And you actually see Muck is just sort of hitting Ray to make sure that God Squad can get pulled into this fight. They need to protect Gardevoir, while at the same time, they need to pull members of God Squad in so that they can have Gardevoir do that insane amount of special attack damage that you're seeing right there. Blastoise now in a lot of trouble. Looks like it is going down, being chased down by Aquilo right now. We can see <laughs> Phil now just watching this choke point here to make sure that no members of God Squad are able to make it into this fight. YouTube does not need Ray here, but they also need something to bait God Squad into a fight, which is why they are hitting it right here. We see Sylveon up into the air, and here comes the Unite move from Sam. Big secure right there, and this is exactly what YouTube wanted to do. If they don't yeah. turn and make this fight happen, they secure and win. You two played that so well. Sam reading the Hoopa Unite move perfectly. I mean, it's a giant circle in the sky. I guess not the hardest thing to read in the world. But they dropped the Fairy Singularity right on that portal. So anybody that shows up through it just immediately gets sucked into that void. And they demolish the scoreboard and the KO tracker from that point on. Incredible work from Team YouTube. And good to see them bouncing back. It's obviously they were down 1-0 up until this point. And now we have a tied up series. 1-1. to -1. Yeah. I mean, it's just, it's an exciting place to to have your series at, obviously. YouTube losing game number one. It felt like God Squad played a, a much better game one than they did here game two. And I love seeing these Pokemon picks, but oftentimes things like Greninja, things like Gengar that we saw earlier on stream, they're not doing it against the top teams. They're just mm. not they're not cutting the mustard. And I don't know how you cut mustard, Zoinks, and I don't want to try, but these teams aren't doing it. It's not with a water shuriken, or at least not as of yet. And not Oof. only walking away with one KO. One KO on a Greninja. I mean, yep, yep, but the same way. One KO on a Greninja in a Sylveon Gardevoir. Like, on paper, <laughs> that From should the chat. be... So stupid. Report Greninja. You're out of your mind. You're banned for a year. <laughs> You're banned for a year. Oh, my God. Uh, <sighs> Yeah, I, I mean, I I do love these picks, Zoinks. I I I'm not lying. I love these picks. I love to see people cook, but a lot of times, like they don't cook. They like sure. the meta is not. It's not just some thing that's made up. Like sometimes it is. To be fair, <laughs> yeah, we had that conversation before. Yeah, we were. Like, it's there for a reason. Well, it is. <laughs> so, look, every yeah. once in a while, people are just off right i, I you, yeah. you'll make a prediction be like this is this is good this is bad and sometimes you're just prediction of me. full on yeah, off right 
But yeah. uh, I, I think there are other things that just don't don't play well in the meta, and you see why. Yeah. Agreed. All right. It's that time of the show for the bracket update, everybody. Don't worry. We'll get into more YouTube and God Squad as they are currently tied up 1-1. But Alter Ego is awaiting the winner of this match. Um, so whatever team can win this one will be good playing Alter Ego for the win and in. GT is waiting the winner of Luminosity Viridian. However, Luminosity is up 1-0 currently. In the pool too. I'm pretty sure somebody said it's TTV versus Genesis uh, is going to be up and coming. And yeah, Genesis was able to take down Ignorance 2-1. The TTV versus Genesis is a very exciting game over there for the play-in. And Exile awaiting the winner of Only Trolls versus Spinal. And Only Trolls up 1-0. So obviously doing something right. Um, Let's see here. So uh, looking at that bracket... We're going to run into a, a place where you, t excuse me, where uh, TTV and mm -hmm. Luminosity are both playing for their tournament. We have not really watched a full Luminosity set. We haven't okay. really watched. Did we watch both TTV versus Umbra or just one? Yes. I think we watched both. Okay. Um, so the question is, do we want to see, I think GT versus Luminosity is probably the game to watch. Especially yeah, considering probably. GT has taken down Luminosity before. It's kind of an interesting mm -hmm. one. Um, but yeah. Yeah, that'd be great. I, I think that's the way to go. There's too many good games coming up. I know. this alter, like Whoever wins this one versus Alter Ego would also be a sick game. I, these like, are, I, these I are all sick games. Well. Honestly, they're all so Ugh. good. I think we'd want to see Luminosity GT. Um, okay. Sounds good. Next. I think so. I'm down for that. I'm yeah. super down for that. Uh, but yeah, obviously, we'll finish out this one now. Still waiting. Um, I mean, that's to say, if Viridian doesn't get that upset win, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> the potential. Yeah. The potential. Look, there are, a lot, but, there are a lot of things that can happen in a lot of these moments, of course. Mm -hmm. um, also, I didn't see Nemesis playing, and now I'm kind of concerned. Let me see the <laughs> let me see the loser's bracket. Uh, hopefully, Nemesis is still gaming. Yeah, Nemesis is there. They're waiting. Oh, yeah. They're just waiting on this side of the bracket. Gotcha. Umbra Vulpium down the line for them. Ignorance is down and losers. Little ways mm -hmm. down the line, too. Wolves yeah. United. Who's Exile going up against? Uh, Only Trolls or Spy Null. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, in that's an interesting part side of the bracket right there. That felt like it was mm -hmm. Nemesis's, uh, like, part yeah. of the bracket to win. Absolutely, it did. Yeah. It really gets thrown off with Nemesis going down to losers yeah. early there. Dark Aura still in this tournament, though, having a bit of a run. They obviously lost that heartbreaker in the first game of the day yeah. that we watched for them, and they're still killing it out here. They're taking down teams. They're going up against Phalanx Guard next. So, But they're still in this tournament, slowly making their way through. Yeah, I mean, that was a heartbreaker. Um, it, a, a heartbreaker that was their fault yes like, yeah it was their fault I, I don't you, wanna, look I don't you, you learn a lot like in those moments excuse, but but yeah that yeah. was that was definitely on them they they didn't that was unforced error you know they didn't need to make that that error yeah i didn't want to um I, you know i don't want to make it look like i'm jumping in to defend them or anything like that but yeah they um uh, uh, tough one there obviously how about this no, still uh still no youtube game but i'm sure they'll be getting into draft pretty soon now Spragos, did we talk about on your stream the like drafting rules for these for these teams? I don't, I don't even know think if we so. did while you no. were live. So, chat, you might um, not know this. In fact, a lot of the teams might not even know this. It was in the rule book. I don't know how many teams have actually been employing it, but the draft rules have slightly changed for this year of the Unite Championship Series. Now, teams, um, whoever is the higher seeded team, actually gets to choose. Uh, what side of the draft they want to be on, either first pick or second pick. And then from that point on, it is a loser pick. So if you lose the first game, then you get to decide what side of the draft you want to be on, um, which is pretty cool. I'm wondering if we'll see anything like that in the top eight when the broadcast will cover draft and stuff. I I, I wonder if we're going to see any changes with draft given Pokemon Day. Um, just considering draft is coming to ranked. It's like if yeah. they're gonna mess with it, it's the time to mess with it, right? Yeah, <laughs> unless they break it. Well, <laughs> but yes, 
<laughs> yeah, you are correct. They have it's to break it down to make something better. That's so true. It's so true. It's just how it but goes. But you've man. talked about it a lot before on your on your channel. Obviously, you don't think draft is really ready for the general player base, whether it's the player base's ability or the uh, <laughs> the um, the client. The yeah. client itself, are you? Right? I mean, are you aware that you don't know who's going first? Yeah, it's so bad. It's <laughs> you do, you literally don't know. Now, of course, in a tournament, you do because you because you load in. Of lobby. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But in solo queue, you don't know who's going first. That's not going to work. Ban. Yeah, that's so. Bad. You're going to see a lot of repeat bans. I think if that's the case. Yeah, I mean, like, I guess like, everyone like, just bans them right on and move yeah. on. But yeah. Yeah. Okay, that Pokemon looks so fun. Maridon's pretty cool. I can Sonic the Hedgehog in game. That sounds dope. I, I can't wait to play it not on ping. Because on <laughs> on ping in the PTS, uh, it's kind of hard to really enjoy. Absolutely it is. The, Especially when you're going through your own personal hell whenever it, whenever you have to do a stream on I mean, that when I'm on the When I'm on the PTS, <laughs> I mean, that's my... I, I imagine <laughs> that if... Uh, if I do one day die, I bet I won't. If I do one day die and uh, get sent down to the bad place, we'll call it hell. Uh, I just okay. imagine they're going to hand me an old Android phone and make me play the PTS all day. Oh, no. I just, I, that's what I would imagine it would be. Oh, that's so bad. <laughs> that sounds And awful. some people are like, no, wouldn't it be more like, no, it wouldn't. No. <laughs> It wouldn't. I know. Not, it I know how I bad, feel. Yeah. I know what they would do to hurt me. You know? Yeah. Well, that's good to know. Know your enemy. Keep them close. Uh, word is from the chat. LG just lost game two versus Viridian. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, sweet. Hype game then. Yeah. And then that actually is good for timing wise. Because then we can watch the completion of this one and get in for the start of whoever uh, makes it out of that versus GT. Great. <laughs> Silver linings. You know, silver linings are important. I mean, you know, hey, look, uh, maybe I am down there in hell, but at the same time, I get to play a little Pokemon Unite. Silver That's linings. True. <laughs> oh, God, I don't want to play that Unite. I will never call that a silver lining. It's a real oh, rough place. <laughs> uh, can we talk about how just amazing Phalanx is in every shape and form? Phalanx is I such a cool are. Pokemon. And uh, it's the only thing that's unfortunate is it's broken. Do you really think, okay, Yes. is there any, is there, da yes, okay, I know the damage is too much, I know that, I know that, but is there a, th like, a point where it is, um, if the, like, hitbox is so big, like, it's too punishable no. to be, okay. <laughs> okay. Here's the thing, I, I get what you're saying, all that makes sense, it literally does, zoinks. Yeah, I how know. much damage does it, how it, much damage it's the does easiest a, to dodge move in the world Soinks, how much damage does a it's not actually how much damage does a snipe shot do like around two and a half to three k depending uh, on what level three thousand what and that's what early <laughs> the, what, middle of the game maybe middle of the game two k is probably early and then for the end point it's like yeah like three thousand yeah. yeah double it add two thousand <laughs> yeah, is that fair yeah. you think it's easy to get hit by it's not that hard. It's on a really low cooldown. What if you just right, walk by like, a bush and it's there? Well, they're locked into the direction they're aiming. Well, no, yeah, they're not. I mean, yeah. Wait, what do you mean? Aren't they? Don't they no. strafe like Sylveon with it? They're locked into that direction, but they can aim Megahorn any direction. What? Yeah. Okay. Well, okay, maybe it's just broken. I thought they were stuck aiming in that direction when they, no. uh, when they move. Oh. No, they're stuck. They, they move slowly. But you can uh -huh. aim that Megahorn out of it in any direction, and then you change your no retreat direction uh, as Phalanx. Oh, interesting, interesting. Okay. Yeah. It's, dude, I'm telling you, I know it's, it's easy. Like, YouTubers, like, the broken, whatever. Uh, I get sure. it. Uh, so Click it's like, the video. It, it's, the boy, it. it's the boy who cried broken. I'm just telling you, it's not... Uh, <laughs> It's not what you think it is. It's literally, mm -hmm. it's actually bugged broken. It's not, it's not right. Uh, okay. I've heard it actually already got nerfed. I don't know what, what's been changed. Oh, really? Yeah, wow, someone said cool. that, but I, you never know. Yeah, The PTS, PTS is weird rumors it's all the time. Wild West. Wild West. Which, ironically, a lot of people would think you would thrive in said locate, locale. Mm, I'm a content cowboy. 
it's different. Not a, not a, yeah. not a shoot 'em up cowboy. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not hanging out in the wild west. I'm all about content. All right, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Okay, so it looks like if we're looking at the bracket, which I'm gonna pull up here, it looks like every winning in on the winner side is now beginning, except for the bracket that we are covering. So okay. that one is the last one behind. So TTV and Genesis has just begun. Mm-hmm. Um, only Trolls versus Exile have just got their lobby. I'm sure they're gonna be getting into game really quick. Um, oh, well, I guess not Luminosity and Viridian actually. Yeah. Okay, so this side of the bracket slowed down. Yeah. Um, that side's that slow. One... So we're probably gonna be. This is actually gonna time out perfectly. Whatever happens with YT yeah. here, uh, and then we're gonna bounce on up to Luminosity versus GT, unless it's Viridian versus GT. Right. And I mean, honestly, we could switch over to... No, we need to see the final. We need to see the finale of this. This is tied. Okay. And it's finally ready. Yeah, yeah it's ready, and it's tied 1-1. This is a great game. We, I want to see and how Bucks this is. on Pikachu. Let's go. And the oh, Chompy's yes. out. The Zealot Garchomp. Let's go. I'm so tired of his Blast Toys. Thank you. Thank you we get the Garchomp again. And no Umbreon. That's really, really good. Yeah, this is going to be an interesting one. I'm guessing the bands were... Well, we might have seen an Inteleon Umbreon ban. Because I don't think Yap Yap, they maybe they just stole Guardi and didn't care about Inteleon, but it felt like their Inteleon was a, a game winner for them. Can I hit this and see bands? No. no. Oh, from the chat, we know. Blast and Umbreon. So they didn't care about the Inteleon. It, who banned Blast? Did YT? I mean... Mm, okay. Maybe? I don't know why they mm. did, <laughs> but whatever. Yeah, I got to be honest, I don't know why they did either. I mean, maybe they just like the Buzzwool into Garchomp matchup better than the Blastoise matchup. I'm not too sure. Huh. But Zealot's chasing down this Buzzwool right now. Elects for a piece of farm instead. But that's a whole lot of damage that I think Fui was not expecting to have to receive. Yeah, and here comes this Leafeon as well. Buzzwool's in trouble. Aquilo's in trouble right up here in this top path. They're going to be able to take this. Nice play here from God Squad to start this thing out. A few points scored uh, from YT, but that definitely was a lot of experience over to the side of God Squad, and we already are going to have a Gabite. Yeah, we did the Leafeon thing, right? The the Zatu mm-hmm. into red buff, into early flank. However, it didn't work out in a KO, so credit to Fui for playing very defensively in the early moments of this game. It will force them to not be level 5, but at the very least, they are not coming off to this fight to by the respawn zone. So Pulling this back here, but obviously YouTube knew they were going for that play. They were able to bring Pikachu to the top path here. Oh. Sneaky little play by Team YouTube to pick up a KO and turn that one around, obviously. Got God Squad had the advantage, and that was a, a real heads-up play by YouTube to recognize they're going to need to actually send someone up to apply some more pressure. Such a good rotation. See, this is what we talk about when we talk about how there is truly something special about top-level Unite teams. Yeah. Like, it's not all reactionary, right? Like, that's a set play. That is a decided by Team YouTube. Uh, maybe it is happening like they comment out during the game, but for the most part, it is no. Like when they do this, we do this, and that's practice, and that's why they scrim, and it just makes a team like Team YouTube so exciting to watch. Love stuff like that. Yeah, they are really exciting to watch for that reason. Like you're saying, yeah, a lot of these top teams they have things like that where you're like, yeah, it's just really impressive that they know oh we can actually rotate and change a play here do something that they might not expect in this moment pikachu looking to see if they can get a ko on guardy here eating a big moon blast right now and having to actually head back up to the top path as we see god squad raining the points in up here buzzwool was taken down leafeon now stacking it up well leafeon going to be fully powered up or at least at the bare minimum four to five stacks i'm sure they've gotten more at some point throughout the game uh but muck by the way going into a different pikachu build than what we've seen we are going with the volt tackle electro ball build well you've got a solar beamer on your side as well which yeah, is going to set sense. up some big plays Ooh. you also have to deal with a leafeon weren't able to deal with it too well right there but hopefully in the future they'll be able to actually make a little bit more happen here as god squad is cleaning it up at the start of this match they're actually having a, a really strong start yap yap actually we had to leave the inteleon behind like you were talking about but picking up sam's gardevoir in response so stealing that one away solar beam does not contend with the solar blade as anon secures that major objective and falsoon takes down a kilo 
Yeah, big stuff here from God Squad. They're just winning front, right, and center right now into this Team YouTube comp. Nice little play right there. Obviously, picking up the KO with that Electro Ball. It's got that Execute damage, so even on a Trevenant, they're able to make something happen. Huge overcap on the top path. 34-138 as Zealot is now ripping apart this Reggie Alecki. Everything is coming up God Squad here in Game 3. <laughs> yeah, so far looking fantastic for them. I don't know. Sam on this Venusaur is obviously notorious for like game winning moments, but I mean, their Gardevoir looked so good in these last two games to see it stolen away by God Squad definitely feels like a very intentional decision by this GS crew in draft mode to cut away one of the best players of Team YouTube in whatever way they can. And here we have Zealot up in this top path. We also have a Unite move from Guardi ready to, you know, go off at any moment right here. But it looks like they are going to peel back. This is a big play that they can make right here. They're just going to have to find their moment. Here comes the Unite move from Gardevoir. Are they going to continue pushing forward right here? Moonblast misses. Gardevoir still throwing down their moves. And they're just looking for their timing right now. And they don't even need to use it. They use it after it's already gone in. And they wipe this top pad. 34 262. God Jeez. Squad is controlling this game. <laughs> okay. I mentioned it on my stream recently. Real, their full title is Real Player One, but that doesn't fit with the God Squad analog. But they are one of my favorite support players to watch. So aggressive for a support player. I'm talking solo Eldegoss Unites for just purely damage effects and things like that. And seeing a hoop of value play like that one, one of my favorite. Favorites. Just drop the hoops unbound and throw some hands. Big, big fan of Real Player One. Yeah, incredible stuff right there. And if you're a fan of Team YouTube right now, you've got to be sweating here because they are incredibly far behind. They're going to need to make some big plays and come back into this game somehow. Luckily, they're letting them score up here in this top path. Really nice for Team YouTube as Yap Yap Yappers putting in some points in the bottom path. Easy Reggie Rock. They'll take that trade because they're so far ahead. And now we've got this Reggie Alecki that they would like to wipe off the map real quickly so that it could head towards the side of Team YouTube and make sure that they could have another one. But instead, they say, no, we're going to make a sneakier play and put another 40 points in this Tier 2. And with no Hoopa Unite as well. So a bold take by God Squad to basically abandon this Reggie Alecki in favor of trying to get some objective experience otherwise. So this Reggie Alecki will be taken down. Fui having a hard time, though, in the, their own central area as Anon and Yap Yapper get to work. Garchomp hanging out on the side. Zilla gets some good early damage into Aquilo, But they are currently the lone defender of this Reggie Alecki with Falsoon on the top side of the map. Man, I, you know, I'm not... Ooh, nice little play here from YouTube. Okay. Is there actually actually trying to make something big happen with this Reggie Alecki, and they probably need it right now at this point in the game. Huge Unite move there from Pikachu with the Vault Tackle. Denies everything Leafeon is trying to do. They are pushing on this goal zone. There's the Gardevoir Unite, and this is not good for Team YouTube. Sam in so much trouble. Here comes the Garchomp right now with the huge Unite chasing down the Clefable, and they are able to go down as well. Fui in so much trouble just being surrounded by the God Squad, and they are taken out. Out. One thing that I worry about here, uh, Zoinks, as YouTube is running some points into this bottom path, I think they possibly secured Reggie Alecki early enough that it, it's going to hit the map again before oh, Ray. Yeah, that's concerning. You're absolutely correct. I think around like 220, we should have another Reggie Alecki. So that could be a big problem. The thing that I'm worried about for Team YouTube is they have essentially drafted a powerful death ball composition. You're running Venusaur, even Pikachu with a Volt Tackle and Slowbro and Clefable. You want to be grouped up and working as kind of this big engine that charges into the enemy team. Well, guess what? Pokemon smiles with the biggest face smile on their face that could ever happen when something like that goes down. Gardevoir Unite moves are so threatening to Death Ball compositions. And Yap Yapper has been known to hit some pretty powerful ones so far. I don't see any reason why that would change. Oh, uh, you know what? I Ooh, here's a slow beam. This is the Ray fight. It's happening right now. 
now. They pick up Garchomp and they're going to make something happen. They know they're behind in this moment and Team YouTube is turning it on. I was incorrect about the timing that Reggie Alecki was actually perfectly taken by Team YouTube. My mistake is they're getting ready here for this Rayquaza. They're ripping it. They know they need to make a play. They're incredibly far behind and that is what they're looking to do. Leafeon is stopped by the Pikachu. Ray is getting extremely low. Here's the solar beam for the secure and he does it. Clefable somehow is the one who picks he it up. Okay, beam. that's not what I saw, but fair enough. He got Hyper Beam, like, right at the beginning of that fight, and you saw Aquilo actually leave his teammates and sort of run towards the top side of that goal zone, totally dedicated on making sure they get last hit secure on the Rayquaza. They're splitting their attention to try to make sure that they can score, even if the Clefable is defending. 48 goes in. God Squad still has the lead, even after losing this Rayquaza. Here we go. 429, 317. Are there any more points? Look at that electro ball following him all the way home. Minute six seconds left on the clock. The game is not over for YouTube, but they need to make a big play right here. I got to say, Aquilo with that Clefable defense on the goal zone, what an absolute star in that moment. If yeah. YouTube comes back from this, they owe Aquilo a beer or a coffee yes. or a G Fuel or whatever this person wants to drink. Just get him some liquids, dang it, as we have 40 <laughs> seconds left, Zoinks. All right, Fall soon hanging out. We obviously wise to God Squad's tricks, and that's a whole lot of damage thrown towards that Pokemon. The Fairy Singularity only grabs one. Another KO by Aquilo, this time via a close combat. And now the defense from God Squad is coming in slow. Slow beam from Phil Yumis is holding the Garchomp in place, and they can do absolutely no way! nothing. So no no way! Fingers, and YouTube is doing it. YouTube is literally doing it. They have the lead, and 12 seconds left. And Team YouTube pull it off, Spraggles. No way! What a oh. fight! Team YouTube, absolutely legendary. I'm telling you, Aquilo, the MVP times a million in that match. Oh, Holy. My word. That's one of the best games uh, we've seen all day. What a finish. My goodness gracious. God Squad punching the air after that one. What a frustrating way to go up, but what a heroic game from Team YouTube. They will now be moving on, not even to the top eight, Spraggles. Yeah. They will be moving on to their win and in match uh, against their next opponent. I'll have to check again who that is. I also forget at this point. Oh, um, but Team YouTube with a uh, fantastic showing there. Aquilo, your hero. 79,000 damage on recovery and 71,000 damage taken. What a game from them. What a fight. I mean, holy. <laughs> so wow. good. And then, you know, they they had they had to defend he had to defend as a Clefable against 3 on a goal mm -hmm. and then after that they have to push into 5 and somehow get this this W. I'm just so I'm so impressed with them. What what a fight. Me too. Me too. And okay, now we are at that part where we have to choose the next matchup. If we want to wait, it would be Team YouTube versus Alter Ego. Uh, we might be able to jump into Luminosity and Viridian's I think, game. I think three, we though. do it right now. Let's watch that game. Yeah, let's yeah. go. Let's, let's go. see LG. Right, Luminosity Gaming on your purple side, Viridian on your orange side. Game three. This is not a win and in, and Overlord's on the candle. Let's go. It's exciting to see. Oh, I love candle gameplay. One of my favorite favorite Pokemon to play in the entire game. By oh, far. dude, it's great. Yeah, if they, I've been saying this, I've been saying this for too long, but if they change Flamethrower aiming to be like Espeon, Psyshock aiming, it's over. I'm, I'm becoming a world-class player with this Pokemon. Here we go. LG, they've got Book on the LD, which is mm -hmm. interesting. I feel like uh, we've seen Book really dominate on the Clefable, but I'm sure they are going to have Book play a ton of different supporters in this role. Oh, of course, yeah. There'll be a big variety of them. I honestly think the first support I really recognize Jungle Book for, um, back in the day, it's kind of during last year's season when they sort of took it off, but we're kind of playing with some teams, just uh, filling in here and there. Uh, it was a lot of Blissey gameplay. Uh, we saw a lot from them there, but 
This time around, Eldegoss, another good showcase for them. And they're coming up to Top Path with that red buff as well. Which, of course, we talked about the synergy of this. You can see Beast with that little green glowing icon above their head. Slowed by the Gossifleur boosted autos and the red buff. It means you're moving literally just one mile per hour. Yeah, it's just such a frustrating thing to deal with here. We have Gardevoir heading to the Top Path. Candle heading to the Top Path as well. And it looks like these two, you know, incredible special attackers are going to meet up up here. We're not sure which build Overlord prefers. I'm guessing it's the Flamethrower. But it's we're, gotta we're, Yeah, it's gotta be. But we're gonna have to see how they want to play it right here. As it is oh, Overheat, the Caster of Curse. Of course. The Caster of Curse. Of course it is. You can't, oh, honestly, word. You can't. there's no way. No matter what you say as a caster, the opposite happens every time. Yeah, I'm never making a prediction again. I'm... <laughs> I'm taking some notes from our VGC friends who are always like, they could do this. And that's what I'm going to do from now on. <laughs> yeah. Oh, smart. Yeah. It's just really covers your bases. Uh, Overlord on a bit of an invade now. Wants another blue buff to add to their collection. And Beast is going to have to try to chase them down. But with Jungle Book's healing, this is not a, it's a pretty challenging KO to find. Overlord Nightshade stuns them for a moment, but the LD swings in or KOs the Squirtle, but it's Brave Pie to take down Overlord. Yeah, nice KO there. And what you should have said is, this could be a difficult KO to find. Thank you. Yes. Oh, I literally made the mistake immediately. Immediately. Oh, it was no. going to be a difficult <laughs> KO to find for sure, but as soon as you said it was, they have to get it. It's just they how it goes. They have to do it. Yeah, it's like I'm cheering them on somehow. What a game. <laughs> well, Pokemon Unite. You did it again. Oh, Pokemon. <laughs> Here we go. We got level 7 on this Buzzwool right now, which means, uh, you know, Slash is, has both of their big moves here. They don't get another huge power spike until Unite. And then, of course, level 11, which gives them that massive power spike. Nice secure there by Ooh. Zugrug. The Sniper. You think it's just the Inteleon on Decidueye? No, it's the Rock Tomb Crustal. Now, I know this isn't technically AO's Cup, but it's kind of AO's Cup. Last time, I think we all hyped up Zugrug all the way to the moon was in their AO's Cup gameplay on Slowbro when they were, like, stopping Hoopa resets with Slowbro. Some of the sickest play we've seen from them. So, fun to see that that title tournament is going to keep on moving for their highlight level plays. So Zugrug, this time on the Crustle, absolutely put on a show. Take a look at this right here. We've got actually them uh, looking for uh, a bit of a more calculated score here in this mm -hmm. bottom path. They actually don't end up scoring any more, which I'm kind of surprised with because they could put some more points in here. Instead, they're just heading down to take this Reggie Steel as quickly as they can. It looks like they're going to be able to secure it before any member of Viridian gets down there, and they do. Overlord does have level 9, had that last boosted hit, and ooh, is going in prison. Interesting. I wasn't quite sure. There's not a lot of dive targets for them to shut down with that move, but, I mean, the value is still there. It, it is such a powerful move, so either way, you can make it work. I was very curious to see what build they were going to go to with the Chandelure, but it is overheat in prison in the end. Yeah, here we go. Pushing forward right now, trying to make sure that they can push their enemies outside and give Slash an opportunity to do something here in this top path as we see Overlord now heading back in that central area, just continuing to farm up. You'll notice a lot of top players in this game will make sure that they are getting their rotations. They they go through their jungles, they pick their buffs back up, they make sure that they are over-leveling their opponents as best as they possibly can. As we got a bit of a fight ready to break out here in this top path, almost everyone from both teams here, except for a Venusaur from LG and a tree from Viridian. Yeah, Barnwell playing the defense while uh, Curios maybe trying to find a way to score that 40. Ooh, Slash with a huge reset tech on the Buzzwool, and they immediately zero to hero onto that Sylveon. And of course, the Reggie Lucky being slowly pestered by Zugrug, mostly so that it doesn't reset, I have to imagine. And Overlord Unite moves to uh, not a whole lot of value, and they almost, th this Reggie Lucky could go the other way, but thank goodness Slash was there to fill. Yeah, Slash able to pick someone up from the enemy team, throw him on down on that Reggie Alecki and get a big secure right there. Reggie now pushing towards this goal zone here. And it looks like LG is going to take this opportunity to fight. Big Unite move, but quickly eject buttoned out of it by Overlord. Zilgrug with a three-player Rubble Rouser stun. Uh, you like to see when players can get value out of a Unite move in every facet that it can provide. And Zilgrug doing just that with the Crustle. I mean... 
Yes, this match is tied up 1-1, but uh, Spraggles, this particular game, not close. Uh, LG is dominating the game. Yeah, LG is crushing it right now. You can see experience-wise, Kyrgios is already level 12 in this bottom path. Obviously, mm -hmm. there is not much Barnwell's been able to do about this Solar Beam Venusaur. And really, I mean, yeah. how could it, obviously? Those secures are absolutely insane. It's a level 12, super, super early, so it's definitely going to be a force to be reckoned with as this game goes on. Uh, two levels higher than the jungle Pokemon from Viridian, so this is a <laughs> tough spot for Viridian to be in. Yeah, when a game where Kyrios gets over leveled is a terrifying game every single time. Unite move, and that time just a normal solar beam with the help of Overlord is going to KO Silvio and his two members go down for Viridian and LG having their best option at a Reg Ice right now. Yeah, LG looking fantastic here in game number three. Uh, this looks like mm -hmm. the kind of team that will head on forward and possibly win the next match here for the play-in. But obviously, Viridian's going to do everything they can to stop this. Big Eight. Unite move does catch Overlord this time. Nice little catch here. Gardevoir's only level 10 right now, which is pretty unfortunate. They need to pick up some of these KOs if they want to get back in this game. Nice big catch-up experience heading on over to the side of Viridian, but a lot of it heading to the Sylveon, which, of course, not terrible, but they would love this Guardi to get leveled up. Yeah, oh, all the way to 112, so an extremely good overdunk for the side of Team Viridian. Uh, Savior not able to get in their points, but they have raised their level up to level 11 at this point in time, and that's one thing that we gotta be talking about in this final team fight. The team fight unites are extremely strong on Viridian. Fairy Singularity, Hydro Typhoon, even the Trevenant, like Phantom Cursor or forest curse or whatever it is extremely strong so there's a lot of game-changing maneuvers that viridian can do problem is we also have a pretty solid host of game-changing unite moves on the side of lg uh chandelure and venusaur in particular can be pretty game-changing when they drop those oh absolutely and of course you know i would be worried about how under leveled they are they're going to need to spend a lot of time making sure that they can get to parity here level wise because if they are not able to they can't really win this fight you know a gardevoir unite move is great but it's not great if you're three levels lower than the enemy team right now they're <laughs> level 12 they're getting very close but we now have venusaur ticking over to 14 for the side Jeez. of luminosity i'm sure we'll see the same uh soon enough for the candle as rayquaza is here this game is going to decide it one of these two teams is not staying in our winner's bracket lg is up right now 181 to 112 we see the positioning from lg we have venusaur and buzzwool up in this top path they have a nice little position set up to watch this tier one goal as we actually see viridian is going for a full rip is this possibly what's happening yeah, I mean, there's a lot of attention going to it. Blast was a pretty early Unite move, if that's the case. Fairy Singularity on it, and Gardevoir does take it. So a full rip on the Ray, and Viridian is going to walk away with it, and two members of LG down. Wow. I mean, okay, Viridian full rips. They take down multiple members of Luminosity, 212 to 181. Game is definitely not over. Are they able to stop this? No, they are not. 181, 310. Clefable mm -hmm. probably won't make it home after this. The question is, what are they going to be able to do with their remaining time? A minute is a long time in a match of Pokemon Unite, and it is under two minutes here, so double scoring is active. It's time to make a play right here, and they're going to have to figure out exactly what that is. Slash, seeing yeah. if they can possibly charge up a Unite move, or at least get their muscle gauge fully charged as they head down towards this tier one. And look at that. Another 48 for Savior right here. If LG doesn't make a huge play, they're going to be behind more than you think. As 46 go in, now they're pushing forward with that 48 in the top path, but they're going to need to stop LG here. It's going to be close. They have the Blastoise and Trevenant to create some space, but now the damage is starting to surge in from the other direction. Gardevoir trying to get back as quickly as they can, but Blastoise is already down, and now Zulgrog is the one pushing all the way forward. Look at how many players they just grab with that X scissor. So many targets stolen away, but Sylveon holding down this goal zone defense quite well, calm minding away. They actually find a way to KO and trade with Kyrios, but Krussel scores 24. I don't know if it's enough. That's 50 from Overlord. A Hundo Burger from the Chandelure. Can LG do it, Spraggles? I've lost count. I Wow, at another 16, they did it. I think they did they it right there. It. I oh. think LG actually made that yeah. push happen, and it's crazy because we just saw a push like that from Team YouTube. Let's see. 
467, oh, wow. 406. That's Luminosity pulling it out in the end. They were able to beat the flip. They were able to beat the huge amount of points scored. I think Savior maybe waited a little too long to score those points in the top path. Mm -hmm. They wanted to make sure that so many players of Luminosity were committing right there. And yeah. unfortunately, they just weren't there to defend uh, in that moment. I can't believe Zugro got three or four members in one X scissor. It was, it was only the Sylveon that they didn't have grabbed in that moment who did take down Kyrios, but still, I mean, Zugro clears so much space. It actually lost Overlord to dunk 50 points unshielded on that tier two. It's just... <laughs> this team is so good, Spraggles. Oh, my word. So incredibly good. You can never count them out. You just saw a little bit of, uh, to quote Wolfie, the world champ difference right there. True. Yeah, the two-time. Two-time in it. Oh, my word. What a play. Okay. All right. All right. So... Let's uh let's see where the racket is at. Of course, Luminosity knocking Viridian down, so it'll be Luminosity versus GT for that win and in match. Alter Ego versus Team YouTube is about to begin. Uh, we'll have that one coming up very very soon. Um, should we do another like chat vote, or do you have a personal vote? Um, TTV versus Genesis is underway, and Genesis is actually leading. I think we could watch the. I'm I'm fine with watching the TTV game. Okay, um, let's do it. So it's... we're jumping in. This will be, uh. Oh, this is the wrong That's the game. wrong game. All right. Yeah, yeah, let me bail. Sorry, You're I forgot. Fired. You're fired, Zox. That's good. I can go to bed. No, it's not good. All right. <laughs> Remember, you don't do this for me. You don't get a car battery. I don't want to I don't want to tell everyone behind the scenes how everything works, but I basically got to threaten Zoinks to be here. I hate it. I don't want to act like that, but it's the way it is. Oh my gosh. Yeah. No, but I'm, it's time we all accept it. Okay. This is loser's bracket game. We'll bail. My bad. Not forgiven. No, nope, never. Not forgotten. Never punished. Never, punish, never forgiven. Yeah, uh, I think uh, we've got a big game coming up here for TTV, especially if they're down a game in their qualifier match. There are so many games I want to watch. There are so many games I want to watch. Um, I mean, all four of these I want to be watching. Yeah, it's just so tough. Um, I think YouTube, uh, I think TTV being down one. I know a lot of people in the chat are saying Team YouTube. I want to watch those games as well. There's only we can only spectate one at a time, you know. Exile's currently up 1-0 over Only Troll, so kind of expecting Exile to uh, be winning that one 2-0. Yes. So we probably won't get to see them on broadcast at all, but they will be making it to top eight on Winter Side, most yeah. likely. Most likely. Yeah, <laughs> I think uh, I think they were, you know, after Nemesis goes down, they're at a great spot for sure. Yes, 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 yes. Seven, a uh, much easier road to. To make it in, but yeah, that it means a tie, get Yoshi and Gloxic all playing in losers brackets still, competing, trying to make it there. The TTV Genesis match is at 1-0, but it's been tracking for about 40 minutes. Oh. So I don't know if um So maybe it's not. Maybe it's over already. <laughs> That'd be unfortunate for TTV, but totally possible. Yeah, especially because in this bracket you need to win a couple. They're just on a team. I see the so chat. Even... I know that a lot of you love Team YT. Trust me. I, I want to see more Team YT as well. We can watch more Team YT. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with That's... any of them. And they're all great games. There's so many great games to watch. Um, it's Team YT versus Alter Ego, yes? I just thought with uh, if TTV is down, then I would like to I would like to see what's going on in their bracket. Obviously, they're a huge team. And... Uh, Right. It's just saying they're on a team. So I don't know if it's like not reported or if it's tied 1 1 or what the deal is, but. Yeah, we're going to find uh, out. Currently, no updates. Uh, we could do Alter Ego versus Team YouTube. That would be a lot of fun. Yeah, where are they As, at? Uh, they should be spectatable now. Okay. And we don't know what's happening with TTV. All right. Um... Let's get into the YouTube game then. All right, Team YouTube versus Alter Ego. This is 0-0 zero, zero between these two squads. All right. Machizel has his real name. This is so exciting. <laughs> Machizel has been uh, his Lisa for, or her Lisa for ages. So very excited to see you finally, an official commit to an actual name. And uh, Megu and Utah were also that way in EU. So we can't, uh, we got to make sure we give them the shout out if we're going to rage at them on Twitter when that happens too. Yeah. 
Now that they're finally doing it, fair enough. Uh -huh. Here we are, game a number one between Team YT and American Ego. Sorry, Altered Egos. <laughs> uh, yeah. And uh, this is going to decide who is heading to the top eight. If either one of these teams win, they're making their way through the winner's bracket. Yeah, our first elimination match that we're actually able to watch on broadcast. We've been watching so many early rounds, but now we are in the qualification stage of our event tonight. And Joey getting in at least one stack. Roland getting a lot of those last hits, though, as that Sobble is already level four. Here we go. Nice little secure right there. Sobble just so difficult to secure against. Kratos up in this top path actually put in some work against Fui. We do have a stored power Espeon, which is what I was expecting to see more of today when I saw some of the mm -hmm. Espeons in some of those games. Stored power Espeon is really brutal right now. It's so good. Yeah, I don't know. It plays really well into a lot of your opponents. Those cooldown resets are so good. Thank you for explaining that to me the other day of how they worked. Um, so Yeah, very, very, very strong. And here we go. Ooh, nice big KO here for Sam. And it looks like uh, Leafeon going down as well. We have Machisel moving on in. The pickup, the set down. They take down the Venusaur. Oh, good start for Alter Ego in the top path. They do lose one, but that trade back the other way feels pretty good. But look at this. Muck making sure that maybe they lose the Securus of the early game, but the KOs are going to find their way to Team YouTube when Muck is on the case. Good damage from this player. Muck is a detective right now, and he's solving the case of the <laughs> Inteleon on the bottom path. Solving yeah. it with the hyper voice, baby. Up Feels here, like in we the already know the answer to that one. Yeah, we do. <laughs> That's a bad case name. It's okay. It's a bad case. Look, it, I'm not. <laughs> I, I never said I was good at naming cases. I don't know who would say that, but I'll tell you, I would never <laughs> say that. Machizel in a lot of trouble right here, overstaying their welcome as Muck is heading to the top path, just looking for a KO. Doesn't know who to hyper voice, and it looks like everyone gonna make it out of there. No, Fui says I don't think so. Actually, the Solar Blade finds its mark and picks up the KO, big time KO on that level seven Espeon. Oh, Kratos sent home way earlier than they would have ever liked to. And we actually going to keep on hanging out on the top side. They are level 7 now. This Pokemon's power spikes just so absurdly early, but also so absurdly strong. And Aquilo, relentless for their stacking game. Uh, whatever part of the match it is, they are always on the case. And here we go up in the top path, the case of the Eldegoss in the Flux Zone. The question is, can Fui do anything? That's a good one. That's a great case. <laughs> yeah, that's a great case name. I, I like that a lot. Love that case. As we see Joey down here in the bottom path, just getting farmed up. Rolling now level 7, and the snipe shots are going to start flying here as we're getting our teams ready for the Reggies. You know what I've noticed about this season, Zoinks? And I don't know if you feel this way. I know we're just at the start, but some off-season tournaments as well. It feels like the prio for these Reggies are not as uh, like hard and set in stone as they used to be. Completely agree. Yeah, it has definitely been a lot more viability for the Regieleki these days. I usually tend to think that is like a compositional difference, but I also think it's just a nature that team fights happen so quickly and so handedly in our today's metagame that you just you can know if you are going to win or lose a team fight before you take it. And you're like, let's just play for Whoa, the other one. Gosh. Oh man, look at these snipes and look at Machizel here coming in on that buzz wall. 12 to 197 American Eagle coming out with some new jeans and at the same time looking amazing in this oh wait no it's alter ego wasn't it, it wasn't it mostly this team obviously uh like Roland on Amaterasu last season is now playing for alter ego same with JL but they were the ASU team and we were of course were giving them the Sun Devils love so what is with this team and picking brandable <laughs> team tags huh they I don't know. know look they know you remember it that way it's true you it's know? true <laughs> I shake fork them Sorry, just making, taking a big swig of water right there. <laughs> okay, yeah. As, cool. as it stopped. I apologize. I love I love ping ponging it with you right there, but I was uh I was taking a big old drink. And as and now we have a fight here. Phil in a lot of trouble right now. Slow bro, it's hard to take it down, but it wasn't too tough for that. Aquilo in a lot of trouble right now. Machizel moving on with the the buzzwall, looking for Fui. Fui actually heading back in and saying, Yeah, I'm coming back in. I'm your Huckleberry, looking to see if they can pick something up, and they do help Muck pick up a KO right there. Muck now in a ton of trouble Fui heading back in to get himself KO'd as Phil is back inside this fight finally walking back oh. up to the top path they're gonna KO Phil again they're gonna say look I don't know how many times you want to uh, throw this slow bro at us but we'll keep taking it down thank you very much 
Man, Alter Ego playing on a whole nother level compared to Team YouTube right now. 256 to just 12 points. I can't remember the last time that Team YouTube has been held to something like 12 points. Uh, this is this is crazy stuff from Alter Ego. Excited to see what this team can really do. Obviously, this match is not over. There's still end game stuff that YouTube can pull off, but they need to start getting on getting working on that immediately because Alter Ego is running away with this one. Yeah, Alter Ego is in a commanding position right here. Beautiful play from Joey just you know absolutely you know, taking mm -hmm. that Clefable for a bit of a ride right here while well, YouTube is looking to pick up something of their own and Teleon goes down better trade for team YouTube but team YouTube is definitely on the back foot right here and Alter Egos is deciding everything that happens in this match including oh. how poorly it works out for Fui when he tries to pick up a KO it's just not working out for YouTube they're behind on experience and a Pokemon like Leafeon really shines because they get a big ES XP lead early when they're slightly mm -hmm. behind they just lose so much value oh. unbelievable that machizel survived that to pick up a double <laughs> came away with two as well jl showed up like oh you're still here okay maybe i can uh oh, never mind <laughs> you're gonna have to bail but i i think this oh, oh man Rowan not missing with these snipe shots. A fantastic attacker player. Obviously, they played a lot of SP on last season in the top path role. Um, however, they have been swapping over to sort of a true attacker player. Big, big fan of what Roland's been able to accomplish in the game. And here we go. Muck looking to make something happen on the top path. Muck seems to be uh, one of the only things that's actually been working for YouTube in this match. Fui now picking up a KO right here, getting that level 12. So does Muck. Massive wood hammer into a horn leech right here. And we have a unite move from the Venusaur at this top path. YouTube putting a lot of resources into this fight right here. They need to get back into this game. They're hoping this is going to do it with one of the biggest horn leeches I've ever seen. I'm not so sure that's going to happen as YouTube is completely wide wiped off the map. Reggie Alecki is free. That's a 4KO for Roland. Uh, they're just picking up quads on the side here <laughs> of AE. I mean, I, I guess they're going to a, a yard sale where there are ATVs because they're picking up quads. Yep. Heck yeah. I know you couldn't think of a place that quads I, are. I couldn't get I don't know where you buy ATVs. I was I was stuck. I, I knew I was in deep water when I started that and I just couldn't get there. Those are my favorite. Oh my goodness. Now, Roland did have to use the Unite move, right? So Intel had to drop that. However, a KO streak of four, I think we would all consider to be absolutely worth it. <laughs> um, and they're going to try to farm as quickly as they can. Phil caught yet again. Every crowd control option in the game thrown at the sport slow, bro. And it's the snipe shot that sends them back to base. Oh my gosh. I think Phil just threw the controller. Yeah, this has just been really tough for YouTube right here. Only level 11 on that slow bro, and the snipe shot's just able to take it down. It's level 14 in Teleon. Muck moving in. They're going to need to make something happen, and the snipe shot finds another target. Rayquaza is getting chipped right here. I don't actually love that Rayquaza is getting hit right here, but at the same time, it looks like they're going to be able to do a pretty good job of securing it. Phil, no! <laughs> no way okay Fui is able to get this secure a minute 25 on the clock they are looking for this right now 60 points go in the top path 50 points go in the bottom path they are losing shields but it's not completely over machizel in a little bit of trouble but this combo keeps going muck looking to take them down right here and muck's gonna have to back up because as soon yep beautiful shield right there as soon as machizel is able to get this combo back up they do go down but it looks like they have to turn their attention on the Venusaur right now 276 to 426 Fui has a shield but not much longer and that may spell the end for Team YouTube they have no shields they have to make a big play Buzzwell back in 17 seconds it's all or nothing right now as they push towards this tier 2 goal don't know why we just lost that shield like why were they playing so aggressively that felt like a chance they could have maybe even recalled and took taken safe farm to join this fight for the 30 second mark but now it's just gonna have to be a straight up fight no rayquaza shields involved and now we have alter ego rallying back for the defense but she's able to take one Fui does find roland is actually gonna work towards the top path to go score but i don't know if they have any points and kratos gonna immediately rotate to stop them in that location so team youtube may have found a way to secure the Rayquaza, but I don't think they found a way to take game number one because Alter Ego now leads our series one to zero. Yeah, I mean, Alter Ego was ahead the whole time. 
You know, they mm -hmm. started ripping, I think, a little too much, but they were trying to pull Team YouTube in, and it did turn out to be the right play for them in the end. YouTube yeah. with the secure, but again, not able to secure the victory right there. The team's switching here at the end because we don't know who's first, who's second. Uh, and we can see that Alter Ego winning that one. Umbreon Hoopa were the Pokemon that were banned out in that first game. Yeah, I, I think banning out uh, JL's Hoopa is a good decision by Team YouTube. However, ooh, I could not find a way to win that game. And I mean, make no mistake, it got a little crazy with a Rayquaza Steel, but that entire game was dominated by Alter Ego. So Team yes. YouTube needs to go completely back to the drawing board, and they're going to find some kind of option. And I really want Sam back on the Guardy. Yeah, I, uh, I, I, I totally agree with you. Um, mm -hmm. It's... There, that was a hard game for YouTube. And it's one of yes. those games where you go, was that uh, was that our, uh, a skill diff? Or <laughs> or did we just get... You know those games where you just... Everything seems to go wrong, you know? Yeah. It's just you miss this secure here. You miss that secure there. You feed and you give a KO right there. And then all of a sudden, before you re, you know, you know recognize it, you're two levels behind. You're in quicksand and you're just sinking. And everything you do, you just can't seem to pull yourself out of it. That's what it felt like watching that Team YouTube game. And they're going to have to bring a different look in here to game number two. That was a terrifying description, Sprout. <laughs> that was a that was a horror novel worth of. You get into look, I teams get in quicksand. It they I, get stuck. I agree man. with you. I think that is a. I think it's a great way to describe it. I'm just saying, I'm afraid to go to bed tonight now because of what you just said. So like, there's barely any quicksand near you. Yes, there's some directly near where you personally live, but it's not yeah. that likely that you fall into quicksand. <laughs> what are the uh, maybe one in five people? <laughs> perishes due to quicksand these days it's really rare yeah it's been lowering i'm glad the world's modernizing and all that but honest to god if one in five people did <laughs> go out due to quicksand the world would be very scary that's a nightmare <laughs> i do not like that reality there'd be like whole cities in quicksand and he'd be like oh no the stats there'd be everything you know every politician would be like yeah let me tell you what i'm gonna do about quicksand and everyone would be other like this guy doesn't do anything about quicksand not happening at all like oh my god you think that's gonna fix the quicksand problem you out of your mind and i'll tell you i i don't know the answer to the quicksand problem but i i am sick of these fat cats in washington because they don't care yeah, you've said a few times, what have the fat cats done to you? <laughs> what, the question is, what have they done for me? All right? Yeah, that's true. Tired that's true. of these fat cats in Washington not fixing this quicksand problem. Because then you know they could. Okay, TTV Genesis is tied 1-1. <laughs> Parker in the chat says we've gone off the rails. And you know what, Parker? I think you're right, actually. <laughs> yeah. Okay, TTV Genesis is tied 1-1. And they're into game three. Okay. Are we at all tempted to bounce? You know, do and it right now and okay, and, yeah, and speed it because we have to go through a whole draft with Team YT and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, sick. All right, so this is tied 1-1. This is Genesis versus TTV. Mm -hmm. Bora Reach, Faz, Lakoning on the Meowth Garada, Lutano on the Metagross. Okay, I'm very glad we clicked this button. Yeah, and this is a TTV. Sorry, what was it again? Nem uh, not uh, Genesis. 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 Sega. Sega. And yeah, if you could uh, speed us up all the way till, um, I don't know, at least get three minutes like out of the way. Yeah. Something fast. Let's just go. Let's just cruise. We could cruise we for a while here. Lutano? Lutano? Lutano looking for stacks. You need them. Not able to pick that up. Nice job, Rhino. Not able to pick that up. Nice job. They got Hitman on the Leafeon. I've heard Hitman's Leafeon is a thing of beauty. Mm hmm True, true. Lutano taking this blue buff right here. What kind of Lutano do we got? We've got ourselves a Gyro Ball. Looks like every pro is playing Gyro Ball so far. That's also what I'd probably play. Although, lately, I gotta tell you, Zoinks, I've been playing a little Meteor Mash, a, a different build with Meteor Mash, and it's actually also yeah. very sick. I, I've actually watched your stream a bunch. Uh, I get very inspired whenever you play Metagross. You're a very talented Metagross player. So oh, come on. I, I'll, I'll, believe your, I'll believe your build text. I mean, you're I'm just good. saying that because of the car battery thing, but thank you. Yeah, I could use two. Um. <laughs> this guy over here is thinking, I made a car batteries. <laughs> oh, be a cool superpower, though. Uh, Yeah, would it? 
<laughs> yeah, that was one of my favorite um one of my favorite uh narrative games is to come up with bad superpowers. And one time me and my friends came up with a guy who could manipulate electricity but only in batteries. Oof, that is a bad <laughs> I thought that was funny. We also had another one of a person who could fly but only six inches off the ground at any given time. I uh, I had an improv scene once where they were all the X-Men, and my power was I always knew whether it was AM or PM, no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, that's good. Rarely that's came really into good. use, and then finally, during one <laughs> dumb thing that happened, uh, there was the person there who you know had a power that confused me, so my power wasn't relevant. <laughs> Never worked out for me. <laughs> oh, 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 improv oh. comedy. Oh, short form. Good stuff, good stuff. Here we go. Reggie Rock going down right now. Uh, Rhino here in the bottom path. It looks like Rhino was actually playing really well in that top path. Kind of cool to see Meowskarada. I don't know if we got to see what kind of Meowskarada it was. Will in a moment. I'm sure it is double team because I'm seeing two Meowskaradas okay. on so, the mini map. I don't think there's <laughs> any way you're going to see double team Night Slash, but I can't wait to see it because oh, I said yes. that. Yeah, but, <laughs> no, this time you're okay. It is Flower okay. Trick as Otter is going to absorb one of those right now. There we go. Faz up here in this top path. Good to see Faz, by the way. For real, for real. Big Faz fan. Uh, mm -hmm. Up here in this top path, Hitman now, not able to make uh, a score happen. It's really cool that they're they're playing the Meowskarada. I think Meowskarada is super underrated right now. So is Metagross, though. I agree. Meta is great. I was talking to Ender about this the other day, and we were both like, I think this thing is like top tier, and people are actually sleeping on it pretty hard. Oh, yeah. Even I think people are just scared of the level nine, right? Like they, yeah. they've seen, it's got a bit of a Tyranitar scare. Over time, it's hard, admittedly worse than Metagross, but I mean, it's oh, it's gonna take a whole lot to make this Pokemon relevant. So, do we really want to risk it? But I think people are underestimating Metang's early game presence. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's not bad. Um, it's actually not too bad. Uh, one nice thing is, ooh, big big Meowskarada uh -oh. Unite move, picking up a KO right there. Leafeon moving in to see if they can get something, but no, getting knocked up by the Hydro Typhoon with the Surf with the Hydro Pump. Is there anything more annoying than a Blastoise? They do finally go <laughs> down here, but they are not able to pick up the Meowskarada in that moment. I actually think Double Team is to the benefit a bit of Lutano. On the Metagross, though, because I believe he's going to generate extra shields off that double team. Double shield? I mean, it's a price to pay to avoid getting solar bladed, True. right? Where you you yeah. throw it one way, and I'm like, well, whatever way you solar blade, I'm just going to jump to that one. Because that's the thing I feel like a lot of people, even commentators, forget, is that, like, it's not just that one's a fake. Like, you can go between them. Oh, of course. <laughs> you can poof between them. And I think people are like, oh, they fell for the clone. I'm like, well, no, they just jumped away <laughs> but yeah and it's not I, even about falling for the clone you after you play against mouse guard a couple times you know which one's the clone by the way here we are at two minutes ttv is up by over 200 points they are looking to secure themselves a spot here this is mm -hmm. the game they are tied up 1-1 one, one. ttv looking to move forward but of course so is our team genesis right now mm -hmm. but they're gonna need to yeah. make a big play Genesis, a lot of players we haven't seen in quite some time. Obviously, Faz taking quite a bit of a break from the game. Lacoding as well uh, took a break this entire offseason, but has showed up to play for this tournament with a group of their friends. And now they're going to start this fight off with a bit of damage to the Rayquaza. Otter throwing in snipe shots from range. I don't think that one landed. Or maybe Rhino just out-healed them immediately. Here we go. Big snipe shots coming in, and we are going to get the healing there from the Clefable. Snipe shot just barely missing here as TTV is completely zoning them out right now. They have to make a play. A minute on the clock. There's no time like the present because this is your tournament on the line. You're going to head down to the loser's bracket if you are not able to make something happen here. 58 seconds, and it just feels like we're dancing. And we need to make a, like We need to make something happen. It looks like Faz is just waiting on a perfect rock tomb to try to isolate a target, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Flower Trick onto Lutano. Lakoni goes really hard on trying to chase down the Metagross, but Luko or Lutano punishing them immediately. Bliss assistance plus the Metagross Unite. That is disgusting. But the Blastoise response is really solid. Lakoni goes down, and the Venusaur is doing damage from range, but Lutano, of course, is going to clean them up as well. Faz grabbing two members. The double defender of this composition are still finding some value, but I don't know if it's going to be enough as Metagross. Metagross currently dunking in that hundo burger in the top side. There you go. TTV able to win this thing. And that is going to secure their spot in the top eight. Looking fantastic in that final fight too.
Woo-wee! With a crazy draft, too. Running Metagross. Otter gets the Inteleon again. Hitman gets their Leafeon. I don't know. Felt like draft went very much in favor of Team TTV. Also, that Metagross Unite plus Blissey Unite is yeah. a... That is a crazy combo. Quite oh disgusting. Quite yeah. disgusting. I really like that too because you create that massive wall and then Blissey uh -huh. just bowls on in. You're bound to hit one or two in that moment. Yep. Really nice stuff. Buzzwool Glaceon actually banned out Same. here uh, for that game. TTV locking it in. It looks like LG lost their first game I'm hearing in the chat. Zoinks against GT. Interesting. Okay, interesting. So that officially means then that uh, TTV is our first qualified team for North America Top 8. Yeah, unless uh, Exile also qualified, but yes. I don't think their game is done from what I was checking, but I'm going to check right now. Or wait, was TTV no, down? No, Exile is also qualified. Yes, yeah, so Was Exile TTV down one game or up one game? They were... Well, it was tied 1-1. Oh, it was tied 1-1. Okay, I'm dumb. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't no, update no, no, the good. score, I think. My mistake. Oh, well, good. Okay, and I don't have another YouTube game to spectate yet. We don't have YouTube, and we don't have LG yet. Um, Why don't Coming from the chat, LG draft picks feel a bit off. Interesting. Is this still going on? It is indeed. I'm Trix TTV. <laughs> Is this still going on? Yeah, indeed. <laughs> so, yes, Exile and TTV are our first two qualified teams. So, Exile taking down only Trolls 2-0, and then TTV taking down Genesis 2-1, um, which means now only Trolls and Genesis will both be on that situation where they will need to win one game to mm. qualify. Um, let me... While I talk, I really big to big stuff from TTV. I mean, it's ex really exciting for TTV to qualify, obviously, straight through winners. They had a rocky tournament the other day, didn't they? Um, yeah, they, they had one. I forget what it yeah, was. Yeah, they had one. Oh, it was in our, it was in our Unite Mike's tournament, which apparently I heard a lot about later. Uh, not entirely their fault. So it was your fault? Sorry. Yeah, I just decided they shouldn't get a ban because Lutano had to go to the bathroom. I don't know. I, felt like I always want to punish <laughs> Lutano for going to the bathroom. It's so yeah. annoying. That guy's always going to the bathroom. I'm sick of it. Man. Also, you remember when we watched Flame and Hot Dodrios go down to the losers bracket? Yeah. Their match just started for like they had to wait that long for wow. the losers bracket to catch up. Dude, well, I mean, actually, well, this, no, this is I'm a sorry. massive bracket, dude. Minutes. These are is huge. Yep. If you're down in the losers bracket, you got a ways to go. Yes, Dark Aura still killing it. They took down Phalanx Guard. Now they're playing against Eruption. Um, so the so now the teams that lost in our uh, win and ins, so only Trolls will be on track to play Nemesis in a rematch potentially, mm -hmm. or Ignorance or Umbra Volpium. Definitely some some great squads down there. Uh, but Nemesis rematch would be pretty hype uh, to see that happen. And on the bottom side, this will be Genesis in this block. We'll be going up against a team like Dark Aura, Spinal, Wolves United, Flaming Hot Dodrios. Um, so, yeah, feel like a little bit easier on that side of the bracket, in my opinion. But. Okay. Well, if we, whatever game pops up, I mean, uh, uh, word is YouTube had to redraft. Um, so they're not oh, in that game. That makes sense. That makes sense. Um, so, yo, is Cookie Dough still in this tournament? I don't the... know. I don't think so. Right. I thought they got. Well, they're in out. a standard game right now, so. Oh, okay. Email popped up. Oh, I was about to say, was that my computer? I was like, is my email popping up? What is this? I never <laughs> use Outlook. <laughs> yeah, sorry, and yeah, I shouldn't use Outlook. You're right. Um, use a different program now. Um, Zoinks! <laughs> uh, I I don't want to pull Lutano here. I'm gonna run to the bathroom though, really quick. Uh, Band. Please don't ban me. Please uh, entertain the chat while I'm gone. Everybody, we have more Pokemon Unite coming up. I love you. I'll be right back in one second. Listen to Zoinks. You can ask him questions right now, and he legally has to answer them. That's true. My hands are tied. What's going on, chat? What do you want to ask about? Um, I can talk to you about any teams, any macro stuff. Um, I know a lot about cartoons. If you want to talk about cartoons, I could tell you that. Uh, Luminosity is still playing. Yes, they apparently lost their game number one on the winner's side. So uh, they haven't lost the match. They're still in winners, but they apparently are not having the greatest start. Favorite color? Uh, I like purple quite a bit. If you eat a Pokemon, which would it be and why? I feel like the easy answer is all creamy, right? Because it's like ice cream. I like ice cream. 
Um, have you been watching Furin? I haven't. I've heard so many good things, though. Yeah, Luminosity Gaming is currently down 1-0 uh, to GT. Are you going to get a warranty on your battery? It's usually like $4. Yeah, I should. Don't worry, Maps. I'll get it. If LG lose, do they still have another chance? Yes, they do, Beds. They will go down to the loser's bracket. Um, and they will basically only have to win one match to make it. So if they lose this one, they'll wait down in this block here, this EA match, the one that's at the very bottom right-hand corner of your screen, and they will wait for an opponent to make it there. Um, teams like God Squad, Anbu, Rack, uh, and whatever, whoever loses here, uh, GT or LG, uh, well, they will be in that spot. But anyway, it is a pretty tough bracket run for sure. How do I get so awesome? Um, honestly, uh, shout out to Spraggles. Really raised me to be so cool. Um, uh, what's your mother's maiden name and social security number? That one I might have to hold off on. How many times have I committed tax evasion? That's funny you ask. Uh, m more than zero. <laughs> but, uh, don't tell anybody. X-Men reboot. Yay or nay? I'm kind of down. Um, I'm like, are you asking cartoon? I'd be, I'd be super excited for it. Or the one that's happening now. Is the one that's happening now? I miss it. Favorite type of taco? Very big fan of the, like, uh, oh, huge chorizo fan. I'm a big chorizo taco guy. Uh, so tacos for sure, for sure. Aren't you the guy from Overdunk? Yep, I host the podcast. Dupe Snacks, Bridget, and I uh, host the Overdunk podcast. One of the only two Unite podcasts left remaining. You're on fire. Obviously, another one. Spraggles does an amazing job with that. Is someone casting the game? Yeah, it'll be Spraggles and I. We'll be casting really, really soon. The Blizz Disney Plus new cartoon? I haven't tried it yet. I will change that tonight, though, nicknames. That sounds like an awesome thing I gotta give a shot. Which Pokemon do you want to come to unite? I have a few options. I should run an article about my top 10. Um, but Dusknoir has been my top one, Mino. I'd really love a Dusknoir tank. Um, fear effect is only in our game right now with Sableye, where it like forces the opponents to move away from you. I think a defender completely based around fearing your opponents will be really, really cool. Um, that'd be awesome. Are you a truther of coward <laughs> courage the cowardly dog? Absolutely. I love courage. Um, so that's what I want to come to tonight. Can I buff Maridon? No can do. Sorry. They told me I'm not allowed to anymore. Do I know what chorizo is? Yeah. It's like sausage. It's so good. Have I played Pal World? No, I have not played Pal World. I'm not really a big fan of survival games. Pokeface asks what my day job is. I'm actually a locksmith. Um, I'm a locksmith right now. So I work in the trade of lock, so I can pick locks, install cameras. Um, I can work on fob and access control systems. That's what I do for my full job. Kira, I know I'd love Bennett. I really do think Bennett's great. I have a fun few concepts, but I think Dustin Orr is like, I would fill a need. I think would be very, very cool. How would you make fairy lock work if clef key was added? Ooh, very, very good chance. Could you do a reverse clef key? Could you, or sorry, could you do a reverse Comfey? Are you like attached to the enemy? Like a little mini Mimikyu Unite? That'd be really cool. Smeargle would be good for Unite. It'd be pretty brutal. Any tips for casters? <laughs> Draco, shut up. You're a great caster. Do I have tips? Yeah, but you don't need them. I want Marowak in the game. wonder what Boom Bonerang would look for. <laughs> it's not Bonerang. <laughs> Bonerang? <laughs> oh, dang it. <laughs> Gotta love the Giga Cups. Could you ask Pokemon you to add Flygon, please? I have, and I've asked them frequently. Zoinks can pick locks? I can. I'm actually relatively okay at it. Zoinks is so cool. Robin Bird, because I can pick locks? That is not that cool. Don't worry. Um, yeah, I guarantee if anybody spends like an hour or two on YouTube, you probably also could pick locks. How many licks to the center of a Tussy Pop? I don't know. Maybe seven, eight hundred? Closer to infinity, though, probably. What Pokemon would you not want to see in Unite? Uh, shout out to Snacks. Don't give me Pelipper. Don't want it. Um, no, if I don't want a Pokemon Unite, it's probably something like... Oh, gosh. I don't know. Like, Nidoking or Nidoqueen. I've never really been super inspired by them. I think they're, like, a lot of... I think that's... The only reason I said it is because a lot of people want them. And it's like, eh, I'm not a super big fan. So, maybe not. Jirachi support would be sick. Huge fan. Probably would be EX licensed, though. And I don't know if we all want more of those. That sounds terrifying. Scolipede, Scolipede would be so cool. Can you pick the lock to my heart? I feel like I already have. Why are you the best caster in Pokemon Unite? Why is Jake so jealous? Now, these are the true questions that some mods should be pinning in chat, I think. You literally are cool. Thank you so much. Zoinks, can Zoinks pick a clef key? Uh, that feels like morality issue is involved in that. Can you check the bracket for Phantom Forces? I can, if you are wanting to. Um... Let me take a look real quick. 
Do we know what side of the bracket they are on? Here, I'll just control F on this page. Uh, Phantom. Ah, I spelled it wrong. Did I? Okay, they're not on this page, which means they might be in pool two. Phantom Forces lost in the first round, and unfortunately, they went down to Keyblades United in the loser bracket. But Keyblades United, a very good team who's still in the tournament, so a very, very good team. But yeah, Zoinks, the YouTube match is up. We are going to watch it. That is true. Thank you for reminding me that, guy. We'll get into it. I know Spraggles has stepped away for a bathroom break, but as soon as they're back, we'll be jumping in. We'll be casting in Crunchy's stream. I've never casted with Crunchus. I'd be totally down to jump in, though, and cast some games with them. Cleffy question turned out to be topical. Who would have thunk it? Yeah, who would have? Strachi is a mystical, though. Those aren't EX. Yeah, so far. That is true. So far, they are not. Um, but who knows? I mean, Urshifu is a legendary, and it's not an EX, you know? Like, so they kind of break their own rules sometimes. Any brand new teams you think can make a splash this season? Oh, there's tons. We've gotten a great chance to see a lot of them. Um, EU had a few, like Squishy Squad, but North America's got a ton. I'm, I'm very excited about a bunch. And we've been talking about them quite a bit, but... Uh, Viridian is a great one. I'm very excited about them. Yeah, a squad I'm really pumped about. And currently, I think they're playing for their qualification. Only Trolls. Yeah, that guy. I want to learn more about Only Trolls. Obviously, they're a strong team. They did lose to Exile 2-0, but still, we're looking really, really good. If, you had a f if I had the opportunity to fill for a pro team, which team would you pick? Um, I feel like... I've been talking a lot about Baltoy Unite, but I feel like Baltoy kind of my boys. I'd like to go play with Baltoy. That'd be fun. Just realized Mewtwo and Zacian were broken. So they said, oh, oops, and they made EX. Yeah, that, I mean, that's kind of how it reads, right? What's your favorite team from Asia? Mm, like the talent team. MYS is just so hard not to cheer for. They're pretty incredible. Mame's new team is sick. Whoever Tomato's team is, they are fun to watch. I'm a big fan. But hopefully Spragles gets back soon so we can jump into this YouTube game. I'll just make sure it doesn't go away, but. The Sableye main, I'm going to agree with the Dust North concept. Oh, oh, God. I don't like Sableye very much. Yeah, Steel Edge Kyle, I'd love to jump in with you. That'd be a lot of fun. LG in-house demons. Okay, so they are so they are some grinders. That's cool to see. We talked a lot about it when it started with like back when Red Love was really popping off. And then, of course, when the LG server was cruising, we were like really pumped to see a team that like would emerge from those, like from in-houses and stuff that would really dominate. I would love to see that. Agree, MYS. I mean, MYS is so hard not to cheer for, right? Predicting LG is going to go 0 2. They just got danced on by a Wiggly. Oh my God. Egg noob. Why you got to do him like that? Yeah, Spraggles is having a tough time. Yeah, he got quick sanded. Unfortunately, Spraggles did get quick sanded. Very banding. Personally, enjoy Asia. All right. All right. Sorry, yeah, Zoinks. I thought, I thought you would start the game, but yeah, any game, go for I, it. I, I should have. I can fast forward a little bit. We can get past the early game if we want. Uh, How far in is it? It's like seven minutes. <laughs> yeah, let's fast forward just a little bit. Okay. And so reminder good. for everyone in the chat, please don't spoil if you happen to see what happens on another stream yeah. or anything like that. Oh, Phil Lappers. Yeah. Everyone was saying I was pooping. I wasn't pooping. I was getting food. But when and you sometimes when you get some sandwich. food... You, you draw you do quick poop but you're there and you were stuck in quicksand that too <laughs> oh triple ev for team youtube okay yeah sorry we are going to kick this one up and mm -hmm. over the years we are six minutes into the match now and we don't want to be too spoiled from chat so let's get uh let's get quick moving through that and i think uh i think luminosity gaming might be going oh too somebody in chat came in and said egg noob wiggly tough was dancing on lg so uh <laughs> we might have a um we might have a situation where their team is cruising ahead. Uh, from G D in the chat for this $5 super chat. Thank you so much. Did you wash your hands? Who washes their hands when they just make food? Maybe a lot of people. <laughs> I think everyone. Well, I'll tell you what. <laughs> I didn't wash my hands, but who knows what I was up to. <laughs> if yeah. you had to do the trolley problem, where is Zation? That's a great question. I really like that question. All right, I got to stop answering questions from chat. It's too fun hanging out with Spraggles chat. It's just I, too fun. The chat's great. They're wonderful. Yeah. There are a few of them you have a good are chat. a little crazy, but yeah, most of them are wonderful. Yeah, some of them got to chill out. Yeah, some of them. Hey, <laughs> shut up. 
<laughs> All right, the chisel. By the way, already level nine here. Uh, so sick. This right, is let's looking. Watch this game. Yeah, I was about to say this oh, is well. looking pretty crazy here. As YouTube actually comes in with a huge catch up moment right there. Once we slow it down, that's true. Also, we are the t the screen still says TTV Genesis, so we will need to get that changed up. Uh, as oh, we are now watching YT versus Alter Ego, I believe in game two. Alter Ego having the one zero lead. Okay. And LG lost game two. So yeah, LG are now. Um, well, LG that means we're going to be seeing bracket. we're going to be seeing more LG then because we're here. And GT is now qualified, so GT Exile and um, TTV are all qualified for top eight. Well, let me tell you, GT. The reason I said we should watch that LG GT game is GT is a little bit of uh, LG's kryptonite in previous tournaments. Yeah, well, and this one too, it seems. So good stuff from them so far. I'm curious uh, to, to know what happened there and, and what was like kind of run by them as we are still in this team YouTube game. Obviously, I'm very excited to see what happens here. Uh, AE could possibly qualify right now or YouTube could take us to a game number three. Yeah. Oh, it's just a nail biter every single time. It's so worrisome. However, I, I want to say it's the early game still because we fast forwarded so fast. But even in the mid game, a pretty high scoring game, 163 points in total for Alter Ego. Very, very good. They have lost the goal zone, which makes JL's impact a little bit lower. However, JL looking to make an impact in other ways as they are trying to find this 30 point back cap. Fui knows they're there. Yeah, Fui can sniff him out. He's well aware <laughs> these back caps are coming. Machizel's also seeing what they can do right now. He took the red buff, I think. This might be <laughs> nice a, a little moment right here, and they do get the points. Fui just kind of like pulled back and forth, back and forth between these two. Interesting to see an Umbreon here. Umbreon banned out in so many games, but it makes its way into this match Support. here. I wonder what kind of Umbreon do we got? Well, it's a mean look. It's support Umbreon too, right? Because we still have Phil onto the defender. So it's wish mean looks or double defender in a way. But yeah, it is playing the healer in this specific situation. But Chisel does unite move, but they get immediately KO'd. Sam always really the arbiter of these situations. Level 12 now and climbing. As uh, Alter Ego is firing back JL with a huge three-person stun. But Joey and Kratos don't really get the firepower quite yet. They wait for the homie Machizel as they chase down a few more knockouts. Yeah, Phil in some trouble right here. We have not seen too much Lapras today. It actually has looked pretty yep. decent in, in the matches we have seen it. We're going to see what Phil can make happen here. Sam going down right now. The level 12 Venusaur. 104-233. This game is definitely within reach for both of these teams, but AE is looking to punch their ticket here. Oh no, chat. Both EU's and NA's top seed go down to loser's bracket in qualifications. <laughs> this is not a good showing from these regions. It's always yeah. darkest before the dawn, baby. And look, <laughs> <Okay>. LG <laughs> la did similar stuff last year in one world. True, true, so true. I would not start selling all your LG stocks right now. <laughs> yeah, not the time. Not the time. However, you got to think they're getting a little, ooh, ooh, we cannot have this happening right now. Well, you know, our regions are off for so long. Um, mm -hmm. We don't have, like, Japanese Winter Tournament, ACL, all this stuff. We don't have, like, consistent gaming tournaments. So I feel like a lot of these players are kind of coming off a break with a lot of this. Which is also kind of wild because it, when this happens, when UCS starts, the Asia tournaments slow down a ton. Because their qualification format is really strange. Like, it basically only allows a team, if they win, to play in one tournament outside of their regional qualifier. So they basically only have two tournaments the entire season. So it's kind of like it flip-flops in a really weird way. I, I'm, I don't know. The, the Asia team tournament structure is very, very weird to me. Yeah, it's, it's very weird to me as well. Uh, it's very interesting. I can't wait to see what happens here. Coming from the chat, as long as Rin is not playing, I'm fine with LG winning, says Pokeface. Pokeface, not a Rin fan. <laughs> Apparently not. Oh, no. Um, Sorry, I got some of my own food as well. That's why we're hitting <laughs> the uh, silence. Spragles, you still there, though? Oh, I'm here, baby. Fui up in That's the top good. path here. Level 13 getting ready for this fight. 
moving their way into this central area. Phil trying to set something up here. 205, Rayquaza starting at any moment, and Team YouTube is behind. They're going to need to make a play. They're going to need to figure out something right now as Fui's in so much trouble, almost going down. Blastoise using their Unite move right here as they're almost taken down. Umbreon countering right back, and Machizel goes down as the Zora are great for Team YouTube as they can now start this Rayquaza. It is already at half. The Hoopa Unite move bringing them in in the top path. We can see Decidueye coming in from the bottom or coming in through that top portal. We're going to see what they want to do as they are pushing forward right here. Decidueye now moving around the top of the Rayquaza pit. That arrow's getting ready for the secure, and here it is. <laughs> Boom! Big arrow for AE. They get that huge secure, and Roland is now running to score. 100 points raining in. Another Hundo Burger in the bottom path, and that might do it here. For uh, YouTube, they might be heading down to our loser's bracket. Yeah, it looks like Alter Ego might be our fourth and final team to qualify via winner's side, joining the rest of their NA squad that have made it there because, I mean, 533 to 190. We have seen crazy comebacks today, but I think that might be a disservice calling what Alter Ego has done uh, to even have the potential of that. Team YouTube with a great run, but they still have a chance at making, to your, at making it to our top eight next weekend. Yeah. Great stuff here from AE. I mean, you talked about him being a, a top team. Yeah, for sure. Hard not to, right? There's so many players that have made world championships on this team. Very, very strong squad. Uh, no no surprise there. I mean, Kratos, a player who's made uh, the world championships two years in a row now. Uh, Machizel, unfortunately, was one of the players that wasn't able to attend NAIC, so didn't really get to show their stuff, uh, but still a, a very, very strong player. Yeah, Team YouTube. To the loser's bracket. LG to the loser's bracket. Nemesis to the loser's bracket. Basically, if you were a top <laughs> team in NA, you're finding your way in the loser's bracket right now. Oh, what a scary place to be <laughs> right now is, yes, alter ego. <laughs> De Desi didn't unite Ray. This isn't like The Sims. That is true. Oh, my word. Let's go, Alter Ego. What a match from them. But Shizzle gets 10 KOs in that game. It felt like in that final fight, they really didn't have a whole lot to show off. But throughout the match, they definitely made that Dizzle Arc pick worth it. But Shizzle coming away with 69,000 damage in that game. Yeah, AE looking fantastic. And Team mm -hmm. YouTube didn't really seem to have an answer for them. And it kind of felt like they were on the back foot in each game we watched in this series, Zoinks. Agreed. Agreed. Okay, this is this side so of the So our bracket. top side's completely decided, right? Yes. So the four teams that have qualified are TTV, Exile, um, GT, and uh, Alter Ego. Okay. We have four of our teams, and now we're head down to the loser's bracket, and, you know, it's a long way <laughs> until we see some of these squads. Holy guacamole. Oh, my word. Loser's run four is still exist. Like, YouTube has a minute to wait, like hours to wait until their game. That is going to be a long, long time uh, yeah. for that one. Luminosity probably waiting for quite some time as well as God Squad are waiting for that matchup to happen. At the same time, no title versus Anbu versus Rack. E-Kittens waiting on their game. They've been waiting forever, too. But, yeah, this loser's racket this is going uh, quite slow. It's always <laughs> such an unfortunate... I mean, you are just on ice man mm -hmm. you lose all the way up there in the winner's bracket on the you know the play-in game like that and you are seriously like you said i mean let, let's how long you've got to the someone has to go up against fixed so that could be a best of three that could be an hour right someone has to go up against spinal from that that could be an hour yep. then there's another match that could be an hour then there's your match. You could be not finishing this until 10 p.m., 11 p.m., my time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, these matches are quite, quite long. What's up, Dude Snacks? Welcome in. Hey! This thing is raging. Dude, I mean, you came in just in time. I mean, uh, two massive teams getting sent down to losers here, LG and Team YouTube. I yeah. I caught some of those the the was it the first YouTube ending? That thing mm -hmm. was insane. And Which, then it was was it the LG ending too in the game threes? Which YouTube ending are you talking about? The one where YouTube won, that crazy one? 
Yes. Yeah, that was a wild one. LG had one of those too. Yep. Mm -hmm. I saw those back to back and I was like, okay, like I, I, I need to put my daughter to bed. Like we were gassed up. <laughs> Listen, you all cast those. Finally got her down. I come back and LG is dropped. Yep. They got owed. They got two owed by GT. I'm, you know, the kryptonite. It strikes again. You know, Superman has a weakness, and uh, apparently, <laughs> it is GT. Apparently, man, this has been an event. You got it. And you got to like love 16 it. Sixteen hours left. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A scant which, sixteen hours. Which is begging the question: Are we are we sticking with the? <laughs> the whole rest of the event or that is a good question i don't know it, it's one of those moments you got to make a choice um <laughs> it's tough the tough thing is it's so long until you see the games you want to see you know yeah True. that's the hard part well, part of me is just like uh you know what we ball and we stick with it but i'm not the only one zoinks is you know he's... yeah i mean i can I'm gonna keep cruising. You, you were running these games. Cookie Dough's just, you know, screwing well, yeah. around. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Like, hold on, I'm going into game. <laughs> I need to see what's happening in here. What's Cookie Dough doing right now? Just playing community standards or something. What's happening? They're playing. Uh, that's their team, right? That's their team. Mm -hmm. Are they still in? I need to find out. We got a super chat from Sean. Insane Gride, thank you for y'all's service. I appreciate you, buddy. Thank you. It means a lot uh, to see the support here. So thank you. Very kind of you. Are they still in? They're not on that side. Let me check this. They are around. alive. No that, way. That's Let's what the chat said. Oh, Snacks dropping the gifteds. What a legend. Oh, the hero. Thank you, buddy. Snacks dra yeah. dropping the five gifteds. I'm sure that'll mean 50 people are going to start dropping the five gifteds. They'll say, there's no way you guys can stop now. Keep this train going, shoveling coal in it. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate That's, that it. was my nickname in high school, the coal shoveler. Oh. You got a nickname? That's so Okay, cool. see you later, guys. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> nope. 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 Uh, I was going with a bit where I didn't get a nickname, but <laughs> I didn't get there in time. But thank you. Oh, Goldfinger's <laughs> dropping the 10 tier one subs. What a legend. What? See, I'm telling you, these these people won't let us sleep. You'll sleep nope. when you're dead, they yeah. say to me. They say, Flaming get Hawk in Dragon there. Is gone? If, thi if this is Pokemon NFL, who's the Pokemon Taylor Swift, they say. Not really to the point I'm making, but you can see they're still excited. No, no, no. I'll call you the Pokemon Taylor Swift. Me? If you want to be called the Pokemon Taylor Swift, I'll allow you to be called the Pokemon No, they Taylor ask. I, that's not, I'm not asking to be Taylor. I don't think I'm Taylor Swift. Okay. Who's Taylor? Yeah, Chad is right. Flamin' Hot Dodrius is down. Also, do you guys, do you two want to cast this game? Um, S5 versus Only Friends? They're still alive. All right. All right, yeah, throw it up on screen. Only Friends on the left. They are down 0-1 in this set against a team named S5. Okay. Boob Snacks, you good to kick yeah. it into gear? What is, uh, S5 sounds familiar for some reason. Do we have a team in a different region called S5 at one point? Am I making that up? No idea. Do we know what, where, where we... these two are at? That's what I'm trying to look uh, look for. Pretty early in bracket. Um, oh, thank you, Chewy Buzzy, coming in with the super oh, chats. You guys it. are legendary, man. Thank you guys so much for the support. I really do appreciate oh, real, it. Real. We're we're gonna stick with you here and cast uh, these games, even if it makes Zoinks upset. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, CZ, CZ. Yeah, this is round four. They will eventually have to play against Team YouTube if they make it all the way there, which is a lot of games. Well, I'll tell you what, they're kind of sliding right now to quick little three KOs there. Sheesh, Dankosaur. Danko, yeah, yeah, just two KOs. Coming and oh, I love. Dankosaur. I love to see the Meowskarata doing it, man. It's exciting, isn't it? It's just, uh, mm -hmm. I think for these games, if you guys are are down with it, since we got a while uh, between some of these big ones, we can even just watch party this if that's cool too. Yeah, sure. let's do that. Let's get some watch powder energy going around here. Yeah. yeah, I need to eat, so this is great. <laughs> yeah, this is perfect. This mm -hmm. is a uh, cat's birthday. It's perfect. Have we seen any uh, any dope picks? I know you guys have been at this, uh, you know, a big chunk longer than than I have from when I left this morning to coming back. Any surprising picks that I've like really outshined? One of my favorites, I gotta say, is uh, seeing uh, Lutano on Metagross. 
-hmm. I was hoping some teams would pick it up, and that looked really good. Good. Were they able to leverage the Unite move at all, or did it look kind of cheesy? Oh, dude. Uh, Sick. They they set up the one-two punch. They knew exactly what they were doing with it. They set up the Metagross Unite, followed it right up with uh, Ender and a Blissey Unite. Onto the Metagross. Onto inside the Metagross. The pit. Yeah. Oh, that's nasty. It was, it was great. It was so good. It looked great. Yeah. We're watching Cookie Dough just get absolutely demolished <laughs> here in this bottom. <laughs> yeah, oh, no. Un unfortunate <laughs> for Cookie Dough. Yes. Trainer BT heard us saying how oh. exciting we were about that Meowskarada and quickly racks up a Penta on the Spraggle stream here. Jeez. <laughs> big Penta, big Penta. Coming from the chat. Oh. Yeah, if, if you guys saw anything in the chat, um, I'll be reading it too. If there's anything that really stuck out to you as exciting, really, really cool, let me know for sure. Dragon Bolt had one good game that I was pretty excited about that. A Pokemon that I don't think has done super well. A surprising lack of Urshifu. I feel like the last few tournaments I've seen a lot of Urshifu and none this time around. So You know who's not we surprised? Your boy. I'm your boy. Because yeah, I don't like that Pokemon. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> That's why I'm your boy. <laughs> That's why I'm your boy right now. Because I'm not a fan. We're talking about only Franz right here and only fans. And I'm not an only fan of Urshifu. Not at all. I wouldn't subscribe to that page in the slightest. Here's a story. For, I don't think I know the... how OnlyFans works. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I don't think you, you do either. Uh, here's a story for the chatters. Um, the last time Zoinks played Urshifu was in a trio with me and Spraggles, where after the third <laughs> game of Zoinks' Urshifu, Spraggles goes, yeah, man, um, I just don't think you've got it with your Urshifu today. <laughs> I was and nicer Zoinks... than that. <laughs> and no, you were not. Played it ever again. <laughs> it was insane. Look, It was wild. I've talked about this. One of my favorite things that I get to do when we used to cast together, and I hope we get to again, is we would all get together, and if another um, like tournament like OCE was on or something, we'd have it on the TV in one of our hotel rooms. Uh, if not, we, we would be wherever we're at, at a restaurant, at a bar, something like that, and we would be playing Unite until our phones died, it, like all night long. It's very fun. At the end of the year, I had three portable chargers I was bringing with me so we could just keep these <laughs> gaming true. hours going. Yeah, because our phones were always dying, so we're just bringing out these bricks the whole time so we could keep playing. And we are in, honestly, play, like, we're in like a bar or something like that. And we're not trying to be cool at all. We're all just sitting at a oh, table no. on our phones playing Unite, getting upset with the fact that Zoinks just can't seem to get a handle on this or Shifu. <laughs> You were so mad, man. It was, yeah, like, yeah, so like, like maybe your Urshifu, like, I just don't think you've got it tonight, man. <laughs> that is amazing. Um, but to yeah, the level great. of degeneracy we're at is actually my favorite picture that I think I've ever been in. It's perfect. And it was a... It was a uh, a sneaky picture taken by Wonder Chef, and it's me and Zoinks looking as gamer as humanly possible as we're playing Unite on our phones on a rooftop bar while there's literal fireworks going off behind us, and we are triple chinning as we are like slouched, staring at our phones, playing Unite. It's, I've it's never looked as bad as I do in that picture. Oh <laughs> yeah, it was so it was bad. terrible. It was mm -hmm. terrible. For yeah, us. it's a it's a perfect. It's one of those photos that people will be like, "This is everything that's wrong with society <laughs> yeah. right now." Yeah. <laughs> There's literally yeah, Fox News is we, posting us everywhere. We're <laughs> we're Twitter. out of town. We're like like out, we're out of town we get to enjoy this moment we are on a roof a beautiful rooftop bar and we are looking at our phones only playing trio q pokemon unite <laughs> not to mention i was saying this before we were talking about this like it was a very like trendy bar so everyone there was like hot oh and yeah when you were sitting there like, playing really video well games. dressed yeah yeah, yeah. It was, I have like a kind of fit, kind of fat shirt on and uh -huh. jean shorts that are just a little too short. Like, like, are we gaming guys? And they put us in the corner where there was like a, a fire pit. It was like the nicest spot on the rooftop deck too. Oh, what a, what a, what a day. What a day. Shout out Columbus. <laughs> yeah. It's just, it was no one of those one moments ever. where they're like, will you guys uh, order in appetizers and stuff? And we're like, we would just love to be near a wall outlet if that exists. <laughs> we did <laughs> ask for that. We did <laughs> ask for a wall. Are there any wall outlets in this trendy out, uh, outdoor rooftop bar? 
Oh, and you man. know what? There weren't. Not in that <laughs> one. Not. Oh my word. That's a decent little slow beam. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now I'm just taking a look. We got we got Eddie kind of popping off over here. That's yeah. True. Oof. Yeah, I mean I mean, man, you get a slow beam and then Buzz will just starts cleaning it up. Uh um I don't feel like that. I was talking about, I think, another Pokemon, too. Uh, maybe it was Leafeon. Um, no, it was Umbreon, uh, I think. I don't think Buzzwool makes it to the end of the season without a nerf. No way. No, it's got to go. I think you Inteleon was the one you were talking yes. about. But yes. Yeah. yeah, you're right. Snipe shot Inteleon. I was like, there's no way this thing doesn't get a damage nerf. No mm -hmm. way. It's too much. Agreed. Too strong. Grabbing cookie dough. Not much they can do here. They're just completely zoned. Yeah. You know, Scarada looking for a score here. What are they able to put in? Uh, they're getting close. 186, 255. Although Ray is getting really low. Uh, does yeah. Danko have Unite? No. Mm, no. That's kind of tough. Oh, oh they go for Venu and they get it. Oh. Oh, Ray reset. Ray's full, though. Yeah, yeah. Ray reset. Dang. They, they, somebody just needs to scramble. Glaceon needs to peel, maybe. Mm. They're going for the rip here. It's not an impossible rip. I, I mean, they take down Tree. Raise it half. Twenty-two you seconds, know, though. Blessy would like need to. I know they need this secure. Oh, oh no shot. Nice play. That was yeah. a good play by the Sylvia. Unlu unlucky. Unlucky. Mm -hmm. They actually oh. have that in that moment, but you know, it's hard. Yep. I wonder if they just peel and score if that would have been the call. Oh, and so ends the only friends run. That's bummer. a bummer, but hey. Yeah. They had a good time still. That got Definitely really close. Wins. Uh -huh. Got really close. Shout out. I mean, that's a team, if I understand correctly, just based on social media that they put together at like four o'clock this morning, which is like, okay, let's game. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, just I some think... homies. I don't think they knew they'd be on the hook for 20 hours of gameplay, but uh, <laughs> they got there. Cookies in the chat crying. But no. technically, by the way, um, Whoopie Boy says five hours for this stream. Technically, we're at hour 12 and a half, 1245 ish. Yeah. Um, we had a stream earlier that at one point crashed, and now here we are. Oh, that's a bummer. And we roll on. On Boo, that's Boozle, right? Yeah. Play so. Anbu is playing no title right now. We could jump into their first game. Uh, we could see that one through. We also haven't seen Nemesis yet. What? Um, oh, is that uh, what's Rex. it called? Rex. Yeah, let's do Nemesis. Okay, let me just check quick to see what their score line is at in their game. We've been going jump since, for me, 5 a.m. my time. That's how long we've been going. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this is Nemesis versus Umbra Volpium. We got... All right, that's the other Nemesis. bracket. Nemesis. I love Nem it. Nemesis. Nemesis versus Umbra. Versus. And this is the Umbra Volpium, the team that really likes playing the Mimikyu. I like Mimikyu, too. Is this 0-0? Uh, zero, zero? Where are we at? 0-0. Uh, zero, zero. Zero, zero, yep. zero, yes. All right. <laughs> yes. I, I do like the his and her egoist uh, gamer tags. I think those are pretty slick. Very Glad to see that they're on a team competing with each other, of course. Oh, man. Can you imagine if they were on other teams? That would be maybe even saucier. Devastating. It, yeah, the drama. People wouldn't be able to get enough of it. Chat's asking me, do I think uh, Gyarados will receive a nerf to Dragon Breath? If they nerf Gyarados, they're... I mean, that would be the... That would shock me. How could you nerf yeah, Gyarados? Will quit Unite if they nerf Gyarados. How could they nerf it? It's, <laughs> it's debuting at the bottom of the barrel win rate. Like, I don't know. I don't think you nerf that. Nope. Rex is chucking Nux with slime time. I do appreciate <laughs> these support players or tanks that like randomly go, yeah, this is a mime game. And I don't know what decision tree they have to follow <laughs> for that to be where they decide they, they need to end up. Um, but I like when it happens. <laughs> Poor Rex walking like they disconnected, maybe mm -hmm. hoping that the other team will leave him alone. Just yeah, just let relent instead. Earn themselves some uh, some sex and let their duo cook. I gotta see if they have the right amount of hats. I didn't see the hollower when they were loading in. Spraggles, did you get a vision of the hats? No, I try not to get hats spoiled. Yeah, <laughs> fair. That's reasonable. Wait, who's playing 
Oh, Trainer is on Decidueye, and mm -hmm. Yeet Fan is on Drizzile. Interesting. Got three hats, baby. See, this is why you don't want to get spoiled. Now you're pleasantly surprised. <laughs> <laughs> that felt like a threat the way you said it, but thank you. Yes, I do. I do agree. Guess what you got to do to get pleasantly surprised. <laughs> All right? Don't change it. Um, Relentless... Doing an, ooh, are we really seeing a play rough right now? This is the first time into, I've seen this in competitive play. Rough. It's into double sniper, right? So it's into Decidueye and Inteleon, two Pokemon who you can dodge pretty long cooldown moves with it. So that seems okay value. Mm -hmm. I'm not super against it. No, I'm not either, especially if that's mean look. Is that what we got? Yep. Yes. Yep. Yeah, it's mean look. So, I mean, it'll... it'll It'll be good to get out of that, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You get mean looking. Now, does he run Shit Ninja Doll on it? That's what I'm wondering. Well, they <laughs> used to. I it, By they, I just mean, like, Mimikyu's used to. But that was when the cooldown really, like, lined up so much easier with it. It's kind of yeah. hard to pull that off now. It's true. You just got to believe. Part cool. of, uh, part of uh, like, juggling uh, move cooldowns is uh, faith in it. <coughs> true. Hey, Zoinks, uh, or uh, Spray, the one of you, who did Relent play with last year? I don't remember him playing on a team. I just kind of re like recall him being uh, kind of like a stacking G, like jumping with all the top players, but like not really finding a home on a team. And then this year, like that's kind of the script that's been flipped. Is that accurate? Or am I just misremembering? Played on Red Love's team, I think, most of the season. Oh, they're, okay. They were on uh, whatever it was, Spinal? Spinal, yeah. Belief for the majority of the season. I do think they played on a couple of different rosters. You're right, but I think the like multiple tournaments was on Spinal. Gotcha. I wonder. Can yeah, you... I'm... is he sticking with 2016 fan? I guess. I it, I think it's locked in now, like by the UCS rules. So, we went 2016 fan. I'm pretty sure that's when Yeet Fan was born. Uh... <laughs> mm. There's no shot, dude. No, there's no. <laughs> don't you put that on? Don't you put that energy out? <laughs> he out. looks very young. <laughs> You've he, seen uh, admittedly he does <laughs> doesn't look that young the big arrow hitting Glaceon is like rough that. like I know we're kidding here but that's too <laughs> young <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> like okay just like stop because that's very young for this Spragles and I have our 40 year old a 40 year high school reunion right yeah. around the corner. Our 40 year <laughs> high school reunion 10 hours ago. Up, all right. I'm whatever I'm that makes for you me. too. 58. Oh, <laughs> Do you guys fun. need a ride? Do you need to get like picked up or something? Of course. I could use a ride. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to turn down a ride. I don't want to drive there. My car battery. I mean, safety fixed. first. I'll get it. Ooh, ego. I don't know what's going on, but I'm going to hit Doritos in chat right now while we've got a moment. All right, fair enough. <laughs> Good call. He really loves these Doritos. Oh, pickle. I just think it's a very funny global emote to just decide as the Unite Mike's global emote. Like just poaching it for our random use. So Yeah, that's good. That's what we're going with. Blue Kiro in this bottom path here. They they love this Psy Shock Espeon. Yeah, that burst damage. Very, very good. Glaceon is just one of those Pokemon. It's just so annoying. Mm -hmm. It's so annoying. It does so much damage. It, it's really... All you have to do is press the A button. There's nothing... Like, I, there is so much value in a Pokemon that really doesn't require a lot to do well. Even in the hands of a great player, there's really nothing wrong with a Pokemon that doesn't require much for you to actually get tons of crazy good value out of it. And that's exactly yeah. what you get from that Glaceon. Oof. I'll tell you what, uh, Yeet and Relent are moving very well together. Oh, except oh, there. and Relent just kind of <laughs> griefed. Or as, what is like Caster Curse is so real. Dude. Like, it is so we were real. talking about that earlier. Yeah, it's bad, bad. Ugh. Caster Curse Golly. is wild. It's literally whatever you say. Like every time I guess a build, it's like nah, it's the one time they're trying the other one like, for whatever <laughs> reason. It, like you, even like oh they misclicked the other move set and that's what we're watching now yep. just because always I don't know why but always okay Nemesis is like doing pretty sick obviously they're losing some key KOs now but I don't know I don't like they're pretty in control of this one however you fan going down concerning this double sniper comp is just kind of good no matter what though it's like it's great as long as they don't 
start getting dove on, right? But they don't have great dive. Like, no, they, they, they just, don't. They just like, don't. They have play rough Mimikyu. <laughs> yeah. That's the only answer. Uh-huh. Not again, Relent. There you go. <laughs> Thank goodness. It's like, don't, don't <laughs> run it back to back, at the very least. Mimikyu looking for something Does here. Does he know? Ooh. He knows. <laughs> Missing it. I don't know. I, I don't know about play rough. I, yeah, I'm, not I'm, I'm not really a believer in, in after the, the nerfs. It was it was busted, but I just don't think it's great, honestly. I like Shadow Claw a whole lot more, if that's anything. Yeah, me too. Like, I, think. <laughs> I do for sure. How did Asenville just walk through those three players? <laughs> and look at that. Like, you cannot right? let that happen. Uh, Rex has also been on point for the most part, at least from what I've seen. Of course, that was a good little move before, but I don't know if you saw it previous, but they pinched Glaceon with the wall and then showtimed right across their wall to get a KO uh, on Glaceon. It was pretty sick. It's kind of a clever way to enable double sniper, right? You have mean look mm -hmm. and walls. Mm -hmm. So you have essentially two parts of the Crustle piece without having Crustle. It's pretty cool. <laughs> it's when you want to do crustle things, but put yourself in hardcore mode. Sure, they don't want to play crustle. <laughs> I mean, Mimikyu, or not Mimikyu, uh, Rex really does like the Mr. Mime. And the Unite move is strong, especially when there's no Umbreon on the other side. Just steal all the shields you made. So, yeah, that's good. True. The I Unite mean, is really good. <laughs> you could also say that about crustle. <laughs> so, <laughs> tough to ask there. What's up, play rough? Woo! Umbreon in some trouble right here. Yeah, that's it's gonna go good. down. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is the moment. Uh, I mean, Reggie Lucky hit home base though, right? So, <laughs> yeah, which is why this is like it. it oh, it's, it's Ray or nothing. Maybe Q gets two. Okay, play rough, finding its moment. Dodrio's that's gonna be picking up two KOs right now. Oh, oh maybe no. one. Uh, they stop hitting it. Okay, GG. <laughs> yeah, 408 to 72. And like, oh my gosh, sorry. Well, I mean, it's a minute 30. It's not impossible. They they were hitting it. They had that was their chance, you know. Yeah. Um, as soon as they stop hitting it, it's kind of done. Yeah, because they had Inteleon and Decidueye down. I'm yeah. not too sure what else you can ask for in that moment. Well, I mean, in these it's tough, right? Because you solo focus the objective right there. Yeah, they're probably gonna turn on you and KO you but I don't think you really got a shot at anything else. I think you have sure. to take that. I think a lot yeah, of teams miss their moment because they don't want to look bad and get wiped maybe, or maybe it's just, you know, there's a lot going on, but you have your moment. Take it. If you lose, well, you're already losing. You just need to take your opportunity to win right now. It's like Eminem says, you know? What does he say? If, you're, if you don't use it, you lose if, it. No, sure Eminem said that. it's not what Eminem said. <laughs> um, he said, you're going to lose yourself in the music in the moment. You better never. Oh yeah. Go. The spaghetti vomit song. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You only get one shot at Rayquaza when two of the snipers are down. So just continue ripping it. Do not miss your chance to secure Rayquaza because this opportunity mm -hmm. comes once in a 10 minute. Mom match. spaghetti. Once in a Michael Finnegan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> These are all things that Eminem said. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't use it, you lose it. The whole thing that Spraggle said. Finnegan win again. <laughs> All these are Eminem. You know? Finnegan. It's why, you know, like a lot of people will say, like, oh, he can't be one of the greatest rappers. Really? And he said all that? <laughs> you think he can't be one of the best? <laughs> Wait. Oh, my game crashed. What is this? <laughs> Don't look. What's he got on there? <laughs> on blue stats. It's got on blue stacks. I don't trust. Basically, it. whatever Spraggle's uh, partnered mobile game is. Mm -hmm. Got Marvel Snap on there. I do. Yeah, I used to play Marvel Snap. Dude, on there. Until they put the client out. I'm mm -hmm. gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, let you all behind the scenes a little bit here. I just got a very nice message from Black CH GT. Obviously, they had a great run today. Mm -hmm. Made it to top eight. And um, we were uh, trio queuing me, OG, and Black, and we were having a pretty rough time. We had uh, some some crazy uh, teammates with us, and after we got done playing, I just sent a message like, "Hey, I know it was really really tough go at it tonight, but I thought you were playing really well, um, and you you're on top of your game. So you know, I think you're good to go. Like you seem very ready." And he just sent me a message. I was like, "Man, 
uh, I, was, I was so depressed and down on my performance. But you saying that, it really helped me get, get my head on straight. And I think it helped me out today. So there you go. Pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. And a nice message for Black to send. And that's me letting you all behind the curtain a little bit. I can let you behind the curtain. I got a message from Cookie, though, that says, I'm the reason that she lost. <laughs> I believe that. Yeah. Yeah, I think Phil's mad I mean, at me, too. I blame you every time I lose. You should. No questions asked. I blame Zoinks or Shifu. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Historically, yeah. <laughs> Zoinks! But you like, know what? To be fair, to, be fair to Zoinks, it's as much my fault as it is Zoinks. Because I didn't scream at him to not play it. Yeah. <laughs> didn't hit him with a spray bottle. It's everybody's it fault, in a way. Yeah. <laughs> It was the, it was after I remember distinctly it was after the third game because after the first game we're like okay that was all right <laughs> like we're like okay we're I think moving. it was the second game the second fact, game yeah. was brutal I remember like man sorry guys I missed another combo I could just see Spraggles like shaking holding his phone <laughs> <laughs> look it can get tilting you and I can get tilting. Playing with Zoinks can get guilty. I no, get it. You're often great. You're often and it great. It was three <laughs> minutes into game three, and Sprinkles goes, Yeah, this ain't it, Chief. I think you need to put the other. Yeah, yeah. I think you, to your credit, I think you did ask me to play Dark Bear instead of Water Bear at the time. You were like, just... Well, I was like, Look, if you're going to do that little damage, at least you can have some secure. Right, exactly. <laughs> Which I can't really argue with. But there are okay. times like you guys sat with me when I was playing unbuffed candle for like twenty games in a row. Yeah, that sucked. <laughs> yeah, you're, that you're like, like I'm really just trying to get a badge on candle. Yeah, because I'm a badge boy. Badge boy. I'm a badge boy. <laughs> I love it. That's back when I intentionally put myself in slow bro jail. <laughs> oh yeah. Mm-hmm. And I was I would stack and just in for stacks for three minutes. I think I, I just think it's a collective of me and Zoings that just put Spraggles. That's why he hates trio cues is because of the times he's queued up with me and you. You know one of I my the, one of the funniest things that happened is when we five stacked. Um, me, you, Wonder, Zoinks, and Kello at Worlds, uh -huh. and we run into like hell on earth zashi and mute like whatever it was was the most absurd possible thing you could see on the other side and i was like this is uh, the worst the worst and we yeah, sat Japan. in that green room that we weren't actually allowed to be in apparently <laughs> and we lost that five stack game the nice air conditioned green room that we were not allowed to be in yep <laughs> that was not our green room we were told now nah, we learned that the hard way Shout out to Caleb Pegg for thinking it was, though, and bringing us there. That was a nice one. What do we got in front of us, Zoinks? All right, this is game number two between uh, Nemesis and uh, Umbra. Obviously, Nemesis up 1-0 and oh at the time being. Uh, we have Umbra bringing in some pretty crazy stuff. We got the Central Area playing the Dragapult again. And the Mimikyu has been stolen by Nemesis. A trainer is going to be picking up that Pokemon. Yeah, yeah holy smokes. There's 7K people in here. What are we doing? We did it. We're the best. <laughs> we are. That's true. All right. Um, do you two want to cast this one? And I'll just observe. Sure. We can do that. All right. We actually are Take going it away. for the actual cast. Okay. Let's go yeah. through it. Yeah, we'll do an actual cast. We can get back to Vibe in a bit. We got a little ways to go anyways. Heading up to this top path right here. We've got Relentless on the the drag. I was about to say Dragapult. We got the Dragonite, a Pokemon that we're seeing more and more here in the West. I know some Eastern teams have been playing it for a while. You know, another team that was big on the Dragonite was actually Zero Zero Nation. I don't know if it was last season or the season before, but they were playing that thing for a while too. I'm glad it's back because it's been more impressive than I think people give it credit for. And it's kind of uh, gets the Lucario treatment, right? Not in, No buffs or anything, but the way the metagame shaped out, it gets to circle its way back in. Nice little engage by the Mimikyu getting two there right in a row. Now they can scramble and score. Just her egoist has to hold this thing down. Nice little crack punch, but they're going to be able to get some points in regardless while the Lucario is running static. Can't do much in the face of three, especially because Trainer can really just engage, go in, and has Rex in their pocket. Uh, to really prevent things to, to go too sideways. Relentless hits Danger Noodle, and that's a good threshold for them to be at right now. 
And here we go. It looks like actually they're going to do something in this central area. We have Azenable still here. Trainer moving back in. It almost has the level 7 as well, which gives you that shadow sneak. There they hit it. They hit the KO and the level 7. They're just going to be able to invade this central area so hard. Mimikyu can bounce through an enemy central area so fast with shadow sneak. I don't know if anything can clear through wild Pokemon farm faster than Mimikyu and get out of the area. Well, that's where you got to be. Yeet fan pivoting back. Asenable has done very well on this Umbreon. And Charles, likewise, um, for uh, Umbra, uh, playing great Blastoise. However, they're kind of getting beat up down here. Blue Kiro getting caught in the middle. Charles still just now hitting level 5, but can't really pressure 4 because they already have the Inteleon online on the other side. Level-wise, this is a bit of a disaster here for our uh, orange side team Umbra right now. I mean, this just does not look good. Trainer looking to get a pick right here. They just saw them walk in, so there are three tasty KOs that they could pick up on right now. Getting pushed back a little bit right here. Immediately into the Unite move. Not ready for an immediate Shadow Claw. They're actually going to decide to back out, take some farm, and possibly re-engage. They just missed their Shadow Sneak, and they get punished for it. Nice play by Umbra. Yeah, shout out to that rotation too, sending four players up, trying to get value on a different corner of the map here uh, because it wasn't really working out for them downstairs. Dragonite's going to be working through that basement, Reggie, but this gives the opportunity for uh, Nemesis to keep pushing forward and Azitable is looking for that target now. Nice little mean look on his Egoist. Blue Kiro going to run the screen on the Hyper Voice and ultimately things are going to settle out, but the Dragonite gets basement, Reggie Steel. And there we go, up in this top path right now. Things are actually coming a little bit back for the side of Umbra right now, but we have the secure ready to go. Relentless with the hyper beam. We've also got the snipe shots, just about everything being thrown towards this Reggie Alecki. And the question is, do they want to push in for this fight or not? Well, it looks like they're taking that opportunity here as we have the Inteleon Unite goes out, and this is the fight they want. They get the Lucario down, and they're moving quickly. Trainers in the back line all over. That Dragapult decides to pivot back towards Relent. Relent is looking for their target. They got a Hyper Beam to line up, and they got some pretty juicy targets. If they can square it up, Blue Kira pivots back, Hyper Voice. Now they're focused on the Reggie Alecki. The Reggie Alecki's down, which means now they can focus on the opposing team, and that means that there's going to be a problem if they don't get out. Uh, I believe Rex with a sick portal there to kind of mitigate this damage and reset everybody back through but the war rages on and Asimov's looking for more mean looks are going to be clutch here if they can lock down his egoist or even the dragapult in the back line but no the dragapult is really shelling damage playing safe on that pad spraggles you know i gotta say I'm, I'm really impressed with how that went down uh there for umbra i felt like there were so many moments that they were going to sort of fall and lose that defense there and you know KOs were going back and forth but that was a hard defense a hard fought defense they actually did great in it a few misplays it felt like by uh some of the members of uh nemesis here I felt like there was a moment where trainer unfortunately targeted the shadow claw the wrong way and it didn't pick up a KO but really nice stuff right there is now trainers in the bottom path just absolutely ripping through them I uh, what I think it's to what you spoke to in one of the first matches of the day that you and I cast together. Sometimes in Unite, no matter what level of player you are, you just catch a vibe. And they were clearly, Nemesis was clearly vibing. They yeah. were in the lead, mm -hmm. you know, and they were just like, okay, we can do this. We'll just kind of push. We've got all the firepower here. And then you just kind of get caught unawares. And I, I'm glad to see that Nemesis seems to have sorted that back out and reeled that in a little bit. Because that's a fast track to losing a game right there. Yeah, and that's one one of the tracks that you don't want to be on. You can be on a lot of fast tracks in life, but a fast track to losing seems like one of the worst fast tracks possible. As this is being ripped up right now. Big Secure possibly. No, not coming out here from Umbra. I was thinking maybe that Lucario Unite move was going to do it, but it felt like it just did no damage there. It was like a just like a whisper to the Regilecki. Yeah, it did not look great. However, the Hyper Beam definitely hit its mark. And now <laughs> looks like Nemesis is looking to try and push again. They are successful. That thing does hit. They want to calculate how they can get the biggest overdunk here. And they decide to let Yeet Fan put it in with 50. And that's the maximum amount they could have put in there for one little ka-ching cash in. So nice little push. 210 to 56. They're pushing this lead, Spraggles. They're pushing this lead. Here they are jumping towards this bottom path, Relentless. On the d night, making some stuff happen right here. Nemesis looking fantastic. I have to wonder what happened to them earlier, obviously. You know, this is they're such a weird team uh, because they're kind of the best team 
in NA in a lot of ways. But then every once in a while, it feels like they just like they'll they'll be winning by 300 points and somehow the game goes the other way. They're one of the only teams I feel like that I've seen do this like multiple times. It's just have and that's, that like massive lead and then somehow it it just slips through their fingers. It's it's just vibing too close to the sun, right? Like just kind of lose focus on the target. You know, and each team needs to identify their weakness for, you know, for the longest time. If you recall, TTV's weakness was they just never take Ray. They could just never flip the switch and take a Ray, right? They'd always turtle up, play some form of defense. The other team would go, okay, we need Ray. They'd flip and rip it, and then they'd get a win. And then TTV, despite winning all game, would find themselves at the back end of a loss. And I think Nemesis is more about positioning than unwillingness to take the Rayquaza itself, if that makes sense. Yeah, that's interesting. I, I wonder what it would be for Nemesis because they're so incredibly good. Like they're, mm -hmm. they're just such an amazing team. That is, a, I mean, it is an interesting callback to sort of, you know, one of the struggles TTV had, but then also the thing that actually kind of felt like it changed everything for TTV because they got super aggressive and it felt like they completely unlocked another level of their play. It's always exciting to see a team, you know, figure something like that out. Oh, without a doubt. I mean, it was, and it, to me, it was the ad of Otter and Celestial here, but we're going for a straight rip situation. Look at all this damage has been shelled in. They, I mean, the Rayquaza was taken. The damage is absolutely in there. Dragapult is down. They need to shred these shields. Lucario's already scoring, so is Sylveon. on 200 points all of a sudden. And this is exactly what you're talking about, Spragles. They were just out of position. They couldn't deal with the flip. They couldn't deal enough damage. And all of a sudden, they're down by 146. Uh, I mean, I want. I'm. I'm realizing now. I'm seeing the Blastoise, the Lucario. Like this is the classic. Um, what's it called? Was it Nouns? Was it classic Nouns? Like uh, rip and flip Ray. I mean, that's like that was like back in the full send days, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, year one. Oh, oh. I mean, it was one of the worst metas we had in this game. That was too. that meta was so rough. It wasn't like Duraludon meta bad. But that, that meta was really rough. Close, close. Like, the only thing they're missing is actually having the Dragonite on their side. Um, but now there's time to push. That's the that's the bonus here. But they need to coalesce. They have no Unite moves, so they need to figure out a different way to do it. Blastoise being down is a great place to start. Relent is charging up this Hyper Beam. It needs to find a target on this pad. But everybody is spacing so well. Blissey goes down. That's two players down. They got 10 seconds till the Blastoise is back. Kiro is screening incredibly well, but they need to find the way in. They need to get these points. Maybe it's an opportunity for Relentless to hit a Unite move. I think they're trying to wait and jump to the other pad, maybe, Spraggles, and try and get 100 in that way, but they'll still be short. Yeah, I mean, this this play is tough. They need to make something happen right here. Blue Kiro jumping off pad right there feels like... Uh, I'm not sure if that was going to be the play or not, but Blastoise is back. And Blastoise being back, it looks like it's actually going to seal this one up for Umbra. That's just enough. Dragonite eh, jumps back there. Yeah, I don't know that. if that's what they were looking for or not. But either way, it's not going to be enough for them as Nemesis is able to, uh, unfortunately, not take this uh, goal zone in the bottom path. Yeah, I think Kira... I mean, there's... If it didn't work, I think it's easy to call out that Kiro's repositioning was terrible. But I think the thought there is make this team fight on two halves, uh -huh. right? They So they can't throw their big moves and hit multiple targets. It's either you have to focus on Kiro or you have to focus on the pad. But if you don't focus on Kiro, that is just free hyper voice damage that they don't have to move to rack up on you. So... Um, I, I understand where it's coming from, and it didn't look bad there because it didn't absolutely punt the game away. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> what, what a, a rip. Rough... How fast yeah. was that? Uh, four seconds. It was it was gargantuan. It Interesting. Uh, Yeet fans think says Lotus Eight Yeet. Does that are we thinking that maybe Nemesis might be picked up by Lotus Eight? Is that a spoiler? Where does it say that? Uh, in in his name in the uh, roster when you click on the matchup. Oh. Very cool. I mean, they have a different team in this bracket right now. So, What is it right now? 1-1? One, one? Yep, 1-1. Yeah. One, one. Nice. Rex back on the Mr. Slime. Um, no fear. While I do some back-end stuff, you two want to run this one? I'll be off mic for a minute. Yeah, give me... Right. Do some nice, hit the ground running. I got a piece of pizza I got to finish. All right. Well, I'm just going to chat through this, of course. We're getting some early pressure. As we're running across, they're going to be looking to, of course, put the pressure on. Charles on the Blastoise for the third game in a row. Probably the most impressive player across the first two games to me.
for Umbra Volpium. Uh, but now her ego is railing in tons of damage. Relentless flips the script a little bit, tries to go in with Lucario, but it's Trainer with these icicle spears. Oh, it's Icy Wind. Interesting. Okay, Rep's going to try and cut off his ego as they can't quite get there. Danger Noodle peels up. And I feel like these teams are just like, trying to ego each other with the two egoists on one side by like, oh, you picked this? We're going to pick it this time and do it better as Striker picks up the Danger Noodle, soon to be a Dragonite. Sounds like Zoinks is still wolfing down some pizza like Buddy LaRosa out here. I'm so we're going to keep pressing on <laughs> Blue Kira. Is this the first time that Blue Kira's been on the Inteleon? I think so. This matchup, taking it over to Drizzle as we're right behind a level four. But it's poor Charles sitting at level three. They need to get this Blastoise online. One tick away to make that happen. Charles getting caught in a mean look. Asimbo putting tons of pressure on, just A, pressing them down. Fortunately, Yeet Fan was nowhere near them, still struggling as a Rowlet wants to hit Dartrix in short order, picked up and poached his Rex as they're going to go get a Barry screening off with those triple walls. Uh, those two Pokemon in the top path, Relent going to just be on surveying duty. I like Rex cool. actually going for the invade here. It's peeling so much attention away from that top path. It actually gives a lot of opportunity for Relent to get some stacks in. Uh, and most importantly, this 27. Are they going to be able to get it in for Buzz Collapses? Yes. Great W is Relent takes to level six and is now outscaling the Buzzwall on the other side, which is exactly okay. where you want to be. Rex peeling back up. Danger Noodle strikes, but Relentless back on pad. Rex is there, going to put up some walls. We're building a house around this pad to try and insulate it. Upright Striker is trying to score their points. Uprise Striker, excuse me, not Upside Striker. He's <laughs> putting in, trying to put their points in. They can't quite get it. Rex is really taking a ton of damage, but not really going down. And I'm glad I won't be cast or cursed, at least in the next 10 seconds, because Rex does back. Yeah, <laughs> it's hard to KO an enemy Pokemon in the enemy central area. I'll give you that. So a pretty safe bet, uh, betting on Rex in that engagement. Going forward, I, though, it's risky. Uh, it's Uprise Riker. So I am, I've misread it four times in three minutes. Uh, okay, perfect. So, so just call that whatever type of curse that is. My mm. inability to read, I suppose. <laughs> Blue Kira Ooh. actually darts past the wall. And it kind of looked like they used the wall to uh, uh, hit their fell stinger, actually get right on the other side of it before they can uh, get chipped up. Looks that like these happen. teams are... I, I don't think so. I think it just kind of glitched out that way. Like it just oh, looked, okay. made yeah, it look yeah. like it happened. Um, but like two down, three up, and they're kind of holding strong with this split is Nemesis, despite being uh, outmanned up top. Yeah, they're doing quite well. Uh, let's take a look at Yeet Fan and Asnable on the bot side with Regice dangerously close to resetting. And yeah, finally it does. So all that hard work, no secure, easy option for the decision. Whether they're going to need to restart and reset from zero if they're going to have a chance. But up Resiker trying to uh, sit around the outside, wait with this Dragonite. Obviously a potential secure option in the regards to that Pokemon. Maybe the old school secure option, if you will. Yeah, Uprise Riker, though, hitting their Unite move, and I was just waiting for that Unite move to crash land. I thought maybe at first it would be on the basement Reggie to make a play on it, but that was already taken. So they take the Constellation Prize, which is the top path Reggie Alecki. 40 banger in downstairs, which means that this team mm -hmm. is up by 90 a bunch. 90, 90 a bunch. Mm -hmm. That's a bunch. 92 points, I think, if my math is right here. Relent engaging two quick KO streak of two. So Relent is level nine. And now that they're scaling up and past the point of the other top path Pokemon, they can really make their impact felt now, Zoinks. Yeah, they can take these 2v1 situations totally fine. Lucario obviously having a few tools of doing that, the natural damage reduction that they have, the steadfast passive, and then of course this Regice buff also doing a decent amount of support in that regard as well. But uh, we have, of course, in very typical Nemesis fashion, a split across the entire map at any given time. Um, yes, it might make them a little uh, caught, up, ga caught off guard at time to time by a full team collapse, but it also gives them complete vision, something that Trainer and Yeet fan really benefit from. So this has kind of become this team's, I don't know, the uh, play style that they always stick to. However, um, it's already being caught out a little bit mm -hmm. as a big push from Umbra really capitalizes on a lone Lucario. Well, that's a great showtime if the follow-up is there. Yeet gets one, but they quickly identify that Yeet's going to be the problem here. Nice adjustment by Asinable to keep Yeet fan standing. 
The pressure continued, though. However, the fact that Yeet is still here gives them a chance. The mm -hmm. push can't continue. Caught in the mean look is Charles. Do they have the damage to do it? Trainer's looking for this. An icy wind with a follow-up on the Mr. Mime is going to get it done. Yeet fan feeling the pressure, but they take a mean snipe shot after the blue Kiro soul read. They absolutely rip through the bird with that water, forcing Yeet to peel back again. Double Sniper, so incredibly powerful. And of course, Mr. Rhyme and even Lucario stuns. But of course, Mean Look making that really, really easy to capitalize on. Very tough to play around. Decidueye Unite to get in some early damage because obviously they are trusting in the Lucario Steel and with a power up punch and a Unite move. And of course, the Decidueye, that will be enough damage to take it. Dragonite doesn't even have enough time to walk out of the tall grass as two members go down from Umber Volpium as Nemesis charges toward that tier two. Trainer and Yeet are grooving. This is something we saw so much last year, Zoinks, and I'm glad mm -hmm. to see it again this year. I'm glad these two players are playing together because when they are in tandem and humming, like they are just providing amazing clean Pokemon Unite play. And this Glaceon Decidueye, no exception there, as we just saw them rip through the enemy squad. I think... We honestly have Rex to thank for quite a bit of this team composition. I know they built this team sort of from the ground up. And uh, I mean, I think they got a couple of these players, notably trainer, to play the game again. So I am pretty psyched that we have uh, these players playing again because, yes, they truly are world's caliber and so, so fun to watch. However, Efan getting caught out in a jack button dodges the smackdown, but it's not over as a Dragonite Unite moves within range of this team fight. And Teleon doing some damage, Lucario fighting on the top side. But again, this split pattern of nemesis actually paying off here as they can't uh umbra can't really lock down onto any specific member yeah they drew all their tension in different direction and unfortunately umbra did not have the communication to say okay this is our target go here and what led, led to is just not enough damage hitting a bunch of different targets and allowing uh these things to settle out for nemesis which is great rex is caught on the backside but that's a fine target for them if they can get the damage in the follow-up and they are still scrapping up front blue kiro ripping another shot into yeet fan who's pivoting back relentless taking the next one but they are just high enough hp to withstand those shots yeah, Aston will just wish on cooldown as often as they can. If they can time it to get a character protected from a snipe shot, that would be even more valuable. But, of course, they are the only support, in, in quotations, of course, Mr. Mime, actually that role, but the only Pokemon that can apply any sort of healing towards their entire roster. So Aston will sort of work in double time, right? Playing that defender role, getting big mean look lockdowns, but also making sure that their carries aren't just evaporated by the enemy damage. Yeah, and Uprise Riker knows exactly where Aznable is. So I hope they're communicating to the team because that could be a poach for them. They do, they get a quick surf, and that breaks the passive of the Umbreon. So they're going to put a ton of damage in as you quickly see them stunned. Oh, nice showtime in the Blissey tandem here, right into the middle to pick up the Dragonite so nobody gets KO, but now they're caught on the backside. This forces out the Inteleon Unite. They're going to be able to put in a ton of critical hits, but it's the buzzle that goes down. They tried to back half and then circle back, and it wasn't quite enough. Rayquaza is getting hit, but but the action is found out. Nemesis is not falling for this trick twice. KO Streak a three for Trainer and Yeet in tandem. This Rayquaza is low, taken easily by Nemesis because what, Zoinks? The whole team is wiped. And you know what you get for that? Burger time. Hundo burgers are your rewards always. Uh, I think in Pokemon Unite, we give out a frequent amount of them. Um, so shout out to, of course, the people who want to receive this. Yes, Nemesis is going to be taking down Umbra Volpium. Obviously a pretty great squad. Uh, mm -hmm. I think we could see a lot from this team going forward in our tournaments this season. Um, they are a very, very good team, and they put a really big test on a lot of the best of the best in NA. Uh, so, but Nemesis taking them down, really cementing their place in the top side of this bracket, and moving along in winners, which are, sorry, in losers, is still a long road for them to qualify for top eight but still i think they can at least know that the next job is done and it's on to the next on to the next indeed we are entering garbage time here everybody knows it uh but what a statement game out of nemesis you know this is a team that you could have easily said oh yeah they made it through winners and not bat an eye at it right that's just the caliber of team this is especially with the roster they've put together and with the track record of some of these players um, to see them succeed in the lower bracket and find their footing now is great. It's been a long day. They still have a long road ahead. And to know that they still have this kind of pop-off power in the face of a great team mm -hmm. is a good thing for them. Absolutely. So Umbra Volpium go down. Nemesis rage on and continue in the bracket. Oh, Kiro, I'm so sorry to see you go. But you had a great run. You took down some great teams. You had some incredible games. But... 
in the end, Nemesis just really played a great game number three there. 104,000 damage from Trainer, 95,000 for the Sage, who had 85k from Royalis and Lucario. I mean, when the damage dealers are working that incredibly well in tandem, you gotta know this is gonna be a formidable team. Yeah, and that is that is plenty said about Nemesis. I I really do appreciate teams like Nemesis when they don't always, I'll say don't always. I don't want to say this like as a hard and fast rule where they find value in other supports uh available within the game to diversify how they're approaching the game. You know, we've seen Nemesis be successful, you know, in our uh the run-up event using Sableye a lot um they play here. they've been playing it a lot today too we just haven't seen it on our broadcast but in my like little spectate client that i can see mm -hmm. rex has been locking it in a lot and that's that's terrific right because it forces other teams to flex and play a different way which isn't the easiest thing to do and later in tournaments it becomes even harder to do you know you kind of want to go into autopilot in the moments where you can to try and conserve that mental energy but a team like nemesis doesn't allow you to do that because they throw you such weird looks it's like a junk ball pitcher in baseball like they're not throwing anything too hard that would like say wow this person's throwing a 102 mile an hour heater but the pure slop that they are chucking at you just becomes so hard to hit because it's so ridiculous and so unpredictable that you gain value in that sense and that's why nemesis is a really fun team for me to watch uh because of that dynamic that they add to the game yeah also, shout out to Kiro. It was close, but improvement is important. We'll be back stronger next month. That's the best mentality you could Correct. possibly have in a tournament like this. So, Kiro, I really keep, I hope you keep your head held up high because you had a great tournament. And yeah, I'm very, very excited to see more from Umber Volpium because y'all have been grinding and I'm excited to see it uh, pay off even more next event. It'd be awesome. Yeah, they were a really cool team to watch and we've seen a lot of them today. And I think they did great. <laughs> Zolmix Nemesis Spraggles <laughs> Nemesis -is. <laughs> Waiting for Doom Nemesis -is. Nemesis <laughs> I like that Nemesis Oh my goodness -is 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 -is. Do you remember Wasn't there Nemesis Or something <laughs> There's been a lot of Stepsis names <laughs> Can we like talk about Like Anbu Putting another run Together here <laughs> <laughs> like yep. they'll have to go through luminosity to make this run here and potentially gone squad on the other side but Did there you again genesis genesis is waiting for their winning in game this is a team made up of faz Bora reach and lakoding and rhino like this is a dope run from them I mean, it's unsurprising with the names you just rattled off. Like those are so. good, those yeah, are good players. True. True. Um, I think what's surprising is this team materialized four days ago or whatever. You know, uh -huh. um, the you know the that's what's good. You want to watch sense. on boost game two actually? Sure. Yeah. All right. So I, I'm just I'm just saying sure as if it's my stream. No, I mean, what if you want? Man? I think we just keep vibing. If we got a game, we watch it. Yeah, sounds good. I'm I'm down to. Sorry, I forced cast upon you all earlier. I'm down to just chill and hang out too. No, I mean both are fun. I think there are going to be ones where we feel like, you know, look, we've been going for 14 hours, so <laughs> yeah. I think there are ones that we're going to feel like character. casting. There are ones we're going to feel like vibing, and that's <laughs> that's the point you get to when you're this deep in it. I think that's so true. Oh. I have been in, I really hope chat, I know there's been some problems with the stream and stuff. I'm sorry about that. I should find a different thing to use then, uh, then Parsec, but I hope everybody's been enjoying because I've been having so much fun with these games today. They have oh. been, this has been an awesome event. I, oh my, I can't think of a better way to start UCS. Seriously, the events have been sick. Dude, it's been great. Oh, it's, it's so, so and like the, I mean, we got people like hanging all day. Oh yeah. Know? We got crews throughout. Which we knew would happen. I mean, we literally had people walking in uh, at NAIC to wait in the crowd at our rehearsal time. Yeah. Because they're like, well, the door's open and this is where we want to be. <laughs> so <laughs> we want to be watching. I remember Just feeling like, go away. You're going to yeah. you're gonna learn what my bit is. <laughs> yeah. You're not yeah, allowed to learn watching, us, watching me and Spraggle, Spraggle's uh, practice our cowboy cold open. Yeah. Uh, that was, that was awesome. Uh, it, it, you know what? That's why it, 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 it didn't hit as hard as it could with live crowds, Spraggles. That's what happened. I know we, we've been just tearing each other apart about each other's performances in that moment. But ultimately, I think that's what it comes down to. You know what's funny about that is they wrote a bit for us. And we were like, so we're we're going to do a completely different thing. <laughs> we changed everything. <laughs> changed every part of it. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs>
Yeah, well, I'm glad to, to know that they trust us a little bit on that front for what, sure. What, what, we sorry, out- uh, Zoinks, real quick. What are our two team names? Uh, Onbu on your left hand side. Uh huh. Um, or purple side rather, and then on the right hand side, I actually rack. R A Q. R A Q. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. And do you know where we're at? Game two. Game two. Onbu is up one zero. Great. Thank you so much. All right. Sorry. Well, that's what you were asking. Yeah. Losers yes. round seven. If <laughs> that's what I was looking up for no reason. So there is somebody on rack whose gamer tag is just girl, which is awesome. I feel like I've played with girl. Yeah. I know I've played Perfect. with dad. Have you guys played with dad recently? <laughs> no, no, I've not. Dad's out there. Oh, good to hear that they're watching over us. Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it, it, the chat, so dude, ago. let me tell you, the chat loves dad. Because oh, okay, I bet. Every, every time you're playing against dad, they're like, dad, where do you go? And they're like, no, dad's back. You killed dad. The chat loves dad. <laughs> well, like, like Zoinks was saying earlier, you've kind of trained your uh, your viewers to just be on bit game every single time. So, uh, you know. They're just getting into the action. Of course they are. I love it. It, it is a little tough sometimes when they're, after something everyone's doing, like one person's not doing a bit and then everyone else is doing a bit. So it looks like everyone is actually being like, no, actually like Jungle Clefable is the way to go. And you know everyone's doing a bit, except there is one person that's like, exactly. That's what I keep saying. <laughs> You can see it. I don't know what it is, but you can see it in the chat where one person doesn't get the bit, but they are they are going with it a million percent. <laughs> Oftentimes, I, I find myself person. as that person. Yeah, perfect. Deuce Next is that human. Hey, you go. <laughs> I would love to see this Anbu team mm-hmm. go far. I mean, just any opportunity to try and get Boozle on stage again. Well... If they want to go far in this tournament, the Luminosity is waiting for them. Uh, <laughs> the final part, which is a very tough opponent to be running into, but obviously, obviously Luminosity can believe they were taken down by GT earlier today. So, I mean, Tama Tama is a unit. Twisted's so a good. unit. <laughs> Boozle is great. Uh, I mean, it, that's why it's like oh. tough in NA to say like, you know, like you said, man, Faz's team is sitting waiting for their winning and it's like yeah they're all really good <laughs> like there's a lot of solid players like rhino played at neic rhino's been playing a ton with a ton of different people um so seeing them come together to make a team is both surprising and not at the same time yeah agreed. also the bigger the bracket the more opportunity for surprises and things like that too right so without a doubt you get a large bracket, you get more games, you get more teams, you just have opportunities for more upsets, more surprising things, more teams to kind of like find their groove. We've all had those days where you win, like you play 12 games a Unite and you win 10 of them. And then we've all had those days where you play, you know, 12 games a Unite and you win two of them. It's, it's, yeah. they're like different days too. Like you just like might have be a great day for your team. So using that logic is actually something I was trying to explain why I don't think that the open qualifier is that big of a deal for the teams that enter in seventh and eighth place, because any true gamer will tell you they'd rather have a smaller tournament with the big prize at the end than try and go against multiple more rounds with supposed weaker competition. It's just not good EV. And the fact that you would be giving up money and CP as well, like is why I just don't think that open bracket for teams that make the top eight is a big deal. We're talking about uh, the final stretch is what you're talking about right now? Yeah, the final stretch and then what's at e, uh, EUIC as well. Yeah. It's interesting because I am I mostly agree with what you're saying. Well, I guess uh, the final stretch specifically, the open bracket thing for the top of the AS Cup is weird. I but think the, the other one. I think the final stretch, if you're, I actually think if you're a seven or eight, I don't think you play regionals. I think you play final stretch. I disagree completely. I don't know. I, I, I think, I think you do. I think you go, I'm not beating TTV here, um, but I, I can beat whatever out like i can beat the teams that don't enter regionals i i think you probably make that call 
Yeah, but you got to think it's going to be in the United States at NEIC. So you're going to see a bunch of these caliber teams pull up totally. for that one shot. You're It's literally putting the proof to what you just said. With the bigger tournament, there's more opportunity for goofy, goofy stuff to happen rather than having to just play X amount of rounds to get... Because like if you think about it, if you're 7th or 8th, you have to spike the final stretch to get anything out of it. Right. If you're in the top 8, you have to spike the, the the thing to get your trip anyways. The only difference is you're giving up money and championship points. Maybe championship points don't even matter, but you're certainly giving up money. That's true. So like you have to play more rounds to have the same performance, which is get first, and then you're giving up money, which is why I just don't think it's that big of a deal to not have the top eight. Be I, able to I guess that. the question is what matters more to you? Right. Is, is like a more guaranteed shot at cash or a better shot at going to worlds because there's no question if you're and running not up paid in... trip to worlds though say That's that again a not paid trip to worlds oh the the last chance is not paid correct no. if you win the final stretch it is not a it is not a travel award oh hmm well that does change it because <laughs> regionals yeah. is paid Regional Correct. winner is paid, and most championship points in the region is also paid. Huh. Yeah. No, that changes it for me. Because if yeah. it's a non-paid spot, eh, I don't know. It all depends, though. Do you want to compete at Worlds? <laughs> yeah. Because, that, like, I don't know. You're not... It's unlikely you beat LG, but it's possible that you beat... these. You have a higher chance, I think, of beating these other teams, I think. All of them, though? Right. Yeah, you have a I think chance, so. But a I, higher chance times multiple more rounds. Try, yes, I I, I I get it, but also I don't know if, if I'm playing in it. I, I've played against teams like LG and TTV and stuff like that, and uh, I I think it's going to be real hard. I think it's going to be real hard. I think it's going to be probably too tough. Um, but I've also played against teams that are on the come up or sort of like mid maybe you'd like think of like as a mid-tier team now, i've been very competitive with some of those and i think that's where i'd i'd, I'd go look i can more like, easily like, win i'm just those i'm just thinking of a team like ignorance right like the gap between maybe like a seventh and eighth and let's say for the sake of this argument ignorance doesn't make it in like ignorance would probably go to the final stretch but it's like the gap of skill between your seven and eighth and like in a couple teams like ignorance being in the mix is that like that's where you're hedging against, right? That's where you're saying you're gaining your value is being able to beat them at the end of the tournament. Mm -hmm. But you have to play a bunch of other rounds beforehand. Like, I mean, I've stacked up with random people and beaten uh, ignorance. Is I've beaten ignorance twice in a row with a, a team of just schlubs because we flipped Ray twice. You know, so it's it, it just it's, it's tough for me to mentally justify, which is I think why there's not a lot of value lost. Yeah, you know, it's interesting because. It, it kind of reminds me, uh, I used to play a lot of poker, and it reminds me of poker, where yeah, you can either play in this massive tournament where kind of, like, a lot of random stuff happens, you know? Um, and it's hard. It's hard to get all the way to the end, but you're playing with a lot of, you know, a lot of players of varying skill. Or you can play 1v1, like, heads-up poker against one of the best in the world, like, I think you got a better shot at a more of a, you know, at, at kind of more of the randomness of it almost. Mm -hmm. It is a tough choice. I, I I see how it is a dilemma. I don't think it's super cut and dry one of the way or the other. Yeah, but, totally. Yeah. I mean, for me, the choice would be money. <laughs> I would just play for regionals cash because the payout to 7th and 8th is not bad. Um, and if you're playing in regionals, you get the paid trip. So that right? was Rack winning that, right? Tying it up? Yeah, so they tied it up 1-1. Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't know if you'd get the pay trip if you elect to not play in regionals. Oh, yeah. Uh, if you're if you're sacrificing the opportunity for a paid trip, I think that would be a little foolish. Yeah. To, to New Orleans uh, that I'm talking about. But yeah. Oh. Oh. Well, yeah, like, I'm assuming they pay top eight to get right. to New Orleans again. Correct. Right. The they travel do. awards. They but do. I don't know if you'll get that money if you elect to not participate in regionals and instead play in the final stretch. You let know what this you, reminds me of, by the way? What's this that? reminds me of those conversations where you talk about, like, what you do when you win the lottery. <laughs> like, it's like yeah. a situation that none of us, we're not in at all. <laughs> but we're like, no, actually, what you do first is you do, you pay off your car. Okay. 
uh, you, you, you cut off you 50 grand for your closest friends, 50 grand, you're 50 grand. Like <laughs> you just come up with all these plans of what you so do. My, uh, so I, I, the final stretch idea is so dumb. No, it's not. It's actually really good. <laughs> it's, it's really good to generate more interest to people to play Pokemon Unite. And that's ultimately what's important. Yeah. So it's really um, good. I, I totally it's really agree. Good. It's a great idea. <laughs> it's really good. Um, it's, it's a shame for the few teams that feel like because really what those teams want is two bites at the apple which is bullshit <laughs> in my opinion i'm just gonna call it what it is um and if you're truly a gamer, or as we I call it know, bs on a spreggle stream oh it is bs it is no bueno i just i have it tough to find like somebody that wants to qualify for worlds because they want to compete with the best rather go through a softer field because they think they have a better chance it seems weird and you're giving up money and championship points and a paid trip opportunity when at the end of the day you still like if you're considering yourself to be bad enough that you can't win in the top eight that you have to go to the final stretch you still have to get first in both to to go so you're giving up money for having to have the same result goofy it's just goofy to me i'm clearly not going to be pulled off my point so. <laughs> <laughs> well no it's, it's fine it's, it's, it's fine if we agree or disagree it's it, it's i think it's good to talk about it although yeah oh esposito by the way holy coming in with the 20 gifteds what a legend what Espo the... is a dude espo's a legend holy Espo got a cash advance on his cash prize for top eight i'll tell you that but she made it anyway. yeah, beautiful that thank you so is. much thank you Espo. Oh my very word. kind of you holy moly yeah. I think this whole debate will be proven true or untrue depending on the caliber of team that wins the final stretch. If it is a very good team, it'll be like, okay, that makes sense. That spot was well deserved. It is if it is a bunch of people that picked up Unite for the first time and that stumbled will to never a win, happen. No, it exactly. But if you ask top players, they say it will. Uh, but <laughs> so top player, here's the like, thing. Like uh, the thing I don't like about Aos. And uh, about final stretch is a slot was taken away from two of the most competitive regions in the world. Yes. yes. Um, that I don't love. But uh, at the same time, like to Dubesnack's point, I do think things like this are healthy for the game overall, you know? Mm -hmm. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh Kello I, in the I chat, don't that. come for me, please. All I'm saying is. <laughs> you keep on four slots. OCE gets none. No, but you know what I'm saying? Like that part is a bummer. No question that's a bummer. Yeah. But I do think this is positive for the for the game. And it's you want people to you want people to see that there's an opportunity for them. Because honestly, if you sign up for a Pokemon Unite tournament and you get put into a bracket and you run into TTV in your first game, uh, like you'll uninstall. You you need to have like a little well, that's the hope. Good thing about that's the good thing yeah. about the open bracket too is it's Swiss. It's Swiss, which is such a strong play. Yeah, it's so, so good. You won't be. You can play. Uh, it'll probably. I think it's five or six rounds they have planned. Um, How many Swiss teams is it? What's the team max? Thirty-two. It's five. Oh, I thought Johnny said six. Oh, okay. Well, either way, um, uh, I can check that real quick. Keep talking. But yes, that will be. Um, that'll be really cool to see um to see so many teams and you can play as many rounds as you want you're not eliminated because of that but and maybe okay. this is just me this is how i've always felt a, about competition and maybe i would feel differently in, in if i was playing unite i don't know um but i've always felt like this is like uh when they talk about you know seeding and all this like it's either i'm gonna beat everyone or i'm not gonna win um, so if they take a spot away from NA, that's unfortunate, but I plan on winning. Like if I'm competing, I plan on winning. I don't plan on getting fourth, you know, yeah. that's just, that's me. And I know that's like easy to say from the sidelines. I'm not trying to, um, take anything away from anyone who has that opinion, but that's how I would play. Like it's, it's either I win or I go home regardless. So yeah. if I was playing in UCS, that's how I would like okay there's two slots all right there's three there's four slots it's just a number they made up what if there was only two slots you know there yeah. was first year that's true now there are three. Dang. Oh, yeah, we got a hit year. by the way holy what'd you get i was just pulling cards what did i get ages ex right wow. yeah five rounds that's cool for 32 it's five coming from the chat this tournament is going now by the way oh there's a game going 
Yeah, it's a game going. We have um, on Boo's third game. Oh, sorry. Thank you for letting me know. Wait, wait what was the hit? Uh, Aegis slash EX. Nice. Nice. Yeah, uh, coming a from the chat, it's, would it's you ever Aegis? form a team? No, I would never it's form a team. Actually. I would never do it. Forming a team, yeah. I'm uh, like esports, man. It is a young man's game. I'm a father of two. There's no way. And also, you're trying to compete with a 20 year old. Like, come on. <laughs> and Spraggles has his 40 year uh, high school reunion right around the corner. It's so, so close. What are we talking about? It's here? so close. What are we talking about here? So excited for that one. I am so excited that Crustle is relevant. Isn't it awesome? <laughs> in like a cool way, not in like a corny season one. We're playing Crustle way, which was also awesome for what it's <laughs> worth. Like that was so sick yeah. uh, when when that when, when Crustle was being selected, and it was that was an EU, right? Yeah, yeah. EU was seen quite Back a bit in February finals. February like, finals in EU. Gaming. Yeah. Yeah. Yerman Burger Flippers. What a like a banana land showdown to kick off the tournament scene of, of Unite. Who won it? Was it was random, right? With the mm. reverse sweep? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That was wild. Versus the Yerman Burger Flippers. The Yerman Burger Flippers. Which was Blaine's team. Yeah. And uh why am I forgetting their names? A lot of all the Germans, basically, of the time. Urzeron on that. Urzeron, yep. Overheat Shandy again from mm. the side of Rack. I've seen that now more than Flamethrower so far today. Got a question from the chat. Spragle's been streaming all day. Yes. What's been the best match? I think we had two insane games back to back. We had a YouTube game uh, where they lost Ray. And mounted an insane comeback, and then we also had that same game right after from Luminosity. Like it, it we didn't react as much to Luminosity because it just happened to Team YouTube. It was yeah. crazy. Those are pretty. I think we had some sicko EU games too, if mm -hmm. I remember correctly. Yes. Like I don't know. It's been so long. Dude, it's been, been some yeah. Great games. Yeah. It all it all blends together. We've had some really fun ones though. I think that that was the most hype moment though because it was just, mm. you know, it's that it's that impossible push and when the team makes it happen you just love to see it oh it's so good I, i'm kind of seeing this conversation in chat do we think the game is that unbalanced right now i think the game feels pretty awesome yeah the balance is good what, are, what what's the what are we talking about what pokemon it was like uh blastoise umbreon too broken yeah uh, if they that's kind of nerf the top pokemon the balance of the game would be unreal it's like, I mean, there are, there are a few broke. There are a few like uh, OP Pokemon, like Buzzwool's OP. Blastoise is, it's close. Uh, you don't have to do too much because here's the thing: you do have to recognize that inside of any game like this, Pokemon will or, or Pokemon or characters, whatever the champions, whatever they are, they will have like a little season. Um, that's just sure. theirs. Some some are amazing for a long time, for whatever reason, just the design of the kit, the devs really like them, the community really loves them, whatever. Um, but in general, Pokemon characters, they have a season, and sometimes it's it's Blastoise season, and other times you don't see Blastoise for, you know, four or five months. Buzzwool has a season right now, but soon enough, I, I think this thing's gonna get nerfed, and you won't see Buzzwool anymore, and I, I think... You just have to understand that there there always is going to be something that's a little stronger than everything else. It's just so hard to achieve great balance. It, but outside of the Mewtwo, Zacian stuff that was happening, like, I don't know. It feels like things are kind of beautiful right now, if we remember I mean, the dark the fact days. That, the fact that Crustle is in, the fact that Dragonite is in, the fact that Lucario is in, the fact that you can play like Mr. Mime and Sableye on a high competitive level and how not have it be like just grief tier, right? If your team is actually playing around it, like there are not a lot of Pokemon where you're just like, oh, well, that's a massive punt. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think that's great. And because of people's creativity to play around these things that are slightly stronger because there always is going to be something that's better than the others, that's where you get the Crustal innovation from. That's where you get the Dragonite innovation from and that type of stuff. Absol. Uh, Absol, like, Absol was crazy today. We saw some great Absol games. Um, I don't know. I think it's awesome. <clears throat> I think it's, like, really good. It's pretty good. I agree. It's not perfect. There are a few that are that are too strong. But it's not like it was. Like we've had good, we've had good balance for three months or so. Yeah. 
which is pretty cool. We had a rough year. I mean, if you guys, if you year. remember the year, like this is so much nicer. I know it's like, that's not the only thing. It's like, hey, this is better than right. it was. That's not o the only thing that matters. But this is so much more balanced than we've been for a long mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Red Rock going down is concerning. Umbu should be able to overdunk here, especially with that Espeon Unite move. That was really sick from Karma. Yeah, great spacing. Mm, not much of an overdunk if they get that 10, huh? No, they're not going to get overdunk at all. That's okay. 128, 134. This is close. That, I mean, there's hoop of value in just closing that out. Yeah. So True. That's probably what they're thinking at that point. Like, our really cool push got stymied, so let's just close this thing out to try and mitigate hoop a little bit, which I can Glaceon see from that standpoint. Is, <laughs> Glaceon is so good into Venusaur. It is unreal. Oh, I would a nice trap. I would say, for, uh, speaking about balance again, sorry to cut you guys off talking about what's happening right now, but speaking about <laughs> balance again, I do think there are a few mechanics in the game, like a few moves and mechanics that are uh, unbalanced and also unfun. I would love it if they fixed some of those. Like, I think gravity is unfun and not balanced well. I think mean look is really unfun and not balanced well. What um, if they reshaped gravity? So it's not a big circle. What if it's like a little AoE in front of it or something? Like, uh, I don't know. I think they could shape the AoE to make it more awkward and not like such a huge option. That what if it was I... a channel? Mm, yeah, channel could be okay. Maybe. Like kind of like in prison almost. No, no, no. Like you like, like you you channel button, it. Like you, like you have to hold. Oh, it oh, it. sorry. I thought you were like a channel. Like all, all you almost meant like a line, like a river. Okay. Well, that'd be too strong, I think. Well, well, if it was the same size as in prison, it'd be too strong. Yeah, yes, You'd it would be. To, it would be too to strong, but then it wouldn't like it wouldn't uh, go around you. You know, I, I I thought that's what he was getting at, but now I, I recognize what he's saying. You channel it, yeah. Like you can't move, you can't hit moonlight, you can't do anything else. You're just channeling gravity. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Worth a thought. Yeah, yeah, it could, that could be something cool. Getting ready for this ray fight you right can here. Play Trick room mimic you and counter it. Trick Room Mimikyu, it's a bummer that that move is not good. It counters the gravity? Um, it, yes. Yeah. <laughs> we agree. <laughs> Perfect. And but, I don't think the assessment un unfortunately changes with that uh, piece of information. <laughs> Noted. Okay. And Full portal out. <laughs> there you go. We, we have taken this down and put it into the file, and the assessment remains quite the same. Uh-oh. Uh oh, that was a huge tree play. Haru pops off there. Yeah, Punch really three. nice. And they're moving in for this fight. Here comes the Buzzwall. Picking up the Crustal Unite, however. That's bad for Candle. They got to push it away from this Chandelure. Buzzwall on nothing. Candle oh, on man. nothing. Both of them hanging out in the same bush going home. Venusaur looking to pick up something with these Unite, oh, no uh, with way. these Solar Beams here, but they are not hitting them. Karma even made it back to Twisted for the Unite for the Buddy Barrier, but it still wasn't enough. And yeah, uh-oh, this is looking rough for Anbu. Right now, Rack up basically everything they could ask for. It's a couple. I'm going to try to buy time at this point, I guess. Yeah, they've, yeah. they've slowed the rip, but also, like, what what can they there do here? They're on zero HP. There's the shield. No. Oh, oh my, my God. God. That, was so close. <laughs> that was so close. That was so close. Uh, it still wouldn't have done it. I don't think they couldn't have scored or anything, but wow. Yeah, they would have had three people with shields. Yeah. And yeah. Actually scoring without stopping counters would have been too hard. Yeah. Dang. But still, that was a bit of a nail biter. Oh, wow. Okay. So rack takedown on boo. Yeah, that's a Impressive that's a good stuff. game. That yeah, was a good game. And they made it. They they were eliminated by Alter Ego. I mean, they had a pretty good run themselves before getting yeah. sent to losers. Yeah, we've um, had some teams and some long runs. Oh, Doom's next. You missed the most heartbreaking moment I've ever seen in a game. Uh, Dark World had like a five hundred. Oh lead man, and they lost. What against it who? Was, uh, it was against a half decent team. Yeah, but it was like they got Ray. They scored a ton, and then they turned, the other team turned it around. And Did it was they like, fall asleep? No. What, what, happened? what happened was, <laughs> ooh, close. What happened was they were up by almost, I want to say almost 500 points. Um, and then they uh, Sableye United and sent like three enemy. They KO'd one, Sableye United, and sent like basically three back to base. And then they just started taking down Ray. 
because they were like, no one's here. No one's going to stop us. And then, mm-hmm. unfortunately, the other team actually got back with like a hero play, secured it, and then all of a sudden came back in the game and somehow won. <laughs> yeah, well, if you're to, in chat, no, go here. to bed. Go get food. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'll have to, I'll have Oonga's to check them still out. having a good run, by the way. Unga Boonga's one up uh, against uh, Emerald Lotus. That's Azmat, Arg, uh, Vendetta, Cocodrillo. Feels like the words you're saying aren't real. Yeah, is that the, yeah, the, yeah, like, the lot, games, like, maybe? It's a lot old of the Sucker old Bunch. Glitch, glitch Energy Squad? Yeah, or Sucker Bunch before that. Oh, yeah. Sucker Bunch. That was a great team name. <laughs> that was a great team name. Um, yeah. What was what, what's the what was the Japanese team name that was uh Glow Punch? That was such a good team name. Shukashima Glow Punch. Ah, what a good team name that is. It is good. Okay, Got their the two the pools brackets. of losers brackets. Oh my god. <laughs> Ignorance Eclipse is tied one one. Can we get into game three of that? Let's see. Nope, nope. Not yet. <laughs> Nothing so far. LG's Midnight Malders, right Brave now. Burgers, one one. Yeah, I don't have any of those players friended, but like we could watch what happens after once they move on in bracket. Oh yeah, because God's. I mean, that's just fun because it's like Cloudbuster versus like the Colin Tang crew. Oh my God, but that's Cloudbuster's team. Let's go. We were talking about how good the Alter Ego logo is in Spraggle's chat earlier today. It is good. It's really good. Mm-hmm. I believe Spraggle said, "I didn't think I didn't believe you, Zoinks, but I think I like them more now." Yeah. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> well, it's hard. It's oh. hard because like, ah, oh, this logo is so good, and I'm thinking, bro, I've what? never changed my mind based on a logo ever, and I'm not starting today. And then you see the logo, and you're like, Ooh, first time for everything. <laughs> it is really good. Cloudbuster, great is a logo. Nuts artist. Mm-hmm. LG lost oh. to who? They uh, I see asked uh, in the chat. LG lost to GT. My Man. high ranking of them paying off. Why? <laughs> I ranked LG quite high, though, so it's a bit of a give and take, but, <laughs> you know. Isn't it fun to keep all the things in your head that you're right about and forget all the things you're wrong about? <laughs> you do that all the time. Yeah. Well, well it's because I'm, r- winner, I'm right maybe? so few times that it's easier to remember three than a million. Uh-huh. Mm, that makes sense. Gee, that's a tech. It's a tech right there. I, I, I always have great... Just remembering, like, man, I was so right about Dodrio. Yeah, a little yeah. off on Mewtwo Y, but what can you say? <laughs> <laughs> can't, can't get them all. I remember, like, being like, yeah, Mewtwo Y's good. Spraggle said it wasn't that strong. It's fine. The thing I, I, the thing I think I was feeling with Mewtwo Y um, talking... was the fact that uh, it was so boring. I have to be honest. I think that's what it was, and I think I let that cloud my judgment. I was so bored with it. I was like, who would, who cares? Yeah. It just presses A, so what? Also, Stockings is saying that they took the pyramid personally from our podcast of sex. That was Bridget, not me, okay? <laughs> that is. Yeah, that was, that was definitely yeah. uh, London Bridge. That was Brigetti Spaghetti ops for sure. Everywhere. That is true, Stockings. You have had to face ops everywhere. Oh my gosh. I, I'm bummed that we didn't see the GT game. I just, I kind of, like, I didn't know LG was going to lose, of course, right? But I, I even said, like, mm, that's, like, the matchup, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, that's those are tough teams, obviously. They Well, they, they play really well against LG, you know? I can't believe only Trolls beat Nemesis. Like, that's crazy. Nemesis almost at the point where they get the run back, though. Mm-hmm. They are waiting for, oh, it's going to be Ignorance Nemesis next. I think we probably watched that game, right? Yeah, that sounds pretty dope. That sounds fun. Man, there's so many good ma- like that's why the NA region is so fun to follow because these are all like barn burner matchups with players that we recognize and are familiar with. <laughs> um, I, I just I just love that. I, I feel like it. EU delivered today too, though. Oh, you know? absolutely. Like, I feel like there's so many good EU teams as well. Mm-hmm. Like, I was very, very happy with that. Yeah, the yeah, the, I, uh, the competitiveness is really cool to see, especially out of EU where I was like, oof, this could be Stomp Fest. Yeah. yeah so many on un- qualifying un- Machizzle. Great, great run from you all. So many, like, unknown, uh, to me, obviously. Like, obviously, they, I'm not trying to say they're no, no bodies. But, like, I, there are a lot of names I've never seen before I didn't recognize that, like, balled out of control today while we were watching their games. And that was, like, it was just a phenomenal sign of life out of EU, especially because uh, 
myself included, have dismissed a lot of the region because of this Nouns super team. Um, and yes, Nouns did find a way to make top eight. Uh, thank goodness, of course, for them, for their mental moving forward. But uh, there's a lot of teams that played super well and were very impressive. Uh, and I'm just, I'm here for it, for sure. Yeah. Unite is a great esport to watch, says Beds in the chat. The 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 thing about Pokemon Unite, especially as an esport, but just as a game, uh, they have sp like specific moments built into how the game functions that like are exciting moments, and then you have like little relief and you, exciting moment, little relief. You build tension, build tension, build tension, and then what's happening at the end? You build to a huge moment. It's hard for matches not to. And I think because of that, it makes a really exciting eSport. Yeah. Oh, Sprinkles, you missed a YouTube uh, question as well. Um, they just asked, what G Fuel flavor is that? And what's the code? My code uh, is Sprinkles uh, at checkout. You can also exclamation point G Fuel. And you can just use my link to uh, to shop on G Fuel. This is Shiny Splash. That's A-Drive's flavor. And it's pretty dang great. I know it's like notoriously one of the top flavors. And I agree. It's pretty wonderful. Yeah. It's, great. it's been one of my favorites so far. Shiny Splash is great. I like blue ice. I just like things that are blue, apparently. Um, and there was one other. Oh, and Watermelon Mint's pretty good, too. And it, Watermelon Mint is exactly as advertised. It is Watermelon Mint. They, hey, okay. <laughs> they, they, you're not going to go, huh, I'm, taste, I'm getting a lot of watermelon, missing the mint. <laughs> nope. It's exactly what they're saying. <laughs> All right. Michaels right. is a water trainer. I am, sure. dude. I am. You are a water type trainer. Mm -hmm. yeah. I am. I feel like I what desperately guys? want what to you get, get ghost. Oh well, I just chose what I would know I would need to get to get ghost. <laughs> but... All right, that sounds like a dark trainer or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. So I took the test and I got fighting type. But if I were to okay. classify like by Pokemon that I really enjoy, um, the most common shared trait is actually normal type. <laughs> so, Interesting. Okay. So My wife got normal go. type. I think, I mean, I've always thought the normal type Pokemon are pretty unique and cool. Uh, like Kecleon, Chattop, Miltank. Those are all ones that I've particularly enjoyed. So I think I could see you as a fighting type trainer, though. The, like a gym leader. Like at the end of the road when you beat all the... You know, I don't even the, know if I have a fighting type like Pokemon I like. Heracross. <laughs> Not a fighting type. Well, it's Bug. <laughs> <laughs> oh, got there. <laughs> there it is we're done check me see you guys <laughs> that's like okay i was on a, a back in the tcg days i was on a podcast and they had the, they did this game where it's like we give you a oh, type it is fighting type it is fighting type i'm so sorry i need to jump is it really roast me it is fighting type holy i thought i was like oh, no. wow i really fumbled that i always liked heracross <laughs> and i totally I screwed up it. N I knew wow. Chad was going to roast me for that. It All right. is fighting type. I had to get in front of that one. How, how long until a match? A minute, right? Uh, Zoinks had me questioning myself. I, Holy cow. I guess if we have a second before a match, Zoinks, you could probably just make a big public apology right now. <laughs> I guess <laughs> so, yeah. The truth about Heracross. <laughs> my response to Heracross. Jeez. One of the two. Yeah, my apologies, Chad. Just looking through the list of fighting types here, I guess... <laughs> you can tell me when to do their arch. I don't know. I guess Annihilate is cool. Annihilate. Prime Annihilate is so cool. One of the best Gen Nine, maybe the best Gen Nine Pokemon, actually. Let's see. I love Annihilate. Um, Annihilate would be an interesting Pokemon Kelder for Unite. I, 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 I could be cool like for you. um. Dang, what's its name? Clobopus? What? Yeah, you'd what be a good Clobopus trainer. He's that? great. Clobopus is awesome. Great right, Pokemon. We're on Cerebi. What are you looking at? Best I think Annihilate would be cool in Unite because... Oh, dude, Farfetch'd. Farfetch'd is sick. Yeah, great Pokemon. Did Galarian Surfetch or whatever? Fighting type right there? Uh, Spragos, have you... Um, have you played League very much? Yeah, uh, but... Okay, you I mean, I, I kind of stopped, I don't know. A, All right, a, do you know what Trindamir is? Yes. I feel like Annihilate is a perfect Trindamir. That would be great. Pokemon. Yeah. Like, just like an undying, raging ghost-type monster for, like, a little timer. Yeah. <laughs> That's a really cool that idea. Would be super fun. I mean, you can just kind of steal the whole kit if you want to. I think Infernape's great. I'm yeah. I'm a fan. I know we need a Gen Four star. We're probably so not getting Infernape because we got Blaziken. They feel like pretty similar mm -hmm. in, in like vibe. 
Yeah, if we're getting another firefighting starter, I feel like it's gonna be Embor. Like, I feel like Embor is more unique than... I don't know. It's more non-similar to Blaziken, I guess. Yeah, I like uh, Kinkelder. Really? Kinkelder's pretty cool. Karidon. The tough part for them is that Girder is an uglier Pokemon than Combusken somehow. Phalanx yeah, is fighting. Wild. I didn't even realize. I don't know why I didn't realize that. Realize what? That Phalanx oh, is how, fighting. Yeah, how Lucha would be a sick add to the game. How Lucha would be cool. I'm actually kind of surprised it's not here. Passimian? I like. I heard it was kind of like supposed to be a like a uh, a playoff of a rugby player, but I don't actually know if that's true or not. If that's true, I like Passimian. If it's not, eh. Pass. Passimian, Clobopus, you got a pretty epic team getting together now. Oh, I'm not taking Clobopus. That's just a like. I can't believe they named something. You're not you're taking Clobopus. What do you mean you're not taking Clobopus? Quaquaval. This is a good one. Oh well, it's one. I like Quaquaval. Okie dogie. Oh, yep. That is so cringe. What is this? You don't like Okie dogie? It's it's Have monkey, do it's monkey it? dory, okie dokey, and pheasantipity. Oh, that's right. Trio. Incineroar's fire dark. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Incineroar. That's always weird because he's like a wrestling themed Pokemon. Yeah, I know. So, it makes I no think. sense. Mm -hmm. Dark fighting would have been cool. Incineroar is the worst. <laughs> it's coming to the game. It'll be no, here this year. That's all your VGC friends. Mark my <laughs> words. Agree. Incineroar will be in Unite this year. It's probably going to be Whoa, good. Whoa, this year? Yeah. Interesting. Mark my yeah, words, we need more all rounders. All Sprint yeah. gets all the Pokemon he calls. I do actually. That's <laughs> yeah, true. That is true. Okay, you gotta get off the Pelipper train. I was, I, look, cool. by the way, how sick this is coming this year for sure. How sick would Obama Snow be? Come on, that would be oh. a great one. <laughs> That's a great one. Isn't it already a wild Pokemon? One of the maps. Don't do that. <laughs> it's cursed. It's curious. Can we talk about Zoinks' slander of Middle Evos? We talked about it a lot earlier on the broadcast, actually. I think uh, Spraggles was agreeing with me. With how... Some of the, the best Middle Evos were the Kanto Gen 1 starters. Like, they nailed those. Those were good. Yeah. Um, were good. Gen 3 had some pretty... Well, had one great one and two terrible ones. Um, Gen 5. Gen 5 had Duwat. Duwat's kind of awesome. I'm a big Duwat fan. Okay, you jerks. What do you think about this? Corviknight. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Oh, okay. That's a good one for sure. Good, because that's a good one. What role? Defender. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I, I think <laughs> if I looked... If I'm don't even... Logic, don't even blow air out of your mouth in Timmy's that way. Timmy's logic, like, and looking at it, it looks like a it looks like an all-arounder. It's highest stat is defense. Everyone's an all-rounder when you look at it that way. <laughs> It is true. I'm not trying to get like way out of pocket here, but Aparaja. Pelipper is also a Pokemon that has a high defensive stat that should be in the game. Doesn't I'm it just saying. One, um, Pelipper. Hmm. No, it's that's... too high stats or defense and special uh, special attack. Mm, if Tinkaton doesn't come to Unite, I will cry. Yes, that is true. Swampert feels like good. it could make it. I like Swampert's design. I think, uh, what is it called? Piplup's coming. I hope so. Based hope on based on honest. the fact that Piplup was at that Chinese like in person event, like I know it's a Pokemon, and you could have whatever there, but it's weird to not have it tied to the game. I, I think Piplup's coming. It'd be great. So, I mean, Gen Four, all three are incredible starter Pokemon. So it's just uh, the bummer none of them are here yet. I really do yeah, like Electivire too. Boring. I think Electivire would be cool. Oh, yeah. We do it. We are already a wild Pokemon. That's okay. It will break the curse. It this could. Is the first time we'll break the curse. It could. You know what I was kind of thinking? We're just random switch up as we're just kind of hypothesizing future steps of the game. I wanted a map where we actually have towers and the towers are stack attackas. Where you that have to be like cool. beat down the stack attacka. Very cool. Mm. Palafin's a possibility. Yeah. It, it feels like yeah. its ability is like really good. It, it could be a really good thing for Unite. That's a cool way to, yeah. to work that. Like if you're out of vision for long enough, kind of like how Sableye works, where you just get auto invis, then if you're out of vision for long enough, you change, you know, like superhero change into Palafin. Yeah. Come back out. 
Like they could do some cool things with it for sure. Yeah, it's a great Pokemon. Give it like Jet Punch, Aqua Tail, other stuff. Wave Crash. Cool. Game should be up in the next minute. Okay, Sweet. yeah, it looks like it's ready to go. So Nemesis Ignorance is now all set. Tatsugiri, that feels like it could make it, honestly. Really? I don't know if I'd like it, but that feels like I'd, it could I'd make it. I'd see that as like a wild Pokemon. Yeah, put maybe that on you're right. Map. Sorry, what what was this again, Zoinks? This is now Nemesis versus Ignorance. Um, oh, yeah, this is a good match. The play-in for the play-in. So not a qualification game, but if whoever wins this gets a chance at playing only trolls, I think. Whatever mm, that team they're is. They're playing us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, that we're strictly trolls. Oh, That's we're strictly trolls. trolls. We keep it professional. We keep it professional. <laughs> um, only <laughs> trolls, yeah. Whoever wins this set gets to play only trolls for qualification game. Rex Are on the mime too? going for the invade. What a good time to play Pokemon Unite. Pokemon Unite. Jupiter on the Metagross this time. Mm -hmm. Fun, fun stuff. I mean, they were always playing some kind of brawler and not having access to Buzzwolf. It's on the other side. Makes sense. we got to find something new. Wow. I'm just Here glad we're watching the, the Goop and Soup connection again. I love when those two players link up, mainly so I can say Goop and Soup connection. <laughs> I think, that, that, that I don't even think mainly. Reason. I'm thinking it's maybe 100%. Strictly. Strictly. Yeah. Yeah. Strictly trolling. Oh, uh, okay. Well, Trader takes that KO. Um, it was someone in your chat. I think was asking if teams are underrating Mew Spraggles. What are your thoughts on that? Yes, is Mew underrated in the current meta game? Yes, okay, it definitely well, it just got is. Destroyed by Leafeon. So thoughts? Well, Leafeon is <laughs> like the best thing in the game. But uh, no, I think I think uh, look, things of course shift around, and there are reasons you don't pick something. But I think you and I were talking about this, Zoinks. Um, I I do think Did te we? <laughs> teams are like. I think they're not recognizing Mew because it got a little nerf, and every time something gets a nerf, people get super scared to play it. Yeah, that's like, true. I, I don't know how bad or good Lapras is. I know one thing: no one's picking it, and yeah. I don't think except it's because Yumis. Yeah, except Yumis and one other team. But uh, I don't know if it's that bad. It could be. Like, things get nerfed, and then they're kind of unplayable. It's true. Mew doesn't feel like that. The nerfs were to one move. Or two. Real Tough. quick, does Mew's abilities get the boost going through the mime walls? No. Mm, I don't think so. That would be like a not. per. They okay. That would it be. Would, it would be really crazy. cool if it did. That, like, would, that would be. be super I, I agree. Cool if it did. That there is like um, any light screen, like any light screen, it gets a mm -hmm. boost. There's that a hero be... like that in Smite that puts. But up don't they have like to that. create the walls? The hero in Smite. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm saying I, I I'm pretty sure they they that allies can also use them like ranged allies. Oh, interesting. Yeah, as a like as an Overwatch alt that does that same thing. Um it's very strong. Hey, thank you for the super chat, Nexwiz. Imagine special attacker Tatsugiri that becomes Don Dozo, a physical all-rounder by using its unite move similar to how Hoopa transforms. That'd be fun. Yeah, that would like, be cool. Orders up. What's yeah. the, the what's the um do we don't have any Pokemon yet that Gigantamaxes, right? There yeah. was the EV the event. Yeah, and but I'm saying like we don't have anyone but... who uses that like as no. it's. Like... I was honestly shocked we got Mega Evolutions. But I think they're gonna. They could do all of it. You know. Do you think? Well, but do you think we'll get more Mega Evolutions? Like, will we get Mega Metagross? No, it That's might it. just be that that was that that was Megas. That was like Megas on Aos Island, and then I see. like okay. we don't have a terrestrialized Pokemon yet. I, I we could have something that terrestrializes as part of its Unite move. Why not? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'd be cool. Got that would be cool. Terrapagos in the game. They yeah. have had a lot of Pokemon that have Mega Forms. Yeah. True. Oh, this is a great start for uh, for old Nemesis. This is <laughs> Nemesis. I Ignoranch. <laughs> I gone <around. laughs> <laughs> It's hard to spell ignorance. What is it? Um, what was the team last year that I could never pronounce? Um, oh my gosh! You had a hard time pronouncing. It was like from a, it was like from a TV show. Wonder Chef would get so mad. 
Oh, oh, oh Ginyu it was, Force? Uh, he kept saying Ginyu Force. You kept Force. saying Ginyu, Ginyu, Ginyu Force? It was to the Ginyu? point where we didn't know if you were doing a bit anymore yeah. or if you like you couldn't was, say it. I was doing a bit. It was my favorite. Because <laughs> Wonder Chef would like... Steve would erupt look at me from and he was like, I, I, like, I legit don't think he knows how to say it. And I was like, I don't think he does either. And I don't understand why. It's <laughs> hey, a G. Listen, as, me, as much as y'all and Shaq got frustrated, no one got more mad than Big Uzi. Okay? <laughs> no oh, one he was more mad than Big Uzi. Boozle was so mad. <laughs> like, what do you mean? <laughs> so my bad. Giant new yeah. forks. Get yeah, to so work. my bad ruining the one time you're on an esports stage by oh, dumping your hey, team Oh, hey, next in. year, next year. He gets there. He gets there. <laughs> Goop in the Coliseum getting a beat down from Relent. Trainers there, of course. Nice wall, though, actually, to cut off the push. That was a pretty good play. So why yeah. didn't it work? <laughs> what, why did wall? nothing happen? Yeah, why did nothing happen when Metagross did that? Like, what no, do we I'm need to make Metagross is... unite good? Oh, 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 no, oh, 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 what oh. I'm saying is, like, Goopiter did its unite. It got two members trapped, and nothing happened. Like, what do we need to do to capitalize? I'm coaching this team right now. What do we need to do to make Metagross's unite move work there? I mean, Delphox unite capitalizing on top of it? Like, May the problem is you can get out of it. It's it's yeah. You're not stuck. There are some games where you're fully stuck, you know? Um, yeah. But not it's unite. It's like Guardian that way, I guess. Say that again? It's like Guardian unite, kind of. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Pretty easy to predict where it's going to show up. You press your eject button if you got it, of course. And then... Yeah, or dash. Oh, you can get out of it with leave. any dash. It's pretty easy to get out. Like, Buzzwell just kind of outfought him. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. Relentless Correct. just kept picking him up and throwing him. One thing that's also tough, even though, you know, Metagross, it's, like, really good at brawling, especially if you can hit multiple people with your uh, Gyro Ball and, or Meteor Mash and stuff like that. But in any situation, when you put yourself, like, in melee range of three to four enemy pokemon it's hard to survive uh -huh. you know yeah it's just tough it's passive is neat but very tough to uh actually live with oh love that double dive from trainer relentless oh my god that's sick that oh i i love good dive unite dive is my favorite composition to watch by far um and that's why i love that leafy on his meta it's just so fun to watch. any any moba i love dive comps are you getting your fill of it here? That's for sure. Because yeah, Leafeon is really good. Dude, yeah, Leafeon, it, that, that's another one. I'm, I'm going to make a list. All these Pokemon don't make it to the end of the season without a nerf. No way. Yeah, Leafeon, Buzzwool. Leafeon's going to be a while, though. It's got Epic Hollower coming out. So this thing is going to be meta for a, a good while. Literally forever. It's like, get get good with it if you're, if you're a team. <laughs> There's no way yeah, they're exactly. messing with this thing. Yeah, not having a good Leafy on player is not an excuse any longer. You need to <laughs> fix that immediately. Yeah, what was the... I felt like there was a, a Pokemon like that last year where you're like, you just can't afford to not have a, a player that can play... Uh, was It, it might have been just Hoopa. Like, your support player has to be a nasty Hoopa player or else you just don't have a chance. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think. Because, like, 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 your team just needs to take it. Before, Season uh, one was the... Uh, the uh, Decided a lot by Lucario players, of right? Of course, like that yes. Until Worlds, and then it was Zarina players, but it was the same role. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right, exactly. Same thing. That's actually an interesting conversation I've had a lot in the off season. I, I did a whole series on it last year for the Unite Max channel, but we did, like, what is the most impactful role in a game of Unite? In a competitive game. Not in ranked instead, because in ranked it's probably, like, your, I don't know, your best carry or your tank. Tanks in ranked are so important. Um, but like in a comp game, what role do you think has the most impact on the game? Hmm. Because top path start ahead because they impact draft so much. Yeah. Right now. I, I was gonna, in charge of that, but it feels like right now it might be top. Um, I mean, I feel like jungles in a good spot to influence the game. Totally. Like I think your, your jungler has a very, like, a lot of to say about how the game is going to result, but Real I quick, I, I want to fix something in chat here because we've got some, some misinformation flying. How many teams uh, playing to qualify for AOS Cup in NA? It's one. Uh, these teams are trying to make top eight of the February finals. The winner of February finals will get one slot at AOS. Right. So yeah, this not... is the AOS Cup qualifiers is what the tournament is called. But yeah, that's... Uh... But that's essentially how it shakes out. There's only one team, the winning team of this qualifier or of this series goes to the AOS Cup. It's the paid trip to AOS Cup. Yes. 
and and is guaranteed into group stage. Okay, relent. <laughs> I mean, ignorance finally putting up a bit of a fight here, but it doesn't seem like it's going to last super long. With uh, yeah, there's not. Yeah, I mean, there's just t time is ticking away. Yeah. Um, Spraggles, have we talked to you about this yet? Uh, a cool thing that we learned about the AOS Cup and Final Stretch is that both of those tournaments, you know, they're open brackets, can be entered by competitors from any UCS region, not just TPCI. Yeah, uh, that's that's what I heard, but I didn't hear that confirmed anywhere, so I didn't want to start spreading it too much, but I heard the same thing was like, you could have a team from Japan come out and win the AOS mm -hmm. Cup. Yep, that is confirmed now. They won't win championship points, but if they win... They better not. <laughs> well, what, should we even be giving championship points? That's another conversation. I'll give championship points to whoever I want. Thank you very much. <laughs> I mean, in season one, it was like, whose line it is anyways? Like, you just give out of however many you want to do, whoever you want, it just didn't matter. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad they figured out a way to at least make those relevant in some So effort. much better. Like, yeah. uh, hats off to them, honestly. So much better. Way, way better. All right. Nemesis Game number one. Looking good. It's weird. You you know, we're watching a lot of Nemesis now, and you're like, how did they lose earlier? They're so dang good. I know. <laughs> they just they're not letting slip away. They got ripped on pretty hard, I think, was one, right? But, oh, I guess when we say lose, I was thinking of the Umbra game that they lost when they got just, like, immediately flipped on, and they took them, so. Yeah. But Only yeah, Trolls I mean, beat them 2 0. Yeah, they went down, like, relatively early. I mean, that's insane that the difference between losing two rounds ago in winners has now made nemesis have to play one two three four additional matches <laughs> in loser's side oh my goodness which i mean currently they're up 1-0 against ignorance which is pretty good fix an eruption are playing i don't have any of those players friended but whoever wins that one plays eruption um so we can watch after that one. Oh, plays oh genesis yeah yeah a uh, louise seven bats flareons squillium I mean, these are these are some fun players on these teams. It's a good team. Chunty. I mean, God, the it, other side of the bracket is taking so long. I, I keep yeah. forgetting which side I'm on. What are we on? Am I, team, I think I'm on team YouTube is good, but is waiting. <laughs> like they are, they are quite a ways away from uh, having their opponent. I think, like even longer than LG is, by quite a large margin. Oh man. Yeah, because Viridian's behind, so Viridian needs to be resolved. Mm -hmm. And then ever yeah, yeah, yeah. That's tough. Sprite goes, what are you thinking? Do you want to bounce around and watch more games, or do you want to see the conclusion of Nemesis Ignorance? Um I think we probably wait for the conclusion of this, but I'm I'm happy so with good. whatever you guys want to go with as we're just kind of just hanging out here. Right now I'm sorry, I'm a little distracted. I'm just reading what Cerule Edge's leaked kind of abilities do. Oh, what does Bitterblade do? self-sustain hp steel yeah so we don't know all the stuff it's got weak armor as a passive i think um or a, or an early move increases move speed by 10 percent deals 15 percent more damage for three seconds maybe that's an early move its basic attack has a bonus life steal so it's got like a lot of life steal in its kit it looks like um stat wise i think it has none weirdly but it just like all of its moves do yeah like this move has we don't know the names of the moves but uh let's see dealing damage has 25 percent bonus life steal if your hp is full a shield is granted yeah um it yeah, looks like it's, it's gonna be like moving the video a game is, all rounder yeah the move in its video game is like a full-on hp recovery move um so like bitter blade is like a big fire attack that helps restore your hp i wouldn't be surprised Hmm. That'll be interesting. But yeah, I'm I'm down with watching anything. Mm-hmm. Cool. All right, well, I lost the option for God Squad anyway, so we'll wait for Nemesis versus Igno Ranch. Great. I, I wanna show I'm I'm sending you all a screenshot of consecutive tweets that just have made me laugh. Uh, I've been on mute because I've just been chuckling. Uh these back to back tweets about GT when they beat uh LG is just perfect in my mind. <laughs> Hell yeah. Let's go, Espo. Threw the fight hard, but 99 secure still saved us. Egg emoji. <laughs> so the classic Blissey secure. 
Gotta love it. Gotta we love we it. take those. We do, no in fact, way. take those. Resurrection is, is smashed smash. on Twitter. Yeah. Oh yeah! What? I didn't know that. We were we were talking so much about Resurrection. Yeah, we love the name. Yeah. All right, is game all, two awesome. is up between Nemesis and Ignoranch. Nemesis versus Cool Ignoranch Doritos. Doritos in the chat. <laughs> Doritos in the chat. I'll put Doritos in the chat. No fear. <laughs> I'm not afraid. Hey, man. You don't got to ask me twice. <laughs> put Doritos in the chat. No problem. Uh, when will part one be up? It kind of should be up, Cody. Uh, maybe it's not yet. Um, my stream was crashing earlier, so I don't know what YouTube thinks happened there. <laughs> I don't know what YouTube decided to do with the footage. They're just going to scrub it. It's 32 seconds of a blank vid. Well... <laughs> I don't know what that's going to turn into then. You better delete that real quick or else doesn't that algorithm demolish you? I don't know. I mean, maybe. I It's 32 seconds of a blank vid. Is that right? Let me see. <laughs> I don't know. We need to get you some more RAM, though. Mm, no, it isn't. When it, Is it? When it, it looks like it's five it? hours of hot Pokemon Good. Unite action. It's 32 seconds of a blank vid. Okay. No. Well, I don't know what to do about that. <laughs> Delete. Hmm. It was. Uh, it's the best part about improv, right? It's the enjoy it while it's here kind of thing. Well, I'll have to figure that out, buddy. I'm not sure. I don't know what happened there. Soup chef on the crossle again. That may be lost yeah. to the sands of. I could take the vod from Twitch. Yeah, and put it up. Oh, there you go. That would be what the part one of NA. Yeah. I see. Yeah. I might have to do that. It was a tough start to that stream. <laughs> a lot of uh, pretty brutal games. <laughs> as they. Oh, are. yeah. <laughs> just stomp after stomp after stomp. At the start of any bracket, it's just full on stomps the whole way. Mm -hmm. Is what it is. Buzzwool is so gross. <laughs> the fact that Goop is already level five is a is, is a big deal. I think we need to buff Leech Life. Yes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that'd be it, fun. It's it's tragic. It's so bad, but it is be fun. It's tragic harp. Tragic harp. Oh man, someone make that their in-game name now. Quick. <laughs> Immediate Quick. jump on the tragic harp, please. It looks like... Oh, go ahead. No, 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 you're good. Go ahead. I was going to say, it looks like Ignorance went for the straight run back. Who is Izzy? Why am I not placing this? Oh, is Protein Shake gone? Not playing in this tournament at the very least, so maybe just couldn't make it for the weekend. Who knows? Ah, it's a bummer. It's a tra tragic to miss that name. It's such a good name. Mm -hmm. They've been going by Bro in tournaments for, uh, for the last few months, so... Well, never mind. I, I It probably got reported, Good riddance. You know? <laughs> yeah. They were probably they were player four two eight four five for a while and they had to pick something uh, new. As player six two four two four once said, if you just complain a lot online very, very loudly, eventually you have a chance of getting your name restored. But you have like mustache privilege, you know? It's true. Not everybody has that. We as Spragles and I were told there's a contingency of uh like the competitive comp ops folks in Japan that call us the mustache men and ask what do the mustache men think about stuff, which is a <laughs> horrifying uh piece of information for me and Spragles to have, to be quite honest. Yeah. If you thought my head couldn't get any bigger, wait until I found out <laughs> about the mustache men comment. <laughs> like, what, what do the mustache men think? And I was like, there's no way they Actually, like, yeah, that's just what they call you, too. Like, dude, this is amazing. <laughs> it's, it's honestly, it's tough because it's so, it, you know exactly who they're talking about. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> Especially because it's they like, it, they're talking about Spragles and Wish.com Spragles. You couldn't <laughs> even, you couldn't even be like, oh, come on. The most everybody's like, no, no, they're exactly right. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's exactly what they would call us, and it's so right. 
Yeah, it's fine for you guys. It's tough when they call me the non-mustache freak. That's what I really take offense to. I didn't mind that for whatever no, reason. No, that didn't bother me. They call you the goofy nerd with glasses. Oh, Did okay. Relentless just surf and eject? Yeah, they eject. yeah, but they mistimed it. Yeah, they uh -huh. mistimed it. That's a bummer. They were trying to take that all they back to the time. squad. <laughs> Still Ooh. kind of a workout, you though. Trainer? Nah. We got Yeet Fan on the case. Good case. <laughs> <laughs> Doob Snacks has a six pack on his mustache. That's how jacked he is. It's true. I have to, I have to go ahead and do, do I have pinning privileges in this chat? No, I do not. No, no I actually gonna do <laughs> You never that. should. <laughs> Why? I'm one of the mustache men. <laughs> <laughs> we just said it. Damn it. Oh no. I'm gonna have to snip that from myself. How does it feel to be? I mean, just in the trenches in the losers bracket like this, man. You got so you got such a tough road ahead of you for Nemesis. You know, <laughs> I know you're literally like, well, the next one <laughs> even tougher. And they're that good, but you yeah. know, like as we were talking about before, you throw enough games in front of anyone, yeah, and it could be tough. Yeah, well, maybe credit to the other side of that argument. Unites, uh, it can be a pretty no, consistent game. I, 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 yeah, I, I agree with, with Dupe Snacks, you know? That's what I'm saying. Maybe this is kind of fighting for the other side. Yeah, it, he's not wrong. I, 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 I still think I'd probably play in that one. But look, you yeah. throw enough games at any team and the world champs can go down. Of course. Yeah. That's true. That's true. And a horse is a horse. Of course. Of course. of course. It's a long road. I've been down it before. Have we talked about <laughs> Finnegan yet? I no. don't know. <laughs> Once was a man named Michael Finnegan. Had some whiskers on his chin again. Wind blew him off and they blew him again. Poor old Michael Finnegan. Begin again. And then that you just begin like again? A, a Lamb Chops play along song that never ends type situation here. It mm -hmm. is. It is. It is the intentional never end song. When, you have to begin again. When do you so, end? Well, it's tough because you got to keep beginning again. Yeah, um. I know. But when does it stop? <laughs> no one died doing the song. So when does it end? <laughs> I don't hear. You're going to be real fun with your toddler. They're going to love that. We have a lot of fun. <laughs> we make up fake. I make up a lot of fake words. Now she makes up a lot of fake words. She has. Oh, that is great. <laughs> Yeah. I like this. <laughs> Have your defender and support hide in the tall grass, wait till you get vision, and try and get a bunch of points in type strat here. And the Blissy susses it out immediately. Just no shame. Rex no, is like, thank I, you. Know, I know. What, I'm a Sableye player. I know what kind of goofy shit you're up to. <laughs> goofy stuff you're up to right now. Sorry, yeah. Spraggles. It's goofy up. stuff you're up to right now. There you go. It's not too hard. <laughs> oh, soup chef uh i love it. oh god it's too late i'm about to talk about this hat for like the 10th freaking time tonight <laughs> it is a great hat it is it's so large his whole up body is hat when How they first started doing hollowware i was like this is so dumb i thought it was so stupid um Hall and the, yeah hollowware but now the further it's gone i'm like this is great <laughs> <laughs> they cut all these clothes i love it and now now i actively get upset when my yep. pokemon doesn't have enough clothing options it's true when you're like well, you're not gonna put any clothes on delphox again it's only got one good clothes <laughs> it's only got one good clothes <laughs> my wife doesn't like the hollow wear she's like i don't like them with clothes on yeah like, but oh, interesting but she's wrong right i know i, I was there once she too but she's wrong you, the clothes <laughs> yeah. are so good yeah. <laughs> this guy, he's a little firefighter. Look at this guy. Yeah. Look at this guy. Firefighter Blastoise is pretty terrific. What's the best pretty piece good. of hollowware? I think Sleepy Blastoise Wiggly's up there for me. Ones. Sleepy Wiggly. It's I go back and forth between Sleepy Wiggly and um, Hipster Wiggly. What do you all feel about Slowbro? It has no good hollowware, except for <laughs> Bonfire. Bonfire's so good. Bonfire's so good. Yes, I'm glad. Oh, okay, Roulette. United. Yeah, that was a pretty good one. Yikes. LD Unite, a little late from Scruble Knot, but I don't think it could have been. I don't think he would have saved anybody with that Blastoise either way. They still have three up to contend with Ray. 
So that's not terrible, but you are going up against a Inteleon and Glaceon secure. Yeah, they have Mew. If they can... They don't have Slow Beam. They need to space Izzy out. Mew unites, so you stop hitting now. Wait till it comes back onto the map. You still have seven seconds still. Catching the Mew is huge. Yep. Goop is low. Oh, Asimov's doing a pretty good job. Ray tornado. Uh, here we go. Goodbye, Blastoise. Mm -hmm. yep. Nemesis gets it. Yeah, that felt inevitable. Yeah. The way they were fighting. They were doing a good job. I mean, Asimov was all over Goop, so they couldn't get the engagement wherever they wanted. That was, that was well played. That's the most an awesome tank player. I'm really mm -hmm. glad they've increased their Pokemon pool because I think that was kind of the only criticism you could really give to As back in the day was like they were kind of just like Triumbreon. It was like kind of the only two they looked really impressive on. But now I think, I don't know, they could play the whole host. I oh, sorry. Really Maybe I'm talking a little too close to my mic. Everybody, I see that in the chat. Uh, the game audio is gone because it was just cutting out. It was like the parsecs being weird. I think it's what's crashing my computer. Um, so I unfortunately don't have any game audio. Sorry about that. And I am sorry about that too. We need to. I need to find a better solution to. It might just be a yeah, RAM issue, my guy. I think my RAM. I, th I think it's going to the max right uh, now. It might be well, a how... technique thing with the RAM. We might need you to improve your technique with the RAM. I bought some RAM and I put it in and it didn't work. Well, <laughs> so I got to get more RAM. That's usually what I do too. I guess. <laughs> yeah, I know. I don't think I got any real solutions. I would that. like to see Smoliv in the game. There's a Pokemon. That's. I want to see Smoliv in the game. So, Arbeliva? Yes. Okay. That'd be a cool one. It seemed pretty slow on the Gen 9 rollouts, huh? Like, what, we're going to have Meowskarada and then now Maridon? It's the only other option. And Cerulege. Oh, yeah, of course. And Cerulege coming out. My favorites. You know what? Uh, I feel I feel bad saying this because I know people, there are lots of people like, I don't want any more dragons. I'm done. Mm -hmm. I'm done. Yeah. Enough All right. dragon types? Get out. <laughs> I'm done. No, thank you. We could use some more poison types. Poison types, very unrepresented. Ground type, bug type, both tough. Rock type, pretty low. Poison types would be great, though. Especially for a Pokemon that was, like, it's by far the largest Gen 1 representation. So everything was poison type back then. Um, do we want to watch game two of God Squad versus Brave Birders? We might as well, right? Because we don't have anything for a minute. Yep. Yeah. Let's get into it. And Anon's playing the Mimikyu. Let's go. I can't oh, believe Brave Birders lost relaxed. really early, it right? Happened. They've been in losers for a while here. We have oh. two Colin Tangs. <laughs> Wait. Oh, wow, we do. One's OP. Yes, Brave Birders have been in ever since. So they must have lost in round two of winners. Yeah, they lost really early. Holy smokes, yeah. Took down Mystic Marvels, Secret Agents, Regicide, Midnight Mulders. What? That's not been an easy run for them either. Like, those aren't, like, top old teams, but they're, like, teams I know, so. I mean, they're they're mid-bosses for sure. How um, about this? I would this? love to see Galarian Weezing. Glimora. How about that? No, please, no. Okay, please. I don't, I don't even know what that is. I'm okay. Google. All right. Didn't go I'm not a big well. fan. <laughs> I don't like Glimora. People didn't much. like it. All right. <laughs> well, at least I like, do. wait, the ball with a peg on it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. I understand people didn't like it. <laughs> I thought thought maybe we'd I'm get some. I'm uh... color my perception of it. Yeah. <laughs> start, start. I thought, thought we might like it. We didn't. <laughs> okay. Someone the remember picture that the first Ash. picture that pops up is not a flattering one for this Pokemon, I will admit. Is it it's Asha blue... and Colin Tanger brothers? Is that true? Which which one? There's two Colin Two? <laughs> I think the bird one. <laughs> Except he's not on bird. He's on Sylveon now. Crazy. What an art. Uh, Asha has been on this Machamp for an eternity, though. Yeah. Yeah, it's he been has. Like, it's been like be their go-to. on Sylveon all the time, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Feels so bad for Machamp. He's just a little Machop. I know. He's just a sweet boy, but he's just not that relevant. There are just a few Pokemon, uh, talking about like balance earlier, there's some that are just not relevant. It's just like, yeah, it's a bummer. Char is the biggest rate. bummer to me. Like, what is happening with Char? Oh, Kira. Kira, how'd your tournament go? Did you qualify? Hey, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome on in, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is, um, this is, oh yeah, we gotta get it updated on chat. This is going to be God Squad versus Brave Birders, and God Squad are up 1-0.
No, Brave Birders are up 1-0. My, my mistake. Great. Brave Birders are up, and they're orange. Brave Birders are up 1-0, and they are orange. Yes. Okay. Oh, Falsoon going down. Man, they, I really do think Snorlax is just a severely underplayed Pokemon. So many good tanks, though, dude. Defenders are broken. Mm -hmm. yeah, like, they're so good. as a class, defenders and yeah. supports are both nuts. Yeah, we don't need more tanks. I'm fully on board with your tirade on that one. Um, we do need a more tirade. Uh, I was just screaming at everyone. <laughs> we need more supports, though. We really do. We, d we do need more options for both. Um, for sure, but it was weird hearing the Defender thing when we just had Umbreon, Gudra, and Lapras, and I was like, what? <laughs> this has, like, been a great year for Defenders. They're crushing it. Perserker ad. Ooh, interesting. People want Perserker. Mm. I'm lukewarm. Yeah. I'm lukewarm on Perserker, yeah. We were memeing on Meowth quite a bit on our podcast. We were like, please don't add that Pokemon. <laughs> oh, dude. There's a very real chance. The Persian? Oh, no. No. Meowth. Right. Oh, you Which like evolves. Pikachu? No. Yeah, like Pikachu. Meowth. You think it doesn't evolve? They just keep Meowth? Uh -huh. If it has voice... If it's our first Pokemon to have voice lines in the game, I'm down it. Oh, my gosh. Real player one's so sick. Stole the ray, and that was like a 1v4 steal. I may that know who's voicing Meowth. Stop it. That's the last not. I'm going to say about it. <laughs> it's Mark Hamill. <laughs> I may know <laughs> who's voicing Meowth. You know him as Luke Skywalker. <laughs> <laughs> and Batman from the animated series. That's true. <laughs> Wasn't he the Joker? Yeah. Yeah. He was in Batman the Animated Oh, I thought you said, and as Batman, and I was like, wait. No, no, no. Oh, my gosh, Cryptic. He was not Batman. Oh. <laughs> it's Chris it's Pratt. It's Chris Pratt. It absolutely is. <laughs> it Chris is Chris Pratt. Pratt. They're all Chris Pratt. Can I say this? I watched the Mario movie now twice, once normally, and then once with my daughter. Um, okay. And Chris really Pratt's cool. fine. He didn't, he, there's, he's fine. Yeah. There's, he's, there's nothing wrong with it. If you didn't know it was Chris Pratt, you'd be like, eh, whatever. <laughs> no one's saying anything about Seth Rogen Donkey Kong, who is not, is just <laughs> Seth Rogen. It's so good. No, you can't go for the Seth Rogen Donkey Kong. He's the best character in that movie. The best character in that movie is Bowser, obviously. Yeah, okay, fine, fine. Jack Black Bowser is very good. That's Charlie a Day Luigi is also. Charlie Day Luigi Charlie kills Day Luigi's it. He's so good. But I think Chris Pratt and. Um, uh, what is it, Anna Taylor Joy or whatever? I think both of them are fine, totally serviceable. That's they're fine. Yeah. Okay. That's all I think. I know. I know it's cool not to like Chris Pratt, but he's fine. Uh, <laughs> as Mario. Yeah, he's all fine. Right. I shot. I wasn't a huge fan of Michael Key as Toad. It doesn't really. Yeah, he didn't. And Fred Armisen is Uncle Cranky. I <laughs> I kind of like Fred Armisen, though. But I just really like Fred Armisen. No, but that's the that's actually why I think. Here's the thing: I don't I don't have a crazy love for Chris Pratt. I don't have a hate for him. That's why I'm like I feel like I'm able to judge him normally. Oh, Fred I see. Okay. Fred Armisen, I love. And then I'm like, right. well, he didn't get to do anything. Yeah, give Fred Armisen more lines. And who is he? Was he like Cranky Kong or something? Yeah, yeah he was Cranky Kong. <laughs> he, and he was great. <laughs> oh my word! Nice lineup by Yap Yap. Um. Yap Yap, by the way. <laughs> oh, we're back. <laughs> that is called a transition. We're back, friend. baby. Nice lineup by Yap Yap. Here we go. Zealot moving on in with a big solar blade right now, pushing him back towards this tier two. I was trying to say, I don't know if you've ever got to see God Squad with Yap Yap on the roster too, Snacks, but uh, they've been playing very well today. Inteleon, they've been playing some Pikachu, and their Gardevoir looked really amazing as well. Yeah, I was I was able to not watch but listen in on uh, one of their games earlier where you guys were praising uh, Yap Yap Yappy. I think is what their full name is. Yap Yap Yapper. What is yeah. it? Yap Yap Yapper. Yeah. No, yap Yap Yapper. On their Gardevoir. Gob Squab. I like how people in chat are believing that those are the actual team names. They could be. <laughs> yeah, go look at XHMR Bracket if you want another real ones. Mm, nice. Ooh. Nice. Gosh, love Snorlax. Look at that. One yawn. So, well, well. Beautiful. Love that thing. There he goes. <laughs> <Hey>. And it's gone. <laughs> oh, dang. 
This goes in. Mm-hmm. 349 points. It's a lot for oh, the well. Gob Squad. AK, it used to be Midnight. Old old school Lucario God, but stuck on Glaceon Jail these days. Glaceon's so dumb. It's it's good. I saw a post on Reddit a little while back that was like, why are people complaining about Glaceon? And I think I think the reason people complain mostly about some of these broken Pokemon are not only because they're just kind of like dummy good, but it's because they require so little from you to mm -hmm. to get a crazy good output, you know? What if you could stop sure hit moves with walls? Is that too hard? I, ju I just think, just... Lo look, if you, if it requires less skill, the output has to be less. That's... It feels like liquidation can't, and they nerfed it, but liquidation can't do that much damage because you don't have to do anything to yeah. to make it happen. In theory, that's absolutely true. That's what you'd like. That's what you'd like, yeah. Yeah, but I think it's also developers get in the space where they want a player of any skill level to enjoy the game in any way, whether yes. it's ranked or casual. And they, for a lot of people, enjoying ranked is climbing in ranked. And so they want to have easy Pokemon also do well or else that experience is ruined for weaker players. I don't want them to do poorly, but I don't want the. I also don't want them to be over like to be on par or even better than things that require more skill. That feels unreasonable. Agreed. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you. I'm just saying like their perspective. Is yeah, I, no, but I, th I thought the Mewtwo's in concept were a good concept. I just think they completely botched it yeah bit of a bummer because those pokemon are pretty cool i do love mewtwo yeah rayquaza oh my gosh <laughs> sell it oh, oh man pokemon unite it. three players down we're in here solar blade there's another eevee leafeon <laughs> punching <laughs> face doing things colin tang is gone and now it's just asha and they're gone are you doing an impression of yourself <laughs> yes <laughs> I can't tell. It did feel like kind of a caricature Doobstacks. It was like you that were making fun of Doobstacks, but forgot you were Doobstacks. <laughs> that was awesome. It's like, I like to keep myself humble and on my own toes. I, like I that. appreciate that. Yeah. Gob Squad up one, uh, or were they already up no, one? No, they are now tied 1-1. One, one. Ooh. Brave Birders. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Wow, Zealot with 12 knockouts in that game. Sheesh. Hey, uh, Mad King, why don't you settle down, Chief? Let's settle that stuff down. Who's yelling about something? Nobody yell. Whatever we're yelling about. Oh, we have a Viridian game. We're Viridian in our brackets. The Viridian is Barn, right? Yeah. They're against Emerald Lotus right now. Okay, so Lotus Aids teams. If you're on YouTube, by the way, smash that like button. Criminally yes. underliked at this point in the stream. Criminal. Oh, I, I I have smacked it once before. I shall smack it again for you, Spragos. Smack it twice. Smack that Bang. like button. Smack that. <laughs> oh, no. We have reached that point of the broadcast. Yeah. That... Just smack that like We're just free associating to song now. <laughs> Why wouldn't we? I've been going for a while. Okay, so Nemesis is on their winning a match. I feel like we jump over to that. Thoughts? Uh, yeah, absolutely. It's not ready. <laughs> they yeah. are on their winning a match. Oh, they are on their winning. They're already. Let's do it. Okay, this context, by the way, is Nemesis run back against the team that sent them to losers. No way! What a Which great is story. Lit. Yeah, it's pretty good. So this is Nemesis's chance to redeem themselves against what is this called? Cinderace? Who? Triple what what team is this? Only trolls. Oh, only trolls. Right. Oh, wow. Because we didn't get to see them today. So this is this is actually really exciting. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. All right. Uh, this is do amazing. You two, do you two want to cast it? And I have served. We could all just hang out still. Um, okay. It's sure. up, yeah. It, it's know. up to you guys. I'm down to still hang out. But yeah, I'm I'm very interested to see this because. Yeah. I want to see we'll the team that took one. down Nemesis. Yeah, we'll talk about this one for sure. This is this is for a spot Lane in the Cinder. Lane, Lane Cinder. Cinder. I'm so here for this. Let's go. <laughs> also, what is with players named Tomato doing extremely well right now? Have you two watched that new Japanese kid play? He is unreal good. Are you trying to say oh, they're yeah. fake? They're AI? <laughs> 
No, it's not what I'm trying to do. Um, but this tomato also killing it on uh, Lane Cinder, apparently. What's with all these AI players named Tomato? <laughs> Am I the only one who notices that uh, no way, this Yeet game's being invaded by robots? <laughs> this is criminal. Yeet is about to get to either their third or fourth <laughs> stack. That's their third stack. The back, Bunnelby. Like, that is banana I love land. Yeet fans so much. <laughs> Yeet is so cracked, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's we no other that player. gameplay cracked. I yes. mean, he just walked forwards. That's all that happened. Okay. Oh, no, but, but the, me and you doing that, 0% of the time are we not KO'd. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's we, awesome. We did though. not see what that. Rex was doing in here, did we? Uh, he Just took a ball out. toy. And he, cause Leafion just did the Zatu red buff. Ah, uh, uh huh. Uh, Rex tried to come in and take a. He took a ball toy and he went for the blue buff, but he didn't get blue. Yeah. Okay. So we got some silly goose time happening right now. Well, it is only trolls, so they're not underselling <laughs> what they're doing out here, I suppose. No, but this is all. This isn't even the only trolls. Nemesis are the ones trolling. Wait, really? You think their comp is trolling? No, no, no. Heading into the central area, like stacking oh, three times in yeah, their yeah, face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Nemesis oh, is the one, you know, playing some, doing some fancy footwork out here. I think they're trying to ego this team very hard because <laughs> they believe that they are much better than only trolls. Interesting. Yeah. Well, so I, I like creating a well. narrative right now. I like it. I, I'm, <laughs> Let's see how me, I'm still at the point where I think Tomato's a robot. <laughs> You've been on this for a bit too. Yeah. It's like it hasn't even just been short. Yeah, it's exciting. Where's Buzzwool? Let's go look at. All right, Relentless is on the Buzzwool this time, not dropping the Blastoise. Crustle uh, top path level six as well. Yeah. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. So it's Crustle Umbreon top lane. What a wild lane that this is for Buzzwool to have to play into. And stealth rock. And it's Crustle. the stealth rock, it's dude. Stealth rock. Dude, this is Crustle. just the they... Greninja two times. <laughs> <laughs> like, what are we watching here? I, okay, only trolls is a, a, just an amazing thing, and this is what I feel happened without actually seeing the games. And I'll try and find a way to watch them later. Is they probably did this stuff to Nemesis, and Nemesis was like, "What in the world is happening right now?" <laughs> and just got caught with goofy stuff, like this crustal in the top path with Umbreon uh, doing stealth rock. Yeah, yeah good, good show. And All look, right, well, I don't think you can really fight that Reggie Lucky. I mean, what are you going to do, run into Stealth Rock? I don't think so. <laughs> those are those are rocks that are stealthy, and they hurt. Stealth Rock actually is kind of legit. <laughs> yeah. um, it's not yeah. as good as X's, or obviously. You don't push anybody, you don't stun, but it does a lot of damage, and people stand in it for so long, and I have no idea why. Everyone stands yeah. in it. Yeah. I, I'm that yeah. person, by the way. Just if, uh, of the casting team here that we've got today on Spraggle's <laughs> channel, I am the Stealth Rock Stander. Okay. The only reason and I'm, I'm the not Stealth is Rock I Stander. <laughs> I stand it. Right. And I'm the Stealth Rock Slander. Screw Stealth Rocks. That move sucks. See, you get all three here. <laughs> Like I'm trying to sell this stream to someone who's just about to click off of it. No, 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 no. You get a whole three versions of someone who thinks things about Stealth Rock. What's your opinion? Because we probably have it covered. If we don't, we'll lie. We'll lie. Don't leave. <laughs> That's my favorite way to help viewership is just to beg them not to Don't leave. leave. <laughs> don't go. I don't know how you got here in the first place, but please, please do not go. Click like. Don't leave. <laughs> <laughs> I know how TikTok does it, but we're not streaming there anymore. Nope, sorry. I, I thought maybe it was helping the crash. I don't know. Yeah. TikTok can be kind of wild. It like yeah. the streaming oh, software yeah. isn't good for it, and every once in a while, my computer's like, "This uh, browser's gonna crash here. Things are crazy right now." So I feel like, all right. I don't Notable know. What my robot to tomato tell me. level nine looking to make an impact out here with their unite move. Blazing bicycle kick. Mm-hmm. I, I do like how the blazing bicycle kick is just hammering a wooden fire pirate wheel at somebody. <laughs> They're like a big fan of that. Yeah. The battle pass unite move, the, or the battle pass that came back. The, For a lot sure. A con lot of controversy around that one, by the way. I like a things in the unite scene have a lot of controversy. It's just two people tweeted about it. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone weighed in. A small town. They're Everyone like, shut up, God, Lou. And <laughs> that was the whole, that was all of it. I love controversy. <laughs> and that's why we make it up. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Greninja 2X? Dang. Zoned out so well right there. That was great. Great Decidueye Unite move. Relentless is dead, for sure. <laughs> yes. Uh, Andreas takes that KO. <laughs> Crustle Unite move. Uh, you use it well. The stun is kind of unreal. Asimov grabs one. Uh, this is, I mean, Reggie, like, you could easily beat. No, Spirit Shackle. It's Pyro Ball, right? So, yeah. Pyro Ball Spirit Cinder. Shackle versus Pyro Ball. And Flame Charge. So, Flame Charge, Pyro Ball. It's just, like, if you have Yeet Van on Decidueye, you've got to assume they're securing that 100% of the time, right? Like yeah. Just, it, yeah, it feels like you you just have to put all of your literal hopes and dreams into the Yeet fan basket <laughs> for every objective when they're on Decidueye, which has served them very well, <laughs> to be yeah. fair. Yeah. Yeah. I, I feel yeah, like you'd I'd probably even just throw the pyro ball early and be like, I'm I'm just gonna hope that we're ripping it faster than I think, because I, I think that spirit shackle's coming. Yeah. It's kinda how, yeah, how you have to play around those burst damages. If yours is lower than your opponent's, that's how you have to play around it. Um, Hot Mom, I don't know how much longer we have. Um, this is their this is their playing game, right? Yeah, yeah. we are about to. <laughs> well, it's their playing match. Sorry, yes. they're playing series or whatever. It's the game one of the series. Yeah. yeah. This has been the most silent Leafeon I think I've seen all day from the games I've watched. I just feel like Mikey's is not getting in there with this Leafeon. I mean, the, the troll squad is causing a lot of static in a, in a bunch of different ways. Maybe just Leafeon doesn't seem that impactful. But then again, it's only level 11 right now. Right. So, yeah, you're right. It's it's trainer at 13. It's yeah. kind of going sicko mode. I wonder how they won these games. I wonder what the, like, the big twist was, you know? Mm-hmm. Because it was 2-0 also, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Yeah. Yeah, not like Nemesis to go down 2-0. Right? Isn't it funny that I joked about Cinder earlier and we've seen like five of them now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is Have funny. they looked good at all? Mm. Yes. They're okay. I, I actually don't remember any of them. <laughs> I'll tell you what, unfortunately, Greninja did not look good and neither did Gengar. Yeah. Yep. That was oh, tough. so uh, who was it? Who was the Greninja from early today? Anon. No, 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 no. Raytog from EU. Oh, yeah. That was had, like, an insane uh, Greninja game. That was a lot of fun. That was a great Greninja game from them. Thank you a lot. What's the All plan right. they here? They have full vision of them in top right, so yeah. it's kind of broken. This is <gasps> oh, tough. Oh, no. As uh, You eject. It's okay. He doesn't have eject to counter Blastoise Unite now, if he needs to. Can, hey, can you tell the Zoinks the number 10 NA team qualled through winners with no games dropped? Says yeah, something in chat. I know. You guys did really freaking oh, good. You oh, also oh, had oh, by far the easiest bracket, and I don't think anybody's going to take that. I don't think anyone's going to argue that. Uh, but yes, you did absolutely go off. I will give you that one. So hard for Zoinks to compliment someone. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're good. I'm really excited. I'm really excited to watch that team in top eight. I think they're going to be awesome. Have they just completely lost sight? Oh, I was like, have they lost sight of Mikey's? No, they didn't, because Mikey's is knocked out. Yeah, he's gone. Big spirit shackle right, right there. Guy. That was nice. Another one's coming in right now. Hits Give two. Almost three. Cinder coming in. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Relentless is about to go down. Hmm. Well, I say that. I say that, but... Um... Relentless stays standing. Yeah, fan with some pretty good cover fire here. Of course I say that, and he misses his first spirit shackle in nine minutes. No, Yeet fan uh... crushing it right now. Yep. This feels pretty sewn up. Yep. Relentless basically playing pseudo tank buzz. 80, but 80 is not enough. Not enough. Okay. The counter scores begin for Nemesis with only 20 seconds left. Yeah. GG. Nemesis takes game one. GG. Yeah, good run. That first step of revenge complete. They may have had a lot of time to think to about. really come up with a plan. A yeah. lot of games. A lot of games they had to play. But yeah. I'm going to run to the restroom real quick. I'll be right back. All right. Number 10 NA team. No games dropped. Boy, that must be hard for Zoinks. I like that team. I thought they did great. Yeah, I know. They but... did have a very easy bracket. 
Just tell them they were great. They were great. <laughs> they were. Uh, you're right. Zoinks refuses to compliment. It's it's both his best and worst quality. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Oblivion back of me. Simp is hurt. Oh, Buzz is so unfair. So true. Are y'all tired? Been streaming all day? Yeah, I think we're we're a little fried. I'm interested to see how it all plays out, but uh, you want to pull a bracket, Zoinks? Where are we at? Yeah, absolutely. Yep. I'm curious. Mm -hmm. So on this side of the bracket is the only trolls and nemesis. Uh -huh. Obviously, nemesis is up 1-0. Uh -huh. um, Genesis and Fixed are now competing in their match. Interesting. It's just starting, though. Okay. It's our game is probably just one game ahead. And this bracket, this side's slow, right? This side is the slow one. Jeez, it's got a ways. Yep. <laughs> Man, Team YouTube and Luminosity are just chilling. They have been waiting hours and hours and hours for their game. It is Man. Crazy. That's rough. Mm -hmm. It is. It is. Hmm. Chat was wondering how did Decid or how did Buzzwool not die? Buzzwool gets a crazy shield. No, on, I simp, I know, I know, I'll love it. On some of its moves. Um Yeah. Buzz Especially at plus level, right? Doesn't like Super Power give you more? It's crazy. Uh, I don't think so. Oh, does it not amplify it? At plus? Maybe you're right. No. Um, but it's huge. It's all it's always huge. It's twelve percent max HP. Plus 2% max HP times your muscle gauge. Okay. Jeez. It's huge. That's so big. It's so big. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It's a, it gets such a huge shield. And that move, the plus of it, because I was like, there's no way that's the plus. Because the plus of it is it's huge unlock, which is it resets with a full muscle gauge. So every time you get a full muscle gauge, you grab with superpower again, and you get this massive shield again. And it's kind of how this thing lives forever. Wow, Viridian are down a game to Emerald Lotus. Jeez. Been here since 11 a.m. Kid Ink, you're a legend. Brave Birders beat God Squad from the chat. Whoa, holy smokes. That's an upset. Dude, Brave Birders have been clawing their way through this loser's bracket. Shame, this they don't quit. For an eternity. Yeah, they're going to go up against Rack, the team that took down Anbu. And then the winner of that match will play LG. Jeez. <laughs> yeah. Brave Birders, you've been doing great, but you do have maybe the hardest final boss at the end of the road. That would that, That's going to be such an insane story if they pull it off, though. Yeah. I mean, obviously. Obviously, yeah. yeah that would be incredible. <laughs> Stockings in the chat that would have boomed already. We haven't boomed. We just randomly start singing songs and telling stories yeah. while we're watching the game. We haven't I would boomed. Say, I'd say the boom count might be going up a little bit. On our I party. wouldn't say these casters have boomed at all. True. We've 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 zoomed, in fact. Mm-hmm. That's a reverse boom, almost. Almost. Close. This tournament is nuts. I'm so excited for NA Unite scene. Dude, and NA is what are just... The actual, what are the actual upsets that have happened so far? Um, I mean, obviously, Nemesis being down here in general. Brave Bird is taking down God Squad. As much as I reacted to it, is it really an upset? Like, I think both yeah, those Brave teams... Bird is a legit team, dude. Yeah, I mean, I mean they made NAIC. Like, I, I feel like maybe I'm discrediting them a little bit for calling it an upset. So, already, that's not... Well, head to the huge. top. That's where you see upsets. Like, oh, I guess. I was thinking of like teams that didn't. Alter Ego top YT, game. I wouldn't say is an upset. They're both good. Oh yeah, Alter Ego's way better than YT. <sighs> you're you're you know doing it again. Get get uh, ready. <laughs> I know, I know. It's gonna be another season of YT humbling zoinks. <laughs> yep, all season. Um GT <laughs> Luminosity, I, I would think anyone yep. would expect the That's world champs upset. to win. That's an upset, mm -hmm. but GT yeah, I've so. said this before, it's they they are like their kryptonite. Mm -hmm. um, Rack beating Anbu, I think, uh, for me, that was definitely upset. I, I agree with that. Um, and if, em I mean, if Emerald Lotus can beat Viridian, that is huge to me. I mean, only trolls beating Nemesis the first time to send them down. Yeah. yeah. 
Okay, so I guess games big. wise, there have been quite a few. I, I was more thinking along the lines of like if teams, any surprising teams qualifying at gotcha. this point in time. But um, what uh, what's that team Exile or whatever that qualified? They they feel like they had a good run. That seemed about right. Yeah, they're a great team. Yeah, Alter Ego is a great team. Yep. No, oh, did I go to the wrong thing? Yeah, what's the other pool? Yeah, I think only trolls probably getting that far. They're they they are seeming I mean, to play a pretty good game, but I think those are like that. That's an upset against Nemesis. I don't know enough about Spinal. I mean, this Genesis fixed one of these two teams. I don't think anybody would have put on their list to. Yeah, you're right. Who did they? Who did they? Called. Who did they knock down that was surprising then? Or is just kind of bracket happened? Uh, Genesis? So Genesis got knocked down late. Yeah. They knocked out. Yeah, they Ignorance. lost the TTV. Ignorance is pretty yeah. good. They are. Yeah. And they took a game off TTV. Clearly, is a good team. Mm -hmm. They're going up against Fixed in this first game. Yeah, we're got a few winning ins now playing it out, right? We have only Trolls mm -hmm. Nemesis happening. Genesis Fixed, but just, yeah, the other side of the bracket quite a bit slower. The other side of the bracket being like the other pool? Is that what yes. you mean? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, Genesis Fixed is a surprise. I mean, I'm there's all names it. that you recognize, you know, all of obviously very talented players. I'm not discounting any of that. I'm just saying, like, Genesis specifically was a team that was materialized a few days ago, maybe a week ago, from my understanding. Um, that's a bit of a surprise. Fixed, I don't think anybody would have called them uh, for being this far, but I mean, they have like Luis, Bass, Flareons. Those are names we all recognize, so. Wait, which team? Is, wait, hold on. Which team are we talking about? Genesis and Fixed is kind of my big. Um, Will you pull I'm that up? Is, What's the roster? Uh, well, it's EC right here. I don't have control of the screen. Yeah, you're, I was, you're, you're being shown. Zoinks, are you there? He's not there. He's dead. Um, he died. <laughs> I hate that. But the, the rosters for Genesis are Bora Reach, Faz, Ray, Lacoding, Rhino, and Pigeon. And then for fixed, it's Sentient, Poison, Rust, Louis Seven, Bats, and Flareons. I had no idea Flareons was this deep. Yeah, yeah. That's this matchup, EC, right here. Like that, those are the two teams. One of Dude. these two teams is qualifying. Yeah, uh, sick. Flareons is the best. I love Flareons. I had no idea they were that deep. Oh, I'm so happy for them. Got AFK Zoinks in the house, which is not great when they're quarterbacking the whole broadcast. Yeah, it's gonna be a little tough, actually. <laughs> Um, oh, Flareons isn't playing, but Bats is in. Oh. Regardless, they're on this roster, which is meaning that they intend to have this player participate at some point in time. Dude, Flareons is the the goat. I love Flareons. Um, and I don't know who from this team here from Genesis isn't playing. They have six players listed. I don't know if I'd imagine Rhino, Lakoting, Faz, and Bora are all playing. I don't know who's playing between Ray and Pigeon. Um, I think we saw Chad them earlier. Up think so oh you did okay maybe we didn't i can't remember now i know we talked about Bora earlier maybe we didn't actually see them flareons who was probably the most underrated hoopa. flareons hoopa's sick yeah flareons are, uh, is a really good player i think they're one of the um they were kind of one of the success stories from the red lock they're one of the ones oh, who like yeah, rose yeah. through the ranks pigeon plays support like rhino I can't imagine Rhino's on a team and not playing. I don't know much about Pigeon, to be honest, like as an individual, but from what I know individually from Rhino, there's almost no chance that they signed up and didn't actually play today. I think we're Rhino, watching... Rhino today. Yeah. Oh, Zoinks is back. Okay. Sorry, I just got back in. But uh, I think... What, what are we watching next? Is it um, Nemesis? Yeah, I thought we'd watch the next game of Nemesis. Yeah, we, not want we just do don't that? have their game, right? Yeah, I just haven't started it yet. Okay. Do we have anybody? Uh, do we have like Faz or something from Genesis or Rhino? I do have someone from Genesis. I saw them pop up. I think. Gonna keep it a secret. Okay, so uh, so Nemesis is online. So let's watch them. I, like this is so exciting. I know I like all this makes me want to do, and I know you all have been casting a lot longer because I took that break in the middle uh, to do some family stuff. But like after this, I'm like, I'm I'm probably gonna fire up Unite and play a couple games. <laughs> like I'm probably going to do that just because I get so just excited about UCS. I think it's just the coolest thing. 
I feel the same. We do that after a long cast, too. Mm-hmm. Well, like at well, a long cast, and we're like, well, I guess we could play Unite for four hours straight. <laughs> yeah, basically. All right. We have Nemesis on their potential winner in game. This is the qualification for top eight. And they get to be done playing for the day, which, you know, not for nothing. <laughs> well, look, I mean, these teams have been going for a while. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, I, I can't imagine what it's like to, as I've talked about a few times already, to be put on ice like some of these big teams. Like, imagine being mm -hmm. Team YouTube or Luminosity or something. You've been just waiting for hours. It's crazy. Yeah, it is crazy. Confei Garchomp, a, little, a fun duo to, to try to play off. However, uh, Glaceon and Espeon are pretty good matchup for that spe specific lineup. Do, uh, hmm? I can't wait to I'm hear just, the end of that. I just, I, I, I'm just in my mind, and I know the team name is only Trolls, and I know nothing about them. In my mind, I'm like, is you're qualifying like tournament life on the line? Is Garchomp Confei Lane? Is that is that where we want to be? And that's where they want to be, but in my mind, I'm I'm trying to like justify that out. That like, yeah, this makes sense. Yeah, but I'm not finding the things, the pieces of information I need to gather to make that be a truth. Um, <laughs> so I don't know. Well, maybe y'all yeah, haven't figured I, out. I think there's a lot of value if you play a, a Pokemon, even if it's you know not meta or something, but you play it at a high level. Sometimes I think there is a lot of value in doing something that's unusual and like not something someone's scrimmed against or practiced for, or they don't know exactly how you play this Pokemon, it can throw off t players because they're used to running into the same nine Pokemon over and over again, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I do think there's some value to it, but you've got to, you have to also still play it extremely well. That's true. Yeah, that's true. And obviously whatever only trolls is doing is working. They're this far in the event. Right? You know, who's so. a, I think a good example of this is uh, like Caligola on Talon, where I was Ooh. like, look, I love Talon. I, I would be happy to play Talon in a tournament or something like that. But I know it's not a top pick and Cali knows it's not a top pick. But, you know, that one tournament, Cali absolutely popped off with Talon so and sick. nobody runs into it. Yeah, such a that's fun a great, run. That's a great call out. I love that Team Peps team. They were so much fun. Dude, they were fun. Yeah. Some of them were still playing. Kelly was playing. He didn't qualify uh, for top eight of a U, but he was playing in today's tournament. I don't think Human was playing this year. I didn't see him anywhere. Kelly's a character, man. But obviously, Potato and that crew are still playing together. Yeah. Yeah, Potato and Marv are still together, right? Mm-hmm. Which you want to talk about a sick Archon player. Uh huh. Yeah. Potato put it on the put it on nasty. the map. Realistically, like true. <laughs> I think competitively, Potato's kind of godfathered a few Pokemon into the meta game. Mm -hmm. uh, Garchomp, one of those. Buzzwill, another. Well, okay, two, I guess. But uh, still, that's that's impressive. Impressive. It's impressive to like have an eye for something. Oh no, it actually it does fit this role, and a lot of people mm -hmm. aren't recognizing it. I think it's very impressive. Delphix almost stealing that Regilecki. Fortunately, just coming up a little shy on the physical fire, but Garchomp taking it out at the end. Tomato does go down, though, and the Confei also falls. Ah, that Regilecki stun really hurt them. I mean, Dusk did a great job trapping Trainer twice in a row with Mean Look, and just no one on their team was there for the follow-up. So I don't know if it was a miscommunication error or they were just too busy dealing with the headwinds that they had in front of them, but that was a really good series of, like, sequence of plays for Dusk to isolate trainer down to a point where they didn't have their their uh shards up and it's kind of a bummer that they couldn't convert on that because that was really well played that's a good move what's up i'm curious from from you guys this ridge of steel is getting pretty low i'm curious from you guys what is a a pokemon that you you would really like to see competitively but no one picks it up um i have an answer if you need a minute but I guess yeah. I would say Blaziken until I saw EU. Yeah, EU was playing um, it. Yeah, that was pretty hype. They mm -hmm. had a lot of really good moments. They did. Um, I think Gudra is going to be the one I would say. Yeah, that's a good um, point. Not we, a lot of Gudra. We huh? see niche cases of Gudra here and there. Um, I'd like it to be a little bit more mainstay if that's a. I just think a whip character is really fun on the tank. I agree. Whip characters are cool. Characters with a whip or a hook. What you got, Spraggles? You say yours. Zeraora. I would really like to see Zeraora. 
I, I think I think people could actually make it work. I just think he's it's just been like out of uh out of the conversation for so long, yeah. Yeah, I, I think Gengar would be on like characters that I don't touch and never play that I think have like very cool sequencing. I think Gengar is one for me. Um, I just think it has way too much going against it uh, in every aspect of the game. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna say Gengar because like good Gengar games are very fun to watch. They are. I think Hex Gengar actually could be better than people think. Yeah, I, I completely agree. I need to play that build more, actually. Every time I play Gengar, I'm just going Dream Eater. I need to try the Hex build a bit more. Dream Eater's great. The thing about Dream Eater is it's like it's a perfect solo queue build. You oh, could yeah. you could vibe on it all day, and if you get good with it, you'll you'll easily be a, a very positive win rate with it because it mm -hmm. punishes unaware players so hard. It's like oh, a yeah. it's a pub stomper, like for sure. My favorite kind of builds. Someone bad in here? <laughs> well, then I'm winning. <laughs> <laughs> like, boom. What if we saw some amazingly strong Sableye buffs? No. Ugh, I mean, it's it's one <laughs> no. of those Pokemon. The tough thing about it is it's actually relatively good in comp play. Um, and if you saw big buffs, you'd, you'd see it a ton in solo queue. I don't I'm know. I'm surprised we haven't seen any Rex Sableye in these games that we've been we've watched so much Nemesis now in a row, and not a single Rex Sableye. But every time I've looked on my like little spectate screen when I'm waiting for matches today, he's been locking it in. Like it's been Mime or Sableye like all day long. So kind of surprising to see the. I actually think it's it's. And I, I, th I said this a couple weeks ago, and as long as you're a little incredulous, uh, which I can understand why, because it's Sableye. But I was like, I think it's in a spot where it can really have an impact and be a, a good like gutter pick for a team or like bottom pick for a team to switch up how they're playing and give a different uh, uh, approach to to certain games. So I like mm -hmm. I do think it's viable, which is why I just kind of lobbed that out there and went with Gengar instead. Um, but. It, it's it's fun to see for me to see the two characters that I that I enjoy playing the most, which is Hoopa and Sableye, because of how they play. I think is very unique um, to to see it in high level play, so I can learn more stuff. Is awesome. Well, Sableye, or sorry, Lutano's saying you'll see it in top eight. So that's a fun shout. I wonder if it's from TTV or not. Well, if it wasn't, that'd be a weird call out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe he just really expects Nemesis to play more of it. <laughs> maybe that's it. I mean, I know, uh, I know, I'm a confused rat fan, and Ender is a poopy turd fan. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay, good. I'm glad there's culture it's around. It's a it. good way to talk about it. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I know this is ridiculous to say, but my favorite tweet of my own is when oh, somebody God. asked me what move set <laughs> I play on uh, Sableye, and I just from my phone didn't check autocorrect or anything, and I said, um, I said Nick off confuse rat. <laughs> That's just what the tweet is. And it, it makes me laugh to this day when I think about it. So I just call Confuse Ray Confuse right now. And Nick yeah. off, well, of course, that's a that's a little less out of pocket, but it still works. There you go, Spraggles. That's that content you asked us to be on for, right? I was nice asking you to bring your favorite account. tweets. Yeah. Everyone read yeah. their favorite tweets <laughs> from yourself. <laughs> <laughs> what did I say that I loved? Oh, um, <laughs> And there's the call out. All right, congratulations to Nemesis for qualifying to top eight after taking down only trolls, getting the revenge. Well done. <laughs> Eleven knockouts for trainer. Get out of here. Yeah. Sick. Holy. You should have seen the numbers at the start of the stream when we were doing first rounds. <laughs> there were like two players at sixteen or eighteen. It's like, uh oh. Who got the four digit game? Was that YouTube? They got like yeah, a, they got like yeah, eleven hundred. <laughs> One thousand one hundred twelve or something like that. Yeah, it's crazy. This chat seems... always like give us YouTube, and I'm like, the chat I'm loves YouTube. But YouTube I think what right it is, now. Phil's told me this. <laughs> there are people that are in his stream that also come by my stream, and then they'll go in and they'll like, they'll like ask for Phil over and over and over again. And he's like, chill, please chill a little bit. Uh -huh. But it's what they do. There's like, there's like four or five of them. Of course, of course. And it feels like the whole chat's asking for it, but it's it's like five people. <laughs> well, those are the, just the only folks you see, right? Yeah, it's just a, it's just like vocal people that'll ever be like, YouTube's good. 
and every once in a while plug in. I think Phil's loading it. <laughs> like that's just keep <laughs> keep bringing it up. Okay, so uh, <laughs> my favorite was when we were all playing in that five stack for that score comp like joke thing, and it was just of a couple people in the chat. They're like, "Hey, are like Phil and Teed's gonna play? When are you gonna get rid of some of the other these other people?" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, when's that going to happen? <laughs> yeah, I'd like to spectate Viridian chat, but I uh, I don't know when they're going to jump into their game. I actually wanted to check to see if we had anyone, just to see if I have Faz, I guess, friended on here is the question. I think I don't. I'm sort of running out on players to watch. I don't think I have Faz on this friends list. I thought I did. So we got so how much How much of a break? Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be able to start. Viridian will start in one to two minutes. Okay. Saying. But... Yeah, that's going to be the game right before. So, yeah, unfortunately, we won't get to see the other side of that bracket. But the fact that uh, Nemesis qualified is pretty sick. Yeah, that's very cool. Yeah. Real, real Congrats cool. to them. I mean, now we are at what five teams qualified for NA? We're getting there, man. Uh, uh, how I much faster was EU? Holy. <laughs> Less teams, technically, but not yes. even technically. Well, yeah, okay. it had yeah. seven officially last team. <laughs> officially, well, if you get really yeah. technical with it. They had half the teams. <laughs> All right. Yes, but also, yeah, I felt like our bracket really slowed down in a few spots. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. You know what stream yeah. will be fun? Trio Q stream with Dube, Zoinks, and Spraggles. That would be fun. I, I was thinking of doing a casters to masters at some point or something like that. That'd be fun. I think Kella was planning on doing that too, wasn't she? Maybe I never got my invite for the casters to masters game for Kella. Yeah, I never got an invite. <laughs> All right, so we got Viridian's game. This is tied up 1 1, by the way. Against Emerald, right? Against Emerald Lotus, yeah. Uh, B Quinny squad, Big Burry. They're having a crazy run. Uh, they really, really are. Really, really well. Yeah, of course, this is Lotus 8's team. Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the Lotus Emerald Lotus 8 had like God Squad and this team sponsored at two different times. And then God Squad, they're not sponsoring anymore. And they just have this team for the moment. Interesting. So, What's sorry, did you say do? Viridian's up 1 0? One no, one. Tied one, one, one one tied one one. Yep. Thank you. Breezy cooks. Like <laughs> Breezy's really good at this game. Yeah. I I like stumbled into a stack with Breezy. Barnes like we need one for like two more games. So I was like, all right, I'll come play. <laughs> Breezy was just absolutely smurfing on ladder. I'm like, I'm glad I showed up. All they needed was somebody else to queue up with them so they could just play a game. I was just running around the map like, hey, snacks, you all right, brother? I'm like. Yeah, you guys are doing good. I'm just gonna attack <laughs> this back button. I'll be trying to trying to evolve. <laughs> Barnwell, by the way, on Viridian, one of my one of my favorite players for a few reasons. But he's also one of the evidences that NAIC just worked. I I was talking to him in the airport after, and he was like, "Yeah, man, I don't know. I'm pretty sure I was gonna be dropping the game after this year. It was just a tough year competitively, but." I mean, this event was just too fun, and I'm like, I know, <laughs> dude. The <laughs> live, the live events, like they they breathe different. so much life into the game. Mm -hmm. Like you see everybody too. Uh, you had the live event, and I don't, re I don't remember the specifics. I'm gonna get this wrong, so I apologize. But you know, you get this, you get the live events, and people are like squashing beef with each other all of a sudden, uh -huh. and they're like, I don't know why I was so mad at Rin or whatever <laughs> it is, you know. Um, two people tweeted about it. Yeah, two people <laughs> tweeted about it. We're all pissed at Gotloop, but it's over. Um, yeah, I I don't know. I feel like the live like it 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 does a lot. You know, it does. I agree. I agree. That's I agree. why I think the open bracket things are so sick for the game because people are gonna catch the bug without a doubt. Yeah, like, there is there's no chance teams that sign up that like like you said maybe just have their buddies there. Or, you know, want to sign up and play just to get a pass to see the rest of the events, right? Maybe they're TCG players or something like that. Um, but they sign up for this event and then like, that's like, okay, bitten with the bug. Here we go. The number <laughs> of people that I've like, that I've spoken to from my old TC TCG days that were like, yeah, I was sitting in the crowd and uh, I just found myself just staring at Unite, watching your all's broadcast instead of the game I was actually here for. And then I spend <laughs> all of my free time on. Uh, because it was just so captivating and interesting. And now that you get players to actually play in a live setting, 
um, and give them a little taste of that experience, done. And you're already, you're guaranteed leaving with one team, right? Whatever team makes it on stage or whatever to broadcast that the big winner of that event, they're they're in. Like they are in for sure moving forward. <laughs> yeah. So, I, it's it's such a good idea. I'm so excited for it because LAN is just it's mad different. It's awesome. Yeah, we it also is. owe the crowd a big credit. I think for the generic appeal, like the crowds we have had for EUIC and NAIC mm -hmm. have been amazing. Dude, unite like, crowds have been rock. So passionate, they're so, so loud. Good. They just like they buy in so much. Like we're doing TTV chants, like Luminosity gaming chants. Like I don't know, they're just so into it in a way that other games is just like it's just not there yet the team games are also just a different beast but that's a whole nother conversation but i'm yeah i don't know i think the live environment is so perfect for the broadcast perspective the game perspective and the and the crowd is just so good too dude yeah the crowd is so hype it's the best okay. and it's kind of kind of moving out here Mm hmm. yeah i mean barnwell doing whatever they can but it seems like they're a bit uh, maybe a house divided <laughs> on the uh side of iridian Getting a few KOs, though, to your credit, too. Snakes, Breezy, the one popping off. Nasty. I mean, they're such a good player. Yeah. NA is littered with so many good players. I know EU, I was glad to see, like, the massive uptick of names that I now, like, am super excited to watch more games out of. Uh, mm -hmm. But being so stitched into the NA community, and now that I've been just gra jumping into, um, like, five stacks and, and using the LG server to, like, jump into some competitive ranked play with some of these higher level players, I've only not only learned a lot, but met a lot of these people and been on comms with them. And they are, like, it's such a sick community. It really is. Yep. That guy in chat before was actually saying, they were giving me some context on Only Trolls, saying that they're actually, like, apparently they're LG in-house demons. Oh, Like, cool. that's where they kind of found each other, which I think is so sick. Like, okay, there, that's what we're, as long as, we, even if we have just one team emerge from these mm -hmm. in-house servers and everything, right? Like, that's that's a W. That's very, very cool. cool. These community yeah. efforts are creating teams that go far in bracket, but even just new teams that are participating in Unite. That's great. Mm -hmm. Of course. Nice very singularity, sir. Follow-up. That was a good little sequence. Can they do anything with it, though? <laughs> They get the KO on Buzz. They don't get the Reggie Alecki, but that's... Right, they're fine to bargain. But they have Chandelure Glaceon Burn. That is so much damage up front. Nice, nice Hydro gone. Typhoon. That, like, that's one thing that... I love watching in good teams because Hydro Typhoon is an incredibly strong Unite move, but the calculated follow-up that these teams have to that makes it look like it's miles better than it is just on its surface. I know I've eject button into some sick Hydro Typhoons, but even if you hit up four players, <laughs> you still need some help to get those knockouts for the most mm. part. Um, and, and just, you know, like how quick Savior was on getting the, the knockout on the Eldegoss, like on Lady Pink, immediately after the engagement there is is something to, to take note of. Best Unite move in the game? Question mark? Hydro Typhoon? It might I, be. It's tough. It's, I think so. <laughs> like, it's, it's really so tough good. to beat. It's it so just good. does everything you'd ever want in a team fight. Like, it you does see, all the things you'd want in a team fight. High damage, shields yourself in and out, like, has huge crowd control. I just don't really can't think of anything else you'd want a Unite move to do. I agree. Yeah. I, I mean, it's, it's, like, it's, easy like, to hit, too. It's not it's, difficult it's, to, to exactly. land it. It's very simple. That's a really good. It's really good. Yeah. Maybe maybe Unite Mewtwo. To the gravity. But okay. We don't really play with it. Okay, Quinny, I see you. Unite move out of gravity, so they get to jump to the other side because obviously it was super weak. Uh, the Registeel does leash, so that's going to be a bit of a problem. And Blastoise scores forty up top. Man, it's a slow scoring game, huh? Yeah. Forty six to seventeen with like three and a half minutes left. A lot of brawling yeah. back and forth, and it feels like no one's mm -hmm. getting a huge advantage. Yeah, that's true. I. <laughs> A b barn is Whoa, kind of a very go. like <laughs> that was th then that's a hydro typhoon my friends huge that uh -huh. is when there's enough damage to follow up and everybody just gets gobbled up anyways um from my experiences playing with barn just a very defensive minded i know they're the tank but i mean like defensive minded tank like insulate goal zones type player um mm -hmm. so it doesn't necessarily surprise me that a team that he has helped put together is minded in the same way yeah yeah, they're also running a composition that's very good at defending goal zones, right? And yep. Teleon and Gardevoir are going to be extremely good at stopping scores because they just get to play from so far away, hide mm -hmm. in their own flux zone. When you have tier ones out, this like, I mean, it's hard to call a Gardevoir sniper, but this double sniper style of play 
works very, very good. It's a long range yeah. mage for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Quinny is at a good level, but I feel like they're having a difficult time engaging. Like they've gone in, but haven't necessarily found as much value as traditional buzzwolves would have uh, at level this 12. Thing. This is wow. setting up <laughs> such a weird end game with tier ones up on both oh. sides, like on both top and bottom for both teams. Maybe this changes it right now. What's this? What's this goal zone at? Thirty four. So that's gonna. Oh my gosh, that is a huge overdunk. Yeah, potential. that big, is a problem. Big overdunk. But ta I mean, take a look. No. No, oh, I'm not sure. I like that. Why'd you do that? I am not positive. I like that. I'm positive. Huh? I don't. <laughs> yeah, we're all in on don't. Oh, oh, Trevenant finds Barnwell. Barnwell has to eject and X scissor. They unite move, but nobody's stunned. Saviors in the back line alone. Guard unite hits nothing. Oh, oh, come on, Viridian, come on. <laughs> I mean, credit to Barn for stepping up and like picking up that Buzzwell unite so it wasn't Savior, who is still standing, which is a win. Rayquaza is so low. Breezy, it's on you, Chief. Can't get it Blaise done. Blaiseon sorts it. Oh. Emerald Lotus putting together a pretty sick team. However, it's not completely over. Oh, it's pretty over, bro. Yeah. Uh, what was that? A pre-two minute overdone, dude. What was that? I mean, obviously it wasn't the difference maker. But yeah. I mean, but it's it would make this game a lot closer. That was just confusing. I think you know, just had one of those moments where you just don't realize the the time on the clock. Pink's going to score at home base, too. This, I mean, in fact, we're not able to break that LA shield. Hurts so bad. Glaceon gets the Blastoise KO the top end. Yeah, that's it. That's it. No potential for Viridian what to swing there? back. The the Trevenant caught multiple people. That We have seen so many team fights ended, by the way, in this tournament day with literally this, this corridor right here being just demolished by a tree. Like mm -hmm. Trevenant just comes up with a flank and takes multiple targets in that corridor, and the the team fight's just over. Yeah, um, in the L, in the L bush, in the bottom L bush. Yeah, but wasn't but wasn't Barn in the in Pixel? Yeah, Barn was there, but he got caught. Forces unite and is ejected. He just accomplished nothing with either of those things. Mm, LD put right, right, right. Under. But like the tree, did they sweep in through L? That's what I'm. That's what I'm not understanding. I just need you to explain it to me. Oh, did they, they just, did they like horn leech into the L? Did they like unite yeah, yeah. into the L and catch? They were Is like here, happened? and then they came around here, and then horn leeched into gotcha. okay. here and picked I up. I followed. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. And then Buzzwell was able to just like walk all over Guard of Works. They had no crustle to peel. Yeah. Oof. Viridian, a team I had ranked extremely high, going to be going out early in my consideration of this tournament. But so bit of a bummer in my regard. But hey, if you're an Emerald Lotus fan. You are laughing all the way to the bank. Emerald Lotus moving on yet again in our bracket. Yeah, good job. Was that a was that a was that a qual for them? Was that a qual no. round? No, <laughs> that's the slow <laughs> side of the bracket. They're not oh, even I... on their qual game yet. <laughs> now they have to play a team named Everstone. Um, but unfortunately, I've ran out of people I can spectate on my friends list for that one. Um, so we might be we might be just chilling until the YTRLG games if we really want to wait that long. Yeah, these are long. Because now we're talking can... about hanging out with no game for over possibly over an hour. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, I can DM a player, but I'm also I, I'm not gonna lie. I would be very down to close up shop now. I mean, I'd hate to not watch YT or LG play, but uh, it's been like 16 hours. Yeah, we've been going for a very like long time. Been... And if we don't have teams for the next hour, I think it's kind of reasonable. I yeah. think, yeah. I'm really sad to, to void chat of that. But I guarantee you, YouTube players are streaming and LG players are streaming. Yeah, for sure. So you'll be able to do that. Also, hi, Cloudbuster. We love you. Yeah. You're doing well. Yeah, I think it's the right thing to do. We've been going for a I'm really sorry, long guys. time. And obviously, like, the <laughs> we're, you know, I wouldn't say we have zero energy. But it's it's hanging around 15%, probably. Yeah. Yeah, I'm red barring for sure. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, thank you, everybody, for watching, by the way. Thank you, everybody, for listening, hanging out. If you've supported by becoming a member or a sub, I really appreciate you. If you've gifted, thank you so much. If you've just hung out, I also love you very much. 
Thank you for being here. You're great. Sorry the stream broke a couple times. Huge shout out to Dupe Snacks for being here and casting some games. You're a legend, my friend. And uh, the biggest shout out of all to Zoinks, who really made everything happen here. Thank you very much, Zoinks. You've more than earned your car battery. Well, thank you. But technically also including breaking the stream, I think, by using some bad software. So I guess if I'm going to take credit, I'll take credit for all of it. Yeah, for sure. Dupe Snacks, <laughs> any parting thoughts, my friend? Uh, had a great time. Thanks for having me. Uh, I could not be more excited for UCS than I am in this moment until the next moment, which is next week. So let's get it. All right, everyone. Thanks again. You're the best. You're incredible. And uh, I will see you all next time. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. Bye, everyone. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. Hey, so a quick update here at the end of the video. In case you were curious, Team YouTube did qualify later in the night. They went up against... Ah, I'm blanking on it right now. Um, I think it was fixed, and they did qualify. I'm sorry if I'm getting that wrong, but I think that's what it was. And then Luminosity Gaming did not qualify. They went down against uh, Team Rack, and they will not be competing in the AOS Cup. A lot to talk about there. Obviously, they're the world champs, so crazy, crazy news. I didn't get to see uh, the matches when they happened, but I uh, hope you enjoyed this video, everybody. Thank you. Bye. Mm -hmm. We did it. Oh, shout out to Zoinks and Dupe Snacks. They're legends.